Alright, welcome and good morning from the TWA Hotel. You find a few crazy av geeks right next to the pool here at the observation deck here at the wonderful TWA Hotel. My goodness, get ready. We're doing it again. <laughs> Yesterday, 12 hours live. Again? Oh no. Are we ready for another 12 hours? I'm on the budget tour. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin can't even talk. We have a mystery guest, everyone. Send your guesses. We have a mystery guest with us. Mystery guest, can you say something to the LA flight viewers? In a disguised voice. In a disguised voice. We don't want to give it away too we fast. We don't want to give it away. Disguised voice as we put the mystery guest on the spot. Are you ready? Starting off. With a mystery guest, I'll take that any day of the week. Go for it. And good morning, LA Flights family. Welcome to New York TWA UN edition. Do we have any guesses? That was spot on. That was perfect. Do Great announcer any voice. Any guesses to the mystery guest? All I right. gotta say though, it doesn't sound like Captain Ken. It doesn't sound like Captain Ken. It doesn't sound like uh, Captain Helmut Kunz from Condor no. as well. So there as we... <laughs> there was no twang, so I don't think that was Bruce. Uh, listen, as we let the guesses come in, we have a few messages. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Peter, finally, my mom is here. Judy, buddy, uh, to watch and see what I do. Happy she is finally here. I want the entire LA Flights family to send the friendly vibes to Cheryl and mom, of course. Watching LA Flights Live, I want everyone, go for it, friendly vibes. Thank you so much, Cheryl, good vibes. We have also Leslie Anderson sending five memberships before the oh, show nice. started today. Thank, Thank you. you. Leslie, I hope you're watching right now. Thank you so much for the five. It's unanimous. Are you ready? Unanimous. Everyone says the same thing. Mr. Guest, introduce yourself to the LA Flights House. Hold on, we need a jingle. We need a jingle. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? <laughs> Mystery Guest. Mystery Go. Guest. <laughs> uh, good morning, oh, LA Flights. This is First <laughs> Officer Mike at the observation deck with the brothers. <laughs> Mr. Kevin and Max39. There you go. I'm, I have you on camera right here. <laughs> there he is. First Officer Mike. What the what the swag? With the official wow. LA Flights UN Edition swag. Look at that. Full screen, by the way. Look at that. This is behind the scenes cam. UN week. <laughs> Kevin, say something. Hi, everyone. <laughs> nice, Kevin. Let's go back to the professional cam. Are you ready? My goodness, the iPhone a little shaky, but hey, that's just me holding it with no tripod. It's going to be a fun day with friends, a fun day with family, a fun day with the planes, a fun day with the VIPs. Hey, Peter, we got to be careful. I think Kevin might go on strike. I mean, oh it's my goodness. just too many hours. Uh, what do you think, Kevin? I was Kevin. looking at my AARP manual, and I think I'm supposed to get at least a, a P break somewhere along the way. <laughs> AARP <laughs> <laughs> um, Delta Airlines on our screen. By the way, good vibes, everyone. We have the 22s active. Yes, and we should have it for the rest of the day, right? 22 right, 22 left in operation get ready it's going to be a full day of the 22s i hope everyone is excited for this ecstatic we will have the <laughs> we know we all know kevin is really excited about a 12-hour show my goodness oh wait but that's if we extend the show to the yeah. 12 hours there's no guarantee that Who knows? we it might not will stay for 12. Air Force One comes in today, everyone. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Everything is scheduled to change, of course. Well, it's not scheduled to change. It's subject to change. Subject to change. Of course, we don't want it to be in the... Uh, you know, we don't want that to be in the scheduling, right? Uh, scheduled to change. We don't want that. Hey, look at this. Early morning baggage drama. 
Oh my goodness, we're starting off the day with baggage a drama. Josh is zooming in. Let's hear the radios. Radios are on. Imagine the traffic jam that we will have a little later on. So Air Force One is, from what I hear, arriving today. I am checking to confirm if we will have the president arrive in front of the LA oh. flight's cameras. Oh, oh, speaking of VIPs, I got a text this morning. So Johnny is working at Terminal 7 today. He does not think he's going to be able to make it over here today because, you know, with the president, he's changing a lot of wheels. Wow. But maybe sometime later in the broadcast, and later in the week. 70 coming in, a big 777-300ER. A few wonderful messages to get to. We have Cindy celebrating five months of channel membership. We'll wait for the arrival to exit the runway. Like I said, radios are on. You know, I want to go take a look at those bags again. It's a lot of work right now, a lot of bags. My goodness, we have so many member, uh, so many memberships being renewed right now. All right, let's get to a few messages as Joshua zooms in to a little bit of baggage drama happening in front of the LA flight's cameras. We have S24 celebrating one month of channel membership. Hey, Peter and Josh, any consideration of spotting yeah, from the UK? Manchester Airport has an area right next to the pub selling food and hot drinks. You know, the thing is, that's dangerous for us because if we have a pub right next to the plane spotting location, you know, we're going to be eating uh, cream cheese bagels all morning long. We're going to be distracted, my friend. Are you ready? S24. Is that a problem? <laughs> is that a problem? It is if you is want to put problem? on the show. <laughs> now, if you're just casually plane spotting, that's not an issue. But for our live show, that is something else. We have Cindy Edge celebrating five months of channel membership. I'm so excited to be back. Thank you for everything you do, brothers. Thank you, Cindy. Leslie Anderson doing it again with the five memberships coming in to the LA Flight House. Thank you so much, Leslie. That's 10 in total. Thank you so much. We have Spooky nice, thank you. Cindy Favorite sending us a two pound super chat. Looks fun there. Thank you, JFK. Hey, Peter, Joshua, Kevin, and First Officer Mike. Thank you, Spooky Cindy Favorites. That's a big hello to the entire team. We have Ethan, one month of channel membership. We have Ethan, greetings brothers and Kevin from Liverpool in the UK, loving the JFK shows. Keep up the good work. And one month down, many more to come. I keep well off. Thank you so much, Ethan. Good vibes, my friend, from the UK. We have cars, tech and travel, plane spotting with us while we were setting up this morning. Yes, that's true. Have an amazing day, guys. Thank you for an incredible experience. Wish we could be there all week long. Safe travels. Are you ready? Car tech travel really will be traveling today have a <laughs> safe drive oh my goodness so nice to meet you are you ready cars tech and travel wonderful viewers wonderful fans of la flights you are watching day two of un week on board the crazy house known as la flights live the home of the one more plane saudi Crossing two five, correction. Right. Two two right. What happened? No, never mind. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Two two right. We have Scott. Thank you so much. Sending five memberships to the LA Flight House. Thank you so much, Scott, for the five. We have James Lee, a member for the one month. I love JFK. Thank you for the great show. Thank you so much for that. We have Northland G celebrating a two month channel membership in first class. Thank you so much. And Scott, one more time. This is actually your first Super Chat into LA Flights. Congrats for that, Scott. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Let's see. Um, oh, I know what it is. Look at this. Okay, so it's not your first Super Chat, but I just got a message 
from YouTube saying I should activate my memberships option on my YouTube account. That's what I'll do. Will anyone gift LA Flights? <laughs> Let's take a look. Hold on. Oh, we'd have a membership? I don't think That's so. That's odd. That's odd. I have it on my personal account. Oh my goodness, Leslie doing it again. $10 Super Chat. Thank you for day two. Want everyone to have so much fun today. Team Josh, Team Peter. That is a Team LA Flight nice. message. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you so much, Leslie. Yeah, Sit back. back at it again with the uh, another 12-hour show. Maybe. No. <coughs> Maybe. Five-hour show. Five-hour show. First Twelve? officer, Mike. Twelve Five. hours? <laughs> Five, Sounds appropriate. Five-hour show. Okay, we'll see what happens. Uh, baggage drama happening. Well, I think it's ending right in front. No, I think it's just starting. Yeah, they just got starting. The, uh, the, the trolley over here. Yeah, there it is. Look how shiny those new wheels are on that trolley. You know, they do look really clean on that uh, conveyor belt. My goodness. We have Scott Barry. Thank you so much for joining the channel memberships. We have Lance Gilman becoming a member as well. Welcome to uh, First Class. Scott Barry, an elite member. Are you ready? You have a golden plane beside your name. That means you have been a member in the past. Thank you so much for picking up that membership yet again. We have, looks like, according to the viewers, we have the Peruvian Air Force. Nice. 737 coming in. Well, I've been talking about that, right? Today's supposed to be the busiest day with delegates and heads of state. Listen, right? it's going to be the best day for UN Week. Everyone's arriving today. Get ready. Today's going to be the busiest day for UN Week. Peru, in just a few minutes. Thank you so much, Carol, for renewing your membership. Five months as an elite member on board LA Flights Live. Is that right. them coming in on short final? Oh, two, two left. is it? Yeah. Uh, go for it. Is that them? It might be. All right, First officer look. Mike calling it. Yes, it is. Go for it. There Pan you the go. Camera. Faster than the speed <laughs> of light. We start off it's our... It's a 737 500 yeah. by the Peruvian Air Force. Oh, wow. Peru in front of LA Flights Live. Welcome to the government of Peru to New York. Good to see them using the old Boeings. Yeah, right? That Boeing was acquired in 1995 during Alberto Fujimori's oh. presidency. Hold on. What? 1995. What happened, Josh? What's that flag? Can't really see it. What happened? Why? Isn't that a Canadian flag? No, 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 no. That's not a maple leaf, Josh. It, okay. Joshua is looking through oh, such a small monitor. Are you ready? <laughs> I just see a big silhouette is what I, I see. Listen, Joshua is looking through a very small monitor, and let me tell you something. It's a hot day here in New York, and it's dim, okay? No, that wasn't the Maple Leaf. That's the Peruvian government okay. arriving in front of LA Flights Live. First off, am I calling that one? Thank you for yes. that. Yes. Quite welcome. Hey, listen, you guys are going to hear... Okay, Kevin and first off, Mike, this is your second time. Uh, let's call this the first time because you're only with us for the Wednesday special in, uh, in Los Angeles for just a few minutes. Yeah. Listen, Peter talks a lot, okay? Peter talks a lot. If you have something to say, go for it, all right? You got it. You told me I had to raise my hand. <laughs> That's Kevin rules. Are you ready? Kevin! <laughs> That's only because it's Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, you have to raise your hand. Next arrival, next up, we have... What do we have? JetBlue 2220 flying in from London's Heathrow and Airbus A321 up L -R. next. L -R. Oh, yeah, is it? Look at this. Flying in from London, that's a seven hour, 22 minute flight. The journey, my goodness, get ready. 35, almost 3,500 nautical miles up next. American 95 flying in from Madrid, a 777-200. Now get ready, Josh. Yeah. The uh, 777 American from Spain arriving on the closest runway. Oh, runway nice. 22 right. Very cool, okay. Linda, two pound super chat. Hello from Scotland, first time watcher. You're watching day two of UN Week. We're going to see so many dignitaries, so many Air Force planes from all over the world today. And the big boy, are you ready? Air Force One arrives today a little after 6 p.m. Eastern Time. 
6 p.m., a little after, we will have the presidential aircraft, Air Force One, U.S. President, arrive in front of the L.A. flight cameras. And listen. Around 6 p.m., we have found out over the past few days that it is so busy here at JFK, okay? How will the traffic jam look like? It's going to be a traffic jam of the ages. My oh, goodness. yes. That's going to be the start. The traffic jam, that's going to be the main attraction here. Of course, we're going to see Air Force One, but the aftermath, that's what we're waiting for. Here we go. Flight 95 coming in from Madrid, American Airlines. Uh, Seven-hour flight, 3,600 nautical miles. Nice reverse thrust there. Nice reverse thrust sound. We have Roberto sending us a $10 super chat. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much for all that you do. Great shows always. Thank you so much, Robert. Did I say Roberto? I heard Robert. Roberto. Robert, are you ready? Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. Peter's getting ahead of himself. My goodness. Uh, let's advice from Bruce Campbell uh, to First Officer Mike. You have to cut in when Peter takes a breath. <laughs> that's when you guys are that's supposed That's my cue, yeah. yeah yes. When Peter takes a breath, that's when you guys have to uh, chime in. My goodness, look at this. Max yes. 39 to the rescue. Max thank you so much. Being, uh, yeah, thank you, Max. Thank hey, you. Hey, uh, first off, so Mike, are you ready? Can you of pass course. me the uh, bag? It's open, so be careful, my friend. Thanks. My uh, <coughs> water's here. You got it. My <coughs> water. I can't believe how sunny it is today. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, a hot it's, one. it's a hot one. There's no, not too much of a breeze. I didn't know you spell water G I N. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Your <coughs> water. How do I spell it? Gin. Oh, no. Okay. That'll clear up anything. If I you guys think, want uh, some I water, think that's what okay? Kevin wants right Let now. Let me know, okay? No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, delicious water. water. Bubbling water, I guess. Right. Oh my goodness. I love my water, guys, in the morning. Are you ready? Delicious, looks delicious. Delicious water. My goodness. Careful, Mike, you don't want a cup of ice? Do you want one? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's a sweaty day today. It's a hot one. Right, Delta Airlines A321 leaving 22 right. Flight 1211 to Fort Lauderdale. And hey, you know what? Oh no, never mind. I thought I saw Henry's East Coast cousin, but it's not. It's a seagull. Hey, listen, almost a thousand likes already. You're kidding, already? Almost a thousand likes. I feel uh, like we just started. Only 240 away, and we haven't even reached the 20 minute mark. My goodness, can we cross the first 1,000 before we cross the 20 minute mark of today's episode? Two minutes away, let's take a look. Let's see if we can cross 1,000. We have Turkish 3, a scheduled flight flying in from Istanbul, a 10-hour, 24-minute flight, 5,000 nautical miles, 5,000 on the dot. We have a five membership train. Thank you so much, Ronald, for continuing this trend, my friend. Five for LA flights. We're in the same time zone, my friend. Eastern time zone absolutely rocks. Uh, let's say thank you so much, Kamoyan Ergashev, sending us a $10 super check. Good morning to everyone. The plane with the flag of Uzbekistan is the plane of the president of my country. And who knows, maybe we'll see your president, your country, arrive 
in front of LA Flights today. Thank you so much. Come on in. All the best, my friend. Thank you so much for watching LA Flights. We have Ali, seven months of channel membership. Super bummed. I wasn't able to make it out this weekend. Oh, my goodness. Ali, thank you so much for watching LA Flights Live. We're going to be here all week long. Are you ready? We have so many fans of the show. We have so many viewers uh, staying here at the hotel, visiting us. Remember the meet and greets happening Wednesday, 11 a. Oh, uh, let's see. The meet and greet, the first 50 viewers already closed. Uh, but still, you can always come up Wednesday, 11 a.m., 1 p.m. It's a two-hour meet and greet with fellow Av geeks and fellow fans of LA Flights. But you will have to pay the entrance fee. My goodness. Hey, Kevin's Peter. Giving, giving me the nod. What? Here, the viewer asking about Uzbekistan? Yeah. Look over your right shoulder. Look what's parked over. Oh, my goodness. This yeah, is the yeah. Uzbekistan plane. No, but listen, I think that one is... That's a passenger flight. That's a commercial flight. Okay, but I believe the president travels on the same type. I mean, I think they actually use an Uzbekistan plane for the president. We can always look at the registration number to see if it's a scheduled flight. Uh, we have John Sullivan. Oh, my goodness, continuing the five membership train. Oh, wow. Good vibes, John, with five for LA flights. Much appreciated, my friend. You listen, that is going to energize us for the 12 our sh uh, <coughs> five hour live show Careful. thank you so much john oh my goodness thank you so much my friends well, it's going to be an incredible time we're looking at the uzbekistan right now and they have the engine covers on yeah oh. you see that yes i don't think that's normal well the president uses a 767 300 ah okay this is the Dreamliner. That looks like a Dreamliner. Yeah, so this is the commercial flight. Well, but he also uses 1787-8 for VIP transport as well. Oh, okay. So, so it is it is it or is it not? Let's zoom in uh, zoom into the registration number, please. Let's take a look. Uh, you're gonna have to decipher that. I can't see it from here. Well, uniform kilo zero zero one. That looks it. like a, that's that it. That is yeah. it. That, that is the registration. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So we saying he snuck in overnight. You know something? That's very interesting. They're letting the Uzbekistan 787 yes. park here at JFK. Mm, Parking is super limited. Yeah. yeah. And, they, and, we, and they don't validate here. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't validate. They, they kick don't. you out after two hours. Them. They give you the New York goodbye. I guess, two uh, hours. Get I guess they here. know the guy who knows the guy, right? Yeah. Get out of here. They know Johnny. Look at that. All right, then. Angela with five memberships gifting gifted right now. You guys are absolutely amazing helping power the brothers. Thank you so much, Angela, for the five. Thank you, GW, for the five memberships being gifted to LA Flight. You guys are incredible. Angela, GW, wow. my goodness. Love seeing you guys. The five membership train happening Love right it. now. There's Sun Country. Where else would they be flying to other than? Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Give that man a prize. <laughs> I said it first. I want the price. And we have American Airlines right now, 777 that we saw land. Holding short. Holding short right now. Looks like they're crossing. Yes, they are crossing. Bless you, Kevin. Bless you, Kevin. Thank you. I'm giving you guys the hand sign to take over because I'm... <laughs> oh, I thought you were telling me to shut up. I'm so used to that hand symbol. <laughs> no, I was just sorry. just getting distracted by uh, Max39 over here for just a moment. Yeah, Max39 bringing in the yeah, refreshments. Yeah, coming in clutch. My goodness. Hey, oh. I'll take the extra cup if no one uses it. Yeah, of course. I want, I want some more. You guys want it or no? If you guys yep, weren't, yep. weren't using it, I'll take an extra cup of ice from my water. Wait, you guys don't want it? I thought you wanted it. No. We have touching down right now. Uh, winds perfect for today. The weather's beautiful here in New York. Light winds favoring runway 22. Winds are right 230, about six knots right now. Clear skies, perfect. mostly clear. Making landing super easy. 
Wish we had that butter emoji. <laughs> yeah, not yet. But no, that was a great landing. But China, China Airlines cargo most likely coming in from Anchorage. Traffic's pretty light here this morning. Only a couple planes out there in the taxiways, it looks like. One American no, getting ready to take Mike. off. No, You're supposed to say, say traffic is heavy. That's Traffic's heavy. You're not talking to the passengers. You're talking to LA flights viewers that want action. <laughs> and we have crosswind. That want crosswind, <laughs> that want the crosswind. traffic jam, <laughs> that want turbulence. That's we coming up all later. <laughs> Stay tuned. Here we have American flight 2643 going to Charlotte in the Carolinas, right? Oh, yeah. Charlotte, North Carolina. And right after this American Airlines, we have a Delta right now lined up on 2 to right. It's a 737. And looks like we have a couple other planes, another Delta Airlines and a JetBlue right behind it heading to 2 to right for departure departure as well. Doesn't look, all right, looks like the 737 starting to roll. However, we have an arrival happening right now on 2 to left. Looks like a JetBlue. Yes, it is. JetBlue coming in on 2 to left. The Delta flight that's off camera, that's 1368 en route to Miami. Yeah, we'll go take a look at the one heading to Miami. What about the JetBlue? Come on, guys. Flight information. Peter's I, drinking I, I some water. I would do the flight info as just I can. I'm using the camera. That's JetBlue arriving from Fort Lauderdale, flight uh, 1402. All right, there goes the Delta to Miami. Let's go take a look at JetBlue coming in from Fort Lauderdale. I have a feeling this one will be parking right next to us at Terminal 5. We do have gate one open right now, so we might have that. Have this one park over here at gate one, maybe gate four. And I do have a few memberships and uh, super chats to get to. We have Fire Talker, all access VIP member here at the LA Flights channel. Get ready. I spot a condor, C color. Remember, that's the blue color, right? But yes, now we're, that, we're using proper condor terminology. C color, departing Phoenix last night. Wow. Sadly, nice. it was dark and I was unable to fully appreciate it. Oh, good thing you couldn't see it. Fully, I'm going to repeat this. Fully appreciate its magnificence. Oh, she said it was a Neo? Uh, a ne uh, <clears throat> was it a Neo? I think so. Wait, hold on a minute. Yeah, well, of course Because it was there's a only Neo. one so far that's ne blue that's Neo, which was the one we saw in LA last week. So that might be the same one now that went yeah. into Phoenix. There's only one. Absolutely. So that's, that's, the one, that's the one that that's First Officer Mike saw. Right. That's correct. For yeah. the Wednesday special in Los Angeles. Wow. And all those beautiful stripes. Oh, no. First Officer Mike. Team Stripes. Team Stripes. <laughs> I don't like that. Listen, Bruce Campbell talking about our Phoenix viewers, talking about our Arizona viewers. We have 10 memberships. That's five times two nice. as we continue the five membership train. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you so much, Bruce. We are missing you. You are missing. Uh, we don't want to make him feel bad. You are missing such an incredible time. Air Force One today. So many viewers, so many fans, so many special co-hosts, so many special <laughs> guests. I love the fact that Bruce had to mentor FL Mike there, telling him, <laughs> you just got to you gotta jump in whenever Stop. Peter takes a breath. I have the message right here. You have to cut in when Peter takes it. <laughs> That's takes Delta 1054 en route to Atlanta, by the way, that Josh is following. We have Cindy. Thank you so much sending a two-month milestone message. Yay, best two months of information and entertainment. Thank you so much, Cindy, for being part of the LA Flights family. We have Dave sending us a $10 super chat. Love the show so much. Seen any spotted lantern flies today? Oh, don't Kevin, say that. Don't, don't say that. Say that. <laughs> I'm sure First Officer uh, Mike will uh, relocate the uh, spot a lantern fly. Or, or do you get queasy? I don't think you get queasy. No, I don't right? get queasy, no. Nah. Do, do you see a lot of them here? Are they a real problem? Here in JFK, yeah, they are a problem. I think I saw maybe four last week when I was pre-flying wow. the airplane. 
Jeez. To get out of here. Is it's that like a new problem or something or what? Wow, oh, wow. really? New problem. Oh, man. First Officer Mike giving us the nod of yes. Yes. It's this isn't the TV yes. show. It's a radio show. <laughs> it's a radio show. <laughs> they can't see you. <laughs> you should have seen the one that landed on me yesterday. It was like the size of a rat. That's right. Uh, come here and landed on my, on my neck. Wasn't that here? freak you out? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Oh, man. Don't get me scared. You know, I don't want to sound like a, you know, weak. But I think I would have screamed if that thing would have uh, landed in my neck. <laughs> that would have been the shrill heard around the world. <laughs> all right, let's see. We have Jet Blue right now on the takeoff. We're all about to lift off on 2 to a right. Let's go and take a look. Sounds like that E-175 is starting up, too. Yeah, and we have air action, yeah. yeah. Just pushed off a of gate Alpha 9. And we also have a super chat from Taiwan. Thank you so much, Tejan Lu. I hope I'm pronouncing this name correctly. Hello from Taiwan. Hello to New York. Hello from New York City. That's JetBlue 337 en route to Santiago. Taiwan, right? We just saw China Airlines. Cargo. Yes, that's your plane. Tejan Lu. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. All right, let's go take a look at that E175 right now in front of us. Getting ready to start taxing. I ready. I'm waiting for this super chat. I left the super chat uh, for the uh, for the last of the messages. Right as I catch up to the uh, uh, good old messages. Jeff, get ready. One hundred twenty-three dollar and forty-five cents super chat. Welcome wow. to JFK. Thank you for the UN Week coverage to the award-winning brothers. Wow, thank you. Correspondents Kevin and the team. Jeff, we appreciate that. So You don't know how much we appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much, my friend. So nice. Sit back, relax, enjoy the day of plane spotting day two. Listen, Jeff, you know me, you know us. We're gonna be here for five hours. Five hours. <coughs> wink, you know wink, it. 12 hours. <laughs> you know it, you know us. <laughs> Uh, amazing super chat. Thank you so much, Jeff. We have Fire Talker, All Axis, VIP. Sorry, it was the island color green. I'm still learning the new names. Okay, so it wasn't the sea blue. It was the, the island color. Island is green in Condor. Oh, speak. Those are a dime a dozen. You see them green all the time. The best. Geez, I think I like the blue more than the green. Really? Oh, my goodness. It's going to be very tough for me. I think I like... I still say I, th I still think the green is better as I pour myself some more water. I think the green is still better than the blue, but geez, I mean that blue sea is magnificent. They should make white stripes. <laughs> that would be the best, I think. They should make a white plane, but with black stripes. No, no, <laughs> white plane with white stripes. That'll be the best condor out there. Anna Isidore says, good morning, LA Flights family. The New York City vibes full with that message. Thank you so much, Anna. Looks like our Embraer's uh, taxiing out here. Yeah, there it goes. JFK to Chicago O'Hare, SkyWest 3718. Are you ready, guys? I am so thankful for this incredible train. We have a five membership train. Melody Smith. Gifting five memberships wow, to LA Flights uh, Live. Thank you so Love much, to Melody. See it. Thank you. Thank you, Melody. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Melody, for continuing the five membership train. Listen, that's going to help us. That's going to energize us to, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to say this quietly, go 12 hours. But don't but, say it out loud, all right, Josh? Uh, Kevin, don't Josh here. You got another thing coming. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> What is Johnny Nothams going to come over here and tell us to stop? I think Tal is very lightly put. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Christian, uh, sending us a $2 super chat. We appreciate that. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, Christian. Welcome to New York. Welcome to the magnificent TWA Hotel. All right, we're going to go for the next arrival. Let's take a look at some five. Let's take a look at some flight information. And I just saw your message come in. Iceland Air, a 737 MAX 8, five hour, 40 minute flight, flying in from Reykjavik. What? Arrival on, what? What did you say? Reykjavik. Reykjavik. Oh, okay. Oh, did right. I say it correctly? Yeah, that's it. Reykjavik, Reykjavik. Now I'm second guessing myself. Well, don't do that, Kevin. <laughs> 
<laughs> How do you say it, uh, first officer Mike? You yes. got it right, Reykjavik. There you go, Kevin. Put that mic closer to your mouth, Kevin. We can't hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kevin enjoying some water. Uh, let's see, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, so and this is the message that got me distracted. Five memberships being gifted by an incredible viewer. Thank you so much, Anne. Proud member of the Banana Club. Sadly, there's no bananas here in New York. We gotta go where? Uh, to Newark, right guys? Newark, Banana Plains, Spirit Wings. Do they go? I'm, I'm, just sure. I'm not too sure. It's new, uh, Newark, LaGuardia, I believe. Oh, Maybe goodness. LaGuardia. Yeah. Not JFK, I'm sure of that. Right. Ann Wilson, thank you so much. We have another five gifted by Lance Gilman. You guys are helping us power through another 12-hour show. Listen, yesterday, 12 hours. The last two minutes got chopped off because it, we went beyond what YouTube allows. Are you ready? The last two minutes of the show cut off. We went to the max and then some. Thank you, Lance. Yeah, can you believe that? We went two hours over the, the YouTube limit. Two minutes. <laughs> two, two minutes. Oh, two, two minutes. Josh was preparing for two today. Minutes. Yeah. Laser Frank is sending us a 20 euro super chats. We appreciate this, my friend. How about a rainbow colored condor? You know something? That would be impressive to see a rainbow colored condor. Rainbow colored condor. I think Josh would love that plane. I think Josh I would love the it. stripes. Do you think? We got every color. You know something? It's so cool having a Team Stripes co-host. I always have anti-Stripes. Yeah, I don't always. like being outnumbered always. here. I don't like being the minority. I we think need Bruce Campbell to be here. Captain Ken was kind of going through conversion therapy. He's, I don't trust. I don't trust Captain Ken anymore. <laughs> he, he's either side now. Captain Ken was converting to Team Stripes. You know something? He told me off the camera he loves Stripes. I, I don't believe that. <laughs> I, that's, that's a little too far. You know what? Next time I fly with Captain Ken, I'll make sure he's Team Peter. There you go. For stripes. <laughs> oh, you have something against me, FO Mike. <laughs> Come on. Don't worry. We'll convert you as well. I don't like that. No We're going to be converting. Are you ready, everyone? We're going to be giving pamphlets to Kevin, <laughs> to Josh, <laughs> to Bruce Campbell. Go door by door. Door knocking. by door. Is there a timeshare involved with this presentation? <laughs> Uh, Santiago Cruz sending a two-month milestone message. I've been seeing you for more than two years. I really like the content. I want to be a pilot. Thank you so much, uh, Santiago Cruz. All the best to your aviation dreams, my friend. I wanted to, to be a it. pilot. Turned out to be a YouTuber. Thank you so much, Santiago. Cheers, man. Yeah, we, that EVA, I can't say that, EVA Air. Yeah, it's EVA here at LA Eva. Flights, okay. Kevin. Arriving from... My second home, Anchorage. <laughs> <laughs> there, was some there was some aggression behind that clearing of the throat. Uh, we have Aaron sending us a $2 super chat. Favorite plane spotters are here. Absolutely. If you think TWA hotel plane spotting, you think LA Flight Live. Synonymous, my friend, with TWA hotel. Thank you so much, Aaron. We have, oh my goodness, uh, thank you so much, guys. We have. Kevin, Kevin Bradley, $20 Super Chats. I've settled in for another great day of plane spotting from JFK. Yesterday was incredible. Kevin, today will beat yesterday. Do you know why? Well, we're going to have Air Force One arrive a little after 6 p.m. today, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to have the traffic jam of the ages. Get ready. Air Force One locking down JFK. My goodness. I wish we had pilots with stories with Air Force One locking down the airport and oh, then yes, having delays. Oh, yes, that'll be delays. perfect. We had a little one yesterday, right, with Captain Coons. Yes, so Captain yeah, Coons even was he had experience, oh, yeah. right? He had experience Coming with Air here. Force One. This was one of the places, he said. Here at JFK, in a shutdown, waiting three hours. hours. I wish we had... Yeah, too bad we don't have any too pilots Too bad we don't here. have any pilots <laughs> that may have had similar or same experiences. Oh, my goodness. We're going to be uh, asking <laughs> Kevin. We're going to be asking Josh. Maybe First Officer Mike, if they have any experience with no, Air Force One. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. David Healy, thank you so much for sending us a two-pound super chat. The best condo stripes are in the... Oh, David, I forget you are anti-stripes. David, thank you so much. Sit back, relax. Come on, what did he say? 
He said that Condor is a great airline. And stripes are wonderful. Buster <laughs> Frisco, three months of channel membership. Great to see the brothers back at JFK TWA Hotel. I'll say it again. If you think JFK, if you think TWA Hotel, think LA Flight. Synonymous with plane spotting here at this magnificent establishment. First officer, Mike, do you have a favorite color like for the for the striping? Uh, the, my I mean, favorite color was the one we saw in L.A. that we got to s plane spot uh, last week. It was the blue stripes. Blue? Yeah. It was the a good-looking plane when it the came C. in. The It's not blue. It's C. C. Yeah. C. We have to be Cyan. all. We have to be all acclimated when, when uh -huh. the uh, salesperson comes on Monday from Condor. He's going to be so impressed that we know the lingo. Yes. Yeah. By the way, you know, I just have to take note of this. You know, I love the you know incredible reception that LA flies. It's it, you know finally getting. For example, starting at SFO, the yeah. airport coming out, you know, on our second day of the live show. And, you know, they were just casually watching LA flights and like, oh, SFO came out to say hi. Kevin working really hard behind the scenes also to work the, uh, you know, the connections with the SFO. And listen, incredibly responsive. But they were watching our show. They were watching. The day before they were yes. watching our show. That's what was That's so truly impressive. truly amazing, yeah. I mean, they had it on in the office watching us. You know, uh, incredible reception yeah. by SFO. Yeah. And listen, Condor, you know, finally coming out to the LA flight trap after yeah. talking so much about, you know, stripes and anti-stripes and, you know, the brilliant airline that is Condor. You know, Kevin, of course, working very hard <laughs> behind the scenes. That's to say the least. Condor, SFO, and... JFK? Yeah. I, huh? I don't this. know. You never know what's coming you around. You never know what's coming around. Yeah. We're going to be here all week. I might get, you know, you never know. You might land a gig in Schenectady. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Flight information. Let's get to this one. Uh, we have a takeoff happening on 2 2 right. Flying to Orlando, ah, Florida. Hold on. Look at who we have. Joshua. Push it back. Oh. Look, Look at this. this! Pushing back from Alpha 5. Yes! Triple 7 200 LR, right? This is the big LR. Right. What they fly to San Francisco, same equipment. Oh, nice. Wow. Flying to Mumbai. Air India 1, 16, 7800 nautical mile journey back to Mumbai. Look at that, Air India posing for the photo, for the frame here. Yes. What do you think, highlight of today's episode? Oh, but I'm pretty sure Air Force One will overshadow. Well, hey, it's the highlight for right now, so far. Look at that, Air India posing for us. I think we can get them to uh, do a wave before they turn around. Well, we'll try. I don't think they can see us yet. But we'll try. We'll try. And thank you so much, Bob, sending us a five dollar super chat. Hey, LA flights. I'm on way to, on my way to the TW Hotel right nice. now from downtown Manhattan. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's a long drive. The first time we were here in New York City, Josh and I rented a car and we went to Manhattan. It took us two hours. Jeez, Louise. I'll be there in an hour. My goodness. Excited to meet you guys in person. Bob, come out. Uh, first Officer Mike, Kevin, and Max39 behind the scenes. We also have big fans, uh, big fans of the channel sitting behind the scenes. Bob, can't wait. Have a safe drive. My goodness. Yeah, it's a really great crowd out here. The crew and the fans. Right there, 57 to 5, you going into Hotel Bravo. Looks like the uh, Air India is continuing its pushback here. All right, there goes Air India starting to push back. Let's go take a look at the flight deck. Who knows, maybe get a wave. Uh, you're going to have to help me out here. I can barely see the... There we go. Oh, wave. Oh, we got it. We got, we got it. the wave. Oh, yes. Thank you, guys. Great sports. There you go. 
<laughs> You're, that's so awesome. That's so awesome. Thank you, Air India. Great sports right there. Are they still going? I can't see. Oh, uh, you know, I think not. But a big wave coming into the LA Flights channel right wow, now. Wow, what a great way to start. <laughs> we're, we're one for one there with the waves pushing yeah, back. Yeah, one for one. We're going to need a wave emoji. My goodness. You know what? Here in JFK, it's necessary. It just is. We got That's right. Wave. I wasn't jumping up and down trying to get their attention at all or anything. <laughs> no, and neither was I. Neither was uh, Josh. Of course we weren't. Because yeah. we don't want to distract any other flight crews. No way. Of course That's not. Absolutely not. Alaska Airlines getting a move on. Flying to Portland. Yeah, that's the uh, the giant slipper. You know, uh, first officer Mike, Captain Ken, he was dining with a big uh, foot, uh, baseball team or something. What was it, Josh? The Giants and the Padres. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. The Giants yeah, and the Padres. Yeah. Are you a baseball fan? Do you like the Padres? I actually got to fly them. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Well, first officer Mike also uh, dining nice. with the... <laughs> with some A-listers. <laughs> with the A-listers. <laughs> My yeah, goodness. Dad's a big fan of the Padres. Yeah, that's his favorite baseball team. Yeah, LA Flight's Dad. All right. Air India stopping its pushback. All right, let's go to the next arrival. We have a Atari Ferrari coming in. Also known as the Mike Mobile. Oh, the Mike Mobile now, not the Ken Mobile. A little two for one JetBlue taking off as Delta Airlines lands. Great call out, get FL Mike. Look at that two for one. Let's go take a look at the JetBlue right now. Hey, are you ready? So, uh, Super Chat coming in from Tyler. Sorry I missed this message. Listen, so many messages coming in. About the merch, listen. We are trying very hard with the merch orders. Uh, listen, I think something's gonna, uh, something will 100% to be resolved during our week here in New York or the day that we return to Los Angeles, okay? Mark my words, Tyler, we're gonna be sending a whole bunch of orders out to the viewers of LA Flights. A lot of, uh, we have a lot of backlog of merch orders. Josh, we're gonna get those merch orders going, right? Oh, yes. All right. Tyler, thank you so much. I'm sorry I put this message so late. Listen, it's gonna get resolved. Good vibes, my friend. Uh, listen, we have Air India now continuing its pushback and a day full of the good vibes. Is that the triple seven starting up? Yep, sure is. Oh man, those G nineties. Not responding. He's playing the brawl and he can just see the question. As Air India is pushing back, we got a little Embraer action taking off here, holding up traffic. Yeah, they landed goes. on two two left, waiting to cross, head to their gates. You know, if you want. Um, you can zoom in to the E-175. You have access to Bruce Camp. Oh, is, is FO Mike going to be the third third person to use Bruce Camp? Oh, my goodness. There goes Air India doing a pretty quick pushback there. Hey, Josh, I think First Officer Mike thought that he was going to have a relaxing day and not be put to work. <laughs> I don't know if you're up to it. Uh, listen, only if, only if you're up to it, man. Don't worry, you're not working. <laughs> of course. This is a day of fun. Uh, we, oh, my goodness. Alicia, thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Gifting us a $20 super chat through ah, PayPal. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Alicia. <laughs> thank Th you. Thank you, Alicia. I got the paper. <laughs> thank you, Alicia. $20 thank tip. Alicia heat, over here keeping us company. The heat is no joke today. You're out Hello, in the, the, the sun the producing the awesome content for the LA Flights viewers. Two, two right yeah. Thank you for the hard work. Hashtag oh, New York City you, vibes. 
So nice to have Rare you arrival, 2-2 two, two right, <laughs> JetBlue <laughs> coming in. Will it be a butter <laughs> landing? Butter. What do you think? <laughs> no, FL Mike. What do you think? You're, you're the you're the pilot here. <laughs> that was butter. Okay. We have Angela King sending us a five dollar super chat today. Thank you so much, Angela. An hour in, and there has been so much generosity by the LA Flights family. Loving this LA Flights family. You and me both. Are you ready? LA Flights, the house, the family. Rocks! Are you ready, Angela? Thank you so much. My goodness. An incredible five membership train to start off the hour. Uh, incredible super chats, incredible milestones. Amazing. LA Flights House rocks. We have Sai sending us a $2 super chat. Yay! Air India is a highlight. Wish to see them in Los Angeles. We, we might see them in the next few months, hopefully next year. There's plans That's of over here. Air India expanding to Los Angeles, so we're going to be crossing our fingers. Hopefully it does uh, flourish into something amazing. Hopefully we get to see Air India back in Los Angeles. Richard Hunt, $10 super chat. From Delta's 516 at JFK to Los Angeles on a brand new A330 Neo, November 420 Delta X-ray, no window seat, so can't shine the light. But want to say have a great day at JFK. Thank you so much, Richard. Have a safe flight on board. Nice. My goodness. Thank you, Richard. A330 Neo. Have a safe flight. Is this uh, Richard from Boston? I think so, right? Uh, let's see, Richard Hunt. We have Delta's 2286 flying in from Atlanta, Georgia, a two-hour flight for today. And thank you so much, Jennifer. Are you ready? This message coming in about 15 minutes ago. Jennifer P., I hope you're watching LA Flights Live. Yes. Jennifer P. sending us a, t a $10 super chat. Cheers to all the hard work paying off. Nobody deserves it more than your crew. Jennifer, you are amazing. Thank you so much for using PayPal. Are you ready? Jennifer, I hope you're still watching. Wow, thank you, Jennifer. Love the message. Peter? Yeah, tell me. Before we get real busy with all the, the VIP traffic coming, yeah. I will have a small presentation for First Officer Mike. Okay. If not, it's going to get crowded. And all right. I don't okay. like handing Perfect. him stuff at midnight when we stop. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Give me one minute. All right, Air India. We'll get, we'll go back to it once it starts taxing. We have a 737 right now. Delta Airlines. And of 5102, crossing White to Toronto Hotel. Where do you enter? Uh, hotel, crossing to Toronto Hotel, and Golf is the entry point. Of 5102. And of 5102, right Bravo, monitor ground. Good day. If you thought it was Bravo, hot here, they're heading to Tampa. <laughs> Might be just a touch warmer. With humidity. Forget about it. And Air India on the move now. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, presentation. Okay, so Kev yeah. uh, Kevin. Kevin, you have something in store for, for us. Go for it. All right, so for uh, Captain Mike being Team Stripes, I have some Condor merchandise I'm going to be giving. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 team yeah. Stripes. The pen only, unfortunately, came in green. I, uh, That's quite all right. It's my wow. favorite color. Have, but I know the captain, uh, first officer's first color is blue, so he has the official Condor sunglasses. Wow, very nice. And we also have, again, oh, the, the Condor, Condor lanyard. official lanyard. And there's a magnet, which I forgot to bring. There's also a Neo magnet, which I'll have to get one you. Very clear. cool. Wow. So, <laughs> team Condor, Team so Stripes. Nice. Team Condor. There we go. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you, Kevin. No problem. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin. You know, even though I don't like the stripes, I got to say the, the, the lanyard and the glasses, they're very stylish. Even though I'm not Team Stripes. 
Well, you want it painted white, right? White stripes. I wanted white, white stripes. stripes. That'll be the best for me. Where's mine? <laughs> Uh-oh, Kevin getting in trouble. <coughs> Where's mine? Andrew Johansson sending us a 20 super chat. Thank you so much. Hello from Sweden. Welcome back to New York. Welcome back to the TWA Hotel. Welcome back to LA Flights Live. Anders always watching the channel. Who's excited about Air Force One? Listen, it should arrive a little after 6 p.m. Eastern time zone. Like I keep saying, we're going to have a traffic jam for the ages. We're going to have, I think, 6 o'clock. I think it's, some, it's one of the busiest times for JFK, all right? We're going to have so many 777s. We're going to have so many international arrivals, departures. JFK in a lockdown. Do you know what's scheduled to land at 6.40, Kevin? First Officer Mike, Josh? I know it. Josh will <laughs> know, know 6.40? 6.40 p.m. Do you know what's scheduled to arrive besides Air Force One? No. No. Emirates. Negative. Oh. The oh. flight from Milan. It's oh. an A380 oh. scheduled oh, wow. to arrive at 6.40 p.m. Exactly the minutes that oh Air boy. Force One is supposed to land. Oh so how that, is that going to be handled? That might not happen for Emirates. Well, last time, last year, we had had Emirates actually divert to Boston because it just couldn't get into all oh, the traffic here in that's JFK. True. That's true, yeah. So who knows? We'll see what happens this time around. All right, traffic jam for the ages happening in just a few hours. I don't know where that jet blue is going. It doesn't show on my cheat sheet where it's going. Hmm. Well, it's an A321, so maybe a long flight. Uh, Los Angeles or Los Angeles, maybe, maybe somewhere in the West Coast. Hey, listen, uh, quick update. So second hour of the live show, right? Second hour of the live show, excuse me, first hour of the live show is about to be crossed in just four minutes. We're only 300 likes away from crossing the 2,000 mark. Within the first hour? Within the first hour, wow. first officer Mike. Listen, first hour, let's see if we can cross 2,000 likes. In anticipation of Air Force One shutting down the entire airport, we can't wait to see how that looks. And runway 22, the 22s, should be active all day long. All day and all night. Oh, my goodness. That's our Virgin flight arriving from London, Heathrow. Can you zoom in on the what lady it is? Uh, not right now. It's a little too far, Kevin. I but once you have it super gets, macro zoom. Uh, yeah, it's not that good though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was. A JetBlue taking up to your right. That's the one going to LAX, Josh. Oh, okay. I knew it was coming up. <laughs> I knew it was coming up. It might be blue hour. Two jet blues taking off, another one pushing back from gate three here at Terminal 5. Yeah, it's an A320 right now in front of us. Are we going to have, have Air India up next? Big 777, a 200LR flying to Mumbai, lining up on two, two right. Look at that plane spotter enjoying the beautiful day here. There you go. JFK. Look at that, imagine yourself there, right? Right, we love to do that. We love it's to see. It's literally that close. You, it's, it's, you know, you have a little window pane here and then the airport. The sights, the sounds. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that wish, uh, you know, they could be out here. This is such an incredible location. <laughs> I 
And we have Colin uh, sending us a $5 super chat ready for an awesome day at JFK. You and me both, my friend. Are you ready, Colin? Can't wait for today's special. Picture for our social media, guys. What do you think? Let's do it. I'll get the uh, tower in the back. Perfect. The guys are looking great. Excellent. Looks like that JetBlue, the tug, has uh, pulled away from it. Star and engines. JFK to Orlando as Air India takes off here. 2-2 two, two right. You said that was heading to Orlando, right? Yeah. Correct. Heading to MCO, Orlando. Oh, no. What happened to my... I had a cup here. Oh, it's here. It fell to the ground, but I picked it okay, up. Okay, don't it's, worry. It's all right. well. First class member joining us for today's episode, we have Tim Robinson. Robinson, thank you so much, Tim, for joining first class today. Starting your journey off with a bang uh, here at the TWA Hotel. Egyptians are next. Yes, the Egypt there. Look at this. Big boy heading our way. And... Let's take a look. Hey, you know, this is kind of piquing my interest here. Looks like they're doing some work at gate seven. <laughs> Perhaps after that VIP that we saw yesterday, who knows? I wonder. Special exit, what do you think? A special exit, a sealed door? For the VIP that we saw yesterday on board Emirates, US Secret Service, a police escort, for that VIP, whoever it was. Or maybe just changing a light bulb. <laughs> Could be doing that. <laughs> no, Josh, you have, you have to say uh, exciting, <laughs> exciting things. That is, okay, we got Delta Flight 991 rolling en route to Las Vegas. Listen, a uh, question by L. Collins. I'm sorry I'm putting this message so late on the screen, okay? May, I think First Officer Mike could Talk answer this, all right? What happens if a passenger has a medical emergency while Air Force One is arriving and there's a lockdown? Mm, okay, great question. That is a very technical <laughs> question. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it's not a Maybe one above answer. your pay grade? <laughs> Might be above my pay grade, but it all depends on the medical emergency, I would think, um, and the phase of flight that the aircraft is in. Depends, is it let's the aircraft on the ground? Is it in the air? Let's say taxiway and there's no movement. And there's no movement. And a passenger, you know, God forbid, yeah. heart attack. Something severe, something yeah. severe, okay? So something, a severe medical emergency, I guess, just contact ground and see what happens? Exactly, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna probably declare an emergency or uh, try to get medical aid as quick as we can to that passenger. The flight attendants will be taking care of them as best that they can and that they're trained for. We'll be working to expedite our uh, taxi back to a gate to get the appropriate medical uh, personnel on board. And is that when, you know, the, uh, the call that we hear in the movies co comes out, is there a doctor in the house? Of course, it could be, could be. We might be soliciting for a doctor if there might be a doctor on board, um, especially if it might be a few minutes before we actually are able to get to a gate. 
Hold on. That's Delta Flight 516 en route to Los Angeles. Ah, Los Angeles. Ah, the oh. LA flights. Uh, isn't there a viewer there? I think there's a viewer uh, in. Ah, uh, yes, Richard Hunt. Is, yes. is that it? But in an aisle seat. So yeah. can you crawl over a couple people? Yeah, come on. Just tell them, hand, hand my light, shine the light out the window. <laughs> And just to be specific, we're not encouraging anyone to do that because that would be a very bad thing to do. So don't do that. I don't know for New Yorkers. I just say, hey, I wanted this seat. Geez, this is a hot day today. My goodness. No, it's, it's really bad. I'm really thankful for Max 39 over here. Max 39? Uh, handing out ice water. Really, really need it today. My goodness, are you ready? Hey, you want to be on camera? Hey, you want to say hi? Look, here's Cool Max. Cool, cool Max. Max coming in. Yesterday, we got your arrival, Cool Max. <laughs> Give us a good wave. <laughs> Bringing us there he is. the ice hold on, drinks. Hold on. There you go. This is Cool Max bringing in the ice water. Much needed. There you go. Thank you, Max. Cheers, guys. Cheers. All right, we have Egypt Air up next to leave. I wonder where it's going. London? Tokyo. Paris. Paris? Shanghai? No way it's heading to Egypt. No way. Really? <laughs> Minneapolis. Forget about it. It's going to Minneapolis? Egypt there on the roll. Oh, I think we're going to have a rare treat. It's going to be parked. It's being uh, towed over next to us. Oh, really? Oh, I see it. Look at that. Yeah. Ah, okay. We'll go to it after the yeah. triple seven. There goes the G90s. Some nice sound today. Nice lift off with Jamaica Bay in the background. All right, let's go to that plane that's towing to us. We saw it for a few seconds. As we were watching Egypt Air lift off, it's Kenya. And Kenya thank you so much, Airways. Billy. Upgrading to Elite from first class to Elite membership. On board LA flights, thank you so much. We have Michael West sending 10 memberships to LA flights live. Thank you so much, Michael, for the 10. As we continue the five membership train to LA flights live. <laughs> Look at that, we have Ethiopian. That's a five times two. Thank you so much, Michael. Coming in from Havana. 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 That's what it says. It's coming. Could that Havana. be a VIP? Oh my goodness! Hold on a minute. Who knows? Yeah. Ethiopian flying in from Havana. Because remember, yesterday we had a a plane coming from from uh, Cuba too, right? Yes. Hold on. They're talking to the Dreamliner. Huh? From Havana, Cuba. My goodness. All right, no wave today. There's no pilots in the flight deck. Who knows, though? We might get the wave from the tow truck, from the crew here. And Bruce Campbell, thank you so much. Ten dollars super chat tip for Max Thirty Nine. He's a great concierge. Thank you so much, Bruce, for that. And uh, Emirates just pu pushed back <laughs> and is now in the alleyway. Just oh yes. Gate eight. Okay, we'll go to it once we see the Kenya Airways. That's a beauty. Look at this. It's. I mean, how close is that, Kevin? This is your first time here. Yes. Is this your first time here, Ethel Mike? Yeah. It is my first time here at the TW Hotel. Yeah. What do you and think? What a view. I mean. <laughs> I mean, come on. How close is that? Is that like 40 yards away? I mean, well, it's. I feel like I could practically touch the planes the from here. Just it just, it just feels like that. 
Wow. It's like being airside. It really is. And I've had experience being airside. Trust me, that's how it feels. At the uh, Kenya parking gate number five, a CRJ looks like 900 <coughs> pushing from Alpha 11 or Alpha 12. And we have Thomas Milan celebrating 10 months of channel membership. I'm sorry I'm putting this message so late, my friend. If I ever miss a message, just tag me at Peter at LA Flight, and I will quickly search for the message and put it on the screen. Thomas Milan, 10 months, only a couple of months ago until gold. You said it perfectly, my friend. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show from the TWA Hotel. Richard in New Jersey, only a few miles away. What's the bridge that you have to cross over to the uh, uh, to New Jersey? What is, what is it called? It? Brooklyn Bridge or something? No, Brooklyn. Come on. Oh, <laughs> that's to Brooklyn. What is it? There's Washington Bridge, yeah. Verrazano Bridge. I think it's the tunnel. Oh, not the tunnels, but they go to Jersey. Well, the famous one is the George Washington, isn't it? Uh, George Washington's uh, to the north. That takes you to Northern Jersey. And Verrazano takes you Southern Jersey. Wow. All right then. There you go. Long Island. Can you tell I'm not a local? Richard in New Jersey. <laughs> you said Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. The Golden Even Gate. I knew Get that. Out of here. The, the Golden, Golden Gate. The Golden Gate. Gate. Yeah. Uh, Richard in New Jersey. Thank you so much. Uh, let's say Egyptian, uh, Egyptian, Egypt there, DC ten, named Egyptian zero one. Almost got it. Got on it once with a news crew, but they canceled on us last moment. My oh, goodness. No. Richard. My goodness. Thank you so much for letting us know. We have... Kai Del Norte sending us a membership milestone. We have you joining into first class. Thank you so much for that. Hey, here's the Ethiopian coming in from Havana. And Laura, I'm putting your message right as we see possibly a VIP plane in front of us. Laura gifting one membership to LA Flash Live. Thank you so much, Laura, in San Francisco, the home of the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> the Brooklyn <laughs> Bridge. We have Andy Ryder, 13 months of channel membership. Hello, guys. Thank you for your continued hard work. I appreciate that. 12 hours yesterday. <clears throat> Five hours. 12 hours. Today, I don't think so. Andy Ryder, thank you so much, my friend. Okay, so there goes a possible VIP. That one flying in from Havana, Cuba. UN Week on LA it's Flight. It's got line. to, I think. I mean, why else would it be coming in from yeah. Cuba? Oh, social media. Got to update social media. Listen, we have behind the scenes pictures on our Instagram, our Facebook, our Twitter page. We're about to cross uh, 2,000 followers on Twitter, which is pretty cool. Oh, really? Almost. It's X, right? X. Oh, yeah. X. Yeah. Whatever it's called. All right, how about this? I'm only going to post on X. Maybe. So it pays to follow us on X, all right? I'm going to put the uh, link. on the live chat. Well, Kevin, that, that A380 that you're talking about that already pushed back, looks like it's running into some traffic. I still haven't seen it. It should be behind. It sh should be behind the terminal, but you can't be. even see that I huge saw it tail. I forward, and then after that, I didn't see where it went. Yeah, so most likely it's just uh, encountering some traffic, some smaller planes. Jet Blue coming in on 2 2 right, landing in front of us on the closest runway. The aircraft type, an E 190. Just came in from Raleigh Durham. How long is that flight? 40 minutes? Sure. You Can you check? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it check. That's right. And thank you so much, John Bacal, sending us a final super chat. Good morning, Peter and Josh. Had a long 
night from work. And I'm happy to tune in for today's episode. Have a good one. Thank you so much for joining your channel. Thank you so much for joining the LA Flights family. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the day of plane spotting, my friend. We have just talking about becoming a member today. Thank you so much for that. Welcome to first class on LA Flights Live. Big triple seven landing on two to left. Coming in, doing a nice flare there. We have there the you go, touching down. And as a side note, that the, the Rally Durham flight, it yeah. takes it was a, an hour ten minute flight. My guesstimate was gonna be one twenty. You beat me by ten. Yeah. And we have Travis. Thank you so much. A ten dollar super chat coming in just a few minutes ago. Looks like a gorgeous day for plane spotting at JFK. Listen, it's a gorgeous day, yes. It's a hot day. It's a sunny day. And if you're standing out in the sun, under the sun for, you know, the crazy amount of hours that we're going to be standing out, you know. Oh, wow. It's a hot day. <laughs> you heard that? Must I be an A220. Definitely. But where? Oh, I see it. It's, I think it's this one. No, this is an E190. Thank you so much, Kyle, sending us a $5 super check. Good morning back from Los Angeles, gents. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thank you so much, Kyle, for watching LA Flights. All UN right. Week, day two. Peter, we may have a diplomat charter that's taxing. Oh, um, UN Week. All right, well, let's go for it. This, oh, yes. This is a strange. This is like yeah, a charter. Yeah, no, this it's, is it. it this is that's one. It. It's from, but it's going to SWF, which is what? That, uh, Stewart. Stewart, that, okay. where they parked them. Right? So that confirms it. So that okay. means it dropped off. Somebody. It's yeah. VIP, VIP, possible head of states for the UN General Assembly happening uh, this Tuesday, right? This right. Tuesday, Wednesday? Yeah, no, that's of, it. The name of the airline is, it's stating is Plus Ultra. So that must be like a charter flight. That's the name of the airline, Plus Ultra. Do you know where it flew in from? Um, can I, uh, maybe we can check flight radar, uh, let's see, or radar box or whoever has to, whoever has this plane. Uh, let's see, it has a Spanish registration. So it is a chartered flight. It doesn't it's, necessarily mean it's from Spain. Right. I mean, officially it's PUE flight 994. PUE 994. Look at this. Okay, so this one flew in from Madrid to Havana, then Havana to New ah, York. Okay. So possibly a Spanish... Uh, dignitary, Madrid to Havana. Yeah, Havana no, it's to New got York. to be. It's got to be. Look at that. So it's probably flying empty to go park somewhere, right? Yes. So it dropped off its uh, VIP and uh, going to park the plane. They yeah, I saw this. Uh, this one landed uh, two hours ago. I saw it when as we were setting up. We have Marcos, Marcos A, welcome to first class and orange plane beside your name. Thank you so much for joining the LA Flights membership family. All right, so that one, a chartered flight fl uh, flying in from Madrid to Havana, Havana to New York. Wait a minute. Tell me. Didn't Air India just get here? Why are they pushing back? <laughs> That's a second one. Oh, yeah, it's the second one. Look at this. This is the 300. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I didn't even notice this one was there. Look at this. The second Air India flight. I thought I was seeing double. I am seeing double. <laughs> you Flying thought the hours were getting to you, Kevin? Oh, <laughs> look what's in the distance. Do you see that quad jet? Oh, yes. Look at Joshua that. Joshua zooming in to a very big plane. So close to us, we have Air India. In the middle, A380, and I wonder if Eagle Eye plane spotter saw it in the distance. British Airways, a 777-300ER about to cross runway two to right. So that Air India is going to Delhi. And I believe the 777-200LR that we saw earlier headed to Mumbai, right? Correct, correct. Oh, look at that shot. A380 heading to two to right. Air India pushing back. Only in JFK. Look at that. So 
who's going to be coming off of the first line? Well, I'm going to Nantucket. We just had a Delta flight just arrive from Dublin, Ireland. That's where they go, you know. And we have Air France right now coming in. Anyways, you guys, good luck. I don't think it's a good day for you. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. And sounds like the Air India right now starting up its G90s. JetBlue on the roll, 2201, headed to Fort Lauderdale. Oh, I missed the uh, Emirates taxi out. You were talking to one of your fans. Picture? We were uh, Picture. talking with some of the fans here behind the, behind the cameras. Max brought a lot of water here, so if we need any, let's uh, just ask. Let's see, we have the Spanish Charter right now lining up the A330 that came in from Havana. Well, first came in from Madrid, landed in Havana, now two hours ago, landed here in JFK, now leaving. Posted a little, uh, you know, a few behind the scenes pictures on our X account. If you want to take a look at what's happening right now behind the scenes here at the TWA Hotel as we do the second day of plane spotting. Go ahead and click on the highlighted message. Click on that link and it will take it directly to our X page. Hey, Josh, you think we get uh, away from this JetBlue coming in? Ah, oh, man, you know what? I think we're going to miss out on that one. We have the Spanish oh. Charter on the roll. There it goes. Nice and early liftoff. It's flying empty right now. Let's take a look if it's a rocket launch. We have this one climbing as I wait for the tracking app to tell me the vertical speed. 2,100 feet per minute. And I think that's pretty much it. 2,100 feet per minute. Not oh, a rocket. Look at this. We have Super up next. A3 ready up next. Let's go for it. Joshua zooming in to the king. There of we go. The skies. Now looks like Emirates going to wait on the runway. We have a few heavies crossing two to two right after arrival. Yeah, we just had Delta Flight 273 just, just landed from Lisbon. All right, we have Ramona Aviation becoming a channel member. Thank you so much for joining the memberships. We also have uh, Bryant. Becoming a channel member as well. And Air Force One hasn't arrived yet. That was a quick check. Any 
one behind the other. That's Delta Flight 127 coming in from Madrid. One of my favorite cities to lay over in. Is it really? Yeah. Looks like that landing is buttery smooth. Emirates is on the roll. All right, there goes the king of the skies flying back to Dubai. There he goes, the first of three today. First of three in general, or first of three? Emirates, Emirates, Emirates A380s. Yes, we have another one coming in around 3 p.m. from Dubai, and of course the Milan flight around 7. Oh, balloon. Who's reporting it? Oh, in the final. Delta 127 heavy, Roger, thank you. Delta 127 reporting balloons. Uh, did Delta anyone catch heavy, the no distance? I think a mile? Half, half mile final, it sounded like, yeah. They said it was about 600 feet in orange balloon mm -hmm. east Wow. Oh, we'll stay with Swiss. Okay, tower Delta 876, dial left to Delta 876, Kennedy Tower, Cockpit 7, Kennedy Tower, Cockpit 7, Arriving from Zurich. Runway 22 left, put left. Put left, 22 left, Delta 876. Still we're talking about the balloon on final. Balloons, birds, and drones. Threats on final approach. Hey guys, be on the lookout. Gate one, JetBlue, we might have assigned the lights. No kidding. Yeah, gate one. Was that a uh, departure? Uh, let's Gate see. one, uh, it was arrival. Just came arrival. 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 Oh my goodness! Okay, arrival. Uh, we have Chris Vallejo. Are you shining the light, my friend, or are you getting out of the plane? Uh, hold on. Let me know if you see the, the shine of the light. We have Emirates right now doing a beautiful left bank after departure. Look at that! Looks like the Lufthansa when we saw it leave yesterday. True. You're saying we might have a member that's on, on this plane, we just don't know if it's inbound or outbound? It's inbound. First off, it's the mic letting us, uh, that's the inbound, right? That uh, was the inbound, yeah. just yeah. came in from Orlando. Yep. yep. So I think we had a viewer there, but I mean, I'm pretty sure left the plane by now, jeez. All right, welcome to New York, Chris Vallejo. Joshua zooming in to the A380, flying back to Dubai. Oh, we'll be on the jet bridge. Wait, hold on a minute. Jet bridge. Jet bridge. Yeah. I we see can't see the jet bridge. We can't, yeah, we can't see it. Oh, he's waving. Oh, waving. Look oh. at this. Oh, Yay. that's him. Hey. hey. <laughs> we see you. Is that pilot? That is one of the jet boot pilots, it looks like. Yeah. Look at that, Chris. Nice. I thought it was a passenger. Wow. That was quick. <laughs> That was really quick. I guess uh, he was told to come down. Or oh, no, he's coming back. He's coming back. There he is. There you oh, go. Hey. Hey. Say hi to Chris. There you go, Chris. <laughs> My goodness, busy at work. Doing the inspection there. Busy man. Are you ready? Uh, first off, so Mike, do you want to walk through us what he's inspecting right now? Josh, if you yeah, can zoom in. Uh, yeah, I, I can't see him anywhere. Well, oh, I can, I can kind of see him yeah. here. He's kind of walking towards the tow track yeah. right now. So it looks like he's inspecting the nose of the aircraft. There's various inspections we have to do dep depending on uh, what part of the aircraft we're looking at. It looks like he was looking at the uh, the nose landing gear. Swing coming around to the right side of the aircraft, checking out the nose and uh, radome, making sure that the radar's good. Sometimes it depends what airplane you're flying. There's uh, oxygen. Uh, uh, where is he, Peter? Yeah, uh, it's, it's hard. He's on the other yeah. side of the fuse. Yeah, I can't see him. I wish I can. I just can't. But for right now, yeah, he looks like he's inspecting the uh, right main landing gear. I can see his legs over there checking the brakes and tires. 
the struts for proper inflation. Checking out the landing gear, the wheel wells. It's a hard perspective for Josh to yeah, see. Yeah, I just can't. Uh, I'm trying it's my okay. best here. I'll narrate it. <laughs> As we wait for another departure and arrival. And Air India, number two to leave. Oh, here All we right. go. I think we can start seeing. Uh, was the first officer? First officer, Chris. We have Jets at Boston. Oh. Four months of channel membership this weekend has been insane at JFK. Thank there you so much is. for being Doing there and catching all the action. Thank you for the four months. Thank you so much, Jets said Boston. There you go, Chris. Hard Chris at work. Right now. Hard so, at work, checking out that tail. Yeah. Hey, FL Mike, so I guess the first officers, are they always doing the inspections? Uh, they could be. Um, usually we like to alternate between flights, depending on who's flying uh, the next leg. So usually if the first officer's flying, sometimes the captain will do the pre-flight. And if the captain's uh, doing the, the next flight, the first officer will pre-flight. Ah, okay. So, uh, so it looks, looks like, like an understanding ahead of time who yeah, have that duty? Yeah, exactly. It's like an unwritten rule, maybe? Kind of, yeah. Did you guys go in like a pre-flight room or, or whatever when you plan your trip, right, before you actually come to the, the boarding gate of the plane? Uh, actually, we, uh, we do go to the crew room. We oh, could do okay. some pre-flight duties there, but most of our pre-flight duties will end up in the flight deck. But, I mean, how would you know who's doing what? Do you do it in that crew room? Oh, we just talk about it in the, in, in the flight deck. Oh, so really? A lot of times okay. we either meet on the airplane or at the gate, and then we'll... Uh, introduce ourselves if we haven't met before and uh, we'll talk about you know our plan for the entire trip whether it's two three four or five days i've always wanted to know do you when when you i know you have to bid and do all that stuff to get your flights but do you always get paired up always with the same like captain or it's just arbitrary it's it's pretty much arbitrary yeah it depends on what you want to bid like you were saying we can choose certain parameters that we want to choose for for every month correct so just coincidental the captain say it happens to have the same preferences that you choose when correct bidding yeah i see correct i always i didn't know if like, like if I, know, like, I would try to bid with captain crews. ken yeah but I, <laughs> yeah that would be cool if i could bid to fly with captain ken all the time well you know Back on Wednesday, I was talking to you, and you gave me a pretty good explanation why you're still an FO at Delta and why you probably don't want to be a captain just yet. It's because you were a captain back when you were flying with Endeavor, right? Your previous job, right? That's correct, Josh. So you, you just want the seniority over the FOs. <laughs> <laughs> because if you were a captain right now, you wouldn't have as much seniority. That is true. That is true, yeah. I mean, I, I could be Captain Mike, but I choose to be uh, First Officer Mike right now. It's, uh, so you just want to rule over the First Officer. Yeah. Right? yeah, just keep that top seniority. <laughs> I, I, always, I always felt like, you know, all the FOs, they want to, well, most of them, you know, the, they they want to get be captain as soon as possible. That was my thinking. But you you gave a, a perfect explanation there. You just want to have seniority over the FOs just to have a better quality of life, right? That's true, hundred percent. Love that quality of life. Getting those days offs that I like and the trips that I want and get to go where I want to go when I want to go there. And so if and when the opportunity ever arose for you to accept the captain. Does that mean you literally start again at the ground floor as a captain? They don't incorporate your previous years with the with, with the company as an FO. What was that? One more time. I was curious when you, uh, if you ever have the opportunity to uh, accept a captain position. Sure. Do they not take into account your previous years, or do you literally start on the, as a captain on the ground floor and start your work your way up again? Uh, not quite. Okay. Um, so if if I were to choose one of the captain slots, um, I say on the 757 or 767 that I'm currently flying, I would slot in as a captain in my seniority rank. Oh, okay. On the captain's side. So if someone, let's say, was junior to me, became a captain, and then I, let's say, next the following month became another captain he would actually fall below me because my seniority would be higher than him. I see. So when the time comes and uh, the seniority is well, in the right spot, then 
first officer Mike will will take the upgrade. Okay. Yeah, so it's just a big timing thing, right? Right. Correct, Josh. Okay, a few super chats to get. We have Ruv Chopra sending us a super chat. Hey, Peter, Josh, I have come online to see Air India, 777-300ER to New Delhi. Enjoy the day at JFK. Uh, the big 777-300ER that we saw depart just a few minutes ago. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed that takeoff. Message okay. coming in a few minutes ago. Thank you so much, Ruv Chopra. We have Ramona Aviation sending us a $10 tip. Oh, we got a little small executive jet. Oh, exact jet. It's on its way to Martha's Vineyard. That's yeah, the way let's to go travel. take a look. Uh, that's Max. the way to go to Martha's Vineyard, right? <laughs> that's that's the best way to go. Max here giving me a little update from a few plane spotters over here, maybe with some intel. We might be getting an uh, Air Force plane coming in, but that's oh. uh, that's all speculation. It's not confirmed. Oh wow! Look at that. Air Force plane possibly in preparation of Air Force One arrival. Who knows? We have Ramona. Thank you so much. I met you guys this past February at the TWA Hotel. I won't forget that. Thank you for the awesome content. Ramona, my goodness, we're going to be here the entire week. Come we would have loved. Yeah, yeah. We, we would have loved to have yeah. seen you again. My goodness, oh. Ramona. Look at this. It's Joshua. What is this? In. Let's take a look. This All could right. have been it. Yeah, okay. It wasn't US Air Force. South African Air Force. Yeah, that's what it is. Wow. We have the wow. South African Air Force arriving in front of LA flights. There you go. Hey, I wonder if there's any South Africans here watching. Little, yeah. little national pride there. I wonder if we have any viewers from South Africa. I bet we do. So that is a 737-700 BBJ series. That's owned by the South African Air Force. Boeing business jet. Must be beautiful on the inside. And uh, who's, who's taxiing right past us right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the, the, the Peruvians. We have the Peruvians right in front of LA flights now from South Africa to Peru. UN Week taking the spotlights on LA Flights Live. Yeah. Peruvian Air Force. You know, we only get to see... Where else can we see this amount of head of states, planes, government aircraft, Air Force aircraft, all in one place at one time, other than the UN week, right. especially on a Sunday right. here at JFK? Where else? Yeah. No, so that's a 737 else. 500 series. That, that is the on. classic. Things are heating up. Things VIP are heating style. up. I'm telling you this, we've heard it from a few sources. Sunday, today, the busiest day all week long in regards to VIP movement. Well, Peter, I, I like how you were saying that where else can you see all these VIPs, all these air forces from different countries? Well, you know, I, I, I'm sure you could go to different airports whenever they're having some type of meeting. Uh, you know, uh, a big national, big uh, international meeting. But on top of all the Air Force planes, you get five A380s, a flurry of commercial flights, regional flights. That really is one of a kind. I mean, that's, that's something really only JFK can offer, especially during the week. And it's concentrated. We actually know they're all going to show up. So it's not speculation. It's not like, oh, you know, will it show up or not? They're going to arrive here at JFK one way or another. Yeah. So that's that's really something that JFK is extremely unique to. We have Peter. Thank you so much. $10 Super Chat. First off, oh, a question for our first officer, Mike. Peter says, have you ever found anything serious on your walk around? Oh, have I found anything serious? I, I worthy guess that's of subjective, uh, right? <laughs> what you call serious? I don't think I've ever had anything that I would have said that this would ground the airplane. Let's see. I'm sorry, Peter. I can't say I've found anything too serious. Just maybe a few bird strikes. Oh, hold up, bird strikes. Bird yeah. strikes, really? Okay, that's interesting. Go for it. 
Give us the details. Yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes they're, they are known and sometimes they were unknown to us. Um, I did actually have one coming into Philadelphia once, coming in one of the shorter runways at night, so you can't even see them coming. Wow. And all of a sudden, it right in the middle of my windshield. Wow. wow. Yeah. And the windshield. Right on the windshield. Wow. At, wow. Night, at night, yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Maybe a little jump there? Yeah. A little jump. <laughs> I know you have nerves of steel, but, I mean, that'll spook anybody, at least for a second. And we have Melissa Glass sending us a $5 Super Chat. Thank you so much. Please wish my husband, Chris, a happy 37th birthday. I want the entire LA Flights family to send the happy birthday vibes to Chris, celebrating 37 years of age during the day, uh, during the second day of UN Week on LA Flights Live. Thank you, Melissa. Happy birthday, Chris. I wish you guys an amazing Sunday. We have Laura sending us a five dollars super chat. First, oh, another question. I think we're doing a little bit of a Q and A session. Yeah, hey, Q and A. I, uh, I think uh, let's let's ask FL Mike all the questions we can. I don't think he's going to be here for twelve hours, just like us. First off, some Mike. Do you ever have awkward silence in the cockpit, especially on longer flights? Like if you're not vibing with the captain, is it awkward? <laughs> I know this. Yes, <laughs> I think we're Joshua talking about knows this it, yeah. on Wednesday. <laughs> There are some awkward vibes sometimes oh. in the flight deck. <laughs> but uh, we just stick to our procedures and you know, we, uh, we accomplish our jobs effectively and safely. But yes, there are some, some awkward moments of maybe, silence. Uh, maybe some captains you don't want to be stuck with sometimes, right? Uh, I'm <laughs> silently nodding my deny. head, yes. <laughs> Can't confirm or deny. Okay, yeah, ju just don't confirm or deny. <laughs> I'll do the talking. <laughs> There goes the uh, the 737 500. Yep. yep. Well, it feels like uh, the wind's picking up. And do we have a go around up oh, overhead? Oh, no kidding. Oh, Who's yes. that overhead? Yeah, you're right. It may oh, have been because of the uh, VIP Julia, movement there. Overnight. The 73 <laughs> taking off. They sent right, it. Looks like what is it? Gulf Stream. There it is. CRJ. Yeah, it's definitely an exec jet. A like Gulfstream of some sort. You know something? It's a Gulfstream 5. That one flying steady at 5,000 feet. Let's see. Could be to uh, the uh, VIP movement here. They had to take off before uh, what is the gate number? this guy come, uh, come in and land. You know something? I think that wasn't a go around. I think that one took off out of Long Island and possibly heading to one of the nearby airports. Ah, okay. Because the flight path doesn't have it uh, joining final for the 22s. Oh, no. That's an interesting flight path over here at Kennedy. And we have the Tour sending us a two-down super chat. Is it easier to fly the small planes versus the bigger planes? I guess that's, uh, a, that's not a question to me. That's not sure? a question to Kevin. I mean, if you want, you can go ahead and answer, Peter. <laughs> I can answer on the uh, viewpoint of Flight Simulator, but I think everyone wants to hear First Officer Mike. Uh, First Officer Mike, uh, uh, answer to that question. Um, I think it might be a little easier to fly the bigger planes just because they have a little more mass to them, a little more weight. Um, they can handle some of the winds better. You can compare it to like uh, being on a small boat or versus a cruise ship. You know, the small boat's going to feel the waves more than the cruise ship's going to feel them. So, I feel that's the same way with the uh, with the bigger planes versus the smaller planes. I love the Q and A session. Yeah, we're having a makeshift Q and A session with yeah. First Officer Mike. I mean, yeah, this we is, should ask away. I mean, this is really your first visit for the uh, you know to the LA flight it channel. Sure is, so yeah. this is you know really the first time that the viewers get to know First Officer Mike. That's true. First, uh, let's see. No, not First Officer. We have Marcy sending us a two dollars super chat, enjoying every minute of UN Week Day Two. I'm very happy to hear that, Marcy. I am very happy to hear that. Iceland Air Cargo, a plane that we normally don't get to see. Get ready. We have one, two, three, four, five, six heavies coming in. Angela, hey guys, question for First Officer. Have you ever known there to be a short staffing that would cause a flight to be flown by two First Officers? Uh, never. Never. Yeah, never. And there always has to be a captain. There always has to be a first officer. 
Um, on the international flights, there will always be at least a minimum of one captain and two first officers. Um, but yeah, there are never two first officer pairings. Uh, how about the captains? Two captains, yes. Ah, okay. We can have two captains. Two oh, captains, really? yes. Okay. Two captains, yes, not two first officers. Who, t who ranks, outranks the other? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whoever is uh, sitting in the left seat at that moment. Is it just a rush to get to the left seat? Or <laughs> <laughs> I call uh, it's like rock, paper, scissors yeah. for the left seat, right? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Early rotation for the Iceland Air Cargo. Yeah. It's a good looking airplane. Flying to Reykjavik. And guess what? 67 300. Yeah. That's the Delta flight that just arrived, the 757, from Reykjavik. Oh, wow. Oh, Look really? at that. We're turning into uh, Reykjavik all yeah. of a sudden. Which I know is a flight Captain Ken had done not oh, too yeah. long ago. Last time yep. we were here, he, he, we saw him just before he went to that flight. Correct. Oh, man, it's really getting windy. It is, isn't it? The wind <laughs> is picking yeah. up. Hold on a minute. Uh, wind directions from where? Hopefully, they're not changing the runways on us. Uh, we'll we'll oh. take a look. It looks still favorable for the 22s. Uh, there is the windsock right there, and yes, that's headwind for the 22s. Waiting for JFK to update their uh, weather here. It looks like, yep, 210 at 9 knots still. But this cloud cover is uh, pretty favorable for us right now. I appreciate it. Right? Yeah. No, it, was getting so really, it was getting toasty a yeah. few minutes ago. Jeez. Uh, let's see, we have a few messages to get to. We have Ann Wilson sending a slice of cake to our viewer. Are you ready? The oh, It's getting windy. I know, right? The LA Flights Bakery is on, is active. Thank you so much, Ann. We have Manuel sending us a $5 super chat. Hermanos Locos and all the guests. <laughs> Locos? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. And all the guests on your show helping you. Your show helps me relax. Reminds me when I was a kid playing spotting at Southgate by LAX. Thank you so much, uh, so much, Manuel. Welcome to the TWA Hotel. We want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, Manuel. We have Bess Franklin sending us a $5 Super Chat. Thank you for providing my partner, Matthew, with hours of entertainment. Shout out to Matthew. Welcome to LA Flights. Marcy, thank you so much. Enjoying every minute of UN Week, day two. Day two, thank you so much for joining. We have Fire Talker, All Access VIP member. First Officer Mike, tell us about your last go around, please. Tell us about the, my last go around. Last, if you ever had yeah. a go around. Uh, it's been a little while, probably. Uh, the last time I did it was in the simulator last month. Because oh. uh, we, we have to go every about nine, 10 months for a recurrent training, and we always practice. That's one of the maneuvers we practice there, but. My last go around probably was uh, here in JFK, I really? would say. Ah, really? Yeah. How long ago was it? Uh, probably about three months ago. Oh, wow. Three uh, months ago. That's not too yeah. long. So not too long, though. What was the reason for the go around, if you uh, don't mind me uh, asking? Uh, Wince. We uh, had to change runways. We came in on the two twos, and we actually went around. It was actually pretty like a high altitude level off, about 2,000 feet. And we just swung around and came in on the uh, three ones. OK. Oh, yeah. OK. Oh, hey, look at this. Yes. <laughs> there he is. Look at this. Oh, man, we just saw him wave at the JetBlue terminal, and he made his way up here. Hey, do you want to say hi to the camera or no? Yeah, you're good with that, though? OK, listen, we have, if you want, I can just have you here on the phone. No, no, come come by, say hi. That's uh, all right, yeah, if he wants come to come by. You have some stickers? Uh, I have stickers, yeah. I like how. Kevin was trying to whisper it, trying to just yeah. tell me. <laughs> we heard it. We heard Everyone heard it. it. Yeah, the same way you people. whisper, it's only going to be a 12-hour show. Oh, my goodness. Uh, listen, okay, so what, we have one of the uh, backup. Oh, look at this. We might have a special guest. Okay. Mystery Care guest. Care about the uh, wires, okay, my friend? <laughs> a bit of a mystery guest, FM Mike. Wow, look at this. Second we have a mystery guest. We have a bit of a round table going on. We have a little bit of a round table. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Just make sure to unmute it. Hold on, let's see. View behind the scenes. It is three. All right. Give us a few seconds. All right, you want to do the mic check? 
Oh, check, check. Yep. Yes. As there you can put go. it next to your mouth, though. Yeah, pretty close to yeah. the mouth. Yeah. There, there you go. go. That's really now, good. Now we can hear your glorious voice. Awesome. <laughs> Look at this. We have first officer Chris, who gave us the... You're going to stand right here, right? Uh, yeah, you know something? I'll, I'll do this one instead. Oh, okay. Look at this. I feel really so cool. underdressed. There's so many stripes of seniority <laughs> up here now. I know. This is a... Forget about the captain's round table. We got the FO round table First going on. round table, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, okay, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, okay, look at this. We have Great. First Officer Chris and there Kevin's face kind of chopped Hello off. Guys. Yeah. Hello, guys. Better, right? Let me get out of the way. <laughs> no, you're good. We Look got at this, the, First the, Officer Chris. Yeah, the First Officer Roundtable. And listen, for those of you who didn't know, we have First Officer Mike on the left side of the screen. First Officer for Delta. Yep. Very nice. That's correct. Look at that. How was your flight, uh, First Officer Chris? It was Chris? good. Uh, no, I we, we taxied in, and I noticed there's a lot of cameras. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I always supported this cause. I was a plane spotter myself before wow. I became a pilot. And... Uh, you know, back in flight school, when I was still instructing a couple of years ago, you would always play this, uh, you know, L LA flights in, in the TV in, 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 uh, in our flight school. Oh, that's school. crazy. Yeah, Look at that. Just, you that's know, so trying cool. to motivate all, all, the, all the student pilots <laughs> wow. around. And, yeah. And uh, yeah, now it's uh, glad to be here. It's glad to meet all of you guys. And, you know, I really support this cause. I, lo I love this. No, that's wow. very nice. Yeah, I love Listen, hearing that. We are so happy to have you here <laughs> yeah. with us. My goodness. Let's give a big shout out. Let's give a big welcome <laughs> yeah, to give First Friendly Officer vibes. Chris, so giving us the big wave <laughs> yeah. down below. My yeah. goodness. So nice to meet hey, you, my nice friend. Nice to meet you. Thank hey, you. how long do Thank you, you have? Are you ready? Uh, no, I'm, I'm actually done. Yeah. Oh, I'm done flying for yeah. the day. Where'd yeah, you come in from? I uh, came from Raleigh. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. the rally turn this morning. Oh, we saw your, uh, we saw your landing. I remember calling it out. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we mm -hmm. saw yeah. you. Yeah, rally, and then uh, that's that's it. I'm off, I'm off for a couple of days. Uh, nice. I'm on my way home right now. Oh, very, very nice. Cool. Thank you so much for yeah. stopping by, course, my friend. thank okay? you. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, All right, guys. first officer Chris. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. Give it up for so First Officer there. Chris, yeah. guys. He gave us a big yeah, wave down below at Terminal 5. I'll show you his plane. This yeah, is the one that he on came in on. He's on the Ember. This one right here. Yeah, yeah from Raleigh. This is the one we're talking about, Kevin. Yeah. The, the flight time. It took an hour, 10 minutes to do that flight. And now here he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's... it's and a little taste of the uh, first officer roundtable there with F.O. Mike. I was trying to trying to uh, convince. Did you hear my uh, convincing skills, Josh? Trying to convince first uh, first officer Chris to stay yeah, for 12 was, hours. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I can't blame him though. He, we're gonna keep him here for 12 hours. Smart guy. I'm I'm on the lower side. Oh man, F.O. Mike and. FO Chris wow. talking shop. They should have uh, talked shop tearing the mics. This is great. There goes DHL 777 that just landed. We saw the touchdown. We have Cafe Pacific right now crossing 2 2 right. All right, we have Cafe Pacific crossing the runway. Oh, uh, let's in. Oh, look, this is a uh, surprise. Our surprise yeah, guest. Yeah, yeah, surprise guest. <clears throat> Hi, nice to meet you. First officer Mike in the back. Hey, how's it going? He came in on that one. Yeah, I'm gonna want to Okay. Wow, look at this. We have a very, very special guest coming up, guys. I am so excited about this guest. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. This, we've been trying to get this guest. Oh, yes. Thank you again. Wow. 
Oh man, I, I'm, I'm really excited about this next guest, Peter. Are you this, ready? We've been trying to get this guest on for so long, and it's finally here. No, no let's not let's not uh, give too much away. No, no, of course not. But we need a little backstory. All right, listen, hold on. Let me get to a few messages, my friends, as we prepare uh, an incredible day of plane spotting with us. You know, we keep this excitement up. We're going to have to go on to Netflix. We're going to become a big thing. <laughs> Big thing, LA flights. Forget about it. Forget about it. Very cool. First officer Chris to stop wow. by after his flight today. No, 12 hours for first officer Chris. Are you Such ready? a cool guy, and I love. I mean, I can't even believe that over there in flight training, watching the LA flight show on the big screen, you know, just to keep them motivated. I mean, that's so, cool. yeah. so surreal. Really, I can't even believe that. But I was curious. He was doing the walk around after the flight. So yeah, it depends on uh, how long the plane's going to be uh, resting for. So you have your pre-flight inspection and then you have your post-flight inspection. Know that. Yes. Okay. So if the plane's going to be sitting for more than a X, X amount, amount of, of hours, uh, you will have to do a post-flight oh, inspection. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Let me get to a few messages before we have our next guest. We have a two Canadian super chat coming in. Air Force One scheduled to arrive around six. PM today, 6 PM. We have awesome aviation celebrating one month of channel membership. First officer Mike, what is the smoothest landing you've ever made? And kind of keep it brief. Smoothest landing I've ever made was actually recorded by LA flights. Hey. Geneva oh, flight 99 really? <laughs> back on 4th of July. The wow. 4th of July special. Yeah. I think, uh, I think Captain Ken gave you like a 7 out of 10 rating on that oh. arrival. Oh, oh, 7 out of 10. No, <laughs> no. that was a perfect 10 out of 10. Like butter. We have Aviation 108, two months of channel membership. Keep up, keep up the awesome work, Peter and Josh. Love the New York special. Have fun. Have a fun time in New York. You got it, my friend. Mark Razor getting close to the second year of channel membership. They're joining us. So many planes and we haven't that we haven't seen before. Listen, so many planes, VIP plane spotting, UN week. That's why we are having so much fun. Thank you so much, Mark. Sorry for putting up your message so late. We have Songim, oh my goodness, sending us about a super chat. First officer Mike, is there a time that, uh, is there a, ever a time when there's not at least two people in the cockpit at one time? I guess it's just a concern of mine. Thank you. No, there are always uh, two people in the flight deck, always, at all, all phases of flight, unless we're parked at the gate. We have Jacob sending us a $5 super chat last year. My flight went around for wake at SFO. Have you all experienced wake turbulence on landing or takeoff? Enjoying the stream. I haven't really on uh, my passenger flights. No. You either? <laughs> I have, yeah, sure. I have. Uh, probably on uh, every airplane that I've flown, yeah. It's just a part just, of the business, right? It's part of flying, yeah. Part of flight. Yeah. Uh, Justin Perkins sending us a $25 super chat. Thank you so much. Sending some beer money from the here. <laughs> What's this airport? Uh, India Tango Hotel. ITH. ITH? Yeah. That's not Ithaca. Ithaca? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm taking a guess. Thank you, Justin. Are you ready as we pull out our iPhones? Oh, my goodness. Justin Perkins, I appreciate that, my friend. Some root beer for... LA Flash Live. Justin, you are great, my friend. Thank you so much. All right, guys, uh, let's get ready for yeah, a let's start special this up. guest. Let's see, in the meantime, we have Uzbekistan. Now, this isn't the same Uzbekistan that we saw parked. This is a different one. This is the passenger flight. Uh, it has a different, completely different registration, and it looks like. Uh, my guess, uh, I'll have to check if it has flight info. Is it a different registration? Because that yeah. Uzbekistan was, wasn't that the one that was parked there with the engine no, yeah. covers? That's, that's a completely different uh, registration. This is a commercial flight. And yes, Uz Uz Uzbekistan 102. Oh, okay. Heading to Tashkent. I'm guessing in Uzbekistan. Let's see, we have an Asiana special livery right now. Thank you, thank you, Max. Uh, here is the Asiana in the special livery in the football, the football club livery. The national team. Yeah, 
Let's see, Peter and Kevin right now setting some stuff up for the special guest that we have. So this is going to just take a few more minutes and looks like Kevin is bringing the special guest down. Guys, you're going to love this. This is going to be very, very cool. Stay tuned, please. You're not going to want to miss it. Next few minutes, we're going to have a special guest. Seven sixty-seven coming in on two two left. All right, seven sixty-seven three hundred. That's the first officer Mike plane coming in from Edinburgh. <laughs> first officer Mike plane. What about the Captain Ken Mobile? The Captain Ken Mobile. Yeah, if we're if we're together, it might be the Captain Ken Mobile that day. Yeah. Well, talking about 767s, looks like we have one trying to cross the runaway. This one was also an arrival. Coming in from Brussels, flights 141. Do you know where that, uh, the other 767 was coming in from? The Any one that idea? just landed? Yeah, it was uh, Edinburgh. Edinburgh, okay. Yeah. Edinburgh, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. <laughs> However you want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you, you got it? You're muted? Okay. Uh, on one, you see the red light? The, no, 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 the, the big thing. Uh, yeah, you good? Un unmute Kevin. <laughs> Is it red? Am I red? No. Yes, there now we go. can hear you. Thank Bra you. or uh, burrow? Bra. Bra. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Okay. Edinburgh. That's what I thought. I spent two summers there. I better know. Oh, really? I have a kilt at home. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story That's for another, another day. Story. It was in the drunken state. Never mind. It was a drunken <laughs> state of mine. Okay. I think enough said. Asiana landing, uh, lining up right now on 2 2 right. This one, of course, heading to Seoul. And that one is uh, going to be a lineup in way we have uh, all the heavies are crossing right now. Ah, yes, we do. All right, so Asiana, like FO Mike said, lineup and weights. We have 767 from Brussels crossing. We also have an American Airlines crossing as well. Well, I think, is the American Airlines crossing? I think they might be holding short, yeah. Uh, no? Yeah, it's still holding short. They okay. Only, looks like they oh, only crossed one airplane. holding short. Yeah. Okay. Asiana on the move. There goes the Asiana in the special livery, the national football team livery. Heading back to Seoul, flight 221. There it is, there it is. We have an A330 landing right now. It's uh, Aer Lingus. And looks like the Brussels flight that Delta Airlines was operating finally crossing the runway. Also, that 777 American Airlines following suit, doing the same thing. Very expedited crossing there by American Airlines, getting out of the way. We do have a lot, a big line of departures happening right now. Aer Lingus had just come, uh, just touched down from Dublin. From Dublin, okay. Let's see, guys. Peter just giving our special guest the rundown. Make sure to unmute the mic, Peter. Okay, it is, let's see, 
three. Okay, yes. All right, here we go. We have the special guest all hooked okay. up. Okay, listen, <laughs> special guest with us. And I'm sure everyone will be excited uh, about this mystery oh, guest. Oh, yes. Can the mystery guest say <laughs> something to the LA Flight <laughs> viewers? Uh, hello, LA Flight uh, viewers. <laughs> Come on, we all, know know have, we all know that voice. Does anyone have any guesses who the mystery guest is? Pull her mic a little closer. Oh, yeah, just a little bit closer? Yeah. Just a, yeah. yeah, there you just go. Just a little bit. Thank it's you. to be touching my... No, it doesn't uh, have to touch. No. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> have to... Yeah, it's yeah, okay. just a little like bit close, though. Do we have any guesses to who is joining LA Flights right now? Now, we gave this guest a nickname because we did not know mm. the name of this viewer. Is the Our name going to change now? <laughs> it's going <laughs> to be changed. Are you ready? Okay. It's going to be changed. I think we have a lot of guesses. We have... Do we have correct ones? We have a lot. So the nickname, <laughs> are you ready? So w for the last time on LA Flights Live, get ready. Yes. You will hear me say Kennedy Steph. That is the last ever <laughs> time you'll hear me say. We have, are you ready for the uh, camera? Sure. We have Kennedy Steph joining us. Wow. Da -da -da. Come on. Hello, Let's everyone. give it up. <laughs> Round of applause. I can't believe we have Kennedy Steph, the world famous Kennedy Steph. Listen, here on the show. World Trust famous. me, you are. <laughs> believe it or not, you know, we have so many viewers from around the world knowing who is Kennedy Steph, recognizing the voice every single time we come out to do the uh, live shows. And here in New York, and we hear the uh, tower frequency, whenever we hear, you know, the voice, we all know it's Kennedy Steph. Is the soothing the voice? voice. Soothing voice, <laughs> by the way. Yes. Voice. Is it the voice or is it the accent? That you know it? something? It <laughs> is... A combination of everything. It's a combination of everything and also <laughs> your demeanor when yes. talking to the... It's just so different from all the other controllers and you know and i'm not saying that you know everyone else is you know doing a bad job good job it's just such a different style of it is different and yeah. you know you Listen, told everyone me everyone has their own little technique of how they work absolutely guys look at this let's give it up for kennedy staff <laughs> for the last time ever and now it's going to be just Joanna. <laughs> Just Joanna. Just Joanna. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? We have <laughs> Kennedy Joanna forever. That's going to be the name. <laughs> Kennedy Joanna. Just Joanna. Just Joanna. Just Joanna. Just Joanna. <laughs> Just Joanna. Are you ready? Uh, such a wonderful time here. If you have any questions here at the uh, LA Flies channel for Ken for Joanna, are you ready? Please send your questions. And we're gonna go back to the planes, everybody. We have Uzbekistan, we have Air Lingus. You have joined us. Are you ready, Joanna? You yeah. have joined us in, I think, one of the busiest weeks, I think, for JFK. We have so many VIP arrivals. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of dignitaries from around the world keeping you know everyone on their toes here at JFK. A lot of excitement. That's why we're here. This is the sixth time that we visited the TWA Hotel. For this reason, you and we? I caught you last time. That's the first time I was aware of wow. LA flights, which was around July 4th, I think. July 4th. Yeah, yeah. that was the, the last time we were here. of July special. And I can see you from the tower with our binoculars. Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah, really? I can see you from like, mm -hmm. Well, I try to zoom into the tower. I don't know where to zoom in, though, exactly. It's a very unique tower because I there's many levels. I have no really idea you know what yeah. you're allowed to tell us but i just don't know well we work all the way on the top okay that's, that's the easy. tower car okay <laughs> the lower level that's ramp control for delta really? and then oh. the uh i actually worked that was my first aviation job to yeah. work on that lower, on level. lower level right but here. i didn't work for delta at the time right. it was for iat okay. uh, delta was not at this terminal yet um and then the the levels, the three levels right below the tower cab. Yeah, the, we're getting it right now on the camera. Yeah, we're zooming too. in right now to the... Uh, Those are the break rooms and equipment and oh, okay. all of that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, and then the thing that's spinning all the way on the top, that's our ground radar. It makes us, lets us see all the airplanes that wow. are moving around on the ground. Not the ones on the ramp here, just on the active taxiways. But you said that ground control is only for Delta on the lower level? Well, the entire terminal. I think they share that level with IAT now. I see. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. 
such an incredibly Very busy airspace here in New York. Uh, it I think is, yeah. One it's of the one of the com most complicated ones in you know. the country because we have LaGuardia, we have Newark, we have JFK, all in a close proximity to each other. And I think the flight operations here at JFK also depends on flight patterns being used yes. in LaGuardia mm -hmm. and the surrounding airports, mm -hmm. Newark as well. So if LaGuardia is using you know a certain pattern. JFK has to adjust to that, right? Well, m most of the time LaGuardia will adjust to us. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. No, that's but, it. Uh, but not all the time, no. It's not, it's not all the time. But um, we try to work together as a team. We want every airport to have the most efficient flow. But like when, when, when you obviously have someone like the president or someone that, you know, where there's a shutdown, does that indirectly affect even the other two airports? Um, or just you per se? It's a general question. Just. Um, I'm not sure how it affects LaGuardia. Okay. I'm not sure how it affects other airports. Okay. Mm. But it's just like a uh, it's just a, like a complete lockdown here at JFK. Mm. Last year we were here, right? And we had like let's say the big A380 divert to Boston during okay. that arrival. Well, why did they divert, do you know? It was such a massive traffic jam. Uh, I remember, so we were in Boston during that arrival, uh, excuse me, for the takeoff, and we just saw on, you know, the tracking apps, right? A massive traffic line of, I think, 40, 50 planes <laughs> wanting to leave via the force. Do you, do you force that I was just going to ask which one was set up where you on? Yeah, okay, so we were in Boston, but we were tracking the, uh, you know, the arrival okay. last year on the flight, you know, on the flight tracking apps. And, you know, there was a massive traffic jam, a congestion happening, everyone wanting to leave via the four, uh, four left. And, of course, Air Force One just locking it down, and no mm -hmm. one moves when that big plane is here. Um, big 777 arriving right now. Listen, Matt, so runway... 22, I've never seen a departure happen on 22 left. All the departures happen on two just right. one specific runway, right? 22 no, actually right? Actually, it's two. Most of the time, we try to have two departure runways oh. during the departure push. That's why you see the runway change happens. Yeah. From, it happened yesterday from the 31s to the 22s. We saw that. We, we were, were there. Right here, yeah. <laughs> right? Just because when we are on the 31s, we only do have one departure runway. However, when we switch to the 22s, we add 3-1 left at yes. Kilo Echo yeah. as one of our departure runways. Oh. So then we end up with two departure runways. And that way we don't end up with that huge departure line. Absolutely. Yeah. And those are aircraft that don't require the full length of 3-1 left that can are light enough to use a Most shorter... Most of the time, okay. we have the Air New Zealand that departs 3-1 left really? as well. Oh. And most of the time, they request the full length of that runway. So it's always accommodated. We could take them to the full length. It's an easy accommodation. Wow. Even when the 22s are active? Even when the 22s are active, yes. It's a little... Is it easier for that to happen? I mean, I can imagine if you have a line of a million planes wanting to leave via 22 right, and then an aircraft is requesting the full length of 3-1 left, that's so going to be... These aircraft out there, they're holding mm -hmm. on Juliet. Um, there's a coordination that would happen to stay yes. off of that taxiway, and we would move those aircraft away. And then the aircraft that requires the full length of 3-1 left would be crossed on Juliet to the other side. And it's a very easy accommodation because we don't have to coordinate anything with the departure control because it's still the same runway, it's still the same departure. It's just the departure point shifted a little bit further. So the coordination is within the tower. Yes. And my goodness, you know, we have seen so many traffic jams throughout the, uh, you know, throughout our history here at the TWO. Don't have traffic jams. <laughs> no, 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 that's true. Okay, yes. You know, let's the push. Okay. The push. We yes. have seen really busy push times. A lot of busy people push like times. to depart all at the same time. <laughs> that's what happens, right? For some reason, all the, uh, you know, the, all the London flights want to take off at the same time. We exactly. have American Airlines, British Airways, you know, so many airlines wanting. Nor sometimes gets into the mix as yes. well. Listen, how many, what is, let's say, not a traffic jam, but let's mm -hmm. say the biggest push 
How many planes have you seen Ooh. waiting to the parts on one of these, you know, runways? Whether it's, you know, the 31s or the 13s when they're active or the 22s? So the, the busiest time for us, the, the biggest, the longest line that happens is when we are on a straight fours or straight 31s, and it depends on the weather. Um, I've seen very long lines, 50 planes, wow. 60 planes. Wow. Um, it doesn't happen very often. That is a rare occurrence. I agree. Is it usually <laughs> inclement weather or not necessarily? It's usually weather okay. combined with the fact that we cannot add the additional departure runway. And the aircraft that are coming into JFK, they have to land. So they are landing both of the fours. We have small gaps to take the departures out. So the line builds up. Um, once we add three one left kilo ago or second departure runway, then that is alleviated. But it's usually weather that that makes those huge lines. You know, something that we've always been amazed here. So we do see, you know, the international push, right? Mm -hmm. We do see that. But we also see how quickly the tower reacts to the push and how quickly everything is organized and just moved so smoothly. So we have a period of 30 minutes, maybe an hour of a big push, mm -hmm. and then everything just gets so quiet. Well, we have one of the best controllers. I mean, all of the controllers are best controllers in the country here. I have to, I'm I have biased, to agree. Though. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's everything so efficient. I'm biased here. <laughs> I'm sure the controllers across the country are great. Absolutely. Uh, but here at JFK, with such a busy airspace, such a busy uh, ground operations, everyone trying to take off on one runway. For example, we're based in LAX, mm -hmm. and we have two departing runways. We have two four left and two five right. You know, they can send the action to the south side of LAX, you know, split the action right But they're here. parallel. That's the difference. Yeah, absolutely. We have absolutely. parallel runways. We don't have bisecting. Yes, like intersecting runways. Intersecting. intersecting, like San Francisco. Mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely. But something that we're always amazed. How quickly everything is organized here at JFK. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, how long have you been with uh, JFK here at the uh, Tower Control, yes? Um, I've been a controller altogether yes. for about 16 years now. Wow. Um, I didn't start at JFK. I started in a much smaller um, tower, Nantucket Tower, Nantucket Island in Massachusetts. Yeah. And uh, I've been, I worked there for about a year and a half, and then I transferred to JFK at the end of 2008, and I've been at JFK ever since. Wow. Almost and I plan to stay here. And so that means you were here during uh, Superstorm Sandy, right? I, I was, yes. I, I did not work during that time. Okay, did I, had, I was lucky enough, but I was on my days off. I'm pretty oh. sure they shut down the entire airport for that storm, no? Or was it Yes, I, I believe so. I, like I said, I, I wasn't here. I had a few days off, and I was lucky that I didn't have to be here, and wow. I didn't have to travel during that time. Wow. We had so many uh, cancel. I say we like if I'm a local. <laughs> <laughs> we had, you know, JFK had so many cancellations during t uh, that time, and you were safe in uh, at home. I hope during yeah. that massive yeah. superstorm, uh, you know, historic storm that happened here. It did affect a lot of people. It did affect a lot of people. My 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 sister was affected by it. It, did, uh, it caused a lot of damage. Did it cause any damage to the airport? Um, not major damage. I do know that they found something unusual on one of the runways, I think. I think they found like a little dinghy boat on one of the runways. Oh, really? Yes. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. But that, I think that was about it. Um, other than that, I don't think there was some major, but I could be wrong. Port Authority would have that information. Who's going to be here? Yeah, yeah they're going to be here on Monday. Tomorrow. Teresa oh. and we'll yes, the, so they, they probably would have better information about the status of the airport after, after storms storm. or blizzards and things like that. For those of you tuning in, we have a very special guest with LA flights right now, and I will only say this so that the viewers know who I'm talking about. Yeah, just for today. Just, just for today. today. For the Explain last it. ever time, you know, the nickname that was given to this wonderful controller, Kennedy Steph, now known as Joanna. Finally, yes. we get to meet <laughs> Joanna. With the proper name, with the proper face. Mm -hmm. With the proper name, absolutely. And an incredible honor to have you with us. You know, something that the viewers always love to get to know uh, from guests in the aviation field. What made you get into your specific 
occupation? Um, okay. Um, when I was in high school, we had to pick a major. I picked aeronautical engineering wow. just because I thought it sounded fun. <laughs> and I, from then on, was very much interested in aviation and wanted to do something in aviation. I went to school out in, the, in, in Long Island. I'm a New Yorker. I'm from New York. I was born and raised? <laughs> not born, okay. as you could hear. <laughs> but I came here when I was 12, and I was ever since I was 12, I grew up in Brooklyn and Queens, so I'm wow. from New York. Um, so I went to uh, Farmingdale State University, and I applied for a professional pilot program. I wanted to be a pilot. Wow. However, when they sent me the packet and they broke down all the cost of how oh, much wow. does it cost yes. to go through the flight training, okay. I couldn't afford that. My family yeah. couldn't afford that. We came, I come from an immigrant family. And so I decided to do something else. I wanted to stick to aviation, so I decided to be an air traffic controller. Can I ask, where are you from? I'm Polish. I'm Polish? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'm I was about to ask Poland. you that. The chat right now, the live chat, everyone is, that's a big topic right now. Where, where is that accent from? I'm Polish. <laughs> I, uh, I was born in Poland. I do consider myself American. I, right. uh, this country gave me everything I have, <laughs> uh, but I have a very, I'm soft spot for Poland. I'm still a citizen. You know, something that you mentioned, you know, really hit with me personally because I was in a high school and there was a special uh, program that my high school had and it prepared students for their career. And I had an aviation program at my local high school. I went to high school in Las Vegas, Nevada. And when it was my junior year and, you know, I was hit with the costs <laughs> of going through the aviation program you know starting off with your ppl and going all the way to your commercial rating i was hit with a number with like a hundred thousand dollars yes that was exactly the number i Wrong. saw and i you know we grew up with the european mentality of you do not take loans to go to school so it wasn't something that i even thought of i was like oh maybe i can take a loan to cover the cost um we just decided to do something different. <laughs> Absolutely, you know, and you know, when I was in high school, when I was presented with a hundred thousand dollars, like I grew up, Josh and I, because we're brothers, yeah. and you know, we grew up with absolutely yeah, nothing. Yeah, the same way you did. We're, we have parents who are immigrants as well, and you know, we didn't really grow up the, the, the richest people, you know, we grew up in. Yes, I think you and I texted about that, right. and when you said that, I was like, wow, that's like very similar to what happened to me. Absolutely, I mean, we're first generation Americans, Josh and I, and you know, my parents, you know, you know, immigrated to the country, and you know, they themselves also consider themselves American, even though they grew up in a different place, but they, you know, they, they feel they're American. Uh, they still love their home country, but they, this is what gave them, you know, a home, uh, food, water, and we didn't grow up with anything. And when I was hit with $100,000, I was like, all right, that's it for, that's you know, the much. pilot dream. And, you know, we have to go somewhere else. Uh, first Officer Mike, I mean, how was your pilot journey? I mean, that was, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure you were hit with... I was hit with a similar thing, yeah. Um, except I uh, elected to take out the, uh, the student loans for that. Yeah, I, we couldn't do that. So <laughs> my husband, when he was going through his flight training, yeah. he actually, it took him a long time to become a pilot because he also did not want to take any loans out for any of this, um, for the flight training, for the ratings. So he did it little by little by little, and it took him a long time. So he became a commercial pilot a little bit later than most people. I mean, you look very young, but he, he became a pilot at 30. Yeah. You know, I am just It's still yeah. a huge career ahead, yeah, ahead sorry, of it. Ahead. It's still a huge career, even though he got it at 30. I mean, it's still a huge career ahead of it. Sorry, Kevin. I'm just moved that Joanna was saying that, you know, when she, what, you said around high school that you made your yeah. decision of what your career. Your, well, you know, I your, picked that major because right. I thought it was something interesting. But you and followed then, your passion yes. and your dream. Yes. You know, that's what's exciting. Yes, I followed through. One of my old uh, high school uh, classmates 
contacted me. I was like, I think you're the only one in that major that actually followed through wow. with aviation. I was like, yeah, I don't know. I haven't kept in touch, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so you were hit with, you know, the, the, the big bill, you know, $100,000. What made you say, okay, from pilot, now tower controller. Tower controller. Um, well, I went, I got my degree, which was a general degree called aviation administration, and kind of similar to business administration, which is kind of a very broad, vague. Yeah. vague. Uh, after that, I applied to any job, any aviation job I could find. I applied to be a ticket agent, a gate agent, a ramper. I got nothing. 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 Wow. No one wanted to hire me at the time. Wow. So I decided to go back to school and focus on something more specific. And for some reason, I don't know where or how, I thought of air traffic control. And I went back to school to get the go through the program, the CTI program. At the time, the only way to get in was to go through a CTI program, and that's what I did. I went back to school, I went through the program, I went on a waiting list, I waited patiently for two years to get hired, and then I got hired. Right now, um, you don't have to go through the CTI program anymore. SAA opens up these bids about two times a year, maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. I think one just closed recently, where you can apply, and if you meet the qualifications, if you pass the test that they give you, you can get hired as an air traffic controller, wow. and we're always hiring. How yeah. difficult is it to be a controller? So let's say you do the test. You know, how difficult is the process? You know, it take could the be test. lengthy. Yep. It could be a little bit lengthy because uh, it does take time. You do end up going to Oklahoma City. It's coming in. It's uh, JetBlue. Oh, Jet okay. Yeah, yeah JetBlue. It's nothing okay. With the powder nose. Yes. You know, we call it sunscreen on the nose. Sunscreen. Yeah. sunscreen because yeah. we're from California, and there's a lot of sun, so sunscreen on the nose. Sorry, where were we? <laughs> so the incredible, you know, by the way, we have so many planes that have that, you know, mm -hmm. how did you call it? I actually like that powder a lot. Powder nose. The powder, powder nose. nose. <laughs> Uh, so the, the lengthy process of becoming a tower oh, controller. Oh, she said she was. She went to Tulsa. That's where yeah. she stopped. No, no, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. City. Yeah. Um, Come so, on, Kevin. So yes, yeah, so you end up going to Oklahoma. Once you get hired, once you pass the test, once you get the offer, you end up going to Oklahoma City, and you have to pass the training there, which is kind of a rudimentary, basic training with the rules of air traffic control, aviation, to get you familiar with the field. And then you get assigned a tower, and you end up going to a tower, and there's now on-the-job training in the tower once you pass that stage. So the stage in Oklahoma can be, depends how you got hired. I remember I was only in Oklahoma for about a month and a half. However, if you didn't go through the CTI program that I went through, I think you are in Oklahoma City for about three months okay. doing this training. Um, then you end up in your tower, and you do, or, TRACON, which is the radar facility, or the center, depends where you end up, depends where the offer was. You go through on-the-job training at that point, and here at JSK, it takes about two years two to years. be fully certified as a controller. Wow. That was going to be and my then, question. <laughs> wow. In Nantucket, it took me about four months there you go. to become a controller. Now, that so. goes to show the difference of, let's say, operations from an airport in Nantucket compared to, you know, one of the busiest airspaces in the yes. entire world. And then I do believe if you go into the, the TRACON, be a TRACON controller, it's up to like five years. It wow. could be. It yeah. could be because it's, that's a very complicated and yeah. lengthy process as well, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. The process of being a tower control is not just like walking up to the tower and saying like, hey, here's my resume, you know, can you <laughs> take me in? You know, that doesn't exist in, you know, in some of the busiest airspaces. So much responsibility you have, you know, controlling so many lives uh, in the air, in the ground. You know, this is why our viewers love this, you know, interviewing pilots, interviewing, for example, you, a tower controller, because they want to know how safe this is. And, you know, it, the, the safety is paramount, always top priority. And you guys are experts in your field. <laughs> Absolute experts. Thank you. Absolutely. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell the tower controller. <laughs> yeah. You know something? One last piece of advice before you leave, because I know you have to leave in a few, uh, in a few minutes. 
What is a piece of advice that you're talking to a, a young Joanna, a young Peter who have financial limitations that they don't have, you know, they don't have an unlimited wallet that they can just go up to any flight school and be pilots or, you know, any of those uh, careers. Some of the, uh, what's a little bit of advice that you can give a little Joanna, a little Peter, uh, you know, that Who have wants aspirations to, to become right. something in the aviation field? Not to be scared. That's to take the step, just apply. The worst that could happen is they could say no, but you have to apply. If you don't apply, if you don't try to go through with it, if you don't try, nothing is going to happen. You know something? I think that is some of the best advice I've ever heard because you don't know how scared, the word scared I was to take out a loan, to go and ask for, you know, family and friends for help. A hundred thousand, you know, I you was scared. You still could become air traffic controllers, perhaps. Yeah. Really? Yeah, maybe you can go on, apply, and <laughs> see you in the tower. You should hear Joshua. Oh, we've been yes. learning. I've been learning. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can throw in an application somewhere. <laughs> Listen, you should hear Joshua how he talks oh, for 12 hours and you know talks about the plane. Yeah, talk. no, he's the talker. I'm the filmer. <laughs> we do have an age limit that okay. you have to apply by. It's I believe it's 31. So you have to put in. You have to get hired prior to that. I'm too wow. late. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's only 19. Come yeah, exactly. on. You know. Okay. Before we let you go, well, that, yeah, I've got to make one last comment. Yeah, I go want, for it. And actually, it's. It, I want to say that. Um, I am so proud of Joanna because, I, and I want you to correct me if I'm wrong, but obviously the air traffic controller has usually been a male-dominated uh, profession. And it is so refreshing to see, you know, women are now getting recognized in Absolutely. such top positions. So my, my, it's, it's both a compliment, but I also wanted to ask you, uh, you know, are there a lot of women say up there in the control tower are you one of the very few is it starting to slowly open up to women there is definitely more women up there than when i started that's great that's definitely great. more i'm happy about that uh obviously there's still more males than females but we do have quite a large number up there that's of great. females yes we do yes. and i think i think all of them do an amazing job that's great are you ready Wow. Uh, don't wow. be scared. Are you ready? That really hit hard because that, I was scared. What a scared. beautiful story. Are what you a ready? beautiful story. Thank you so much, Joanna. Are you uh, ready for being with you're LA Flights Live? How long are you, you guys going to stay here now oh. today? <laughs> Just a few more minutes. Just a few. Yesterday we were out here for 12 hours. <laughs> we're okay. out for 13 hours. Well, yeah. <laughs> 13 hours. <laughs> And today we're going to be Not here stop. until uh, we're going to be here until I think 10 o'clock at night or until 11 o'clock at night until this guy collapses right here. <laughs> we're going to be here all week long, okay? So we're going to be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly even Thursday. We're going to we're just going to have a whole okay. bunch of live shows. I'm flying out Thursday, so maybe you'll catch my departure. Oh yes, oh, I'm sure you <laughs> will. I don't know if you have a window seat or not, but something we have here on the channel is shine the light. We have mm. viewers messaging me. I have me. no idea if I'm going to get a window seat <laughs> oh, or not. Geez. But okay, if you get going. a if you get a window seat, okay, shine the light. We even have stickers. I don't know where they are, but shine the light here on LA Flights Live. Viewers have like the iPhone or something, and they just shine the turn light. on turn okay. on the light. Very nice. Easy as that. Yeah. And if we're live on Thursday, if you have a window seat, we would love to see okay. and capture your departure. Listen, if you're free, if you know, if you're uh, up in the tower in the next week, please let me know. We're gonna be cranking up that sound level when you're <laughs> in the uh, tower. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Joanna, are you ready? Thank you nice. so much for Thank joining us. Thank you so much. We are so honored. Yes, the world famous. Give it up. Joanna. <laughs> Come on. Thank you so much. You know, it's scary. You. She's always watching us. Yeah. I know. That's that's <laughs> it's like Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a beautiful story, Joanna. <laughs> wow. What a great interview, guys. What a great interview. I can't believe <laughs> we had the pleasure of having the world famous Joanna ATC controller no. here at JFK. Come over, give us a nice, what was that, an hour or 40 minute interview? Are we gonna get to take a photo? Okay, I felt Mike here.
Wow, what an interview. Legendary interview. I hope you guys loved it. If you guys are just tuning in, you missed the interview, that you have to rewatch that after we end the show. One of the best interviews we've had here with the world famous, you know, we're just gonna call her Kennedy Steph for today, but Kennedy Steph, the world famous Kennedy Steph, we always hear her on the tower. Such a relaxing and smooth voice. So polite all the time to every one. I think that was an awesome mystery guest for today. I mean, that was a true mystery guest. I'm sure the viewers had no idea what was going on. And I hope you guys love the surprise. We've been trying to have her on the show for such a long time. And we finally were able to accommodate that. And she is just such a lovely person. Such a nice, kind-hearted person from what we gathered. With such a beautiful story of her career, how she had a passion of aviation. <laughs> and Joshua, I think it's amazing that this channel is bringing together not only fellow aviation plane spotters, but pilots, controllers. You know, we get to everyone's perspective on this enormous world of aviation. That's the beauty of it, Ethel Mike. There's so many parts that go into having, you know, a, a normal operated flight. So many, so many, parts to go that go into it we've had pilots joanna our first controller really is beautiful the way it all mishes, mashes up mixes together that was a that was really a true honor it was it really you know. was Big shout out to Joanna, my goodness. Imagine yesterday we had two captains. Today we had a first officer and, and the control two tower. First, wow. Two first officers. Oh, excuse me, two, two first, first officers. <laughs> two first, first officers. Don't forget about first officer Mike. Excuse me. Oh. I can't keep up with who's, who's next. My goodness, who's gonna be next? Who's next? Who will be next? to take some photos of that legendary interview happening. So big shout out to Max39 for being the photographer today. Oh, look at this. It's so busy right now. Well, it's, it's not a traffic jam. It's just a push. It's just a push. There's it's no traffic, traffic jam. It's not traffic. <laughs> no it's traffic jam. It's all efficient. Jams. Everything is nice and organized absolutely no traffic jams here on la flash live but it's really busy right now we're having an a330 right now landing on two to right the closest runway to us that's the flight going to, oh, excuse me that's the flight going to athens no not athens coming I'm sorry in. coming in from athens Sounds like we have someone's APU going off. One of these jet blues. It's one of these, it's a Ember or Yeah. Of us. We have triple seven right now lining up on two two right. So I think that noise you hear is uh, the jet blue at gate number one. Their APU sounds like it's in op today. So they're using a huffer cart. Ah, yeah. So it's that little cart in Ooh. front of the number one engine right there that provides the air to start the engine. Hey, if you want, you can you can use the camera, the B-cam, to pan to it. It's, it's your call, though. Oh, so 
like an auxiliary kind of starter. Yeah, that's for correct. Us, for us laymen, <laughs> don't know the term. So when uh, the APU is not working, that's normally our source of air conditioning, or when we're not using the air conditioning, that's the air that we use to start the engines. See, now, I always thought if the air came from the air conditioning under the jetway that that hose hooks ah, up into yeah. the cabin. So I never knew. in front of the left engine right there, the number one engine, you can see there is a, looks like a white square yes. right there. Right. That's the air that they're going to hook up to the aircraft. That way they can start an engine when the APU is not working. The other one that you saw from the jet bridge, yeah. it's kind of kind of hangs out under the jet bridge right there with this big yellow hose. Right. That's called low pressure air, oh. and we use that air to heat and cool the cabin. Oh, to heat? To heat, only for heating and cooling oh. of the aircraft, yeah. Right, so that's we'll a go. bigger hose. We'll have to go so pan. it's never for AC, it's only for heating. No, for AC, heat and cool. Oh, that's both. Yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go take a look. So this is the the cart, the hover cart, right? That's correct. Right there. So that's the that's the thing that's making all the noise right now. And we have the the pipes here, the yellow pipe. So yeah, the yellow pipe under the jet bridge. That's uh, the air conditioning that does heating and cooling of the aircraft when it's at the gate. So uh, when the APU is not working, or after they disconnect the uh, air conditioning from the jet bridge, um, what's it called? They're pulling the bridge off now, so it looks like yeah. they got the engine started. So they disconnected the, the air from the, the jet bridge as well as the air from the uh, huffer cart, it looks like. If you, I don't know if you can see from where you are, uh, Joshua, behind the tail is a ramper. And he's twirling his wa uh, wand around. I don't know if you can see that from your camera angle. Yeah, is he doing yeah, that Harry Potter? Uh... So what he's signaling to all the other aircraft and the other personnel is that that aircraft actually has an engine running right now. Oh. So normally we push back from the gate and then start an engine or two. Ah, okay. But when the APU is not working, we have to use that huffer car to get at least one engine started. Well, Mike, as you give us that incredible explanation, I have no idea. We have Aeromexico taxing in front of us. This was an arrival. That's all the sound we're hearing. Ago. All the sound we're hearing. Heading to gate three by the looks of it. Yeah. Gate three head here at terminal four. And look at look at Kevin. Just watching the planes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kevin, I want I want you to see yeah, Kevin, go. this experience. Look at this. That's how close you are. <laughs> That's how close you are to the planes. Kevin, <laughs> thank you for being the model today. <laughs> I really want to thank uh, First Officer Mike. I learned something today. Yeah. I never really knew all of that. Look at that. So he, that the twirling signifies the engine's on. That's correct. Wow. I thought I that guy was just that. doing a Harry Potter curse. <laughs> That's what I, I thought. He was just doing That's something <laughs> random. So yeah, it looks like they may have started the uh, the right engine over there, perhaps, and uh, starting their pushback. Now that JetBlue is parked at gate number two, they can start their push from gate number one. And then at some point during the taxi out, they'll uh, if they haven't started the other engine, that's when they'll start it sometime during the taxi out. Well, I love the play-by-play, FL Mike. Very informative. Is sometimes I've heard the term gate a uh, uh, wing walker. Is, yeah, is that's that what, what those that, guys are. Yeah, they, they are, are the wing walkers. Okay, so it's an interchangeable term, or yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, uh, well, they're all ramp, ramp agents. I see. Um, depending who's out by the wing, they're, they're they will be our wing walkers. Exact jet right now landing on two two right. And hey guys, do you have do you want any uh, like cup of ice or something? Or no, I'm good. You guys are good? Uh, yeah, I'll ask good. Max if I want something. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. First Officer Mike with the expertise, and I ask, who wants ice? <laughs> <laughs> and there goes the E-190 pushing back. Hey, who knows, you know, just like Captain uh, First Officer Chris, we, we usually get uh, pilots, especially from the JetBlue flight crew, giving us nice waves. They see all the cameras, they know about the media that's about to be here for the UN week. You might get a wave here. All right, let's take a look. Uh, let's see, I don't think they're looking. 
you know, it's, it's kind of a coin toss. If we get anything, sometimes we'll get a peace sign or a wave or a thumbs up. And listen, a few super chats coming in. Listen, if I missed your message, are you ready? We were so uh, busy with the interview. Please let me know. I never want a super chat. A oh, mar a well, the tow, tri the tow driver just waved at us. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Wave again. Sorry, Peter. Didn't mean to call. Uh, I think they're busy. I think they were waving at the pilot. Yeah, I think they're <laughs> waving at the pilot. Uh, so guys, if I missed your super chat message, please let me know. Tag me at Peter at LA Flight. I never want to miss uh, a, a shout out to a viewer supporting LA Flight Live. Please let me know if we missed your message. John Sullivan, please. Uh, thank you so much. Sending us a $5 super chat. Great interview with Joanna and first officer Mike, Kevin and great uh, are great and your other guests as well great work by the brothers thank you so much john we appreciate that my friend thank you john thanks love john. the message we try our best to give you the best quality out there peter another another round of uh your water right water water that spilled <laughs> how's it spelled Kevin? Jeez, i need a straw <laughs> Max 39. You know, for some, uh, Max. Mike, I want. Waiter. <laughs> Waiter. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have a question for First Officer Mike. Oh, uh, Go ahead. Watching this tow, I was curious have you ever had an experience where you kind of had a tow driver that didn't quite get it right or, you know, pushed you out and kind of either had to redo it or. Uh, Has yeah, sometimes. Been any kind of an awkward <laughs> time. Sometimes, uh, just like with everyone's job here at the airport, there's always training going on. So um, there's usually two guys sitting in, uh, two people sitting in the uh, the tug. Uh, but sometimes they're off. One of them's offering instruction to a, like a new hire and teaching someone how to push an airplane back for the first time or within the first week. So we do get some awkward pushes from time to time, and uh, they could be a little jerky or. But uh, Did you just kind of chalk it up to the, the training usually most yeah, of the time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's, it is an art to do that. It is, yes, it's very difficult to push an airplane backwards. Hey, uh, FL Mike, I don't know if you can give an explanation of what's going on here with the uh, oh, with the JetBlue plane. Oh, look, there he goes. I thought he was going to give more, more of those uh, magic wand things. Yeah, so sometimes if you, you you may have seen it in the feed, they will actually give a salute to the captain. Yeah, I've seen that before. So when that means that when they give the salute to the captain, that means all personnel and equipment are clear of the aircraft. And the uh, captain's ready. They give the uh, okay for the captain to taxi the airplane. Okay. And there it goes, powering up. E-190 clear to taxi. Doing a flight control check, see the rudder, see the elevators moving. Probably do an aileron check, there's the left one, there goes the right one. And then uh, let's see if they do it twice or not. Usually they do it twice, right? Uh, no, on the Airbus they have to do it twice. On okay. the Embraer, I don't think so, no. Okay. I know that I've seen videos of the more heavy, the heavy duty uh, tugs, the ones where they kind of grab the wheel and sure. lift it. Sure, super tug. I've, thank you. I've seen where the guy, uh, the guy downstairs that's doing all this, he has the headset on. Sure. And I believe he has to, is it engage or disengage the, the front brake? or before he, he goes away. I'm trying to remember. It's a red, something that's red down there. Oh yeah, that, I'm not sure <laughs> what the tug's doing down there, yeah. That, that I don't know. I think it has something to do with because I think when oh. the, the wheel goes up and down. What? Look at this. What? Look what we have. It's Korean. There you go. That steals the spotlight. There. I'm sorry, Kevin. It's Korean. I thought it was the yellow spotted <laughs> thing had come back. No. Excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kevin. Go go ahead. No, no, no. No, go ahead. No, the Say Koreans take, take priority over. No, it's taxing, though. Go ahead. What were you saying? Well, I was just asking. No, I was just asking him about the the tugs. It's technical not, questions. Technical questions. Yeah, no, that's good. 
I'm tugged out. It's, okay. It's fine. <laughs> I just gave Kevin a nod. Not of disapproval. Wow, look at all the planes, guys. <laughs> uh, listen, Super Chat's coming in. Thank you so much. We have the Weird Man. Thank you so much for sending us a $2 Super Chat. Greetings from across the pool roof of the TWA Hotel. No kidding. Oh. The Weird Man. Are you out Where? here somewhere? Give him a big wave. You. I don't know. Okay, so Weird Man. Come by, say hi. Come by, say hi. Come on, man. Get yourself some stickers, some New York, New York edition stickers. New York vibe stickers. We have Bob. You guys have a great view. I'm sat right behind you, Bob. We have Bob. Bob behind us. I'm looking around. Bob I'm with the camera? Bob. Does Bob have a camera? Oh, let's see. Oh, oh there oh, we weird go. Weird man. I think we have weird man. <laughs> oh, uh, there he is. Hold on. Uh, go over here. <laughs> I think we have the weird man with us. Uh, Bob, somewhere behind us. My goodness. We have John, who we met yet. Well, who we saw yesterday. I'm leaving, uh, let's see, earlier today. Delta's 2206. Delta's A321 to Fort Lauderdale out of uh, gate B25 at 3.32 p.m. Seats 5A, I'll shine the light. Thank you so much. John, we'll be on a lookout, my friend, okay? 332, don't let me forget. And Jose sending us a $1 super chat. Thank you so much. Nice traffic jam going on here. We have Kenya, number two, and Korean. It looks like it's number four to leave. Josh, I don't think we have traffic jams here at JFK, oh, yes. just right. I'm sorry, no traffic jam. It's just a push going on right now. No traffic jams, are you ready? It's just a little push. Hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, Peter meeting the weird man. <laughs> oh, there we go, we're meeting everyone here. <laughs> so, is that Bob? Looks like we're getting a lot of viewers coming by to say hi. It's a pretty busy day. <laughs> I'm a freshman, so I'm going to be around here. Here at the TW Hotel. Oh, Jeez. Um, I'm going to be here for the next 100 years. Okay. <laughs> I have a freshman. It's not too bad lineup right now. It looks like there's only about five planes waiting for departure, so they should get out pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. It looks like Emirates number four, Kenya number two. Right now, CRJ on the runway lined up. Well, we just met the weird man, and we also met Bob. Okay, that was Bob. My goodness, wonderful to meet the LA flight viewers here at the TWA Hotel. We have Art the Girl and All Access VIP member. Are you ready? Gifting 10 memberships to the LA Flights House. Thank you so much. We have Art the Girl. There's the message. We can't wait to see. Air New Zealand, sadly no 777 here. Sadly no All Blacks. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the 10, Arthur Girl. What's this moving around? No, I was afraid it was going to tip. Oh my goodness, my water. I just heard an A380. Is that an A380 moving around? Somewhere. Uh, you're talking about Korean? I don't know. Uh, I heard that the engine's... I mean, I guess it's Korean. You know something? I think it was a different plane. Yeah, I think it was a different one. Didn't yeah. Some good sounds today. My goodness. Get ready. Now we have Kenya lining up. And listen, we're going to have Joanna on the tower frequency today? a little later in ah, the afternoon. Yes. I'm just being notified... Uh, we're going to have Joanna on Tower Frequency a little later today in the afternoon. Kennedy, Steph, no more. It's jo Joanna. Joanna. Joanna.
Peter, we have Copa coming down the alleyway. They, do they always go to five or seven? Uh, you know something? Geez. I think they uh, five or seven. Actually, that's a... Five. I've seen them park at seven in the past. Copa and a baby bus, A319. They came in from Bermuda. And thank you so much, Edgar Marcelo Garza, sending us a Mexican super chat today. Greetings from Monterrey in Mexico. Thank you so much, Edgar. I'll put your message on the screen right now. Thank you so much. And we have Tron Roger celebrating nine months of channel membership as well. Thank you so much. Elite member for Tron. And the nine month member. I see Captain Lyle. A big shout out to you, my friend. I appreciated all the help. You know what I'm talking about, Captain Lyle. Thank you so much. Friendly vibes, everyone. Let's fill the chat for friendly vibes. Come on, when is Captain Lyle going to come and join us? Captain Lyle, did What's you hear that? On? We did not. We need another member in the captain slash first officer roundtable. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> we need to expand the round table. Not only captains, first officers. First officer Chris, also, he needs to uh, come out here more. Uh, the JetBlue first officer that was waving at us from down below. All right, 757 up next to leave. For those of you wondering, we're going to have Air Force One arrive in front of the LA flight cameras at 6. 30, around 6 to 6.30 p.m. Eastern time zone. That's right around 3 to 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. That's JF, I'm sorry, that's Delta Flight 253 headed to Bogota, Colombia. You know something we should ask uh, Jay Lopez if he wants to come out here, no? He's been yeah, with us the know. entire... I mean, is he up to it? I don't know if he's up to it. Yeah, I don't know. I wish we could ask him. Jay Lopez, if you're watching, if you're hearing, do you want to come by and say hi to the viewers? I mean, I'm sure the entire LA Flights family, quarter million subscribers, we all know who is Jay A. Lopez. Mr. Lopez, he's, sit he's, sitting, he's sitting right behind us. Is he hiding? Oh, look at this. He is sitting right behind us. <laughs> oh, hey, on? Richard. <laughs> Our good friend Richard coming by to say hi. Richard from New York. Let's see, Korean holding short of the runway because we have an arrival happening right now. It's an A321 American Airlines. <laughs> Do you, yeah, come on. Look at this. We're going to have another special guest. <laughs> yeah, down here. Oh, it looks like uh, we're going to have a good friend come down. A good friend of the channel. We have J.A. Lopez playing spotting with us. No, no, no. Don't, don't duck down. <laughs> Don't duck down. No, we're still getting you. We're still getting you. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be sneaky. <laughs> Ducking down from the camera. Korean Air right now lining up. Don't to hurry. He's going to miss the A380. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you're wearing that shirt, though. You're wearing the wrong shirt. <laughs> All right, Korean lining up. I think after the Korean, we'll have a, a good friend say hi. You know something? I think we'll have Jay Lopez say hi right now. How are you? Greetings. Greetings, Greetings. aficionados. How's everybody doing? <laughs> there oh he is. Oh, my goodness. We have a good friend of the channel. We have Jay A. Lopez. This is my moment, huh? <laughs> it is your time to shine. Yes. Hold on. I'm going to hook up the iPhone instead because I yeah, think it's going to be. Um, if you can, I mean. Sure. We don't want to be too zoomed in, if you know what I mean. The host doesn't want the face too much. Uh, let's see. How's it looking? You could just uh, do that, Cam. 
Uh, let's uh, see. Switch it. Yeah, so switch you gotta it. switch it. All right, switch it. There it is. I think that looks good. Uh, Kevin's cut off a little bit. What do you think? Okay, yeah, maybe. We're gonna have to adjust it. Oh, there's Jay Lopez for a second. We yeah. have Korean on the move. Go for it. Go A3 for getting it. a move on. Jay Lopez, I think we all know here on LA Flights Live, have heard me say Jay Lopez, Mr. Lopez, for such a long time. It's been my a while. Goodness. It's and, been a privilege. And we finally have you, my friend, here at your all channel, week. LA week. Flights Live. I'm so happy to be here all <laughs> week. I cannot believe it. What do you think about that, Jay Lopez? Korean leaving to a good, right. Beautiful ship, blue hour. What do you prefer seeing Korean Air, LAX or JFK? JFK at the moment. <laughs> at the moment? Okay, that's the right answer. <laughs> that's the right answer, but when the LA flights cameras are over there, you got it. Jay, don't feel bad that you got interrupted by a quad jet. I get that all the time. No, it's all right. It's all right. No, we're here for the I planes. I think I tried to get it's a It's all about the planes. Three times yesterday. Said, nah, quad jet. Nah, quad jet. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to give a, a prize away yesterday. Yeah. Something about four jets always get in the way, cut me off. So. It's just part of the job. Yeah. Hey, are you ready, guys? Max39 is going to be uh, taking a picture for uh, the social okay. media. Hold on, let me get into that, Max. Give me a second. Josh, there the we go. cameraman. Take a, you can find these pictures on our Twitter page. As Max39 takes you, Max. the pictures, you can find the pictures on Instagram. Uh, on uh, actually, we're submitting, we're posting the pictures on Twitter. Okay, uh, now called X. You can find the pictures there first, and later today, then that's when we'll post them on Instagram and Facebook. There is a highlighted message on the screen on the live chat that takes you directly to our X page, Saudi. What do we have? All Nippon. Yeah, we got a lot of heavies. <laughs> we have the heavies and Air Force One in about four hours' time. You're excited to see Air Force One, Jay Lopez? Absolutely. My goodness. Absolutely. Mr. Lopez, you're going to see a traffic jam of the ages. We're going to have the entire airport in a lockdown. Uh, from what I hear is that Air Force One is going to make an arrival on 31 left, no matter the wind condition. So we're going to get the long approach. All right. But the aftermath. Traffic jam, a million planes will be in front of the LA flights cameras, and we can't wait for that. Hopefully, Joanna is in charge. Listen, there is a good chance that Joanna is going to be handling the chaos happening here at JFK when Air Force One arrives. She is going to be in the tower a little later in the afternoon. We're going to be listening, and who knows? Maybe she's going to be the one that takes the helm of JFK <laughs> when Air Force One arrives. That would be great. We can't wait for that. We have JetBlue coming in. This one flying in from Las Vegas, Nevada for our 35-minute flight. Stealing the spotlight, we have JetBlue 1295 flying to Austin, Texas. Uh, coming from Texas, right? Uh, yes, Texas? San Antonio. San Antonio, Texas. Yes. Lived here basically all my life. Although uh, I did meet another viewer. Uh, I don't know if I can say his name, but I, but he was actually from Massachusetts like myself. So really? He was a Patriots fan. So uh, yeah, it was great. Have I met this fan or no? Uh, I don't think he came over. Oh, I think ah, he okay. stayed over there. Uh, he was only here for yesterday. Oh, OK, really? Jeez, yeah. he got me looking in the back thinking he was over no, there. No, 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 he was yesterday. We have Swiss arriving. This one flying in from Geneva as I dance around around the maze of wires down below at my feet, not trying to trip. This is impressive. The setup. Yes. Oh, this the is setup. It. This is 70 percent of what we have in Los Angeles. So in Los Angeles, we have a big table. We have massive batteries. We have you know more cables. Blah blah blah. Jeez, man. <laughs> The crazy People brothers. don't understand. This is what has to be moved when they go mobile. You know, it's a, it's a, a lot of production yeah. to to put all this in suitcases and containers and for them to fly. I it's, mean, I, I just brought a couple shirts, a couple pairs of jeans, and a few socks. Everything, and everything else, else is equipment. equipment. Yeah. Yep. Wow. My backpack carry-on. That's all equipment. You know, and you worry, you know, with this much equipment that it's going to get, you know, lost or. But with me, 
holding down the fort on that cargo plane. <laughs> there is no way. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. No way. You know. And look, I have a life vest and an oxygen mask I get to use on the return flight. So. We haven't heard of your friend Johnny No Thumbs. What happened? Oh, we mentioned it earlier today. I mentioned it earlier. Oh, well, we said, saw the wheels on the little trolleys. Yeah, I and mentioned that clean. Johnny is working over at Terminal 7 today. And uh, Oh, that was him. Yeah. That no, was no, no, I said he's working at Terminal 7. And because of all the activity going on today with the VIPs, he said he probably could not come over here and see us today. Um, but, you know, he said <laughs> eventually he's going to come over here and, and talk to the guys a little bit. But today, with, with all the VIPs, he said it's hard. He's been changing tires like crazy. You notice how shiny some of the wheels were on some of those luggage carts today? Right. Uh, That's his work. That's his work. <laughs> what about Don? First Shout Officer out. Mike. <laughs> First Officer Mike. Nice it's a to pleasure meet. to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Hiding in the background here. <laughs> And thank you so much for Woodworker Don sending us a $5 super chat. Did, did the very important pizza VIP get safely delivered last night? That's true. Asking for a hungry Secret Service agent. Did you see the uh, uh, VIP thing that we were having a f uh, yesterday night when the Emirates came in? Yes. The police escort, Secret Service. Very important pizza being delivered to <laughs> LA Flash Live. Sadly, we never saw the pizza. Thank you so much, Woodworker Don. I think that answers it. We never saw the pigs. So, oh my goodness. But there's a couple of Secret Service agents that are very full. Abu <laughs> Danza. <laughs> Sound, my goodness. Yes, we have a 737 right now taxiing right below us. All right, pumping up, pumping up the sound. Is that the Copa? Do you believe so? Yeah, just the... Uh, Number two engine right now. Yeah, on. he's going. To, he's going to. He's going to Alpha, alpha Five. Oh, we got a wave. Hey, we did get a wave. Oh, what? Oh we? man. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. We did. <laughs> Thank you, flight crew. Sports we've had a Mike good, Cola. we've had a good run from the waves this yeah. last two days. Oh, and they're, 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 the word's spreading. LA flights is yeah. in town. We're famous for the waves. I think Johnny put out the word. <laughs> <laughs> Wave or else. All right, Jay Lopez, I want to ask you. Yes, sir. You are not affiliated with the t with the hotel or anything. You came. You know, by yourself, this is all you. Yes. What do you think about the hotel and the view? Is it all, is it everything that we talked about? How, you know, it's just so close. It feels like your air side. It feels like you can jump on the, on the actual wing of the planes. Absolutely, Joshua. Are and you more. <laughs> it's like and a time more. warp. <laughs> it is a time warp. That is great to Incredible. hear. Incredible. Even the phone in the room yeah is dial is dial yeah. rotary yeah. Dot, rotary phone yeah. Yeah. Rotary. Uh, yeah probably a lot of people on the stream right. don't know what a rotary phone is <laughs> yeah. but uh incredible yes detail it's incredible detail and the music is all from, from the uh, era from yeah. the era yeah you're not going to hear, hear any uh, current there's pop. something about no, coming no here offense. like i said the view and you can practically touch the planes and just the, the scent of jet fuel fumes going up your nostrils, you can't beat that. No. Hey, Jay Lopez, I gotta ask you. I always forget, are you team stripes or oh, are you team anti-stripes? Yeah. Because we have the Condor right now. I think I know the answer to this you, one. You know what? I'm in between. Because really? when y'all stream, I am in between. Because on Wednesday, when y'all were streaming, the white and sea striped Let's yes, see. That's beautiful. And blue is my favorite color. I'll see him here. So it, it looked incredible. Now, I guess it's the shade of green that I'm not a big fan of. Jay Lopez said it here in front of 4,000 people. <laughs> Team Stripes. Yeah, that's true. Once Team you got stripes, stripes, there's no going back. So Jay Lopez, <laughs> Team Stripes, and we have First Officer Mike, Team Stripes. Kevin, at the risk of getting fired, Team Stripes. <laughs> and Joshua, the only one anti-stripes. Yeah, no, I, I, feel, I feel very threatened here. I'm the minority. And Captain Ken yesterday, <laughs> 
started oh, feeling oh. team he strength. On the fence. He's kind of yeah. showing signs of being converted to the team I noticed. stripes. Side. I noticed. Team stripes. Doesn't matter if you like one right. or two. Team stripes. That's true. Yeah. That's once, when the conversation ends. Oh, once you okay. go stripes, there's no going back. <laughs> <laughs> so our Condor flight just arrived. That would be an A330-200 because it only has the stripes on the tail. Peter, question for you, if you don't Tell mind. Tell me. Yeah, go for it. Did y'all get your uh, Sophia's pizza last night? Yes. yes. On time. Okay. We were ordering the food, I think, like three or four minutes before the order stopped. Uh, they stop accepting the orders. So if they would have closed down, that's one of the risks of having, you know, a 12-hour show that goes into the night. Right. Because a cutoff time, I think, of 9:30 or something. If they close, food delivery here at, at here at the TWO hotel, let's just say it's not the easiest thing. So if it's not Sophia's, it's either enjoying the delicious cuisine that they have here at the TWA hotel, or a bag of Doritos. <laughs> So we've we wouldn't learned have had it gone through that had those Secret Service agents gone off with our <laughs> pizza in their dark colored SUVs. My goodness, delicious pizza from Italy. The uh, VIP, very important pizza, pizza. yesterday. You ever gone to Italy, uh, Mr. Lopez? Yes, I was uh, very young. Okay. Uh, I think I was 11. Went with the family to Europe. We yeah, took a little wow. trip. Yeah, we took a visited quite a few uh, countries. Yeah, geez, Luis. Yeah, beautiful country. It is. A uh, dream of mine to travel to Italy. Uh, where in Italy did you go to, if you don't mind me asking? No, no, no. I'm open to all questions. Uh, we went to Rome, obviously. We went to Naples. Napoli. Uh, oh, yeah, Napoli. Goodness. Beautiful. Yes. Incredible country. Beautiful. Jeez, we, and uh, Peter's jealous. Early 80s by yeah. train. So it was uh, quite an adventure. Quite an adventure. And even going today, Recommend going by uh, by train. I have a question. Uh, you yes. said by train. Yes. How long ago was it? 81. Okay. I did it. I did it around that time. Did you find that the non-smoking and the smoking section was hard to find the differentiation <laughs> on the train? I don't recall that. Yeah. Uh, but I, was, uh, I told Peter a story. Uh, one of my infamous stories, where I was on an Italian cruise, and after the cruise, I you know, was on the on the, took the train. But on the on the cruise ship, which was an Italian cruise ship, I asked to be a non-smoking. My table of three or four was the entire non-smoking section in the entire restaurant, where people would like, you know, just like blow the smoke across the room. So then I get on the train, right. and I you know you diff you ask for non-smoking. Right. There, there was no no divider. It was like so. I'm you weren't smoking I, in that cabin. That's it. <laughs> in that section. Let's just say I got, off the I got off the train as if I had been smoking because my I just smelled like smoke. So Shh. I just was curious because I traveled around the same time you did in Italy. I, would I don't that. recall. I don't recall that. That's a good answer. <laughs> I just remember being the, the train, especially in Italy. Yeah. Now that you bring, uh, mentioned it, being so full. It was yeah. like we were all stuffed in there. Well, there's a second class and there's a first class. Yeah. <laughs> And I just remember second class was yes. pretty packed. Yes. I take it no bullet trains back then? No. <laughs> yeah, now they got the fancy bullet train. Yeah, they have uh, Italo, they have uh, Trenitalia as well. My goodness, bullet trains. Yeah, I, I did take a trip uh, with my mother back in 19. That was my last trip before uh, the bug, the COVID, yeah. and uh, bullet trains. Yeah, wow. incredible. Jeez. Yeah, I see that. I see that you're wearing your Scuderia Ferrari oh, shirt. Yeah, it's the day. It's, 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 it's the day. It's the day. Yeah, they we had, had a good day. race. They had I a know good race spoiled, today. I spilled yeah. the beans for you. Sorry. It's all we right. We gotta let you win. You got. We gotta let you guys win once in a while, right? Oh, right. Thank you, Joshua. <laughs> you're so Max for stopping said, "Hey, you know, I want to take the day off." He came in fifth. <laughs> did a good recovery. <laughs> oh wow, the fifth. Yes. And that was a Q2. Uh, they they exit off. They they didn't. Max didn't. Uh, uh, go after Q2, did he? No, I don't think he made it. I didn't see yeah. qualifying, but uh, but yeah, he he was behind Charles yeah, there for the yeah. for fourth. But uh, he, good for Max. Yeah. So we <laughs> Max had 39 turns first around. and fourth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I believe it was a Q2 exit for Max. We have our Saudi Arabia Saudi flight going to Riyadh. Wow, I hear the sound. Riyadh or Jeddah, Kevin? What? Jeddah or Riyadh? 
My cheat sheet says Riyadh. Okay. G90s, of course, always giving us great sound, no matter where it is. Hey guys, I want to give a big shout out to a few special viewers uh, supporting the channel via PayPal. Uh, we have David P, get ready, sending us a $50 super chat through PayPal. Great show, you guys. Love the guests. Please take it easy on Kevin and First <laughs> Officer Mike. Max, they are doing great. Uh, talking to Max39, yes, looking forward to the rest of the week. Thank you, David. David P. Nice. Thank you, David. Thank and, you so much for the PayPal. And Wilson, are you ready? Uh, a big channel supporter here at the LA Flights channel. And Wilson, a shout out to the brothers and the rest of the team. We want you guys to stay hydrated. Here's a donation for the hydration plan. You know, I wish you could see we have, you know, we have water and we have more water <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Are you ready? Thank you so much. Uh, and that is a wonderful message. P.S. Thanks to Max39, keeping everyone hydrated. Max39, a big help. Listen. Huge. Huge help oh, behind yes, guy. the scenes. Big shout out to Max39, keeping us hydrated. Let's send on the chat cool Max emoji for our man behind the scenes. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Max39. We have Robert E. sending us a $7 Super chat, enjoying the show during UN Week. Thank you so much, Robert. And Ellen, sending us an incredible Super Chat, $50 Super wow. Chat. You guys are awesome. Best stream of all. Ellen, thank you so much. You guys are magnificent. And these Super Chats came in right when we had, I'll say it just for the last time, Kennedy Steph, Joanna, her real name, on the show, on the program, giving us an incredible insight inside the JFK yeah, and, Tower. And she should be working today, right? She should yes. be working later. Uh, <laughs> you know something? She might be for the. Uh, she might be in for the 2:30 or 3 p.m. shift. So we might be hearing right. Joanna Sooner, right? in the next few minutes. Yes, soon. I want to try to zoom into the tower because she says she says that she can see us. <laughs> I wonder if we can see, see her. Shine the light, Joanna. Oh, Imagine my goodness. That. No kidding. No kidding. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Harris, sending us a 10 euro super chat. Yesterday's stream was amazing. Looking forward to today's show. Shout out to First Officer Mike. And, oh, hold on a minute. Shout out to Mike and Scotty. Okay, watching the program. Thank you so much, Harris. Mike and Scotty, welcome to the LA Flight's crazy show. Look at this, we have the South Africans. South Africans leaving in front of the LA Flight's cameras. We saw them arrive now, and they have a two hour turnaround time. So all these dignitaries coming in, they have two hours to drop off their VIP, two hours. Well, it was Pakistan, they had a special treatment today. Yeah, for some reason, <laughs> you know, I don't know why, but yeah, Jay Lopez. On the other side of the 777 Singapore, the Uzbekistan oh, government aircraft, I guess getting special permission to stay here at JFK. So, good for them. Lucky then. Let's say we have South African. Let's listen to the, oh, hold on. Radios are on. Do you think yeah, the Uzbekistan is staying overnight? Here. What'd you say? I said, do you think the Uzbekistan stayed overnight? Is that what we think? Possibly a late night arrival, but sure I arrived. can't say. Yeah, we can't say how long it has been here because you know we, do, we don't have the information in front of us, but I don't remember seeing them arrive yesterday and we were live for a whole bunch of time. Oh, Jay Lopez, are you ready? We, we're we're going to have to give you like a million stickers, all right? You got it. Oh, you didn't get stickers yet? Not yet. What? That's going to change. Don't worry. <laughs> You're going to have to order a new uh, check bag to, to uh, carry all the stickers we're going to give you. Awesome. All right, let's get to the next departure. We have a CRJ right now. After the CRJ, we're going to have that South African Air Force plane take off.
blue right now taxiing in front of us. The sound you're hearing, at least. We're not seeing it. Uh, South African. Uh, we're not hearing the uh, tower. I think they're on a special military frequency. All right, there it goes. The 737 on the roll. Here on UN Week, leaving JFK. Early rotation wow. there. Wow. That's a 737 BBJ. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's a rocket launch. It's got to be. Wow. Five hundred wow. feet per minute. Wow! <laughs> Eight <laughs> rockets. Wow! You know something? Almost forty-six hundred feet per minute. Jeez! I love the glasses, by the way, uh, Jay Love. My goodness, I really love the glasses. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Top oh, that's the same brand, Ray Brand. Yeah, Ray Brand. Yeah. yeah Absolutely. Same. The same. I like. That. I don't think I can rock those glasses no, though. No, you know, you I have can. a you know specific. You know, I have a special <laughs> face, and I, I don't think I can you know rock those glasses. But I like it. From, you know, if, if someone who can rock those glasses, you know, I, I like it like that. And, Thank you. you know, Thank you, Peter. Y you have to be honest. <laughs> I like your glasses too, First Officer Mike. Are you ready? Thank you, you very much. The Oakleys. Very sporty. Very sporty, yes. You know something? Kevin has his own glasses, Ray Ben, but he's not wearing them. He's uh, just wearing them on his shirt. Oh, you know, I, I, I took them off for a minute because I couldn't see the... Uh, couldn't see something. Yeah, we're all a lot of cool plane spotters. There you right go. Now. <laughs> Coolest group of people in the entire world. Are you ready? I mean, you say you have a special face. What exactly does that mean? So we have special. a CRJ right in front of us, and it looks like we guy. have super chats coming in. Robert Gillespie, thank you so much for helping me change the subject. Great show last night and today. Ah, the smell of jet fuel today. Here's yeah. some extra peaks of money. Be safe today. Thank you, Robert. A long-time viewer. We love long-time viewers here on the channel. Thank you so much, Robert. I mean, take, take, it from, take it from Jay Lopez. What do you think? Are you smelling jet fuel? Oh, yeah. Right? It's, it's, it's here. It's We're not lying when we say that. It's, we re really can smell it. You know, oh, what's there's the, a big uh, whiff, too. Yeah, what's <laughs> the reporter uh, that, that came out to us last uh, Fourth of July special? The uh, for Thrillist. The, for the Thrillist. For yeah. the yeah. Thrillist, yeah. You know, we were talking about, you know, the invention of smell vision and we're trying to invent smell vision here. <laughs> at the, that's why we're having so much, uh, so many merch issues, because uh, <laughs> we're trying to invent smell vision that's, uh, that's a pretty big goal, Peter. I wonder if there's a candle that has that scent. Jeff Field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't think you're going to want to put fire next to it. <laughs> well, it's just for the sand, Josh. All right, oh, big triple set. Yeah, go for it, guys. I go feel the it. pain for this Airbus coming into the gate right now. They're waiting for their wing walkers. Hey, you want to go uh, use B cam, Bruce cam, and. Bruce cam. Yeah, Bruce cam. The famous Bruce cam. Uh, let's see, we have China Airlines cargo, though, on the move. So I think we'll go to it after this one leaves. So, you, first off, you're saying that normally you don't just pull in, you have to have, like, the wing walkers kind of escort you in? Of course, yeah. Oh, really? 100%. Okay. All right, China Airlines cargo, most likely heading to Anchorage. Glorious G90s getting out of here via 2 to right. Wow, hear the sound. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right, what is arriving in the next few minutes? Get ready. We have a flurry of arrivals and one king. Well, I have to be careful with my words because it is UN week, so we might actually get a king arriving. You might, yeah. Uh, let's say yeah, Emirates <laughs> 201, King of the Skies, flying in from Dubai, a 13-hour, 18-minute flight, arriving in how long? In about 10 minutes. Not only 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes away. Oh, it's over wow. Long Island. We have Darren 
our one-time co-host here at the LA Flights channel. Move prep still ongoing, but props to the controller formerly known as Kennedy Steph. Joanna, if you don't try, nothing will happen. Brilliant interview. Thank you so much, Darren. You know, I, I say it again, you know, it hit me hard. Yeah, it was a beautiful story. When so inspiring. She said, you know, big, big piece of advice, don't be scared. Are you ready? I was so scared when I was like 17. You know, I, I never saw $100 in my, you know, yeah. ever when I was in high school. Never saw it. And when I was faced with $100,000, like what? Like what is that amount of money? And well, I was like, just might as well say a million or something. Absolutely. It's that, yeah. and that's unattainable. Yeah. That was it for the pilot dreams. That was it. And I was lucky enough that I stumbled my way, Josh and I, <laughs> into this, all of this. I mean, don't be scared. Don't be yeah, scared. Yeah, so, such an inspirational story, really. She uh, wasn't scared. Are you ready? No. She wasn't scared. I was. She wasn't scared. Now she's up there in the, in the tower. But yeah, don't, don't take it. Peter's advice, then. Yeah, don't take my yeah. advice. <laughs> take Joanna's advice. Don't be scared. Now she's on top of that tower controlling the busiest airspace, one of the busiest in the entire world. And she's world famous and here now on LA flights. She is world famous. She is a legend. I got very emotional listening to her story. Very touching. Looks like Latam heading to, to to right to for departure. Is that a departure, Kevin? Should be. Flying to Lima, Peru, a 767-300. Uh, the journey covering 3,600 nautical miles. Listen to that. Who's that? CRJ in front of us. No. Wow. What do you think? Is that the CRJ? Should be, yeah. Great sound. It's going to be powering up any second. Come on, CRJ. It's been sitting there a little while. Got to spool up. be ready, yeah. Giving us a little tease there. Looks like uh, the flaps are down, so they should be ready to taxi out. That's yeah. headed to Charlotte. You know something? I think a, I th I think a challenge is nearing LA flights. How about this? You know, Peter has been very quiet with the like button. Jay Lopez, I know you are accustomed to the host of LA flights going crazy with the like button. Well, I haven't done it all day. We'll do it today. 3,500 likes before the A380 touches down. If you are excited about UN Week, if you are excited about Air Force One arriving in front of the LA flights cameras, if you're excited to hear Kennedy, Steph, now known as Joanna in the next few minutes, up above the control tower, controlling some of the busy busiest airspaces in the entire world. Hit the like only once if you haven't done so. 3,500 before A380 arrives on a 2-2 left. And get ready, A380 coming in, not just any special, not just any A380, it's arriving in a very special livery, journey to the future in just about three minutes. Is Already that crossing. Journey to the future? Is that journey the blue to the one? Future? No. I thought they were all repainted. Uh, okay, so it could be an old picture yeah, on flight so. radar. Could be an old picture, but nonetheless, A380, big quad jet arriving right in front of us, and gate seven is open. We'll see if the A380 parks at seven. Already crossing 3100 on our way to 35. Come on, we can do it. How far? How far is Emirates? Minutes. Three minutes. minutes. Oh wow. There goes the 737. Wow. I think we have Joanna on the tower. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, oh, there she yeah. is. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's let's listen. Is it her? On a 18, can I carry with me? Oh, definitely. 
17 company tried this about a 5 here or south on a 600. Is that Can we see here? Oh, definitely. Are you kidding? On a 17 company traffic, 5 here north, south down at 600. I can't see here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't tell. Minus 18. Minus 18. Can I be sure? Can I also move to 994? I think uh, Lincoln Terrace will be on the table of eyes. I'm sure. Minus 18 company traffic, 5 here south, outbound 700. Oh, that's true. Which, uh, who has the request? 2017 is able like, to uh, work on station over Manhattan at uh, 4,500. Uh, what do you need to do? You need to put the money first and I don't know. Alright, there goes the time. You know, Peter, she said she had first started, what was it? Uh, was it Nantucket or Martha's Vineyard when she first started? Nantucket. Yeah, Nantucket. Nantucket. Nantucket yeah. Which is a relatively small airport, right? Sure. Relative. Yeah. To go from a small airport to JFK is like a huge, huge. That's like a huge step. A huge leap, yeah. That's a huge leap. And like she said, it's about two years of training up there in the tower. But still, you yeah. know, the, the equipment, the, the volume. Oh, sure. Right. Yeah. Is, the number of planes. And yeah, it's just a big jump. I was so proud of her just to be able to make that leap. Little E-175 making a whole bunch of sound right in front of us. For those of you wondering, yes, Air Force One arriving a little after 6 p.m. Eastern Time. That's a little after 3 p.m. Pacific Time. And how far is Emirates? We have an ETA on that. Emirates arriving in, it's on final. We'll see it in just a few moments. That means those that, who haven't hit the like button have to press that like button before the Emirates arrives. Yeah, right? It's a, it's a like challenge. We have 400 likes remaining. This, if accomplished, will be one of the biggest like challenges we've ever had. 400 likes in the next few minutes before A380 arrives in front of LA Flights Live. You know something? That's not Joanna. Are you ready? What? You know something? I think that's the actual Kennedy Steph. I know it's confusing. What? I know it's confusing, but that does not sound like Joanna. Is it because it's not a light accent? Is that what you're saying? Something I am like that. So yeah. confused. What do you mean the actual Kennedy Steph? She told us. So Joanna, Joanna, who kept us company, told us that there is a Steph that works oh, in the tower. Wow. I think we're listening to the actual Kennedy Steph. Wow. I know it's so confusing. Conspiracy. <laughs> but Joanna, who kept us company, I don't think that's Who's the, the real one Kennedy talking. Steph, then? There's our, I think, there it is. <laughs> and she did say there are other women now that work in the tower. Absolutely. Yeah. One of them is named Steph. Wow. Whoa. But, I'm jo <laughs> but Joanna, who kept us company, who gave us a very nice interview. I don't think that's her. Are you ready? I don't think that's her. All right, Emirates and the journey to the future. Yeah, I guess they Looks haven't. Like, yep, they haven't repainted it yet. That's one of my favorite memories. Too bad it's going away. Yeah, it's going really? away. Really? One of your favorite memories? Yes. Yeah. I don't You're know right about there. it. No, you, Jay yeah. Lopez is correct. I just like the, ex the expression journey to the future. Yeah. Okay. I hey, think Joshua, you noticed that when the uh, A380 touched down, only the inboard thrust reversers deployed, not the outboard yeah. engines. Yeah, only the inboards for the Emirates. Which is unique, right, to, that, to, that, to the 380. It's unique to the 380 because if they actually deploy the reversers on the outboard engines, they'd actually tear up the side of the uh, runway. Really? What? Yeah. Oh, wow. All the signage and lights that are posted on the sides of the runways, there's so much air coming out wow. of those outboard engines. They actually wow. hang over the side. I didn't know that. So a lot of times, you only see the inboard thrust reversers being used. I, I, I've never seen the outboards being used. Exactly. That's because they're hanging out way over the grass. Wait, so is it able to use the outboards if it had to? 
I'm guessing if there was a runway wide enough, I've never seen a runway here. Yeah. Is that why for them to use them? Yeah, I, 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 I didn't even know I had a reverse thrust on the outboard. Hey guys, are you ready? I'm sorry I'm interrupting you guys. I don't know what, what you were talking about. Hopefully about planes. Hopefully you weren't singing on the mic. We have one more A380 coming up. We have Lufthansa, we have the Germans, we have Lufthansa 4, what is it, 410, yes? Is it coming up? It's arriving in just a few minutes. It's over Long Island. Flying in from Munich, seven hour, 50 minute flight, and that arrives in 10 minutes. More A380 action happening in front of LA Flights Live during the TWA Hotel Special. Now sadly, it's gonna go to Terminal 1 and then to Gate 7 or 8 in Terminal 1. So it's gonna land and then make a sharp right and then kind of get out of our peripheral view. Yeah, we'll go that way. sad boy. But we'll see it land right wow. in front of us, and I'll take that any day of the day week. <laughs> Kevin tries. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kevin a little bitter from the uh, Peterisms. It's not cute anymore. <laughs> First officer Mike, are you ready? If you want to zoom in to JetBlue, the E-175. Love to see the action by the, uh, what are their uh, uh, job titles, uh, First officer Mike? So we have uh, the tug driver out there. He's the one that's rolling up the headset right now. If we're on uh, Bruce Cam. We have uh, the guy right under the uh, L1 door. He's disconnecting the headset jacks. Oh, and there goes the they use too. To communicate with the pilots and removing the tow bar. That's pretty cool, look at that. Okay, so that's a headphone jack. Yeah, oh, right yeah. under the door on the U-175 right there, there's a headphone jack that the uh, ground personnel will plug in. That way they can have a direct communication with the pilots during the pushback. So no need of hand signs. Exactly, unless there's an issue with the uh, the headphone jacks and they coordinate that with the pilots, then they'll use hand signals. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of redundancies there if anything fails. Exactly, exactly. Jeez, Mr. Lopez, a oh. lot of exhaust. Oh. Do, you, do you smell that? Did you, did, it's you wonderful. Hear the did you hear the light the candle? Light the candle. Not right now. <laughs> I know, before. Oh, right? yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> light the candle and we are smelling the exhaust. Oh, man. And that JetBlue flight, it's a short flight. It's only going to Dulles. Yeah, just outside of Washington, D.C. Right. Sounds like they got maybe their taxi clearance so or they power it up. Yeah, sounds like it. All right, here she goes. Maybe they're just starting the other engine.
don't think anyone heard what I said. No. Right? <laughs> I was what? overtaken by the fumes. Get to duel says barely. <laughs> My goodness, you can barely hear us. It's the roar of those engines. All right, so we have the Germans arriving in just a few minutes. Oh, look at this. We Tell have Qatar, Qatar coming, coming in. Coming in. It's yeah. a triple seven. Big triple seven, 300 ER. This one flying in from Doha, 13 hour, 30 minute flight. Aircraft is seven years of age. The journey from Doha to JFK, 6,700 nautical miles, almost to the dot. 6,704 nautical miles. JetBlue getting out of here. JetBlue holding everyone up from crossing the runway. All those heavies weighing on JetBlue. That JetBlue's headed to Boston. I'm sorry, Boston. Boston. Oh, listen, let's hear the controller right now. I bet they're saying, uh, you know, cross the runway to a whole bunch of planes. It looks like, go. who's going to get it first? Looks like Iberia is moving. All right, who's going to get it first? We have an Emirates A380, we have the Spanish A350, and we have Q8 and A330. Yeah, who's like Iberia might actually do it. Who's going to cross the runway first? Towers are on, the tower comms are on. Looks like maybe we have to line up and wait. Yeah, looks like it. In the meantime, we have John. How, How are, are you, John? John? We met you. Uh, we saw you a few uh, uh, hours ago, yesterday, and leaving earlier today. Okay, so Delta's A321, we're still on the lookout for your flight. Thank you, John. And we have the E-175 rolling, so it's not a lineup and wait. The heavies and the super still have to wait to cross the runway. F1 race, a viewer named F1 race sending us a two Canadian super chat. Waiting for Air Force One. Greetings from Montcon. Thanks so much, F1 race. Do you know that's Joanna now? Uh, it doesn't sound like her. I don't know. It doesn't sound like her. Mike Razor, how are you? A member for almost two years. Get ready. It's, it is almost impossible to fail when you believe in yourself and with the passion to succeed and thinking about your venture 24-7, 365 days a week. This is why the brothers are so successful. There you go. Here, there you here. go. Thank you so much, my friend. Mark Razor, a very well lovely message coming in. Thank you, Mark. Incredible message. Well said, Mark. And we set the departures going on. All right, they're telling the, the cross. Get ready, Josh, if you want to go for the... Uh, Who's first? Who's first? Someone heavy. Someone heavy. First officer, Mike, can you zoom into Q8? Of course. Iberia 6251 heavy. Yes, we runway 225, and 3 Juliet, 121.9. Alright, everyone crossing. Alright, Rick, I'm 5415, continue Zulu and Golf, we'll start with Strat. Golf, we'll start with Strat. There we go, Josh, can you go to the Super? Oh, Super not crossing, there you yeah, go. Yeah, not crossing, Peter. And Brickyard, 5781, 70 tower, 1208, runway 22 left to the land. Cool land, uh, 22 left, Brickyard, 5751, And we have Kenny becoming a channel member. Thank you so much. Welcome to First Class on board Emily Flash Live. Thank you, Kenny. Yeah, that's not Joanna. Are you ready? 
Not Joanna. Don't think so. That's Kennedy Steph. <laughs> As roles reverse, are you ready? <laughs> Joanna, that's not. That's not you. Well, we need Kennedy Steph on the show. Jeez Louise. <laughs> That goes any 190, Jeff Blue. Let's take a look at the flight information for this one. Flying to Nantucket, by the way. Okay, so Joanna telling us in the interview that she got her start at Nantucket. And let's go to the Emirates. You have Emirates still waiting to cross the runway. Let's see. You have Eva Air Cargo right now lining up on two two rights. I wonder if they're gonna let the triple seven leave or let Emirates cross. And we have Ethan. Are you ready? Ethan Allen sending us a fifty dollars super chat. Good day, Joshua. Peter. Hey, Kevin. Hello, you connected the uh, hotel back to Zulu and Golf Club for a week drive. Hey, hotel. We take Julia right here. Don't want to interrupt the tower. We have Ethan sending us a $50 gift. When watching LA flights on cell phone, you cannot gift membership. What is tomorrow's schedule? How does it look like uh, tomorrow? Do we know yet? Epic shows, we have seen the rest. And now we are part of the best LA flight. I love that message. Thank you so much, Ethan. Love hearing that. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be live when? I think 10, 11 start time. What do yeah, you think? same as today. Same as, as today. If the winds are cooperating with us, we'll stay as long as we can. Rainy day tomorrow. Get ready. Oh, yes. That's true. Bring your poncho. Uh -oh. I got mine. Did you bring did you pack your poncho? Rain. I got, I got, a poncho. I got okay. two just in case. <laughs> OK. Yeah, it's going to be rainy tomorrow. It's a rainy day tomorrow. My goodness, can't wait. Yeah. CRJ crossing the runway here. And I think maybe yeah, I think the Emirates, uh, Emirates too. Ready. Yep. Taxi lights on. <laughs> Finally, Emirates. Rick up 5781, you can see Yankee and Hotel hold short of runway 2 right. Yankee, Hotel, hold short runway 2 right. Rick here, 5781. I think also Qatar, the triple seven, is also crossing to five right. Yeah, we'll go take a look. Uh, yes, it is crossing. Okay, Captain. Uh, Captain. First officer, not yet, right? Not yet. By choice. Go back to uh, A380, uh, first officer Mike. Who's the better cameraman, FO Mike or Captain Ken? What was that? I, I already said it. Yeah. I already said it. I think the radio cut <laughs> think, out there, but yeah, I, I said it. Did Joshua say something? Huh? Check his, maybe he's on mute. <laughs> maybe I'm on mute. One of the yet. wires loose? <laughs> oh, look at this! Tell us. Look what we have! All right, so we have 1A380 right there taxiing. Look oh, at who wow. we have landing. We have the Germans arriving in front of LA flights. Runway 22 left. Eight hour, 10 minute flights for this one. Oh, yes. What a beauty. They're making the uh, Emirates plane go on a scenic tour. No, Kevin, Emirates is uh, it's not parking next to us. Yeah. Oh, it's not? No, no, it's not. Something I said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Lufthansa. Lots of reverse thrusts. Big boy, king of the skies. That's a good sight. Come on, everybody, fill the chat with A380 vibes. The 
the biggest of boys. As we see the A380 exit the runway, we have Daniel sending us a two euro super chat. Thank you so much. Greetings to my lovely wife, Nora, sending a love message. Thank you, Daniel. Shout out to Nora watching LA Flash Live. Joanna, everyone. One hundred percent, hundred percent, without a doubt. All right, let's listen to the tower. Yeah, that's Joanna. One hundred percent, no doubt. American 118, Kenzie Tower, 1200, lot 7, runway 2 left, PS land. Hello, 2 left, American 118. I just remembered I should have asked Joanna for a special shine the light, because up in the tower they have something called the light gun. Oh, wow. wow. So they have something called the light gun, and we November have, five, five, as pilots, we can use like different signals. It's red, green, white. Depending on how they're flashing them at us, can determine what the signal means in case of a loss of communication. Really? So I That's just cool. remembered here that we should have asked her for a shine the light from the tower. <laughs> <laughs> from the tower. Yeah. The tower giving a shine the light. Yeah. She's gonna have to go back to Nantucket if she does that. Uh, for <laughs> officer Mike, we don't want to risk that. <laughs> My goodness, but that would be such an incredible. They just have to have, like blow the dust off of it, probably. Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. That, uh, so, like, the special yeah. colors, uh, do you know what the colors mean? So it depends if you're on the ground or in the air. Yeah. yeah. Um, you could be uh, taxing, so uh, you could be flying around, and yeah. let's say you lost uh -huh. radio communication, the tower could actually shine, like, it's like a giant spotlight, shine it towards the cockpit, and if you get, like, a solid green, you're clear to land. Wow. Yeah. So power outages, uh, storms? Um, Generally, there probably wouldn't be a power outage in the tower, because I'm sure they have a generator backups. Yeah, but definitely. let's say one of our radios, okay, our radios, radio failure, radio failure yeah. in the in the aircraft, we can still communicate with the tower via the light gun. Wow! They could give us our signal clear to land or don't land, go around. Yeah, very cool stuff. Yeah, cool stuff. I didn't know that. Look, first officer Mike, thank you so much. I almost forgot you. Were, I almost forgot you were a first officer for a major airline. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Powder on the nose, are you ready? Jet blue. Yeah. Heading towards us. Number one hotel Yankee can contact New York approach on one two five point seven. Have a good day. Five seven one hundred yeah. KLM 641, final uh, 2-2-1. KLM 641, heavy, Kenzie Tower, hello, welcome to New York. Wind 210, left, left, 2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2
rubbing off on you. Yeah. Jetblue 21 and Crescent, Lake Juliet, taxi right on to Bravo. Give way to the Delta, exiting at Hotel Bravo and Monash Sound, 121.9 today. Okay, Crescent 22 right, so right on Bravo, give way to the Delta and come back around. Uh, Thank you so much, Sue, sending us a PayPal gift. Congratulations on this fantastic live stream. The entire team is awesome. And Josh will always be the best cameraman. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Nice. Sue nice. sending us a $5 tip on PayPal. Thank you so much, Sue. I'm sorry for sending you a shout out this late. We have Nabil sending us a $20 super chat through PayPal. Great UN week uh, this week. Thank you so much, Nabil. We appreciate that. Jeez, I hope I pronounced that name correctly. My goodness. KLM coming in. This one flying in from Amsterdam. 787-9. Seven-hour, 20-minute flight. You ever been on the uh, 787, uh, J.A. Lopez? No, not myself personally, no. I have. Yeah? Uh, when I flew to New uh, Newark last oh, year. Oh, yeah, that's true. United. So I was on that. Was it the Dash 10? What? Was it the Dash 10? Oh, I apologize. I think Josh is right. It was a dash town. Yeah. yeah. Good experience on the Dreamliner? What do you think? First uh, officer Mike would love to fly on the 787. Well, that's, that's his dream, dream plane. plane that's right? My dream plane is the Dreamliner. Wow. So in the cockpit, pretty nice, pretty modern. How about as a passenger, uh, Kevin? Kevin, yeah. It was, I mean, I would say going, it was great. I told you on one of my stories it was a little problem because... We taxied for 45 minutes because they changed runways and we didn't have air conditioning, you know, so it was a little iffy. It was a little crazy, but yeah. But overall, yeah, it was a smooth flight. And for those that have the window seats, which I wasn't, but you know, you, you get to push the button to to dim, uh -huh. well, to dim the uh, the windows, which is so unique for oh, the, wow. the train. Yeah. They don't have the shades. You yeah, push the cool. button and it kind of dims. Yeah. You know, I'm a sucker for gadgets like that, you know? Oh, you'd be pushing that button for the whole <laughs> flight. I know you. <laughs> I like it. What can I say? I like that. I'm sold. Uh, biggest plane you've ever flown, uh, Jay Lopez? Now that y'all were talking, when we went to Europe in 19, I know it was British, uh, British Airlines. And it could have been a 380 on the way back, because this is before I got into yeah, plane you know, spotting, yeah, plane spotting, recognizing planes. Right. And so that, again, this is back in 19. And so I was at Heathrow, you know, walking around, mom sitting down, and I'm looking curiously at at this plane that we're going to get on. And I'm like, why does this plane have two ramps? One going up, oh, wow. <laughs> one going okay. down. You know. So I'm like, I've thought about this months ago. I was like, that must have been an A380 that I oh, was yeah, on definitely. on the way back. King of the Skies, two what decks. Airline? What airline was it? BA. Yeah. British, yeah. yeah. Or 747? No. It no. was London from London to Austin. Austin, okay. Yes. Yeah, we flew it in and out of Austin because unfortunately San Antonio doesn't have those long haul flights. We have to go to Austin. Or maybe go to Houston and Dallas and then they would send us to wherever we need to go. So A380. A380. Yeah. That's Little did I know. Had to be. I know you, you weren't into the plane spotting, you weren't into the recognition of the planes. How was the flight on the wonderful. Super? Un wonderful, wonderful. I, I have a profile with BA. So if I go to Europe, uh, I will take British yeah, Airways. Yeah, connect through London, right? Right, yes. yes. So that's your airline of choice. If you got to go to London from New York, Los Angeles, whatever, right. Texas. Yes, yes. That, that, that's thanks to my mom. She got me kind of like a membership. Yeah. So. I, I joined up with them. Okay, and great flying experience. Awesome, beautiful, wonderful. I've heard from a few experienced travelers, right, saying that uh, sometimes British Airways might misplace a bag or two at London, but that's not the airline's flight uh, fault. That is 
some other entities' right. fault. Right. Because London is just so packed. It's so busy. Well, it's a huge airport. Absolutely. Like three or four terminals right. spread across the property. They're not like, you know, in a horseshoe shape or a, right. They're literally completely different buildings, different properties. Um, and that's, I, I, I've had, I told you one of my stories. I had our luggage. Uh, never made it, and I think it's because we were coming in from Terminal 3 and we had to go to Terminal 1, and it's just a vast, you know, uh, a property to move luggage. It's like moving it from one side of the airport to another. It's not like, they're not connected, right. per se. It could um, be miles. Yeah. It has to travel. Because I told you, I was yeah. on the flight that came in from Greece on British Airways, and we were Athens to London, and then we had to take a flight from London to Chicago. We were we had, we had a three and a half hour layover, and our luggage still didn't make it. You know, that's one of the things that worries right. me about having a London special because Mr. Lopez, you are seeing firsthand right. at the equipment that we take. This Impressive. is the equipment that we would have to take. This is it to London, for example, and having my bag not meet me. Right. Even you know, just one. If just one, one, one gets lost, compromises it's, the show, it's and done. Did you have it shipped? I don't know. I've never looked into that. No. I'm just thinking. Yeah. I'm just. It's 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 not gonna, gonna work. Okay. Yeah. We've yeah. looked into that. The logistics to make that possible. The costs to make that possible. Not worth it. It is if you put it on a cargo flight. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it is worth it if we put it on Josh's credit card. You know, then it is worth it. No, no. That's curious that you bring that up about lost baggage. I came here, arrived at Terminal 4. Yes. Wow. Delta. Okay. Oh, no. Delta, to go pick up my bag. And the board said, uh, Carousel 10. Yes. Turned out to be Carousel 11. You know, right, right, next, right yeah. next to it. Yeah. But they never changed it, never updated the board. That's scary, man. So, you know, a whole bunch of us are there around 11 waiting for our luggage. It's basically empty. And then we look behind us, and Carousel 10 <laughs> is just full. <laughs> and empty with passage, no right. passengers there. Exactly. So I saw one of my fellow uh, uh, Passenger, flyers, yeah, fly. passengers. I saw he got his back. I'm like, so let me, I went to go check, and sure enough, it was, I don't know how long it had been spinning on Carousel. Wow. Uh, yeah, wow. 11. How yeah. long were you waiting? How long were you staring at an empty you must have carousel been biting your tent? nails. <laughs> Probably you close to half an left? hour. <laughs> oh, man. Half an, an hour. hour. Half, half an hour. Half an half hour. An hour. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it probably took me a... Because we were actually... And I was uh, chatting uh, with those on, with those who were on the stream before the, before the stream went live. I was in the penalty box one time for five minutes. I saw that. Yeah. And then they, they pulled us in. And then eventually the pilot said, well, we need a tug to pull us in all the way in. Yeah. I guess something about that it was too tight or something like that. Something the, like that. Something yeah. about the, that's the impression I got. So again, that was another 20 to 25 minutes. Luckily, uh -huh. they let us out and about if we needed to, you know, do something. But, um, but yeah. So to get out of, from once we landed, to get out of uh, the terminal, probably an hour. Yeah. All together. Let's just say because First Officer Mike is giving me like a nervous look. We love Delta. Delta, Premier Airline. <laughs> Are you ready? You should see the face that he's giving me right oh, now. No. <laughs> he is biting his nails right now. First off, listen, we love Delta here. That's absolutely. why we choose to fly them yeah. every single time. No, we'll right? still, I'll still go to Delta. Yeah. Absolutely. That came in on uh, A220. I get uh, three different size planes on the uh, well, Wow. This whole trip, yeah. A220, uh, CRJ from here to Detroit, and then an A321 from Detroit back to wow. San Antonio. Oh, it's a connection. It's not direct. Yeah, it's not direct. Ah, okay. I, at least I got one way connect. I mean, direct. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll take that any day of the week. There, there you go. go. Hey, that caught my <laughs> there attention. There you go. <laughs> you get away with it when you say it. I get, I get the dirty look. <laughs> All right, let's hear some more of the Two tower. Of land, the 185 heavy. Delta 99, have you asked Juliet, Frost, Sunway, Future Race, and which fast way are you headed to today? Some of my okay, favorite Juliet, banter between uh, uh, the two of you, and Peter and Joshua, was uh, when y'all were coming up with uh, ideas for the channel. Yeah. And I threw in a comment, and you, you put it on screen, Peter, that uh, middle seat reviews. 
And so I was kind of surprised that uh, Kevin here got uh, the middle seat. So it was like, I thought Joshua was going to do No, this. no, Kevin was sitting next to me. Yeah. Peter, he went to he went to the other side of the airplane. Yeah, because I wanted a window seat. Ah, okay. Yeah, but no, Kevin got an aisle. On the oh. 767, it's 232. Two. Okay, I wasn't yeah. sure who, if there was somebody beside Kevin. So yeah. that's... You would not sit in the in the middle seat then, Kevin. No, he got the aisle. Oh, we can't hear you. That plane only had two, was it two? Captain, uh, two, three, two. Kevin forgets the format of the show. Are you ready? You have to have the headset. Kevin said. <laughs> well, Kevin's fired. <laughs> I think Kevin has vanished. Are you ready? I think Kevin wants to go take a break. All right, guys. Let's listen to the tower. Joanna, who kept us company. On frequency. You can maintain out of below 1,400 until you get to Belmont. At Belmont, I'll meet you at or below 500. There will be traffic overhead, caution like surveillance. Kennedy altimeter 2994. She's such, so a, polite. such a difference. I mean, wow. so calm. Not only that, there's so many instructions that she's given to this other aircraft that's coming in as well. I, I just, just feel like it's does. like, no worries. Like, hey, you know, don't worry about yeah. it. The word is patience. Wow. My goodness. Do you have that traffic in sight? Do have that traffic. JetBlue 224 maintains visual separation from that traffic. It is visual, uh, 224. JetBlue 224, thank you. And 200 at 7, runway 220 left, clear to land. There goes Kevin, taking a break. Trying to hide. Delta 987, Delta 987, Candy Tower, hello. And 200 at 7, runway 220 left, clear to land. 220 left, clear to land, Delta 987. So Peter and Joshua, y'all will only fly when you fly window seats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Window, window seats. Yeah. See, I'm an aisle seat. I guess you get to an age where you just feel so more, more secure on, on the aisle. I'm almost I'm almost there, okay? Because I don't like it. I don't like to be, you know, it's when we get off the plane, I always have to wait for an extra mm -hmm. amount of minutes for my seatmate mm -hmm. to get up right. and, you know, get their bags. And, Especially, you know, you know, if they're the, the type of person that just <laughs> waits for everyone else to leave. They don't want to, like, fight to, like, be the first one out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little hair pulling. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like it. to control the window shade. <laughs> I don't know. Come to think of it, I think I'm that person that just waits for the other people oh to get man, out. Oh, man, I'd be mad. At, I'd be pulling my hair out at you. <laughs> and I also need to sit close to the front of the plane. I don't yeah. know. And I'll, I'll play for the premium economy. Yeah. I like to sit in the back of the plane. Really? Yeah. Well, we'd have an option. <laughs> we don't have an option, <laughs> so I have to like it. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Delta 767, that's a Captain Ken Mobile. Oh, look at this, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Max. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's hear the uh, tower. Helicopter 2 on 2 Yankee, you are radar contact at 500. And can you tell me the request one more time? We're just going westbound out of the five. We'll check out for the Hudson River. 2 on 2 Yankee, Roger. All of that is approved as requested. Caution with turbulence. You will have just of a head to departing Kennedy. Kennedy altimeter is 2994. You can also start looking for opposite direction traffic along the shoreline. Currently at Looks your like Jeff one Blue o'clock, pushing off again number one. Miles, yeah. Five hundred five hundred I'm, I'm just loving <laughs> Joanna's <laughs> controlling right now. Yeah, there you go. Excuse me. Very polite. November one three nine hotel fax I already forgot, but are you looking further by following? Helicopter 139 Hotel Foxtrot at the Jones Beach Monument at this time, ready for the Terminator, scored via far and frequency changes approved. Have a good night. That's uh, water you're drinking, right? Peter? Peter right now opening some water that has bubbles. Huh? American 532 Cross, Sunday City by Anne Julian. That's the straight ahead via Alpha and Monica Downs, 121.9. Have a good day. Thank you, Peter opening a bottle of water that says Sprite, but it's water, he's assuring me. 
Let's see, we got the ground controllers. Unhitching the E-175. Not the E-190. Welcome to New York. Yeah. I've heard that. Listen. All day, I haven't heard welcome to New York. All except day. from... Except from Joanna. Joanna. Welcome to New York. Yeah. It's those key differences that makes, that separates her from the pack. I mean, welcome to New York. Yeah. I mean, All she's day. just noticeably so much calmer and more patient. All day long, I haven't heard welcome to New York. Oh, yeah. All right, let's pump up the sound. Engine startup. I want to see the salute by the ground controllers. Yeah, the, it looks like they took off the headset. Tow bar is disconnected from the E190. Should give a salute. The wave, a little, maybe a little wave. And they got someone in the little tug waving their uh, wands over there. Oh, player. There we go. There we go. There we go. And yeah, we got it. Nice and clear. We, you won't be able to hear us for the next two minutes. I think no one complains about that. Listen, we have updates on executive planes. We have Jeffrey Lou sending us a super chat, letting us know that. I'm kind of disappointed in hearing this. Are you ready? Uh-oh. C-32, that's the highly modified 757. Okay. Approaching from the southwest, northeast of Trenton currently. And the call sign, Exec 1F. Now listen. If it would have been Air Force One, it would have been Air Force One. So only when the president is on board an Air Force aircraft, that's when its call sign turns to Air Force One. So I assume that 757, the C-32, is not carrying the president. So that gives us a good opportunity of still seeing the VC-25 wow, arriving okay. at 6 p.m. Exec, what an F-1? A backup aircraft, support aircraft. Yeah. So the C7, uh, uh, correction, C 757, highly modified C32 military designation, arriving in just a few moments. Now, which runway? Do we know? Since it's not carrying the president, JFK will not be in a lockdown. Should arrive on the 22s. Wow. Okay. It's Guys, you don't want to. You don't. Wanna, yeah. You want to watch this? Do not tune out. <laughs> We're about to see our first taste of some U.S. Air Force. Yes. Now action. it's time. Listen, we've seen Nigerians. We've seen, I think, the Cubans. We've seen the Spanish. We've seen so many other countries. It's time for the U.S. to represent. Finally, UN Week. Thank you so much, Cindy, sending us a $5 super chat on a 232 configuration. I buy two tickets at the window so I can have both seats and switch as 
necessary. My goodness, that's a luxury that we can't afford. My goodness, Cindy, that, that's uh, the way to travel. And there goes Speedbird heading to Terminal 1. We'll be seeing any more of it until it leaves. Thank you so much, Doug, sending us a $5 tip. I think we have a new proper power couple. Josh and Johanna. Uh, Josh. Uh, wow. What's Doug? that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? Thank you so much, Doug. We appreciate Thank that. You, Doug. Let's hear Johanna on the radio. Why? Well, because why not? Let's take a look if the 757 is on flight radar, and I'm not seeing it just yet. Sorry, Josh, go ahead. Yeah, it's just a lot of 767 action. Another 767. You know, we should. this is another bet opportunity, just like we had in SFO. The same way that we said it, how many 777s were we going to see of United at SFO. This is another opportunity to make a wager to see how many 767 deltas we've seen. I, I feel like we've seen more than 20 by now. And we, we're only, what, five hours in? Four hours in? I think uh, all the internationals coming back in from Europe. Yeah. Coming back into the terminal for a turnaround for later tonight. Listen, I mean, Air Force One, right? We'll land right when we have, not the traffic jam, the push. Push. How is that going to look? My goodness, I can't wait. <laughs> Not the traffic jam. No, no traffic jams at JFK. No. Push. 737 Alaska Airlines landing on 22 right. Are you ready before anything else? I want the entire LA Flight's house to send the friendly vibes emoji for Joanna on the tower right now. We are listening to Joanna. That's her. She gave us half an hour of her oh, yeah. valuable time, give us, giving us such an incredible insight. Give it up for Joanna, I think. Friendly vibes, please, for Joanna. A legend. You bet. Let's see, we got Neos coming in from Italy. Rome, right? Yes. Roma? Milan. Milan, okay. Milan. Alaska, third floor, cross runway 2289, Juliet, follow, company, Milan at the ground, 121.9, have a good day. Okay, cross 22 right, follow, company, the monitor ground. Very nice. Delta 348, cross runway 228, Juliet, and where do you park today? Which time do you answer? How did the Italians say it? Milano, right? Milano. Milano. Roger, Delta 348, cross to right, right on Bravo, and stay with me for now. Do you have eyes on the 757, the BC-32? Over, over Newark. Okay. Keep those friendly vibes going, my friends. I'm going to be sending her a clip of the chat. Let's make it. Let's make it incredible. Are you ready? Friendly vibes of the chats. She's going to be seeing this a little later on. Make that chat go crazy. American Airlines 777 coming in. Let's take a look at the 75 and... Delta 348, continue via Bravo, monitor ground 121.9, have a good day. Bravo, monitor ground 121.9, Delta 348. There's a chance that it might be arriving at LaGuardia. Chance. Okay. There goes the triple seven. We have an A330 Neo Delta Airlines on the roll. Final seven, I do have your way to contact the 500. Five, 
Do we know where the A330 is going? Let's check it out. We're too busy listening to the tower, Josh. <laughs> Delta's 202 flying to Athens yeah. and A330 to Athens. Okay, we saw the arrival and now this is departure now. American 67 Heavy, that's the uh, Juliet, hold short, but then like the device, stay with me. Juliet, hold short, stay right, stay with you, Alright, Neos. Delta 332 Heavy. Neos holding short. Delta 332 Heavy, 10 feet Ah, oh, look at this! Oh. Etienne, Dreamliner, I see landing it. on 2 2 right! Delta 332 Heavy. Right next to us, the closest runway. Flying in from Abu Dhabi, this one. 13 hour, 30 minute flight. Oh, yes, look at this. Incredible delivery. Very elegant right now. Look Touching at this. that right in front of us. Oh, man. Beautiful. I got to thank Max for the assist there. Thank you, Max. VC32, where are you? It might be landing at LaGuardia, Mobile all right? Seven, okay. Seven, cross to Dubai and Juliet. Straight ahead to the, uh, Juliet. And we'll hear of Joanna. Of Talk to Air Force, uh, excuse me, to the VC32. All right, there goes Etihad. Uh, let's see, we got a couple heavies right now. Holding short, wanting to cross. However, we have an exec jet right now, so we'll see who goes first, the exec jet to take off or the heavies to cross. Mosfire 787, the traffic from the right looks like they are stopping for you, so continue straight ahead via taxiway Alpha. And just no delay on this crossing because we say they She's going to get him across, no delay. Final. Yeah. Perfect. Yes, look at that. So they're waiting for them. The Dreamliner crossing, but the triple seven missing out, having to wait for the next gap. Final seven, Roger. Discussion: There will be a helicopter heading your way in that area. They are approaching from the south. Final seven, Roger. We have a helicopter heading your way. Montara 787, continue Alpha and monitor down. One two one. Oh, look at this! Look at we have. Arolinas, Argentinas. Flying to Buenos Aires, Argentina. That's a That's great livery. I love the love uh, Argentinian livery. Exact jet getting out of here. We saw this one land, I remember. Flying to, oh, no flight information for this one, but it is a Bombardier Challenger 300. That has to be a rocket launch, just getting out of here so fast. Let's go to the planes that want to leave. First up, it's a 737 Delta Airlines right behind it. We have a Avianca A320. Right behind the Avianca, we have a JetBlue E190. And a bit of a correction, that is a Avianca A319. Behind the E-190, we have that A-330 heading to Argentina. Let's go to the 737 up next, already rolling. As we watch the 737 on the takeoff roll, let's go take a look. Come on, let's get the lift off first. We have a 767 about a touchdown on 2-2 two -two left. All right, let's go to the 767. That 737 taking a little too long to lift off. There is the 767 heavy flying. about to touch down on 2-2 two -two left. Go ahead, flying Peter. In from Los Angeles, California. Oh, yes. Five-hour flight. That is an LA flight. Let oh, me this give is you a 332. 332, yes it is. Ah, there we go. This is the one that we took and Max 39 took. Awesome. And let me confirm, VC32 is landing at LaGuardia, but Air Force One at 6 p.m., I think it's 6 to 6.30 p.m., Air Force One will arrive it's at still happening. JFK. That's still happening. Okay, good to know. The president arriving at JFK a little after 6 p.m. Eastern time.
VC-32, the support aircraft, a, seven, a highly modified 757, landed at LaGuardia. Uh, correction, about to land at LaGuardia. Hey, Peter. Air Force One lands here. Take a look at this. Look who we have. Oh, Josh. Ethiopian. Oh, yes. Let's look get the at Polish. This. Let's get the Polish. We, we have lots this one in honor of Joanna. Yeah, landing right in front of us. This is also a special livery, too. Let's hear the control tower. Delta 332. I'm pretty sure Joanna is still in the tower right now. She's going to be talking to Polish. Beautiful touchdown. FO Mike, did they give uh, American Airlines clear to cross? Uh, I don't think so, not yet. No, not yet. I haven't heard anything. I heard heavy cross. Good on that one. Yeah, that Did was they? it. Oh, yeah, maybe American it was. Airlines moving. Delta 332 heavy, check on your gates for me. Let me know if it's open for you. I was too busy looking to see if anyone was taking off. You'll be going into. <laughs> it is Bravo 37, it is open. And, uh, All right, there goes American Airlines. Delta 332 heavy. Delta Finally crossing. Delta 332 heavy, taxi Juliet, and hold short of runway 22. Bye. Right, and after Julia, this, I want to go take a look at that Ethiopian in, in the Star Alliance livery. This is the one that we saw come in from Havana, Cuba, just about two hours ago. So most likely charting uh, some type of diplomat. You know something? That one right there, right? 787-8, it's flying to Ethiopia right now. Oh, it is. Ethiopian 8507 flying back to Ethiopia. So that tells me possible scheduled flights. But why is it, why was it flying in from Havana, Cuba? That's the question. JetBlue 766 taxi via Hotel Zulu Golf. Hold short of runway 22 right. Hotel Zulu Golf, hold short 22 right. JetBlue 766. All right, little Avianca getting a move on. Where is Little Avianca flying to today? It's flying to Bogota, Colombia. How nice for Little Avianca. Avianca 211 on her way, 2,500 nautical miles. Not too shabby. And up next, we have that E-190 JetBlue already lining up behind the Avianca on runway wow, 22 right. is sounding really nice. Wow. Out of nowhere. Nice rotation there. <laughs> Was that a little aggressive rotation? What do you think of that? Is this a rocket or what? Hold on a minute. Let's take a look at the numbers. I'll tell you if it was a rocket. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. And the first stop was a mic. On the money, 2,100 meters. Great. It's almost like clock. he knows what he's talking about <laughs> when it comes to planes. It's almost like if you were a first officer for a Premier <laughs> yeah. Airline. It Are might, yeah, almost. Oh, look at this. All right, so we're going to see Jeff Blue for just a little bit. We have a heavy coming in on the parallel. Ita coming in also from Milan. In the old Alitalia livery. In the legacy livery. And number 52, 63, Kennedy Tower, wind 190 at 7, runway 22 left, see at land. Beautiful touchdown by the uh, the Ita in the Alitalia livery. Oh, and look and at this! Aerolinia taking off. Yes! One A330 to another. Aerolinias Argentinas. Star 
is taking the runway now. All right, thanks, FL Mike, for the call out. Let's go to that Star Alliance Streamliner heading back to Ethiopia. This one did land, it did come in from Havana, Cuba earlier. Yep. You know something? I really wish we had more time with Joanna because I had so many questions for her. Oh, yeah? yeah. Are you kidding? Another question is, you know, how do you deal with such a high-stress environment? Right. How does she relieve herself? My right. goodness. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. yeah. The stress to be in charge of, I think, the busiest, one of the busiest airspaces in the entire world and have the patience, the demeanor that she has. My goodness, it would have been amazing to you. Also, something that we ask everyone that is a co-host of the channel. Sure. The green <laughs> creatures with antennas I, I think gonna smashing the, into the plane like Captain Ken. I Captain, think, yeah. I think they're going to say the in and out. Oh. And would you wait 45 <laughs> wait. minutes for a burger? When she goes to Los Angeles, we'll ask her that. My goodness. <laughs> you have fought talk with uh, the controller for JFK. My goodness. I mean, you're, that? you're all the way high up in the tower. I'm sure you're seeing some stuff fly around. <laughs> and Josh, imagine all the reports from pilots. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding you know, me? Over the years. Right. I'm sure she's heard of something. You know, oh, you know, Kennedy Tower. Do you have this on radar? You know, interesting you stories. I wish we had more time. I know. My goodness. Campfire stories. We have Al Collins sending us a super chat. Thank you so much. We have First Officer Mike. How do you feel about Paris? Now the airport, Shaw de Gaulle. I'm not a fan, Al Collins says. He's not a fan. Not a fan of uh, CDG. What do you think, uh, First Officer Mike? Well, I can only say I've been to Paris once and I wasn't the pilot flying it, so I, I can't have an opinion on it right now. All I know is that the airport's too far from the city, so that's probably why I haven't gone back again. <laughs> JetBlue 2287, have we seen this one arrive? Let's take a look. 2287. Uh, let's see, we have a possible shine. The light happening in just a bit. 2287. And it uh, looks like uh, Kevin is back. I think uh, he, he's, his excuse was that he was signing some autographs for some fans. Because, of course, Kevin here is the star. Understandable. Totally understandable. Talking about... That you, is it? You're Kevin, right? <laughs> Aren't you Kevin? That's right. You look you familiar. Do, you, do the, uh, the, you do the plane spotting show, right? <laughs> I was signing some autographs of some air cargo pilots that were asking me what my... my, uh, my, what my uh, toils and tribulations on the cargo pallet was like. I said, read the autobiography coming out soon. <laughs> <laughs> on Amazon. Get it on Amazon. That's right. <laughs> Talking about Kevin. We have Kevin. <laughs> Kevin M. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome to see LA flights back in JFK for UN week. Next time I will say hi to Josh uh, when you're back in Los Angeles when I visit again. Yeah, Kevin. Come on. Next time say hi to Josh. You only said hi to me. My goodness. Josh, oh, that's the right. Peter's cameraman. the star here. Josh, the, the amazing cameraman. Catman, as he's known at night. I was actually talking to pilots up there uh, that were asking about our show. I said, can you, they said, can you watch the replay? I said, of course you can watch the replay. Is that the whole point? That's the whole point. All right, possible to shine the light on board JetBlue 2289. Flying in from Amsterdam, a seven hour, 42 minute flight. A321 Neo, uh, LR, excuse me, LR. LR. Gotta stick that in. 11 minutes of flight time left for JetBlue 2289. Possible shine the light. All right, let's hear the tower. I'm getting tower withdrawals, are you ready? 
Goodness, guys, oh, look man. at this. The is time. this camera good, Josh? What do you think? Is yeah, it, sure. Oh, is no, it? it's too close. That's why. You have to use the, the your camera. Yeah, all right. Look at this, guys. We're going to say goodbye to First Officer no. Mike. No, we were having way. so much so fun. Quick. This day has flown by too fast. Oh, oh man. my goodness. All right, we're guys. Having way too much fun. Let's say goodbye to First Officer Mike. Uh, are you going to keep us company later in the week or what? Or this is it? Maybe Tuesday. Maybe Tuesday. Before I fly. <laughs> All right. I think we have you down on the list just in case. Yeah. Just in yeah. case. Yeah, just in case. I mean, it's not a court appearance. I mean, if you don't show up, you know, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday may be a special appearance. Oh, my goodness. All right, everyone. Let's say goodbye to First Officer Mike. He has to get a move on. Come on, guys. I mean, what a stellar performance from FL Mike. Really out, really shining today as a as a co-host. We out learned a lot info. of great insight from him. So much insight from FL Mike today. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, First Officer Mike signing out for today's episode. Thank That's you so right. much for keeping Give us company. Of course. Okay. Give it up. It's great meeting Thank everyone so much, today. Yeah. Appreciate Safe it. travels. If you didn't know, if you're just tuning in, who is this man wearing the Scuderia Ferrari shirt? Are you ready? <laughs> This is a legend here on the show. <laughs> we have Mr. Lopez. You've heard me say this name a million years. Jay Lopez keeping us company. First Officer Mike has to get a move on. We will see you hopefully later Tuesday. in the week on Tuesday. All right, guys. Look at that. Give it up, guys. Give it up. Thank you. Stellar performance today. Stellar performance by FL Mike. Uh, photo. photo. Good. Okay. Max thirty nine Bing Guy. Our, our, our channel photographer today taking a photo of all, all four of us. Well, because we're going to... Yeah, if you're not going to eat them, tell him if he's not going to eat them, but we'll take them. But if he wants them, he, he can have them. And uh, also a big shout out to FL Mike bringing us bagels today in the morning. And I think I, I, that was my first ever New York proper bagel, and it, I was... 100% impressed. <laughs> Some delicious, a delicious breakfast. Are you ready? Given to us by First Officer Mike. Come on, everybody. Friend, all right, how about this? Since First Officer Mike doesn't have a, uh, an emoji yet, how about this? Friendly, friendly vibes on the chat for First Officer Mike. On. Don't go yet. Hold on. And thank you so much, John. Okay, listen, John, about the taxi. Shine the lights. Incoming. Uh, let's see. What's the flight number? Because we have a shine the light happening by John. Let's take a look. Delta's. It's an A321 Delta Air aircraft, an A320. What's the gate number? Uh, it came from see. A9. Yeah. Say it again. It came from Alpha 9. You talking about this one in front of us? No. 
JetBlue, oh, no, excuse, excuse me. me, excuse me, Delta 1206, we are going to have a Shine the Lights. John, a wonderful photographer, we were talking to him yesterday after the show, wonderful man, wonderful viewer of LA Flights, Delta 12, 06, flying to Fort Lauderdale. Okay, it's on the other side. What happened? Some, okay, so we have John. Remember John, Josh, from yesterday? Yes. He's going to be taxiing in front of us in just a few moments and outbound, flying to Fort Lauderdale. Taxiing in front of us? In just a bit. Oh, it's Delta, right? Yes. Okay. And thank you so much, Carl. Are you ready? Uh, can I have a shout out? Okay, so we have Sun. Bo, thank you so much, Carl. I, am I pronouncing this name correctly as I stutter? Are you ready? B-E-A-U, Bo, as I struggle with the names. It's all right, where's Darren? Where is Darren? He can My say goodness. it. Excellent. A big shout out, a big friendly, warm welcome to Bo and Carl watching LA Flights Live. We have the French crossing 2-5 right. Oh, hold on, we're missing Joanna, come on. Skyway 3775, oh, well, company is blocking you from doing so, so hold your position. Oh, position, Skyway 3795, uh, the station, I got a little bit of one. Senegal 0011, Canada Tower, when 1 East 0 at East, runway 2 2 left, VMI. Air France crossing. Oh, look at this! We got a U190 right below us. I was wondering what all the noise was. Skyway 3775, good crossing to right, and taxi hotel with the other Flying to Boston. That one operated by Republic Airways. Jay Lopez, you, you were born in Massachusetts, right? Yes, I was. A long, long time ago. Okay, then you have an option. You, you have to say, how do you pronounce Boston? Not like the locals do, no. I, I, okay. I, never, I was never old enough to... Um, Develop the accent? Exactly. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but then living in the South basically all of my life, I've never had a, like, an accent like something like, uh, like Ke uh, Captain Ken. He's got s uh, somewhat of a Southern accent. Yeah, especially, uh, talk about Bruce Campbell though. He has uh, a slight, very... Slight, you know. A slight, right, slight. I'm being polite. How yeah. does uh, Kevin say it? Uh, Kevin says that Bruce Campbell has a, a Southern twang. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean the nicest way too. I don't want to get in trouble. We have El Collin sending a super chat. Thank you so much. Try to find peanut butter cups in the hotel to bring you. Uh. We'll take Kit Kat, Twix, <laughs> M&Ms. Um, El Collins, I think, keeping us company in just a few Do moments. Do they have that? I don't think so. Um, I don't huh. It's hard seen. to find. It's hard yeah. to find. If you can, I mean, if you're going to bring That'd something, be cool. you know, Kit Kat. Anyone want candy and chocolate? Or is it just the big host? <laughs> I think it's the big host. And it's the right. petite host. <laughs> Al Collins, my goodness. <laughs> the petite host. There goes uh, Copa. All right, that one out of here. Pushing back. Yeah, we're going to see it in just a bit. Air Force One, everyone. Get ready. Air Force One day today. After 6 p.m. Eastern time zone, we're going to have the President of the United States. A highly, highly understatement highly modified 747 arrive in front of us and let me tell you something jfk will be in a complete standstill a lockdown for jfk for several minutes creating a traffic jam for the ages air force one is scheduled to arrive a little after 6 p.m eastern time let me tell you something it's one of the busiest times of the day around 6 p.m how is the uh not the traffic jam, but the push. How is that going to look like? My goodness. Uh, let's listen to Joanna, who gave us the uh, wonderful interview. She's on the tower right now. JetBlue 876, Candy Tower, hello, wind 1 left, clear the No, Joshua, you bring, uh, when you asked me about the accent, yeah. something I enjoyed doing before 
COVID was going to an F1 race outside the country. So back in... Uh, All right, I'll mute ATC for this. That's a great story. Back in 17, I went to the race in Silverstone. Oh, wow. I'm so, so jealous. So I was there for almost a week, and I've heard this from other people. Yeah. That over just a, even a few days, you start developing an accent. I'll, I'll and, 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 hear it so much. Yes, yeah. You just <laughs> somehow adopt it. What's, what's uh, something you picked up? No, I was just like, sometimes <laughs> I would say something and finish a word, a sentence, and then the word, the last word would be like in an, in, in an accent. Ah, uh, okay, okay. You know something, I think I've been around too many, you know, uh, people from across the pond. I think it's starting to wear off on me because sometimes I get accused of saying like, oh, you know, Peter was with the accent, you know, oh, Peter, what's, you know, what is that? Like, what's with the fake accent, you know, blah, blah, blah. I didn't notice, you know, I, I'm just, uh, uh, I guess, around a whole right. bunch of people. I, right. I, I mean, my, I, I kind of pick up on that, but it's because I watch a lot of British TV shows. That could be also a thing. I mean, there we are big fans of the British uh, television, yeah, you know, right. the comedies, the, uh, uh, you know, a lot of programs over there across the pond, and I guess it does wear off because I get accused all the time. Hey, where are you no, coming? I've, where are you I've, bringing I've that accent? I've definitely done that. Oh, my goodness. Funny. Uh, let's see, some type of dignitary here. Let's see who it is. Uh, let's see. Senegal. Republic of Senegal. Flying their A320. It is you, Enuik, after all. Oh, look at this. Yes. Senegal. 767 landing on 2 2 right as v the A320 landed P on 2 2 left. Go ahead, Peter. Plane spotting. Yeah, VIP plane spotting. Senegal, my goodness. The government of Senegal arriving for the United Nations General Assembly. By the way, if you want some more behind the scenes pictures and updates, J. A. Lopez and First Officer Mike. Uh, First Officer Mike saying goodbye. Uh, the picture will be on X, oh. formerly known uh, as Twitter. I'm going to be putting it up right now. You know, Jay, when I got off the plane uh, yesterday, uh, same thing. I kind of start feeling the the vibes of <laughs> New York as far as the, you know the the way you talk. You know. <laughs> And it just grows on you, you know. Yep. I was in baggage claim, right. yeah. waiting. Okay. And like you, I was waiting for the bags. Right. And somebody <laughs> got in front of me. I said, "Hey, I'm waiting here." <laughs> oh, my. that's a drastic term, though. I'm waiting here. I'm, no, but I mean, that's that's. You're just here in New York for five minutes. Right. And you're already talking like a local. You sound <laughs> so it's like not even you were... rubbing off. You are becoming a New Yorker. You sound like if you were born and raised here, Kevin. <laughs> Get out of here. No. no. <laughs> Do I look like I was born here? <laughs> Come on. Kevin, do you want some uh, some water? <laughs> In my face. <laughs> In my face. <laughs> no, I wanted you to say, no, I don't want water, but in your... No, I don't want any water. Jeez. <laughs> he actually did it. <laughs> you actually nailed it, though. It's actually it pretty good. It is. It is. All right, we have JetBlue. Land. It, it's a plane spotting show, guys. Come on, enough with the comedy. <laughs> no, let's, planes. Let's go take a look at A321. More planes on LA flights. No. It, is this a run from from Amsterdam? Yes, it is. Ah. Flying it from Amsterdam, we might have a shine the light on this one. Hold on a minute. Let's take a look. I don't have the seat information. Yeah, what it didn't. I, I didn't know that this had a shine the light. Should be parking right next to us. So we're gonna have that JetBlue park right next to us in the next few minutes. So we're going to get pretty yeah. close up. If he's on the left side, we're going to luck out. If he's on the right, probably not. Right? Yes. These first four reason. these first four gates in front of us, I realize they only hold the Amber Rolls. They don't hold the A320. No, yeah. The, you're not going to see an A321 park up next to us. Yeah. That's only the, uh, the smaller ones. A320s, E190s. And the Senegal A320, and that's the new one too, the A321neo, Neo, uh, A320 Neo crossing 2-2 right.
There's the, the Uzbekistan Dreamliner over here. The one that kind of overstayed its visit. Staying here for wow. more than two hours. By the way, you smell that hours. exhaust? My goodness. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Wonderful. Jay, I love it. Smells. <laughs> I'm taking in the it's, local color, but it's, it's, it's really deafening. It's really thick, yes. the, the fumes. Hey, I don't know about you, but I want to hear Jay Lopez doing that cough again. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound like a cough. Are you ready? Uh, next one to arrive coming in, Virgin Atlantic flying in from Manchester. You know something, Virgin Atlantic might be parking right next to us. Josh, we is might that, have a shot of the light. Is that Jet the blue? One? It might be, might be. Taxi like a Formula One driver if it's that one. Yes. Where, which one? What's that again? one right there, taxiing. Possible shot of the light. From I don't where? know where the seat is. Let's just pan the camera throughout the aircraft. Do we have shine the lights? And doesn't look like it. No, okay. Oh, look at this! Wow! There's the Virgin Atlantic! There it already. is! Parking! Should park! Man, Gate so many seven. things to see! Wow! I love seeing the airport use both runways for arrivals. It goes to show how busy it is. But you gotta love the timing of it. You know, when, when the, there isn't too many planes lined up for departure, they start using both there runways. There's our flight again, right? I can see it. The Amsterdam Which one? flight. It's coming in. Oh, no, that's, that's not one. it. That's not it. No. That's not it? No. No, that one flying in from Sarasota. All right, let's see here. Some Probably tower? Okay, Julia, can we wait Oh, I think Joanna's Bravo gone. And, uh, yeah, there's no way she's going to, she's not a crazy, she's not going to be here for Air Force One. Right, 2339, turn right, Julia, hold short on my seat to right. Different style. Yeah, Different style. Brickyard 5722, runway 22 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 22 right, we're good. 5722. Get blue 1118, Kennedy Tower, traffic on an 8 mile final, runway 22 right, line up and wait. I'm 42 right, Jeff, 1118. Jeez. American 2, Kennedy Tower, traffic holding in position with 1907, runway 22 right, clear to land. Okay, we're going to go for the next arrival. Let's take a look. Uh, you know what? We'll go for the departure. It's an E-175 Delta. Takeoff happening, flying to Boston, Massachusetts, and hey, Embraer E-175. What about the uh, A321 uh, with John, the shine of the light? Did we miss it? Yes. We missed it. But for, uh, from what I heard is that John will be sitting on the right side of the plane. Okay. So we should have shine the light, the flight to Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, we should get it then. On takeoff. And it's number two for takeoff. Jeff Blue 1452, turn right Julia, taxi via Zulu Hotel, hotel runway 2 right. You know what seat? No. Jeff Blue 1118, traffic stop off. But it's on the right side, correct? Right. Right. Perfect takeoff, 2 right, Jeff Blue 1118. That's what I heard. Okay. That's what I heard yesterday okay. with our uh, conversation with John yesterday. So that's Delta aircraft lining up in just a bit. Number two for takeoff. We have a big boy coming in. We have Delta and A300. Uh, 300, 300. Let me say that again. Uh, A330. <laughs> 300. 300. The boys, huh? Flying in from Roma. Arriving in just a few seconds. All right, there goes the 190. Let's go take a look at that A330-300. Angela with a very good question in anticipation of Air Force One. How long does it take for the aircraft to start shutting down, uh, for the airport to start shutting down things, so operations? It usually is 10 minutes to 15 minutes before the arrival. So 10 to 15 minutes, we're just going to see a line of planes pile up in anticipation of Air Force One, a big boy 
arrive in uh, just a couple of hours. A little bit more than a couple of hours. Air Force One wait for today, day two of UN week. And there goes Copa Airlines that was right next to us. A oh, look few at that. commuter jets over here, a few regional jets in front blocking little bit the way. A little bit of a traffic, I mean, <clears throat> push. Push. It's getting busy. A little bit of a push. Two-hour countdown for Air Force One. Who is excited? Is it just me? Is it just Mr. Lopez? Is it I'm just excited. Josh? I cannot wait. Are you ready? I don't want to put you on the spot, all right? I don't want to put you on the spot. Go for it. Latin, yes? Yes. Of course. Yes. Of course. You give me the Latin version of Michael Schumacher vibes. <laughs> I don't know. It, You're listen, kidding. It, it gives me the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it, it, uh, all right, back to play. Who's Michael Schumacher? <laughs> He's a race car driver. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's funny because uh, Michael's uh, one of his uh, Formula One uh, Ferrari cars is my banner on my one of my Twitter pages. Yeah. Oh, really? really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I take it a big Michael Schumacher fan. Right? Absolutely. I grew yeah. up watching Michael Schumacher. My goodness. The best. Yeah. Of course. Look at that. Yeah. I, saw, I, mean, I don't know if you saw the uh, Schumacher uh, documentary on Netflix. But I haven't. Uh, oh, he really is like the Michael Jordan of Formula One. Really. Yeah. Right. It's it's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. goodness. Yeah. Very good. You enjoy it. Anybody who, I mean, even if. You don't like Ferrari. You generally, like for myself, I know, I know I'm wearing a, this is my team, Scuderia Ferrari. But I have purchased like the shirts for the other teams because it's my number one sport. It's the one sport I know I can wow. follow. Really? And I didn't like know this about and, you. And, and like every team. Uh, I enjoy the sport. You know, I got up early to, to watch the race. Yeah. Uh, even though I know. I wish I would have done that. We I slept would have at done 1 the same that's thing. Why. <laughs> but we slept. I slept at two in the morning, my friend. Uh, well, jeez, you've got responsibilities. I understand. Let's understand. Two seasons I've missed. Two seasons. Well, you haven't missed a whole lot because it's been one-sided. <laughs> it's been Josh-sided. Yeah, it's been Red Bull-sided. I'm raising my <laughs> fists but in hey, approval. That's why they race the races. Yeah. Because you never know what's going to happen. Absolutely. And to, you know, and today, well, yesterday, obviously, the results of the qualifying. Push the the Red Bulls to the back, but uh, but that's why they race the race because you know you've had winners from 14th, 15th, and you never know if it's going to rain, and that, that's why I, I, you know, I enjoy the sport. Absolutely! Oh my goodness! Look at that! I didn't know this about you. Number one sport. I didn't, yeah, I didn't it, realize it was, it was your favorite sport. It's my number. It's because it's it, like I say, it's the sport I enjoy watching all the teams and all the drivers. I mean Max. I mean I know, but the the one thing about Max is that he points out all the errors that the other drivers do to him. He does the same things to them. <laughs> so I think I mean, all, the, uh, all the guys say the same thing. What about Lewis all Hamilton? <laughs> That's Come I mean, on. Exactly. I mean, yeah. Tell me you're not a Lewis Hamilton fan. No, I, like I said, I've got, I like all the drivers. Yeah? Oh, yeah. goodness. I like all the drivers. I mean, maybe, I'm just talking about drivers. I'm not talking about their personal lives and what they do. Yeah, just the drivers. Yeah, just yeah. the drivers. Just drivers. And the teams. But yeah. it's my number one sport, and I'm hoping I'll spill some of my personal beans. Yeah, go for it, man. I'm hoping next year, because they realigned the schedule in April, that's when Japan is happening. Yeah, wow. So that's where I'd like to go is Japan. They're not doing Japan this season? They are. Okay. I think it's the next race, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. You know, we were actually kind of thinking about doing a Japanese special. We were thinking about this, like, <laughs> earlier yeah. in the year, trying to align the shows, you know, to have it, you know, worth it, of course. Right. And... So we can go see the race and, you know. There you go. And, I didn't uh, realize it was the next Japan. race, though. My goodness. <laughs> I, guess I think forget we about that idea. Forget about that idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of slipped our minds. The way I read it is that because it often rains in that type of, this time of the year in Japan, I believe that's why they moved it up. That's what I read. Mm -hmm. So they moved it up to April. So my plan to catch up, because I haven't gone since 19. Yeah, wow. Uh, is to go also to Mexico. So get two races. How about other tickets in Mexico? I've heard they're really expensive. Well, yeah. Miami was incredible. Las Vegas, I think the cheapest ticket I found was like 2,000 bucks. I was so excited. You know, Las Vegas, you right. know, above, you know. Yeah, it's right next to I us. looked it up, and the prices were 1,000, 2,000 plus. I mean, that's that, at that that's point. That's that gun. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, at that point, you just get people going there just to go there. 
Yes, exactly. Like and a that, status symbol. Yeah, a status right. symbol. It, it's exactly the same with Miami and even the, the race uh, in Austin. I enjoyed going there. In fact, I signed up uh, to be a volunteer when they first opened up the track. So I got in for free. I had to be there very early. But I was basically, in all essence, an usher, just with maps and saying, you know, you're look, I'm wow. looking for this turn or that turn. Very cool. You know, these amenities, uh, where can I find food? So that's what I did for the first few years. And then eventually I did buy a ticket to be a, a spectator in the stands. Yeah, wow. And so I enjoyed it. And that's why I suggested a few months ago that, you know, y'all could do DFW and then catch the race. <laughs> But I, I understand your reasoning because, you know, the prices have gone up. Yeah, it's no, if we go somewhere, it's going to be somewhere in Europe. You know I something? Think. A dream of mine. Dream, dream, dream of mine. And we were actually kind of making, trying to make it possible for this year, but we couldn't, you know, for whatever reason. Imola. My goodness. Yep. Imola. Amazing. See, I was supposed I, to go. That face. I was supposed to go in 20. <laughs> that face. Yeah. I was supposed to go. I had tickets. Everything. I had b and B. I I was going to go to uh, Prague. It's not too far from Milan, and the track is not too far from Milan. I had everything bought, and then, of course, COVID happened. Yeah. Wow. Touch. What yes. a shame. I got, you know, basically everything back, uh, gladly, uh, except for the ticket. But uh, Really? Yeah. Tickets to... Uh, they, haven't refunded. They, haven't, they haven't refunded. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a shame. It is a you shame. You know something? Oh, well, my goodness. Yeah. That's... Emma, listen. Oh, my goodness. Back yeah. to the plane. For those now, of you that are joining us, I'd like to welcome you back to our <laughs> first episode of L.A. Races. <laughs> F1 talk. You know, one more thing I'm going to mention, you Go know, ahead. about Las Vegas, about Miami, you know, all these people just making it a social status symbol, you Selfies. know. Absolutely. Yeah, the that's Instagram. what drives the price up. Abso that's what drives the prices exactly. up. And, you know, famously, David Coulthard, when he, he saw Christina Aguilera <laughs> at, at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix several years ago, you know, someone who has no interest in F1. Right. You know, it's people like that. Yeah. Absolutely. They're yeah. not, they're not true fans. No. They just want a selfie, you know, blah, right. blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. All right. I agree. The Thanks following to those comments people. do not reflect the opinions <laughs> or opinions Thank you. On the F1 racing giving us legally safe. safe. <laughs> Air Force One update. Uh, two hours away, everyone. Air Force One arrives in a couple of hours. Don't worry. We should make an F1 channel. Uh, Jay Lopez being the co-host of the yeah. uh, of the LA what is it LA F one uh, races we got LA races yeah. there you go there you LA go. drives Peter, LA drives just out of curiosity since the president is coming in um, and we have been having one guest after another did you ask Joe if he could stop by for like maybe two minutes uh, I mean I feel like we're kind of close now the Secret Service took our pizza last oh, night I feel yeah. like we have a little bit of an, uh, a connection uh, let's see. I'm lost. Who are you talking about, Kevin? Joe? Joe. Why are you kidding? Joe? Hold on a minute. The I'm president. Lost. Oh, Joe. I thought you were the Joe. Oh, my goodness. We're close. Kevin knows a guy who yeah, knows, knows a guy, a guy. that's going to be bringing. Him. Come on. <laughs> you I was jealous? just asking, you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> I <laughs> guess that on. means Let's no. Let's go back to the planes. Okay. I was this. lost there for a second. <laughs> Listen, we've been live <laughs> we for a whole bunch of hours. 747 coming in. Oh, look at that. Super chat coming in, John. Come on, Peter. Hey, did, did we get to talk 20 light? minutes about race cars? Oh, I can't I talk about the president for a second. We didn't second. get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, the F1 talk kind of stole the spot. Okay, that right was there. the flight I was on, everybody, yesterday. Atlas flying Atlas in from the city of Anchor. Yeah, that's the one you that's were That's the one I was on. Jay Lopez, did you see the picture that I posted on the uh, social? You were here in person when, you know, Kevin showed us his attire when he was in the cargo hold. Yes, yes. Poor guy. Sympathies. I still have it. I gotta get it ready for Friday. <laughs> hey, John. Uh, Josh, did you zoom into the uh, Fort Lauderdale? No, no, I didn't. Thank you so much, John. Are you ready? Yeah, sorry, John. There it is. Have a safe flight to Florida. We had such a wonderful talk yesterday. All the best to you, my friend. All the best. Let's hear the uh, control tower before we start talking about <laughs> our favorite races. 2238, Kennedy Tower, and we 22 right, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 22 right, Delta 2238. With 20 cross runway, 31 left at Kilo, taxi right, Bravo, monitor ground point nine. 
Bravo, 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 Delta 333, Kennedy Tower, wind 1708, runway 22 left, clear to land. We have the Fennel, yes, the Fennel. In one month, I'm going to enter Miami and Charlotte. So excited. I have no clue what that means. Enter Miami and Charlotte. Oh, hold on. Enter Miami versus Charlotte. I have no clue what that means. Soccer. Soccer. Oh. Messi. Oh. Yeah, we're not soccer fans. We're not soccer fans. Yeah. Yeah. You lost us there. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Are you not a soccer fan, J. Me? No. Wow, really? Just never grew up. I mean, I appreciate the sport. I appreciate appreciate the players because they Me have too. to they have to run so much. I think I've read that they run like the equivalent of 17 miles per match. Wow. You know something? I think I've heard more. It's a, it's it, it a crazy could be more. number. 17, you know, whatever it is, that's a, that's a massive distance. Right. 17 miles. I Just could think do that. that. But Josh could do that. Kevin could do that. That guy sure. over there. After a 12-hour live show like yesterday, that man could do a 17-mile run. <laughs> Electric scooter, sure. No problem. <laughs> Electric scooter. Or a football, as the whole world pronounces it. Yeah. Football. Foot oh, what is it? Football. Yeah, there you go. Football. It yeah. just, I find it hard to watch a match, and then the result is 1-0. <laughs> so, it's, it's, so it's like, all that for just... 1-0? Listen, I'll well, take that any day of the week. How about if it's 0-0 zero, zero with, you know... <laughs> right. I, well, I, I was trying to be... Uh, After 90 positive. minutes plus 15-minute right. overtime, forget right. about it. I do like, listen, a World Cup, it's like a tradition right, in my family. Yeah. You know, we always, you know, you know, yeah, follow the World Cup. Yeah. Dad always roots for uh, the Netherlands, and they yeah. always disappoint him. He's always disappointed with uh, the <laughs> Netherlands. Uh, you know, whenever the Netherlands is gone, you know, the U.S., you know, whenever the U.S. is gone, you know, the Brits. And after that, you know, I just right. lose interest. I got to be honest with you. I kind of lose interest after, after the, okay, so my dad's Netherlands, U.S., U.K. I'm U.S., Netherlands, Britain. Uh, Great Britain, I lose interest at the U.S. I gotta be honest with you, I lose interest when the U.S. is playing. <laughs> All right, come who on. Won the, who won the Women's World Cup? That was Spain. Yeah. Spain, Spanish, yeah. Yeah, yeah. wow. Okay. You didn't know that? That was no. good news. I saw the match, I saw the finals, I, uh, the, the actual World Cup match, and I saw it like at 10 p.m. at night, I think I dozed off like a, you know, oh, like man. 30 minutes in. You, uh, the fans of the soccer teams, you didn't hear that. Yeah, but then again, I mean, if I would have been seeing the U.S. men play, I would have dozed off, I think, in 29 minutes. So, you know, take that. <laughs> Any day of the week. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin are you sleeping? contact near your departure. <laughs> Apple 86, uh, you can contact Route Point 9. Let them know if you're gay. Thank you. Right, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Tell them get 231. We're only 22 now. Cargo King 231 Heavy Kennedy Tower, wind 1708, runway 22 left, clear to land. 22 left, clear to land, we will broadcast building 76, King 231. Building 76, Roger. Delta 333, turn right, Juliet, attack to be a Zulu Golf, hold short runway, 22 right. Juliet, Zulu Golf, hold short, 22 right, Delta 333. We have ATC Nuts. Greetings from, geez, Edmonton? What is this airport code? Uh, Yankee Echo Golf, Y-E-G. Edmonton. Yeah, Edmonton. Uh, flying in. Okay, flying in. Greetings from Edmonton. Great stream. I've been saying flying in for, you know, the past 40 hours. <laughs> UN Week swag. Yes. Uh, First Officer Mike was wearing his UN yeah. Week swag. I'm wearing my uh, one more plane. Uh, but, yeah, very nice. Uh, very Coming up very soon, I hope. No, not I hope. It, it will be coming up, uh, coming up very soon. UN Week swag. Endeavour 5175, runway 22 right. 747 still holding short here. Uh, clear for takeoff, 22 right. Uh, Endeavour 5175. The 863 Kennedy Tower, runway 22 right, line up and wait. 22 right, line up and wait, Delta 863. That was 4144, hotel entry, you said? Affirmative, that's 4144. That was 4144, roger. Happy with you, have a good Version 45, Whiskey Heavy, Kennedy Tower, traffic holding in position two. More departures fly to you when 1809er runway 22 right clear to land. Do you guys want something? 
having Max do a run. 747, now we have a CRJ taking off. CRJ flying to Syracuse, New York. Delta 863, runway 22 right, clear for takeoff. 22 right, clear for takeoff, Delta 863. That was 3848, Kennedy Tower, traffic on an 8 mile final, runway 22 right, line up and wait. Runway 22 right, Scout 3848. And there are 5175 contacting your departure. 5175, thank you. Delta's flying in from Dallas, Texas, a three hour flight. Tower's trying to talk over Peter. That one flying in from Dallas, How Texas. They? How dare they? Three hour flight, A220. A220 landing on 2 to left. We have an A321 Neo right now on the roll. Look at this! A3, what is this? A320 coming in right next to us. Let's pump up the sound. Sound going up. Ah, let's see the name of the Jet Blue. Liberty Blue today. Wave, Kevin. Come on. This is coming in from Sarasota, Florida. Incredible. Oh, the jet fuel. You gotta love it. Yeah, that's... Hold on. 
look through my glasses. All right, yeah, you can take a look at that. <laughs> yes, A220. Who was that? Pulling up the engines right over here. is deafening. Are you ready? Oh, yes. QF3. I hope that was being heard. QF3. I was going crazy. <laughs> QF3 flying in from Auckland as we lower the sound level. Listen, landing on the parallel runway. Get ready. Beautiful, Big beautiful touchdown. Delta plane, Delta 53, a 767 300 flying in from Zurich. Eight hour flight. Next stop and landing on the closest runway to us. Runway 22 right. We should see it in the next few seconds, I think, Josh. Next few seconds, you said, right? I don't yes. see it. I'm going by what you're saying. Just a few seconds, Josh. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. FWB sending us a battle of the Super Jet. Good afternoon, LA Flights family. My dad's friend is a JetBlue captain, and he will be piloting JetBlue 2288 to Amsterdam tonight from JFK Love from Denver. Thank you so much, Very F cool. WB. We wish... Uh, let's see, your dad's friend, a safe flight. Do, you, do we know where the 767 is coming in from? Zurich. 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 Yep. I think the Virgin flight may be going to gate five. Oh, wow. Listen, too bad it's overcast. What a shame. Lufthansa 417. Uh, departed Dallas 32 minutes ago on its way to Frankfurt, seven hours away from touching down, flying directly overhead. The clouds, what a shame. Yeah, we can't see anything right now. It's a bit of an overcast. Uh, let's see, we have that Virgin Atlantic. Kevin, you say it's heading to gate five? I think it's going to five. Okay, I don't want to spoil it. We'll, we'll see what yeah, happens. we'll see. Let's take a look at the Qantas Streamliner. But this one initially departed from Sydney, right? Uh, made a stop at Auckland, then made its way to... Yeah, Peter's talking. I was, I was hoping Peter would know. I think you're right. Started in Auckland, or I'm sorry, started in Sydney and then went to Auckland. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Quant yeah. Yeah, that's what it did. All right, there goes Qantas. We're not going to be seeing much more of it. Let's go take a look at Virgin Atlantic, the Queen of Hearts, the Flying Lady. All right, so agreed. Yes, this one parking right next to us. No, not agreed. Uh, is it a grid? We're not uh, too sure. We're not too five? sure. What do you think? I, it's either three or five, but I... I it's Could hard. it be five? Could it be five? Could it uh, be fly? Well, well, fly? Is that what you said? Five. Five? five. five? I, <laughs> say five again. I thought Josh said fly. Oh. No, you're hearing stuff, Kevin. you, you got to go to sleep. It must be the water. Kevin's yeah. been uh, standing out for the past 40 hours. Are you ready? <laughs> Upside down. 
and looks like it is heading towards us. The gates, I'm not too sure. I think it's going to be five. Yeah, you're probably right. And I'm still going to give a wave. You never know. Oh, of course. Of course. What do we pay you for, Kevin? <laughs> you're the wave man. Designated waver. We'll zoom into the pilots. Who knows? Maybe they look up. Uh, flight from Manchester, yes, or London? Manchester. No, London. Yeah, London. London's Heathrow seven hour flight. No, oh, no, no. Oh, goodness. I thought we got away. Wait. Oh, it's shining the light, I think. I think they're blinking the light. Are they? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Oh, no. man. We got to wait for the Manchester pilots. Are you ready? No. Hey! Oh, hey! Hey! There we go. There it is. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> all right. You know, Thank first you. First officer was like, all right, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Stop. Virgin Atlantic 45, thank you so much for the wave. There you go, good sports. Thank you, boys. Oh, the jet fuel. Oh, no, this is oil. This is oil yes, from the engines is. right here. Yes, it you is. You can see the burning right over here, the, the, the leftover oil. Yeah, look at that. You can see the smoke coming off. Such a cool job, oh, isn't it? The sound. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh it's going to fly. It's going to fly. <laughs> Kevin squealing like a scrub girl. Seven, because there's a lot of activity at seven. Seven. All right, let's hear the uh, tower control. Uh, the control tower said that reversed. Delta 667 up next for takeoff. Flying to Salt Lake City, 737, 900. By the way, imagine hearing those Rolls Royce Trent one. Uh, excuse me, the uh, WXB engines. My goodness. Thanks so much, Matthew. Rolls-Royce Trent engines sound fantastic. Now that one right there, possibly the Manchester flight. No, what do you think? The A330? No, uh, London. Oh, London yeah. flight. My guess is London. Yeah. Yeah. Manchester comes in later. Yeah, it's still pretty early. It's what five? Four still, something. Uh, what is it? Four thirty-five. Four thirty-five. It's yeah. early. Are you ready? Early. All right, don't leave yet. We still have lots and lots of action to go, lots of heavies. We actually have a blue. Look at this. Wow. We got an Ita. <laughs> It's uh, up uh, number two for departure over here. Talking about Italy, right? J. Lopez, my goodness, talking about Italy. Mm. New livery, what do you think? Uh, the blue, eight, uh, the blue uh, livery in honor of the uh, Italian, what is it? The uh, soccer league, isn't it? I think it's the soccer team or something. Something yeah. like that. Right? Oh, look at the plane spot. <laughs> right in the way. I think it's a winner, right? Livery? Yes, absolutely. 
767 coming in. Uh, this one flying in from Venice, talking about Italy. Look at that, the Italian flights coming in. Eight hour, 36 minute flights. My goodness, that was a really close up of uh, the uh, plane spotters, <laughs> uh, fisherman hats. I was drinking, uh, I was drinking my, my water here. I was, I was talking to Max 39 yesterday, and it's yeah. incredible being here in person how much some of the colors just are just better here in person. No, listen, I'm, I, I've, said this, course, yeah. I've said this a million times. You know, the camera doesn't do it justice to, for one, uh, <laughs> well, the lighting. We're not supposed to say that. Oh, yeah, we're not supposed to say that, but the lighting, it's right? It's the same right. thing. Uh, colors on the plane, the delivery of it. And it's just, and of course, when you when you add the in-person sounds, the in-person sounds. Yeah, that's of course. It's a completely different experience. Another dimension to plane spotting. It really exactly. is. Exactly. So, Certainly the camera, when, I, when we invent smell -a vision that's why we're messing up with the merch orders because, uh, you know, we're inventing smell -a vision for the <laughs> LA Flights channel. All right, listen, a flurry of heavies, get ready. We have, we have Condor, look at that, flying back to Frankfurt. Condor. Yes. Close your eyes. And we also have a DHL 777 freighter flying to Cincinnati. And of course, the plane that we are all waiting for, Air Force One, the President of the United States, arriving in just about one hour, 30 minutes. The countdown to see Air Force One, the countdown to see JFK in a complete lockdown, one hour, 30 minutes away. All right, ETA lining up. Sound familiar, Josh? Lining up on 2-2, two, two, right? I sound from, I sound like myself, Peter. You sound like Peter when he's on caffeine. Oh. <laughs> when I start sounding like it's a silly I, auctioneer. Max brought me a Coke, that's why. A Coca-Cola. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I like how you put emphasis on that. A uh, lot of lemons on, the, uh, on your drink, my goodness. Because he's so sweet. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Wait, isn't it the other way? Oh. Lemon sweet, lemon sour. You just call it Josh sour. No, no, you I agree with you, Kevin. No, no, you gotta offset the sweetness with sour. That's why. Italians getting a move on before we start talking about F1 again. Oh my goodness, or some <laughs> other topic. Eta 609 to Rome, nonstop. Contact here, departure. For departure. You know, by the way, right? By the by, Jay Lopez was sitting comfortably in the little restaurant that we have here in the TWA pool. I yeah, I mean, listen, <laughs> Jay, Jay Lopez, if you, if you want to go sit down again. Oh, I'm, I'm having a blast. Okay. Yeah, I think we're having lots of fun, especially with you sitting in. Sitting in the jump seats. There we go. There goes Ita. Beautiful lighting coming out now. It looks like the clouds are starting to burn off. Getting a bit of that beautiful lighting that we love here at JFK. Have, J have you heard uh, some of the earlier broadcasts, like say last year when when <clears throat> they're on Cat Hill? Have you ever heard when how knowledgeable Peter is with cars? You know, he hears something go by. It, it's from incredible. The, from the muffler side, right? right? The exhaust. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's a Ferrari Testarossa F1. Oh, the timing's off on that spark plug. But, you know, it's a beautiful car. <laughs> he can tell all that from just the noise of the of the sound of the engine or the yeah. exhaust. That's it how much of a gearhead he is. He really knows that his That bridge. Stuff. Yes. It, right. It's impressive. Condor. Golden stripes flying the frack. Even down here. I remember uh, one of the streams here at TWA. You could... I remember, yeah. Oh, you guys, you can you can hear what kind of vehicle would be pulling off. <laughs> Most of the time, he recognizes the sirens and the horns. Jeez, guys. Uh, let's say, don't you take flattery well? Of course, you know he does. something. I am a petrol head. All right, I like cars. All right, there you go. Oh, right. it's called a petrol. I called you a gearhead. Sorry. Oh, petrol gearhead. Head. Oh, that's okay. That's and, okay. Yeah, across the pond, it's called petrol head. Oh, I see. That's a consequence of us listening to a lot of the uh, British television shows, right? So yeah. yes, you're absolutely right. Here in the states, gearhead 
you know, because we watch a lot of international television, yeah. petrol hit, all right? You're right. But that's one of the things that we were talking about, how, you know, some words, you know, accents, rub on, you know, people who are surrounded yeah, by... Yeah, that's, that's definitely a British thing. Yeah, absolutely. Petrol head. But yeah, I'm, a, I'm not a gearhead, I'm a petrol head. There goes your condor, everyone here. <laughs> and we have a 777 arriving in just a few moments. We have DHL 4260 flying in from Japan. A 13-hour flight arriving in just a bit. Looks like condor was clean for takeoff. Was that a turn? That was like a turn and turn simmer. That wasn't exactly a turn and burn, but didn't really stop. All right, listen, it's been a week of Condor love. Condor themselves brought a gift of goodies. And we've had giveaways yesterday with Condor merch. We spoke to Captain Helmut Kunz of Condor. A lot of Condor love. Are you ready? Yes, we have fun with Team Stripes, Team Anti-Stripes, but the airline, brilliant. Condor, a brilliant airline. That's true. Peter, by the way, I think you might want to post the uh, pictures. I sent you pictures last night of the prizes. Okay, yeah. So you might want to post uh, the prizes for those that wanted to see what, you know. And we have more, we yeah, have more on Monday, but, but I photographed all the prizes. I think we'll do that tomorrow when we have the, the big Condor Day, because tomorrow's going to be another big uh, Condor presentation day, all right? As LA Flights secretly bought by Condor the past few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't bought me, I'll tell you that. They haven't bought me just yet. We've already tried, we've already <laughs> converted. Enough worms, though, I think uh, <laughs> I'll sway my, my opinion on the stripes. We've already try to convert you know something i'm gonna say we've already converted captain ken team stripes well for josh <laughs> for josh we're gonna need shock therapy oh my goodness <laughs> oh no <laughs> you'll have to come over to the light side dhl we missed the touchdown because we were looking at the stripes yes we have, oh, look, look at this. Aeromexico, I think, yeah. was at Terminal 3. That's why I knew the Virgin couldn't go there. Big dream. Well, it's the small Dreamliners. The Dash 8 tacks in in front of us, pushing back. But when it's parked right next to us, this is a giant plane. 787, we have the hey. Mexicans right next to is us. Is it a scheduled, is it a flight? Let me take Do a we look. have pilots? I can't see. Oh, uh, let's see. Hold on a minute. Let me take a look if it has flight information. No, okay. not available. This one heading to, I guess, the parking area remote for parking. a yeah, remote parking. Take off a little later on. Hey, what's that design on the tug? You see underneath Delta? Let's go take a look. Looks like a bull. It is You're a bull. Right. Hey, look at that. Looks like a bull. Bison. Oh, it's, a bull. it's a bison because it tugs it. Look at that. Uh, guys, if you want to take a look at the screen, that's hyper zoom for you. If you didn't notice, I'm just looking at the screen instead of looking at the planes in person. I think you've noticed you that. Can see uh, the see, you see the scuffs? <laughs> wow. Let's take a look at the wheels. You can see all the, the, the scuffs on the wheels, the uh, lug nuts. Yeah. Have a, I think it has a couple of replacement lug. Uh, what is it? The, uh, uh, the lug nuts. Lug nuts. Yeah. You need Johnny to come over and give you a lesson on lug nuts? 787. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at this. Tim says Air Force One inbound. Oh, it's, it's, has it taken off? I think it's on its way. Air Force One, I repeat, on its way. I'm trying to confirm this. Get ready. You got to check ADSB. ADSB, yeah, right. Okay, you're right. Air Force One is inbound, according to Tim. Will be arriving in front of us in just a few moments. Let me confirm this, everyone. If you use ADSB Exchange, please let us know if you can confirm whether or not it's on its way. All right. In the meantime, though, we have Speedbird coming in. British Airways 777-300 about to touch down on 2-2 two, two left. We have the Brits. 
Speedbird 177 flying in from London's Heathrow. Jay Lopez, a very lucky man, he got to go to Silverstone back in 2019. Good race. It's Silverstone. 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 Yeah. Silverstone. Silverstone. I say Silverstone. That's what I say. I just said that. Yeah, but Josh is like, you know, oh, you're saying it wrong. You gotta say it with the accent. Silverstone. Like Melbourne, it's not Melbourne, it's Melbourne. <laughs> we got a we got a couple of Melbourne people here. They'll tell you that too. Well organized race. Well organized race. Very easy to get to the coach. Funny story. We were trying to go to the Silverstone race this year. <laughs> We've been trying to go to so many races. I remember races. that. I remember that. Yeah, we were actually. We really talked about yeah, that. you were here, weren't you? I think we were. That's right. Absolutely. Because people like on the chat were telling you to. Go, go to the race. Yeah, yeah. We were looking at prices. Are you ready? We were really considering taking the show to London wow. that week, like spontaneous, wow. just crazy live. But we said, you know, it's too much of a risk. And, you know, for the show, for the luggage, you know, going crazy like that. Right. You know, if you're going to do something like that, you have to do it right with a lot of planning. So we just said no. Oh, understandable, especially for what y'all went through in, at the beginning of the year. To Oh my goodness! Yeah, she's I mean, Louise, my friend. Yeah, yeah, Dev, we weren't in the position to uh, go off in trips. Let's see. I'm trying to confirm this. Hold on a minute. <laughs> What's up, Josh? Alicia Simmons sending a five-dollar tip on PayPal, saying, "Don't worry, Josh. I'm still on your No Stripes team." <laughs> Alicia, <laughs> Alicia there over there. <laughs> also saying. Hashtag LA Flights rocks. I love that. Alicia standing right behind All us. All right. She fixed that message. I was about to say <laughs> thumbs down, boo, but I, I loved the last parts of that message, Alicia. My goodness. Uh, Richard Hernandez sending us a five dollar super chat. My son Ricardo Hernandez says hi from San Diego, California. Howdy. Uh, yeah, howdy. Nice. Thank you so much, Ricardo. I was born. Oh my goodness. Uh, 30 miles north of San Diego. Very nice, <laughs> Ricardo. La Mesa? Um, wait, not La Mesa. Um, I don't want to say it because oh, okay. someone's going to steal my never identity. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Yeah. I was born, in fact, 200 miles away. All okay. right, forget about it. it it's a, I shouldn't have said that. Sorry, okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's take a look at Air Force One. I'm trying to confirm this. Let's take a look. Oh, wow, look at this. It looks like we have a C-17 inbound as well. Well, you didn't want to bring his helicopter in advance. He's bringing it now. Oh, no better. I want to see the C-17 now. Let's see. I'm trying to confirm this. Let's take a look. Now, we did see a C-17 yesterday. Right, but normally in L.A., they always come in twos. One put the one has all the entourage, and one has the Marine yeah, One helicopter. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, I guess they have a different system here, Kevin. I'll talk to them. Oh, you'll talk to them? I'll talk to yeah, them. Yeah, you get things straight? Yeah. Set things straight? Tell them to land here on the 22s. <laughs> All right, let's hear the radios because we're missing the chat. And we have Virgin Atlantic. This is the one that we saw move around at the remote parking. It's being towed right now. Uh, what are you thinking, Kevin? Here, next to us, uh, terminal, uh, gate three? I think, it, well, I think it's gonna go to seven. Oh, you think seven? I think seven. You wanna put a wager? I think it's gonna go to three. No, that's cheating. No, well, I only You're see trying to look. I only see activity at seven. I can't see three from my vantage point. Neither can I. Talking about wagers, right? Yeah. I'm gonna. My final answer: seven. <laughs> seven. I say seven. three. Talking about wagers, what do you think? Are we going to have? Yeah, go ahead. The 747 arrive, the Ahali modified 747 VC-25 or the VC-32. Oh, don't even say VC-32. Oh my goodness. Don't say that. 
Well, you know, last time, last time we got the, the VC25, right? At Los Angeles, yes. But I would imagine, you know, the president would like to show off a little bit in the 747 dash shape of the United Nations General Assembly. Well, everyone's now. watching. We got the LA flights cameras watching. Absolutely. Come on, we got all the paparazzi out here at the TWA Hotel. I'm telling you this, if I see that 75 BC-32, I think I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> going to pull your hair out? Yeah, I'm going to be pulling out my hair out. Get ready. If I see that 75 still Air Force One. I mean, L uh, JFK will be in a complete lockdown no matter what plane it is. If it's the President of the United States, it will be a complete lockdown here at JFK. Complete lockdown, okay? So listen, I think Frequency ORD letting us know that Air Force One is not traceable via Flight Radar 24. Well, right now I'm using, uh, what is it? Radar box, nothing. I mean, the Turkish, they, they they went all out. They brought two planes, actually. They brought the A330-300 uh, and the the 747-8. Wait, who's doing that? Is that, a, is that for us or something or what? Shine the light or something? I don't know. Is it this? The, is tow, it the, the tow driver is actually tug. honking the horn. I don't know if it's for us. No, it's, he, he would have been looking at us. I think he was saying hi to his fellow friend. Yeah, I think so. Honking the horn. Going really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Honking the horn, you carrying the a brakes. <laughs> $300 million aircraft, saying and hi that. to his fellow friends. Kevin. It's okay if they say hi to LA Flight, but it's not okay if they say hi to the friend. Kevin, uh, you, 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 owe me, you owe me a million gummy worms now. Ooh. Didn't head to gate seven. I'm wondering if WestJet is going to seven, which seems strange. I think I it did, is. I didn't know WestJet came to seven. From time to time, it does. You know, the suspense. On Listen, guys, the suspense is killing me. Are you ready? 757 or the 747 was the plane that we will see in just about less than a couple of hours. I think an hour, 20 minutes away. What makes, What's you, the think, plane? What makes you think it's going to be the, the VC-32? Because one of them landed at LaGuardia only a few hours ago. The support plane, support aircraft, one. VC-32 landed at LaGuardia, so they are flying at least one 757. Well, it's not like they're going to use both 747s, VC-25. Oh my goodness, I don't know about you, but I am getting a little nervous. This West jet flight yes. is inbound okay. from Calgary. Suspense is killing me. Can't track it. Can't wave, Kevin. I mean, not wave. Oh, the, the captain's rocking out, <laughs> banging his head. Really? I don't know. I don't know if it was for us. No, it wasn't for us. <laughs> oh, there, there it is. is. There you go. We got Thank it, you, us. sir. Yay. Yeah, we got there it. Go. First FO said hi. Wow. Wow. We've had a really good success rate today. <laughs> oh, Captain's looking now. <laughs> captain taking a look. They're like, you know what the first officer just told the captain? That's LA flights. Yeah, of course. I like WestJet. I've flown them now four or five times. That's your go-to Canadian airline? Well, when I, go to, when I go to Vancouver, I've gone to Vancouver now five or six times. With the exception of the last trip with the family, we went to Seattle. But normally I fly straight into Vancouver at Thanksgiving time. And I've always flown them. I've had no problem, nonstop. You know, it, it doesn't feel like a, a low-cost carrier. Um, the seats recline. Wow. Yeah, there you go. The they have seat recline. belts. They have seat belts. Snacks. They bring you snacks. Snack. Water. I, I honestly don't think of it as a, when I've flown on it, I don't think of it as a, a low cost carrier. Well, I like tracking the Mickey jet of yeah. theirs. Oh, yeah. And let's see. Hold on a minute. Let's see. We have Bob celebrating one month of channel membership. Hey, guys, this is the best channel out there. I've been watching for longer than one month. Keep up the amazing work. 
sights and sounds. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Bob. One month, but watching the channel for a lot longer than that. I'm sorry I'm putting that message up so late, my friend. Thank you so much, Bob. We appreciate that. Thank you so much for being a channel supporter with your membership. And a few more super chats to get to, my friends. We have... JC Legend sending us a $10 tip. Great two days at JFK so far. Listen, we're not even halfway done. Get ready. JC Legend, great two days at JFK so far. Can't wait for the rest of the week. Incredible guest hosts. Jay Lopez, I live in Austin, and I have been to every F1 race here. My goodness, oh, you guys are really? awesome. Miami last year and Vegas Very this nice. year. That's awesome. That's great. This is the same viewer that told us that they have a Rolex Daytona, the Panda. Oh, that's him? Yeah, jeez. Oh, yeah. yeah. JC, legend. I'm jealous. <laughs> you got me. Goodness. You know, when I served as a volunteer, one of the treats that they provided for volunteers. Yeah. Of course, we had to sign a waiver. Was uh, we could go to the track, and they have like a club in Austin, or they're local. And they have like these souped up vehicles like Mustangs, Porsches. Yeah. Cool. So I got to ride on the track with somebody who I think it was a G4. What? And so, yeah, I got to, I got, you know, I think we were going like 180 on the track. So wow. Was, <laughs> Joshua, yeah, I, familiar, uh, right? When you uh, traveled to San Francisco? Oh, yeah. yeah he does right? that easily. <laughs> driving, easily. Driving 180 on the, on the five. Yeah. I'm just 180 kilometers. He does it on the, on, the, on the truck we have. <laughs> Oh my goodness! No, that's that's great though. It Jeez, was, what an experience! A, it was it was awesome. I'm je that's that's right. extremely cool. We're jealous of you guys. You Come guys. Come on, win. you gotta take me there next time. <laughs> uh, we have Jen. How are you? Three N Jen tuning in. We have thank you for all that you do. Sending us a five dollar super chat. We appreciate that. Thank you so much, Jen, for watching LA flights. GE sending us a $2 super chat. So much to see. So little time. My goodness. 12 hour show yesterday. Possibly a 12 hour. Uh, uh, <coughs> five Kevin, hour you show. Didn't hear anything. <laughs> we're going to end. Uh, well, I don't want to say we're going to end, but we're not going to end. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, yes, we are. Don't, don't tell Kevin. We have something unpredictable. That's the viewer's name in YouTube. Sending us a $5 super chat. According to the public schedule, the president still isn't due until around 6 37 p.m it's uh though it seems like another c17 is inbound right now yeah we are expecting the president to arrive around 6 30 p.m easter time that's 3 30 pacific time that's the time that's the uh that's the time that we've been announcing all day long thank you so much something unpredictable something that's not unpredictable a presidential schedule working well okay Working on it, sending us a $5 super chat. Flights. Uh, what's TUG? Do you guys know? 3201, registration number Echo Zulu Alpha 780, possibly a VIP flying south over, over Massachusetts. Possibly a VIP plane arriving in the next few minutes. We are plane spotting during UN week, so I wouldn't be surprised. We're going to be taking a look at that flight number. Thank you so much. Next arrival, little E-175 flying in. This one uh, flying in from Norfolk, Virginia. 53 minutes of flight time. Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Turkmenistan. Oh my goodness. Let I would have to see it. On my hand right here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Turkmenistan. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah, you know what? You this it. doesn't look too good. What's up? JetBlue, where's JetBlue going? Oh, no. Now we still have... Oh. Eh, I don't like this. We still have planes heading to the t uh, 22 right. This could just uh, be heading to 31 left to take off. Okay, oh, we, yeah, have we still have Air France coming yeah. again. Okay, okay we're still good, I think. All right, Peter, I have an answer for you for Turkmenistan. Yes. Uh, the, the president uses a 777-200 LR 
Uh, registration is EZ-A777. It also has two Boeing 737s and one Bombardier. So what did you see? EZ-A780. EZ-780? That's the registration, yeah. isn't it? That's the tail number. Flying south of Boston. Oh my goodness, I think we stumped Kevin. Kevin! Crazy Kevin! Yeah. Crazy Kevin, Kevin, you're crazy. No, <laughs> he's just tired. <laughs> Good. Hold on, I'm checking my other sources. All right, Kevin. Royal Air Jordanian coming in to land one of the best liveries out here. Yeah, what do you think about that livery, uh, Mr. Lopez? The, the Royal Jordanian. I always rave about this livery whenever we see it. You know, we saw it in Chicago during the crazy U.S. tour. We see it every time we do the live shows here at JFK. Royal Jordanian, it looks like a VIP aircraft. It does, it does. It does. I've only seen it here when you, on your street. Brilliant looking plane. It is. American Airlines coming in on 2-2 right. American 2246 flying in from Dallas, Texas. And Air Force One countdown. We should see the President of the United States lock down the airport in about one hour 30 minutes wow give or take it's coming up this is the time we've been waiting for car wash channel sending us a two dollar super chat one hour until landing for airport. a little bit more than an hour listen it's going to be between 6 and 7 p.m eastern time 6 p.m hour very very interesting here on la flight live all right, we have Air France. Is, I think Air France holding... Sh no, no, it's crossing right now. All right, so there goes Air France. We have a Norse coming in on two, two left. This one flying in from Gatswick. Seven hour, 12 minute flight for this one. 787-9, a journey of 3,500 nautical miles. Take a look at this. This one delayed by one hour, 20 minutes. Ouch. Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engine slowing down the 787. And uh, thank you so much, Mandy, sending us a $10 super chat. Thanks for covering. I was based there years ago as a flight attendant. My husband is an airline captain. I hope you'll catch him at LAX sometime. Send me a message, Mandy. Are you ready? Whenever we're doing the LAX shows or, you know, stay tuned to the uh, crazy schedule that we have. And if we go to an airport, your husband flies in. My goodness, we will give him the biggest shout-out. Thank you so much, Mandy, for letting us know. We have Gabriel es Escarano, Escareno, sending us a $10 super chat. I tried my absolute best. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness, get ready. Sitting here in Clutters Park, waiting for our four-year dating anniversary. Miss you guys. Hate we missed you, but we had the Green Condor A330 Neo. At LAX, we'll have. Oh, what a to shame! It spoiled your, your you anniversary. Later, <laughs> A330 Neo making the uh, anniversary even more <laughs> special. It's Gabriel, wanted. listen, big congratulations to you, my friend, for your dating anniversary. My goodness, all the best to you and your loved one. Absolutely. Hey, Peter. It turns out I was right about that. They just changed the registration. It's the same aircraft. It is the triple seven. Um, I looked up that registration number. So it is the triple seven two hundred LR. Kevin. It's just they changed it from easy a you know triple seven to easy. What is it? Seven eight seven eight. So it's the same aircraft. They just changed the registration number a couple numbers. Okay. There it is. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Thank there you for the update. I think it's early rotation. It's very aggressive rotation. Let's take a look at this as a rocket launch. We might have this one as a rocket. Air France 23 flying to Paris, a 777-300 ER. And let's go to a Delta Heavy that just landed. We missed the touchdown in order to capture the Air France. An A330-300 landing on 2-2 left. 
Talking about Delta Heavies, we have one lined up right now on 2 2 right. It's a 767 400. Looks like we have the German A350 VIP aircraft. So we have the Germans arriving in just a few oh, minutes. Oh, 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 Thank on. you, Chris, for the message. All right, so we have the Germans arriving on the 22s in just a few minutes. Uh, let's see, I can't really see them on flight radar. It could be a uh, well, tracking they, thing. They usually fly with two. They have two Airbus A340 313X VIPs. The Germans. Yes, they were previously with, German, uh, with Lufthansa and then redesigned for the VIP configuration. You know, we got to see the brand new A350 back in Los Angeles several months ago. I guess we're going to see that one a little later on. So German's equivalent of Air Force One arriving on the 22s in just a few minutes. But you know what? In 2019, yeah. they ordered three Airbus A350 900s to replace the A340s. So you're saying now it should be the A350-900 coming Yes, in? last year was Good. the last okay. year that we had the A340. We had the Germans bringing their A340 this year, A350. Right. Josh 767, yeah. doing a very early rotation. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, I was about to say, Josh was giving us an extreme close-up of that 767, climbing at 2,800 feet per minute. Not quite a rocket ah, launch. Look at this. Oh, there we, got a, we got a VIP. 3,600 feet per minute for the 767. And who do we have here? Let's take a uh, look at charter, the charter flight. It's a charter flight. But where is it coming from? No That's the question. Information, information for this one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There's registration. Nothing. LX, looks like a Luxembourg registration uh, number. It's an A319. Uh, uh, let's see, we have Lima, X-Ray, Tango, Charlie, Bravo in front of us. It's a new one too, it's A320, A319 Neo. All right, so that one flying in. Okay, so listen, uh, that one, let's take a look where this one is flying in from. Get ready, this is another flight from Havana, ah, Cuba. Yeah, definitely some type of dignitary there. Yeah, that's another Cuban flight, everyone. We're having a lot of VIP planes. Ah, look at this. Come in from Cuba. Heavy. Yeah. Aer Lingus yes. landing on two to right. We have the Irish right in front of us. This one, however, not flying in from Ireland. Aer Lingus flying in from Manchester. Oh, Manchester. Manchester. Seven hours, 16 minute flights. That's cool, Manchester flight. Nice touchdown. A shout out to TC Michigan. Welcome to first class membership. Thank you so much for joining. And we have an exact jet right now. Landing on 2-2 two, two left. An exact jet. Let's see if this one has any flight information. This one flying in from Indianapolis. A one hour, 39 minute flight. Okay, so unlikely it's a dignitary. November 5, Niner Niner, Golf Juliet. That's it, we have planes crossing the runway right now, starting off with the A330-300. Where was this one coming in from? Flying in from Paris, Charles de Gaulle. Okay. And we have the, the flight from Havana right behind it. Looks like it's also crossing the runway. You know something surprising? Very quick, very quick taxi, that one. All right, so we have the German. Uh, does anyone have an update on the German Air Force One? Well, the German's equivalent of Air Force One, A350 executive plane carrying the uh, German head of state arriving in, uh, in the near future. 
Arriving sometime today. Well, that's a good guess. <laughs> Approximate. <laughs> Arriving sometime today, it's true, though. <laughs> Kevin, you're fired. I didn't like a ton of that. Time out. Let's hear it for Ferrari. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you're fired by me. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin can't win. Poor Kevin. Just give him some sleep. He just wants to rest. I'm looking forward to tonight. We're going to go into the city, wow. have a wonderful tour. <laughs> We're going to have some Chinese food, maybe. I'm looking forward we to are. it. I'm on that That's VIP special tour. You're not that budget okay. stuff anymore. All right. You want to you walk around Manhattan midnight? Yeah. Peter's already right. ordered like a nice SUV, you know, one of those black, you know. No, no, uh, we're going to take the helicopter. No, let's get the ostentatious. The let's just get like one of those okay. black suburbans and go into the city and, you know, maybe have a nice bite, uh, take in a show, you know. Wow. Hey, a Kevin. Show. I don't want to put you on the spot, but can you operate that camera? Sure. It's actually a professional question. Any idiot can operate this camera. Oh, oh. Since no one was around, let me see if I can do it anyway. That's a low, that's a low blow. I don't like that. Ooh. You're insulting three of my, my best fans there. <laughs> what do you need? Zoom into WestJet luggage. We have baggage drama. Okay. Do you know how to zoom in? Yes. There you go, that's the switch. Come on when you're there, okay? Baggage drama happening. You know something, that's pretty good. That's good, Kevin. Okay. Baggage drama as they refuel the 737. It smells like food. Someone's eating something. Someone's eating something delicious. That's not, that's not cool. They shouldn't have eaten in front of us. Oh, my goodness. Baggage drama on LA Flash Live. Today, no drama. That's a really nice uh, luggage there. My goodness. Wow, they take nice care of it. What is it like? Louis Vuitton luggage? Something like that, sure. Oh, it was really? like a big duffel bag. You know, Jay Lopez, my luggage, right? Full of scuff marks. Of course it is. Full of dents. <laughs> It's I mean, 51 pounds. I mean, 50, 50 pounds, Josh. 50 pounds. Uh, 50 okay. pounds. We 50. take care of 50. everyone. 50.6 you know. pounds. Well, how much of that is uh, peanut butter cups? <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say? <laughs> Jay Lopez, come on. Gummy worms. Oh. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Look at this. A, a, a rush going on oh, over here. Wow. We got Swiss, American Airlines, Aer Lingus, Delta heavy leaving right now. Talk about the variety of airlines in we front of the cameras. We got a rush in our hands. Delta on its move, on the move, flying to Berlin. This one flying to Germany. Delta's 92, a 767. We might have a two for one special, not quite. No, we, we won't. With the arrival, A320 flying in from Austin, Texas. And thank you so much. We have Meow House, as I meow on the LA Place channel. Thank you guys for keeping us happy. The hubby is sick and watching LA Flights Live. I'm watching and not hovering over him. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I wish both of you all the best. Are you ready? All right, American 777 up next. Look at all these heavies just heading to 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 right for departure. Look at all. I mean, we got Swiss, Aer Lingus, a couple of a couple of Delta heavies. Here's another one heading to the runway for yeah. departure. We got a no, 767 listen. also making its way to two to right. Whole bunch of planes. Are you ready? This and it's only going to get busier. That's the thing. It's only going to get busier and Air Force One arrives in about one hour, 10 minutes, okay? Busiest time, one of the busiest times for JFK and Air Force One will lock down the airport. Oh, listen to that. Oh, that's American 236 en route to Rome. Sound. 
And we have Swiss up next. Swiss already lines up. So it's flying to Zurich, A330-300. This one, that one. Yeah, that one. Thank you. All right, Swiss leaving 2-2 two -two right. We have Aer Lingus right behind it. Uh, this one's heading to Geneva, right? Zurich. Zurich. You need a watch? Hey, when is picking up, guys? Yes, it is. Yeah. So we have an exact jet arriving, a Bombardier 350. And we have Turkmenistan, the uh, 777, carrying the government of Turkmenistan, arriving in just a few moments. Now, Peter, is it generally uh, when the president arrives, especially knowing the, how crazy the traffic is, I'm assuming that he would usually transfer to Marine One and go into go into town. From previous visits, huh? I have seen Marine One. Yes. Because you told us this, you're already you know your infamous story about when you rented a car, it took forever to get in. So <laughs> I can't imagine you know with security, with knowing that knowing the traffic. Now listen, there's going to be a whole bunch of road closures oh, in no. New York City, but Air Force One, uh, it's going to be Marine One. He's going to be taking uh, the, yeah, the, the helicopter flight. To, yeah, no uh, way he's going through traffic. It's no, impossible. No way. All right, there goes Air Lingus. Uh, heading back to Dublin, right? Dublin. Destination Dublin. Hey, TC Michigan, thank you so much, and welcome to the memberships. Two-dollar super sticker coming in. Thank you so much, friend. Something going on down there. What's happening? Oh, really? Ooh, we have what? a blacked out oh. vehicle. Let's not zoom into it. Well, it's, it's public, right? And we'll, uh, we'll zoom into it, like, far away. Yeah, don't zoom into it too much. <laughs> That's right there. It's down below, right next to... Uh, Okay, that's it. <coughs> we have American 4606 right uh, Yeah, why not? American, operated by Republic Airways 4606, flying in from Indianapolis. I think the caffeine is starting to get to Peter. Are you ready? Uh, let's hear the radios. Uh, where was that triple seven from Turkmenistan? Not on flight radar, but should be arriving within, I estimate, just a few minutes. A few minutes? Yeah. Ten minutes? Twenty Possibly. minutes? Possibly. Why? Okay. I just want to know whether to keep an eye out for it. Oh, I see it here. Hold on a minute. Flight radar. Triple seven two hundred LR. The government of Turkmenistan over Long Island, trailing Speedbird 115, flying in from London. What do we have? American 177 flying to San Francisco, already lined up on 22 rights. And a couple of Delta Heavies over here, lining up, waiting to line up on the runway. Uh, let's see, it looks like we have an exec jet right now coming in on the parallel, 2-2 two, two left. An exec jet, exec jet vibes for this one. This is the uh, Bombardier, Bombardier, uh, Bombardier. That is flying in from where? Let's take a look. I don't see anything listed. For what? For the Bombardier. 
It's flying in from Cincinnati. And Dana, thank you so much. Dana Guet sending us five memberships. Appreciate that. Thank you so much, Dana. Sit back, relax. Nice, thank you. Enjoy the day of plane spotting day two of UN Week on LA Flights Live. Broadcasting from the incredible, the magnificent TWA Hotel. Looks like we have an exec jet out of Ecuador. Thank you, Jeffrey Liu, for providing that update. We have the Ecuadorian president arriving in just a few minutes. Well, Ecuador? Possibly the president of Ecuador. A few minutes, you say? Uh, let's see. It's over off the coast near Atlantic City. 30 minutes away, 20 minutes? Yeah, 30 minutes. <laughs> nice plate spotters. Yeah, there you go. Fucking. <laughs> plane spotting, of course. We got a 767. Uh, we have the CRJ, okay, we have the CRJ right now leaving via 2 to right. And the 767 looks like it's already beginning to line up. We'll stay with the CRJ. And the CRJ flying to the Motor City, a CRJ 900. All right, let's get to that 7.6. A lot of planes in front of us. Okay, so we have a 7.67. That one flying to Los Angeles. That's an LA flight. Uh, Peter, the Ecuador, the Ecuadorian state, the, they have both the Dassault Falcon 7X and they also have an Emperor Legacy 600 ah. for their presidential planes. Let's take a look which one is off the coast of Atlantic City. It's the Cessna 560 Citation, registration number November 501, Uniform Papa. I think we stopped Kevin. Hold on. <laughs> Kevin researching through the files in his S head right so now. So it's a Cessna? Yeah, Cessna 560. Uh, yeah, Cessna 560. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. That one is operated by wheels up. Forget about it. <laughs> Sorry about that, Kevin. Jeez, come wheels. on, Kevin. Uh, come on, Peter. Today, Peter's flyer. <laughs> You know, the thing is, I will take you up on that offer. <laughs> oh, no! Never mind, you're hired again. You need to be here, you need to be here co-hosting. All right, we got another 767 lined up right behind the one we just saw. And already moving. There you go, Jeff, for letting us know that the exec jet, the Ecuadorian exec jet, not visible on a flight radar. I'm pretty sure it's one of those two I just told you. If we haven't seen enough Delta Heavies, here's another one. A330-300 taxing to the runway. All right, let's hear the radio. Let's hear the tower. Oh, it's on its way to Amsterdam, that one. Juliet, 
Can we see where the Delta is going? Uh, that that 330 is going to Amsterdam. Amsterdam, okay. Hear the sound. But we have a KC-135 flying over New York right now. You know something? That is a refueling aircraft, most Correct. likely, in support of, let's say, other military planes, protecting the airspace for the president's arrival. Triple seven eighty eight to Juliet, hold short. Expect uh, Zulu and Hotel. Hold short. I'm going to keep your right. Triple seven eighty. All right. 
right, A330 heading to Rome. Looks like it's already moving. the Turkmenistan triple seven doing arriving in just a few moments it's on left base what about but how many people are tracking it how many people are tracking it okay let's try and make Turkmenistan the triple seven arriving in just a few moments number one most tracked in the entire world There it is, number one. Oh, it's number one already. Number one most wow. tracked in the entire world. Let's see how that number is going to grow in the next few moments. Tango Uniform Golf 3201 is the 777 arriving in just a few moments. Let's make it number one. Oh, are they talking to it? Boeing 777? Possibly. Yeah, no response. That's probably it. Yeah, that's pretty it. They're in a different frequency. I have massive news regarding Air Force One. Get ready. Oh, yes. Tell me. Massive news regarding <laughs> Air Force One. Oh, please tell me. Are they using the, the, the VC-25? Josh, oh my goodness. Get ready. Yo, I'll tell you in just a few moments. Massive news regarding Air Force One. Air Force One is in the air. John letting us know nice. Air Force One is in the air. In the air. Very cool. Okay. Has this departed. The moment we've been waiting for, it's finally here. It's finally here, my goodness. The goal of UN Week on LA Flights, the goal of the second annual UN Week on LA Flights Live was to see Air Force One arrive. It has left. Let's take a look, hold on a minute, and it should arrive in about one hour-ish, okay? One hour-ish. All right, but big question now. Where, which plane is it? I can happily confirm. Hold on a minute. I'm trying to confirm this 1 million percent. Don't want any issues. Hold on a minute. Let me confirm. I can happily confirm that Air Force One arriving is, in fact, VC-25. Oh, yes! Highly modified 747. Great news. Amazing news, we will see Air Force One, and it's the 747. Oh, I can't Should wait. arrive in front of LA flights. Perfect. I'm telling you this, JFK in a complete lockdown in about one hour. Perfect. 747 confirmed. There you go, that's the news we've been waiting for. Told you I talked to Joe. <laughs> Speedbird slowing down on 2-2 left, but I think the spotlight is completely on Air Force One, even though we haven't even seen it yet. That's the American Airlines already rolling. 777-200. We got Neos, the Italian, heading back to Milan right after this one. Okay, the next one to arrive should be... No, number two for arrival is Turkmenistan. Number one most tracked in the entire world. Wow. Thanks How many people? to the LA Flights House, we have made 
the incoming VIP flight number one, most tracked in the entire world. How much? Almost 3,000. Wow, 3,000. Almost. Almost 3,000. There you go, you guys did it. Neos getting out of here. A lot of planes in front of us. We have Neos. This one, a 787-9. You know, I think the best way to celebrate Air Force One is to spam the 747 emoji. Wow, yes. I think that's the best way. Spam the chat, 747. Make it go crazy. Make it go crazy <laughs> in anticipation. In anticipation of Air Force One. Do we ever find out more about that Ecuador? Plane? Uh, let's see, it's an exec jet off the coast. Okay. I can't see it on flight radar. Radar box has Air Force One, ADB, ADSB exchange has Air Force One. And it's already in the air, right? Already in oh, the air. Man. How long is that flight? 20 minutes? No, 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 a little bit more than that. It's about a 40, 50 minute flight. 40, 50, okay. And there oh, is, here it yes, is. This is it, the triple seven. Number one, most tracked in the entire world, thanks to the LA Flights House. There it is. Oh, Making yes. this one the most tracked. 3,300 LA Flights viewers tracking. Wow. This flight. All of a sudden, Turkmenistan still in the spotlight. Very cool. That's a 200 LR, right? That's the 200 LR, yes. GE90 is powering that 777. So excited for it for, for Air Force One. This is what we've been waiting for. And you know it is UN week, so we have Turkmenistan right here in front of us. I believe we have the A320, the Senegal flights, the Senegal dignitary leaving. All right, let's go to that A320 Neo. Ah, uh, yes, it is the Senegal. Nice early rotation there, completely empty. No VIPs in that one. And it looks like we have the Germans arriving, the German equivalent of Air Force One, one hour out. You know something? It's kind of a race between the American president. Oh, okay. And the Germans. Who's going to land first? <laughs> this is wow. going to be awkward. Listen, it's going to be a little <laughs> awkward. Oh, my goodness. If Air Force One is near JFK, JFK is going to be in a complete lockdown. The Germans will have to be in a holding pattern. Wow. They have no choice. It's going to get a little awkward between the Germans and the Americans. Oh, goodness. The Germans are arriving in about an hour, uh, in about an hour, give or take a few minutes. It's going to be very interesting. Are you ready? Who's going to land first? Now, listen, there's no question who's going to land first. It's Air Force One. Are you ready? No question about it. 
the thing is, will the German Air Force One land before Air Force One? If it doesn't, holding pattern, forget about it. There is a KC-135, a refueling aircraft to most likely other military aircraft securing the airspace around New York. There goes KLM. We have a flurry of arrivals. Listen, Air Force One will be arriving at one of the busiest times for JFK. Complete lockdown, incredible traffic jam. Around between 6 and 7 p.m. is the estimated time arrival. I'm telling you this, it's one of the busiest times for JFK. KLM flying to Amsterdam. I mean, we yeah, have, we're about to get our international push right yes, now. Yes, we have the French, Air France, flying to Paris, taxing to the runway. Get ready. American, a 777, flying to Athens, starting to taxi. We have American flying to Paris, starting to taxi, another 777. <laughs> we have an A380 flying oh, to Munich. Yes, that's true. Starting to taxi. And Get hey, ready. You know who's going to land right around the time that Air Force One comes in? The you Emirates touched flight. On this. Yes, yes, the Emirates from Milan. Quadjet. What's going to happen there? Will Emirates have to divert to Boston last year, exactly one year ago? Air Force One was taking off. Are you ready? Oh, man, I can't wait to see what happens. Created a massive traffic jam <laughs> here at LAX. You guys, Excuse me, here at JFK. <laughs> you guys do not want to leave. You, and <laughs> you wanna, you're going to want to stay tuned for this. And it's going to get crazy. And the Emirates flight, the A380, had to divert to Boston because it was chaos wow. here at JFK. Will that happen again? If you want to track Air Force One, I don't think you can track it on different websites. Uh, but Radar Box has it. Uh, who else? Uh, ADSB Exchange has Air Force One on their radar. As Radar Box and ADSB Exchange gets a free plug from LA Flights. You're welcome. You're welcome. Where's that call for the uh, the sponsorship, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, if that's the case, you guys should have been getting stuff from F1 Racing. That's after true. That, We've been talking about after oh my that goodness. long plug. Kevin, start making calls. I will. I'll make up some calls. Josh, on your toes, we have Turkish One, a 777-300 yard, 10-hour flight, flying in from Istanbul. All right. Once we see it, we'll definitely go to it. We have FedEx right now. This was an arrival on 202 left, now taxing. FedEx flight, flying in from Memphis, Tennessee, a 2-hour, 27-minute flight. Ah, here we go. We have the Turkish now in sight. Wind is picking up. It is. It is. It's getting chilly now. All right, there's the Turkish. Turkish one, 10 hour, 10 minute flight. And I do have, let's say, I, I did receive word that we have a C-17 Heading to the New York area. We're going to be crossing our fingers. Hopefully it does arrive ah, look at, at Turkish. JFK. Look at Turkish. I see it getting wow. a little wobble. Getting a little wobble there. How do the winds look? Oh, man, it caught a gust or something. Oh, my goodness. Winds are shifting. Oh, One, no. Don't six, say that. Zero at 12 knots. One, six, zero. That's not good. One, six, zero <laughs> at 12 knots. We don't want the winds to shift. Are you ready? No, especially not now. Oh my not goodness. Now. Especially be the worst time. not now. Couple heavies. Couple of heavies. Waiting to leave. It's Iberia first and then the 777 Air France. Right now though, we have a 737 on the roll on 2-2 right. Flying to Phoenix, Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. Yes. I beat Kevin there. Kevin, yeah. I beat you. Kevin, you're fired. You're too slow. <laughs> I don't think Kevin liked that joke. <laughs> All right, listen, a lot of planes, and they're still taxing to runway 22 right, so there is, there's no sights of, uh, there's no word 
there's no indication of a runway change happening in the near future. We have several heavies taxiing to runway two to right. No indication of runway change. Look at the size difference between the little E-175 and the big A350 flying back to Spain. Hey, I took a peek at flight radar. I don't know if you saw, but we have the Iranian A340. It took off already from Iran. And listen, interesting fact Iran, about that Iran. flight. Uh, interesting facts about that flight. It was number one most tracked in the entire world, but the LA flight's house overtook oh, really? number one oh, with man. the Turkmenistan 777. And you know who's number one right now? Who is number one? It's the KC-135 flying <laughs> above us. Wow. Yes. A380 is a few minutes away from runway 22 right. Lufthansa 411 flying to Munich, trying to take off before the chaos starts. A little bit of a two-for-one special happening in front of the LA flight cameras. We have the departing uh, Spanish A350 and the arriving Delta 709 flying in from Las Vegas, Nevada. We're going to stay with the Spanish, of course. All right, there goes the A350. Let's go to that 777 in front. And Chad Hathaway, thank you so much, my friend, sending us a $25 Super Chat. You guys deserve every penny of the superb, for the superb job you are doing during this push, not a traffic jam, a push. by Kevin Abir with this, <laughs> when this is over. <laughs> He's going to need Chad. a couple. Oh my He's goodness. He's going to need a couple. Oh, but. <laughs> You're gonna need what? I think that's a bad idea. Well, I'm gonna need what? You're gonna uh, need a couple of them. Root beer. Oh. That's what we're gonna. That's what you're gonna need. Root beer, Kevin. Sure. Kevin. Okay. Kevin. Wait, we're gonna have the root beer tonight with that nice Chinese dinner in Manhattan, right? Of right? course. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Do you think that? You keep thinking that. Air France 15 flying to Paris. Big triple seven 300 ER. Hear this. sound by the French 777. We have Virgin Atlantic flying in from London's Heathrow. Seven hour, 20 minute flight arriving in just a few moments. Silver Smith letting us know that Air Force One over oh, yes. Atlantic City. Oh, wow. It's, a, it's close. Is very close. Get ready. JFK will be in a lockdown in just a few minutes. A380 trying to take off before the lockdown starts. Lufthansa 411 trying to get out of here via runway 22 right. Still has a few minutes before heading to the runway for takeoff. Sea Wife, I am very happy that you are enjoying the incredible coverage of UN Week on LA flights live with Peter Joshua, special co-host Kevin. Yeah. Thank you, CY5 Thank you. memberships for LA Flight Line. And look at this, we have Virgin Atlantic coming in. Let's see if it gets a little wobbly like how we saw the Turkish. Because, listen, don't say it out loud. I don't want the controllers to hear us. The wind is shifting. Pretty soon it's going to be favoring the 13s. We don't want that. Virgin Atlantic flying in from London, a seven hour, 21 minute flight. 3,500 nautical miles, and this one arriving only three minutes after its scheduled arrival time. Very nice landing. Very smooth. So soft. I'll take that any day of the week. Thank you so much, Janice, sending us a $10 super chat. It's about to get real. Love LA flights. Thank you so much, Janice. 
Hey, listen to this. A big shout out to the moderators of LA Flies trying their best to keep the friendly vibes on the chat. Thank you guys. Mods rock on the chat, please. Hear this, hear this. All right, sound going up. Incredible sounds happening in front of the LA flight cameras. My goodness. We have a 757 powered by Pratt Whitney engines. I think you're hearing it right now. Yeah, let's go take a look. Wow, hear this. Sounds continue. That flight's going to San Francisco. So we have WestJet pushing back from 7, which is probably where that Virgin Atlantic flight is going to go to join its other two fleet mates at gates 3 and 5 next to us. So are you, ta are you saying, Kevin, that we're going to have the A330 Virgin Atlantic park right next to us, gate 7, the sounds, the sights, extreme zooms? That's going to happen in a few minutes, Kevin. The answer is yes. I couldn't say it better myself. <laughs> Now look who's back, <laughs> our co-hosts, our VIP co-hosts coming back after a bit of a break. You want to go take a break? No, no, but am I right? There's another, there's another one, right? At, at three. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, there's there's two Virgin Atlantics right now parked so, at Terminal 4. What I'm saying is, if, if, I, if he comes here, we're going to have three Virgins in a row. Yeah, right? yeah, no, that happens sometimes. Really? Kevin, oh, let go wow. I have. Look who we have! Oh my goodness, Josh is coming in. Who do we Look have? Look at this! It's the Super Lufthansa! That is a quadra. That's the biggest aircraft in commercial aviation. That one's trying to get out of here before the lockdown starts. Lufthansa's 411 flying to Munich. We were right here for the July special when Lufthansa restarted the A380 operations from Munich to New York. We were right here to capture the first touchdown. Lufthansa, we have you all in our sights. Oh yes, this is gonna be epic. 750, we'll go back to the Lufthansa, don't worry. We have a 757 right now coming into land. 
On two to left. Seven fifty-seven. This one flying in from. Let's take a look. SFO. This one is Delta's twenty-five sixty-four. A five-hour flight. How far is Air Force One? Getting closer. Get ready. Now, let's see. I, I wonder if we can have an approximate location of Air Force One should be arriving. And look at this. Delta. Correction. Lufthansa. Let's make a number one if you haven't done oh, so. Oh, that's Track. a given. Come on. We can do it. That's going to be easy. Lufthansa 411 on a flight radar. Go for it. All the action right now in the entire world is happening here at JFK. And you guys are witnessing it. Let's make Lufthansa number one, most tracked in the entire world. We have such an incredible push of arrivals happening in the next few moments. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve arrivals happening in the next ten to fifteen minutes. Wow. Everyone is trying to land, everyone is trying to leave before Air Force One arrives. Air Force One is off the coast of New Jersey. My goodness, it's getting close. Air Force One getting close. There goes Lufthansa making its way. Nice and easy. To two to right. It's going to be leaving right in front of us. And talking about the Germans, right? We should have the German Air Force One come in in the next few few minutes, right? 30, there 40 minutes? There is a possibility of the Germans, the German equivalent of Air Force One, to enter a holding pattern because Air Force One takes priority. All right, guys. I think we got to turbocharge the tracking of Lufthansa. Get ready. It's about to take off. It's already lining up. There's nothing in front. We have Air Force One descending from 17,000 to 10,000 feet. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. It's getting close. Let's see the tower. You know something, Peter? What's up? This has the possibility of being the best hour in the entire history of LA flights. We're going to have left on to leave. Josh, I Air can't. Force One in the next few minutes. Don't forget, we have the Milan flight, the Emirates A380 from Milan. I can't disagree with you, Josh. Lufthansa trying its best to get out of here before Air Force One arrives, and it looks like it's going to get its wish. Eighth ready, Lufthansa, let's make this number one most tracked in the entire world. Come on, we can do it. Push to number one. that's making all the noise right now. However, the Lufthansa about to make a lot more noise. Seventy five hundred feet for Air Force One is descending into JFK. Oh, there goes the big boy. Listen to that sound. There's the rotation. Will this be a rocket launch? Easy answer, no. Get ready. This one will <laughs> Look be at the that giant. opposite of a rocket Come launch. Come on. It's... Oh, man, it's giant. And I have received word <laughs> that LA Flight has made Lufthansa's 411, number one, the most tracked in the entire world. There you go. Almost, Easy peasy. Almost 2,500 LA Flight viewers. You guys got it. 
making Lufthansa's 411 number one most tracked in the entire world. We have Air Europa flying in from Madrid, a seven hour, 11 minute flight, 787-9 Dreamliner on 22 right, correction, 22 left in the next few seconds. How about this? Can we cross 5,000 likes? Listen, the more likes we get, the more YouTube promotes this live stream, giving fellow Av Geeks an opportunity to join the incredible action that's happening right here on LA Flights with Peter and Josh. Hit the like. Let's cross 5,000. Come on, my friends. Let's go for it. There goes Lufthansa doing that beautiful left turn after departure. And we still have the Stratotanker, the KC-135, circling overhead over the New York City area. Oh, look at that behemoth. Almost 3,000 LA flights viewers tracking Lufthansa's 411. Kevin. Yeah. There goes Lufthansa. Oh, look at this! A330 Neo pushing back. I didn't even hear it. It's going to be starting up its engines in just a bit. We have Billy Holiday pushing back. Wow. Will we get a wave? <laughs> That this caught one me by surprise. Flying to London's Heathrow. Come that's, on, pilots, take a look at us. Take a look a little higher. Is an A330 Neo flying to London's Heathrow, and I don't think. Let's see, are we going to get the wave? Come on. I don't think Come so. Come on. Just a little wave. No, not today. They would have waved already. There you go. That's it. Aircraft are entering a holding pattern. Oh, no. Wow. Virgin Atlantic, it's not going to be leaving anytime soon. Get ready. Listen, Royal Air Maroc flying in from Casablanca, seven-hour flight. It's going to get a lot longer. Get ready. In a holding pattern over Long Island. We have Delta's 149 flying in from Rome, eight-hour, 30-minute flight. It's going to get a lot longer. In a holding pattern over Long Island. It's done, Kevin. It's all right. It's all right. We have planes circling over Long Island. Wow, we already have planes in the holding pattern. The traffic jam is beginning on LA Flight Live. Oh boy, this is when it starts, the craziness. Everything's gonna be waiting. Everything's gonna be frozen. Let's hear the, uh, it's, uh, the, the ramp freeze. Let's hear the tower controllers. Let's see how they're managing all the, uh, the chaos, the upcoming chaos. You know, ground's going to be fun. It is. Ground's going to uh, be What's the ground frequency? Uh, I think Captain Ken, he texted it. Run on Juliet. Follow Europa. Hold for the future at a hotel. Juliet, follow Air Europa and uh, hold short of the hotel. All right, there goes Virgin Atlantic. Let's go take a look at the next, the last few departures and arrivals before the shutdown. Wow, look at that. That was a little bit of a two-for-one special. Almost, we have Aer Lingus flying it from Shannon and American Airlines Big Boy 777-300ER on a 22 left. American Airlines 105 flying it from London's Heathrow. Expect Air Force One to arrive at 3-1 left that we will have Air Force One for the entire approach. Sadly, is going to be hiding behind the terminals after touchdown. However, we're going to have a spectacular approach. Is that the frequency? Are you showing them the frequency? Frequency? Oh, it looks like Virgin Atlantic powering up. Hold on, hold on. 
turn off there. Plus one is doing that. I don't see the heads up. I see that the not the rival that just landed, the one for him, rolled to the end through the critical area. So that's probably why. Okay, thanks. As of now, for Air Force One, the ILS is off. Oh. There you go. What you is that? ILS was off. No more arrivals. That's it. Oh, wow. That's it. We have one more arrival. There you go. That's it. No That's more arrivals. It's the shutdown starting. Okay, tower, good evening. Air Force One inbound. Oh. ILS. That's it. 3 1 left. 3 1 left. That's it. Three one left. Kennedy Tower, wind 1709, runway 3 1 left. Clear to land. Clear to land. Do you see it? Somewhere. Oh, I think yes, I see it. I see it. Delta 709, cross runway 2 2 out of Gulf. There it is. Where? Josh is zooming in to Air Force One. Three, one, left. Wow. There Joshua she is. Zooming in. JFK is in a lockdown. Oh, boy. Cross uh, 2 2 right on hotel, right on Bravo. It's happening. This is it. Europa 91 heavy, what entrance do you have? Sorry for the shaking, it's uh, so far yeah, away. And it's really windy right now. Heavy cross on week two to right at Delta. Air Force One on your screen. We have seen so many countries arrive in front of the LA flight cameras over the past couple of days. We have seen Nigerians, we have seen Turkish heads of state, we have seen so many others. This is the US representing in the United Nations General Assembly happening in just a few days. It's time for the U.S. to shine. Here we go. And LA Flights capturing this moment live for all of you. LA Flights with Peter and Joshua. Like I said, it's going to be an arrival on 3-1 left. Due to our location, we're gonna have the entire approach the way we're seeing it right now, after touchdown, we'll hide behind the terminals. We'll be left with an incredible traffic jam ahead of us. Fill the chat, 747 must be used, I think, to celebrate this <laughs> monumentous occasion. Wow. There she is. The highlight of today's episode, Air Force One, the U.S. representing, landing in front of LA Flights Live. Incredible, look at that. Look how that looks. I do have to know, it doesn't have a very high glide slope. Or is that normal for a 3-1 arrival? Oh, that's, uh, that's, that should be normal. All right, we'll try to zoom in. Joshua activating hyperzoom, zooming into Air Force One. Everybody with the camera has got their focus on that one plane. Wow, everyone, all the plane spotters in front of LA Flights Live. Taking pictures, taking videos, I should say behind, of this magnificent plane, the VC-25. The President of the United States arriving in front of LA Flights Live, and that's the terminal that we're talking about, touching down, safe and sound. Beautiful. Beautiful, Beautiful touchdown. Listen, we're left with the lockdown. Get ready. Yep, it's about to get crazy. It's about to get crazy. Do not leave. <laughs> we
We already so have the a beginning. big traffic jam right now. Let's see Air Force One. The tower. Look at the lockdown. Look at all the planes. Look Stand at this. still. Look at this. We have a ramp freeze. Incredible. Look at the traffic jam. Everyone's frozen. Listen, we have planes circling over Long Island. We have several heavies. Oh, there it is, Air Force One. Probably on another frequency. Call the ramp and let me know if An incredible sight. Okay, listen, we have Delta in a holding pattern. We have Royal Air Maroc in a holding pattern. Who else? Iberia coming in. We also have Air France, a triple seven. Right, listen, it's going to be an incredible hey, traffic jam. Take a look at this special livery on the, the Tom. Seven eight seven. As planes start to move in front of the cameras, we're starting to hear the engines spool up. You know something? I want to tune in to the ground frequency. It must be. Yeah, no, that's crazy. That's crazy right now. You got the ground frequency? Uh, yes, I'm turning into right now. We're going to have a lot of stressed out voices in the, uh, on ground right now. Yes, if you're wondering, LA flights, we will be here for the takeoff. Don't worry. Greater Vectors Robinsville, maintain 5,000. Hear this. Kenny 5, departure runway, Kenny 5,000, and uh, Greater Vectors Robinsville, 2,200. Ground tip blue, 2901, ready to taxi. Ship with 2901, Kennedy ground, where are you coming out? Coming out, folks. Get ready. It's, it's going to be full speed. Here. Hear this. Heavy, Hotel Bravo, short alpha taxi. Pencil the 985 Heavy Kennedy uh, ground. It's going to be a runway to drive for departure for you. So make the uh, left on Bravo now and hold short of Fox Trap. Left on Bravo, short of Fox Trap. We'll point on 2 2 right, Delta 985 Heavy. And Delta 28 Heavy, continue you uh, via Bravo and Echo, cross runway 318. All right, you're blocked. Delta 28 Heavy, it's Bravo and Echo, cross runway 318. Bravo Echo, cross uh, 318, Delta 28. 28 Heavy, you can monitor tower on a 123 point. Niner, one, two, three points, Niner, and your sequence will be the last in line there. It's in a rear. Wow, so many planes. Are you ready? Get ready. Hotel Bravo is Delta. Brigade 4685, you can monitor tower now on one, two, three points, Niner. 23 Niner, Brigade 4685. Ground up 204 heavy at uh, Hotel Bravo with Delta. Special Hotel Bravo. 204 heavy. Let's do 204 heavy Kennedy ground. It's going to be runway 6 right for departure. You can make the left on Bravo and hold for the Fox Trap. Left Bravo short of Fox, Delta 204 heavy. They're talking over each other. Delta 557 Kennedy ground, runway 2 to right for departure. Make the left on Bravo and hold for the Fox Trap. They were talking over each other. It's so busy. It's so congested. We'll be moving momentarily, so it's going to be another minute or two. Second floor, Charlie, happy time. Ship with 2901, I have a new climb up for you. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, 2901, go ahead. Josh, look at the helicopter. What is that? Is that a NYPD? I can't see it, Peter. I can't. Where is it? Where? Uh, the helicopter right in front of us. Don't zoom into it. It looks like we're getting departures again. Bravo, Delta, proceed on runway 13 left and hold for the Delta Bravo. Alright, we'll go uh, Bravo. They're talking over each other again. 715, just follow the aircraft ahead onto runway 13 left and hold for the Delta Bravo. Follow the embraer ahead and uh, clear across 13 uh, left. Jeopardy 29. And we are our first arrival after the shutdown. That's what we have to take. Jeopardy 2715, proceed on runway 13 left and hold for the Delta Bravo. On three, one left, short of Delta Bravo. Wow. 731, you can follow your company ahead. Cross my green right at Echo Tower. It's 123.9er. Right, Jeff, following company ahead. Cross Echo, cross 31 back over, or 31 right over to Tower, that's 731. 
We have another one. It's incredible uh, hearing the tower. Uh, ground I can't believe how she's handling that. Delta from the right, not the heavy jet, but the next Delta. Wow. Follow the next Delta from the right and hold short. Oh, wow. Look at all these Deltas. Right. Uh, Look at this. Look at this. Three Deltas right here. Look at this. Okay, so we have so many planes heading for takeoff. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, wow. More than 20 planes wanting to leave. We have so many planes out of the holding pattern. Heading towards JFK, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The number is just growing by the minute. Planes heading back to JFK after being in a holding pattern. The traffic jam that we were talking about and happening look, right now. Look at this, even more heavies heading to the runways for departure. We got a 767 Delta Airlines and the A330 heading back to London like we saw push back. All right, let's see the ground controller. Are you ready? Look at this, hear this. American 100 Heavy, and you're going to follow the second Delta from the right of that go. It's going to be a 737, towers 123 point American 3 Heavy, following company heads, towers 123 point honor. American 3 Heavy, following company heads, towers 123 point honor. And a person for just let me know when you're ready to continue with the new uh, climb. Wow, speed. The speed of this controller I'm so is astonished how she's handling this. I mean, it's so calm. Can you grab me right to right back to left on Bravo and hold short of Fox 5. Right Bravo Wow. We have the German equivalent of Air Force One, the German head of states, and their brand new A350-900 arriving in just a few, min few minutes as well. It's flying over Rhode Island. Germans are arriving and this time the germans should arrive runway two to left on the 22s Triple seven coming out of nowhere, just adding to the line. Go ahead and move to the final one. Oh, actually, it looks like you do have it. So Alpha short of uh, Whiskey for now. Actually, are you ready to go with the new climb? Uh, yeah, that's uh, right over at this uh, spot of Beach, Robinsville. Yeah, I'll take you right, yeah. Blue 2901, then you can go right to the runway. So it's going to be left Bravo and Echo, Boston Way 3 one right here in front of Virgin. Bravo and Echo, left uh, 3 one right. Uh, in front of the bridge, it's through 2901. Uh, 2901 on echo, you can monitor tower, 123.9, you'll be fine, the Delta 767 directly ahead of you. Okay, follow the Delta, I'm on the sound, it's blue, uh, 2901. Alright, JetBlue, let's go and get the flight information. 
We have the traffic jam that we were talking about. We also have a 747 flying to Chicago. Taxing to runway 22 right. It's going to be runway 22 right for departure for now, right Alpha, and we'll put a Delta Bravo. Virgin Atlantic flying to London's Heathrow. That's an A330neo heading to runway 22 right. Uh, let's see. We have one E175 on its takeoff roll. After that, we have a Delta 767 flying to Nice. We have an American Airlines flying to London. American Airlines flying to Athens. Florio 767s flying to LAX. Flying to Stockholm. Of course, Virgin Atlantic, another 767, this time flying to Madrid in Spain. And don't even get me started on the arrivals. Yeah, it's just, just call it infinite arrivals. It's just going to be nonstop. I mean, look at all these heavies. We got two American 777s. Like Peter said, in a flurry of 767 Delta Airlines. There goes the first 767-400 already on the roll. And is this the four? Yes, look at this. No the winglets. 400. This is the 764. No winglets on its takeoff roll. Bravo, then we're going to wait for the jet balloon from Charlie Monitor Tower, 2390. You're great, Dick. Two hundred. All right, there goes the 767-400. This line looks so... I mean, look at this line! 767 Deltas, American 777s. Virgin Atlantic sneaking around there in the back. We got a 767 about to land. And this is the big 400. This one coming in from Roma. Roma. Flights 149. Hey, Josh, are you ready? Uh, we need the uh, sound system here hooked uh, up. Okay, I'll go help you. 767, okay, no winglets. We have on its takeoff roll, we have a JetBlue flying to, flying in from Swan, San Juan, Puerto Rico, as plane spotters enjoy the incredible traffic jam that we have here after Air Force One arrived only a few minutes ago. The highlights of the trip. Air Force One arriving in front of LA Flash Live. We have Atlas operated by Qantas Flight flying to Chicago, a 747-400. A few super chats to get to before we do anything else. We have Angela sending a $5 super chat. Diamond Club super sticker for Air Force One. Thank you so am much. I, am I line? Oh, there yeah, we go. Yeah, you're okay. there, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you so much, Angela. A mute, a mute for it, a mute for it. Test, test. Test, test. All right, we're going to go for Royal Air Maroc. This one was in a holding pattern just a few minutes ago, flying it from Casablanca, seven hour, 14 minute flight. And triple 
7 up next to leave. Heathrow, we have tower frequency, uh, ground frequency, I should say, 121.9er. I think we're going to go back to the tower frequency. What do you think? Tower or ground? Uh, let's go back to ground. Uh, a, a tower, I mean, tower. Yeah, okay, let's go back to tower frequency. 119.1. We have the Nigerian Air Force. Looks like it's heading to runway 22 right. We and might have some rain. I felt raindrops. No, yeah. rain. Yeah. I right felt now. raindrops. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'm feeling it. Whoa, out of nowhere. No, it's just a little drizzle. I feel it, though. I just felt it. Max nodding to me that he felt it, too. I'm feeling raindrops. Are you ready? Good thing we're in a pool. They have a million towels if we need it. Yeah. Max to be nine, there's millions of towels. Yeah, t uh, Max City then will be our, our towel boy. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound right. <laughs> Max 39 is going to want to raise. Huh? Hold on. Let me get this first. All right, we're going to need the towers pretty quick, guys. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, tell, tell Max to go get the towels. Seven, three, uh, 200 getting out of here. Hold on. Fetching us some towels. I mean, we're not really getting rain. Are it's we? it's so just a few forward. drops. I mean, it's just a few uh, drops. Maybe towels weren't necessary. Come uh, back, Max. I'd rather have them uh, just in case. Better safe than sorry. Next arrival we have is a big boy. It's a Delta 767 flying in from Atlanta, Georgia. We have Virgin Atlanta. We have a whole bunch of planes. I'm telling you, there is a traffic jam. I should say a push. 747 will add to the uh, ah, look backlog at this. of takeoffs. We're getting an arrival on two to right. Yes, that's the one that I was talking about. Delta's 1294 flying in from Atlanta, Georgia. One hour, 47 minute flight on 22 right. Looks like we're waiting for another arrival to happen on 202 right. No one has lined up just yet. Oh, look at this. I think we have another VIP coming in. Yes, Nigerian Air Force. Yeah, there, there right. it is.
Nigerian Air Force. We have Nigerian Air Force arriving. We have the German Air Force. Are you ready? We have the equivalent of Air Force One to the Germans. Their A350 will land in the next few minutes. Delta Airlines 737, smoky touchdown. We're going to go for a heavy arrival as well. An Iberian flight flying in from Madrid, a seven hour, 32 minute flight on a 22 left. Looks like a 767 is lining up on runway 22 right. And we have Iberia. There it is. Joshua has the A330 on in his sights. We have the German A350 over Long Island, New York. There's the touchdown for the A330 Iberia. Let's go and take a look at the 767 that we saw line up. It's a 767-300. This is an LA flight. So this one heading to Los Angeles, heading to Southern California, five hour flight. You know that this is UN Week on LA Flash Live, yes? We have the Irish and their A310, Airbus A310, arriving in the next oh, few minutes. Nice. Incredible, we can't wait. An A310. And an incredible traffic jam happening and engine startup happening in front of us. Oh, Josh, hold on, it might be this one. It's this one right here? No, 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 Delta, 767. I'll still go get it. Still, still go, go get, get it. it. Oh, 767. Next flight, 688 inbound from Los Angeles in the special livery of the breast cancer. And here we go, a little bit of a two for one action here. We got a, another 767 Delta Airlines on the parallel leaving. That's a perfect two. Okay. Flying in from Paris. A seven hour, 35 minute flight.
at this long line of planes wanting to leave. Oh. Wow. Traffic wow. jam. Uh, uh, push. A push. push. Not a traffic jam, it's a push. Let's hit the tower. Who knows, maybe we might hear a familiar voice in the tower frequency. Oh, really? We might. All right, JetBlue leaving. First one to leave from the big traffic jam we have. Ah, uh, push. All right, we have this one, JetBlue 2901 flying to Fort Lauderdale. So we have, listen, 747 is in the back of the line. We have an Atlas Air flying to Chicago's nice. O'Hare International. 747-400 in the back of the queue. Do you want to know how many planes are wanting to leave? We have 1, 2, 3, <laughs> 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow. 17, 18, 19. More than 20, between 20 and 30 planes right now. Wow. That's and insane. That's not counting the arrivals. How many planes are coming in? A whole bunch. We had a whole bunch of planes over Long Island, over the state of New York, and holding patterns, waiting for Air Force One to arrive. Air Force One did arrive a few minutes ago, and I hope everyone is enjoying the incredible action on LA Flash Live. Look at this, rocket launch by wow. the JetBlue. Let's take a look at the rate of climb. This one is flying to Newark. Short flight, this one has to be a repositioning flight. Get ready, this will be a rocket launch. 3,008, wow. that's a rocket. Wow. Very impressive. 3,500 feet per, <laughs> per minute. Yes. All right, get ready. Light the candle in honor of Bruce Campbell. Light the candle. Camcorder. Oh, 
Oh, we got it. We, we got it here. Just keep it on that area, okay? General area. Over here? Oh, and look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Atlas taxing! 747 flight the Chicago yeah. International has made an appearance. There goes Eurowings. Eurowings. Takeoff thrust set. Flying to Brussels. Rolls Royce Trent 700 engines powering this one. Just take in the sounds. It's incredible. Trying to go to the runway. All right, up next we have a jet blue. It's already rolling down two to right. Oh, and look at this Alitalia, the Itai, the old Alitalia livery. This one now flying nonstop to Rome. Oh, look at the lineup. Look at this, two 767s. A jet blue, what is that? A Delta Airlines and of course the ETA. Let's go to the jet blue right now, leaving. Jet blue 2715 flying to Los Angeles, now one flying to LAX. Okay, so we have an Airbus A310. Yeah. Okay. Arriving in just a few moments. Hey, how old is it? Uh, how old is it? Let's take a look. Uh, listen, do we have any information? My goodness, no information, but it's arriving in just a few moments. Thank you so much, Max39. It's number one most tracked in the entire world. Get ready. Of course it is. Can't wait to see the registration number of the A310. It's number three for arrival. No oh man, Delta Airlines heading the wrong way. Looks like they're gonna be taking off runway 31. Yeah, 31 is way too congested, congested uh, for the 22s. And the takeoff, where's it going? JetBlue's 19.03. Let's hear the tower. Tower 3, 
Looks like the A310 is 36 years of age. Thank you so much, Johan Clausen. Airbus A310, the one arriving in just a few, min uh, few minutes. 36 years. That's uh, younger than you are, right? Yeah, it is. All right, looks like the 767 is lining up. Wow, incredible action happening in front of LA Flex Live. 767 flying to Madrid in Spain. 747 looks like it's number two for takeoff. Seven sixty seven still not moving. Listen, and it looks like we have the A310, the one that's 36 years of age, the one that is arriving in just a few moments, according to a few viewers from Saudi Arabia. Oh. Can't wait to see it. Maybe that gives Kevin a... Uh... Kevin, I'm kidding. If you don't want... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Get everything packed away. Are you ready? My goodness. Where's the 767 going, do you know? Madrid, Spain. Madrid, okay. Keep your eyes I'm in looking, I'm the looking. sky. A310 arriving in just a few seconds. Is this it? Is That's that it? it. That's okay, it, let's Josh. go, let's go. Oh, yeah, wow. Look at that. Oh, yes. Doesn't look Saudi Arabian. Are you That's ready? a charter. That That's a charter. charter. Well, I don't see you know, I don't see that equipment with the Royal Saudi. Yeah, government. it could be a charter flight. We're wow. going to be zooming into the registration number in just a few moments. Get oh, ready. Oh, man, I love seeing those old plates. LA Flights continues UN week. Day two in this incredible, unforgettable week of plane spotting. Yeah, that paint scheme definitely looks like a, like a charter company. Yeah, definitely. Private oh, charter. Look how cool that is. I'll give you the registration number in just a few seconds. Wow, look I at that. Up there. I love that. Wow. Can we zoom into the registration number? It's going to be a little hard to zoom in. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, my goodness. That's such a good touchdown. Oh, no, hold on, though. We have the se <laughs> triple se 747 leaving. The A310 completely stealing the spotlight. Don't worry. We'll go back to it. We just got to get the queen of the skies. That Atlas is going to Chicago. Depending how light or heavy the 747 is, it might be a rocket launch. Yeah, it's going pretty steep. 747, let's take a look. Atlas climbing at 1,700 feet per minute, and I still want to check the registration number of uh, the A310 that just arrived. We have the German equivalent of Air Force One arriving in just a few seconds, I think just a few minutes, an arrival on the 22s, the A350, carrying the head of state of Germany, arriving in just a few moments. All right, there we go. Let's go back to the A310. You know, if we didn't see Air Force One, this, this would have been highlight of the day. You said it came in from Saudi Arabia, right? Uh, according to a few viewers, Josh, I mean, take that with a grain of salt. Okay. Uh, let's see, we will try our best to zoom into the registration number. Let's see how difficult it's going to be. Uh, let's see, I'll let you know, Josh, when we have yeah, the... Yeah, once it gets a little closer, I'll, I'll yeah. zoom in.
looks like it's Hotel Zulu November Sierra Alpha. What were the last two letters? November Sierra Alpha. Yeah, I mean, it belongs to an aviation company that's registered in Saudi Arabia. Oh, okay. Good looking plane, I have to admit. Yeah. Good looking plane. They push it back. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Tell me, is it red and powered by Rolls Royce engines? Are these the most powerful engines in the world now? You know something? They are. Commercial aviation. WXP engines. Those are it. Those are the most uh, powerful engines in commercial aviation. That's it. All right. Oh well. Wow. I don't want Kevin to win. It's not red. It's passion. This isn't we Condor. From yesterday. This isn't Condor, Kevin. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wrong airline. Wrong airline. You, 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 <laughs> you need some sleep, man. It's the jet fumes. fumes. It's the jet fumes. Josh, are you ready? Okay, so we have Virgin Atlantic. We have ETA about to take off on runway 22 right. And the Germans. Oh. <laughs> That's a scratch. A scratch. Come on. <laughs> he's looking right at us. Come he's on. like, he's like, geez. Come on, there, there he is. is. There you go. Got it. There you are. There you go. He's like, all right, I'll give it to them. <laughs> Italians getting a move on. I think we've had the most waves today in one single day. Haven't you, might we? Right. you might be right, Kevin. Cheers <laughs> <laughs> Cat 1956 says, poor Kevin needs an IV right now. <laughs> 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 what, Geritol? <laughs> <laughs> there goes Ita in the old Alitalia livery. Oh, wow, very interesting. Hold on a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Try to listen to the tower. Hold on. Listen for Cafe Pacific. Do you see that 747 flying above? It's flying. Oh, who is this? Who is this? Germans. Germans. We have oh, the man. Germans. A little bumpy landing there. Arriving in front of LA flight, we have the German Chancellor, Olaf Scholz. Arriving in front of LA Flight Live nice. during day two of UN Week. There it is. Love Wafta. Live Wafta from the, the TWA Hotel. Wow, look at that. That's the German Air Force. Yeah. Welcome Very to cool. New York. <laughs> That's awesome. The German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. Germans have arrived. That is awesome. Does the General Assembly start tomorrow, um, Tuesday? Uh, I believe it's Tuesday. That's when the uh, the grand debate starts. I believe it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we have a blue plane, looks like we have KLM, but I think we're going to stay with the Germans. 
Uh, no, we'll go. We'll go back to the Germans. There's th they, have, they have a lot of taxi to do. Let's take a look at KLM about to touch down. Already touched down. You know, something very interesting happening with Cathay Pacific, a 747-8 yeah. flying from Anchorage. It was flying left base, however, it was taken out of final approach and going back to try it again. Oh, wow, really? Maybe sequenced a little too close? The traffic over JFK, over the New York City area right now is incredible. Get ready, we're going to have a tri-jet as well. FedEx flying in from Memphis in about three minutes. Japan Airlines come again. And listen, if you want to see another A310 arrive, it looks like we have the Spanish Air Force. Oh, nice. Really? The Spanish Air Force bringing their own A310. It's south of Nova Scotia, headed towards New York. Very cool, double A310. I mean, this is really the only time where you can see all those planes coming in at the same airport the same day. Do we still have the Germans uh, here yes, in front definitely. of us? All right, so there's the Japanese. That's a commercial flight. This is the German, the German Chancellor. We are on hotel. We are on hotel. Peter, you were right. The uh, Spanish Air Force operates two customized Airbus A310s and five Falcon 900s for the transportation of the king or the prime minister. Okay, and one of them arriving in uh, just a short time. It's an A310-300. Germans waiting, you know something? Germans waiting for, I think, a takeoff happen. Oh, look at this, uh, emergency vehicles leaving base. Get ready, look at this. Yeah. We have emergency vehicles headed towards the runway. What's happening? Uh -oh. oh, man. Yeah, look at this. Everyone, stairs too. Everyone, it looks like we have an aircraft coming back. Wow. Looks like we have an aircraft in need of emergency assistance. If things couldn't get more crazy. There we go. Come on, guys. Look at that. Aircraft in need of emergency assistance. Oh, yeah, I, I can't do anything about them. I mean, <laughs> we have, I think, a green plane coming in. I think we have the Irish, a scheduled flight from Dublin to Ireland, a seven-hour flight, A330-300. You know something? Cafe, well, I'm not going to say who it is, but I don't have enough information to say who it is. Direction, right? Well, 
they kept going. Do we know if they're heading our way? Don't know where they're going. So listen, the Germans are still waiting to cross the runway. That's our Richard 58. Our gate is open to the for us to be out of Right, the Germans still waiting to cross. Two yeah, we right. have an arrival happening right now. Let's go for the arrival, and it looks like we have two big boys. All right, so we have one 767. This one flying in from Cincinnati, operated by Air Transport International, a one-hour, 47-minute flight from Cincinnati. We also have a Delta 767, the same type of aircraft, flying in from Athens, Greece, on the parallel. All right, the freighter landing right in front of us. By the way, Josh, get ready. We're going to have a tri-jet MT-11. Yeah, that's true. It smells like rain. 767 coming in. Oh, good tire smoke. My goodness. I felt that one. There's been a lot of that. That was the flight from Athens that just came in. Yes. 3194 Heavy, Kennedy Tower, Main, uh, wind 1507, runway 22 left for the land. And we have Virgin Atlantic on the move right now. It's day 350, 1,000 heading to London. Don't worry, our gate is open. It's going to be a hotel entry for us. Delta 213 Heavy, remain this frequency. Taxi Juliet, Zulu, and Hotel. Hold short Yankee. Yankee. Do we have any idea where those emergency vehicles went? No. Never saw them again. Okay. We have so... Look at this, Peter. I mean, we have so many planes right now trying to cross the runway, including that German Luftwaffe. The Germans can to catch a break. Are you ready? We have a Flyer from New Jersey, enjoying the greatest hits of LA Flash Live. Welcome to the TWA Hotel, AJ the Flyer. We have a Trijet, we have, I mean, listen, we have a whole bunch of plays. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Even it's, the German it's too many to count. Way too many to count. I'll let you know when I see the Trijet. Okay, I see it, I see it. Oh, it's coming here too. Two, two, right. Wow. Look at wow. this! Right in front of us. This is the closest runway to us. Runway 2 to right. Oh, that's a, that's a smooth touchdown. A little bit of tire smoke, but I think it's A-OK. -okay. We have also Virgin Atlantic Josh touching down in just a few seconds, just a few feet above the runway. Yeah, on the parallel. A350-1000, this one flying it from London's Heathrow, a seven hour, 10 minute flight. Finally, we have planes crossing. All right, the Germans catching a break. There he goes. Crossing 2-2 two, two right. That was a healthy delay for the German Chancellor. Yeah. My goodness. No, that was a long time. That was a healthy delay. Oh, it looks like it's going to make a right. I'm surprised. I thought all the uh, dignitaries go down the other way. Do you Welcome. think they want to shine the light? Josh, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I want you to hyperzoom. 
Who Use knows? Hyperzoom on that A350. Yeah, go for it. We got two helic. I don't know whether to zoom in or not. We got two helicopters over there. You see it? Don't know where it is. They're flying really low. The distance. Kevin, uh, Jay Lopez, do you see it? I'll, I'll, see it. Right. I'll take a look. I'll take a look at the camera. Right. I don't think there should be an issue. Wow, Could be Marine One that. or Blackhawks. Blackhawks. Look at that. I won't zoom in anymore. I, I think. I mean, we could do that. Yeah. Okay. Josh was zooming into a 747 instead. What do you think? Cafe Pacific landing on 22 oh, right. Okay. Here the military go. making a presence over New York. The president of the United States is in town. Wow. Wow. Look how fast that is. That one. Hold on a minute. Look at that. 160 knots. Wow. That was insanely fast. From Syracuse. <laughs> that was so fast. Wow. It's <laughs> still going fast. Using all the reverse thrust to can. Look at that, hitting the brakes. My goodness, that was a quick landing. Uh, excuse me, a fast approach. We have Zolnex, thank you so much, sending us a five Canadian super chat. Amazing show. Keep up the fantastic work, brothers. Loved the interview with Kennedy Joanna. Yes, we've, <laughs> we've known her as Kennedy Steph for so long. Joanna, her name. Now and just Joanna. She gave us 30 minutes of her incredibly valuable time. We also heard her on the tower frequency only a few hours after the interview. A big shout out to Joanna in Kennedy Tower. Thank you, Zulnix, for watching. Definitely. Gifting one membership to LA Flights. Thank you so much, Zulnix. One of the best interviews we've ever done here. Can we zoom into the German Chancellor? Uh, do you think he's shining the light? Who knows? You never know. Let's hear the uh, tower frequency. Maybe he's got us on. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? I don't see anyone. Wow, that is a good looking plane. Let me tell you something. That is a good looking A350. Uh, let's say German Chancellor. What are the odds of a China? The lights. There's that 747 that we saw land. 747, a really fast approach into uh, runway 24, correction, 22 left. I mean, look, listen, this is the traffic jam that we were talking about for such a long time. We also have aircraft. Josh, uh, we have the Irish A330 to the left. To the left? Yes, to the left. You see that taxiway over there, Josh? Over there by the uh, Terminal ah, 5? Yes, yeah. I see it. Look at this. If you didn't know, we have planes everywhere. Wow. Wow. And talk about, I mean, all right, we'll, we'll go take a look at the planes wanting to come in, uh, wanting to leave. I mean, there's still a massive line. Massive queue to leave. There is. We have planes everywhere right now. Oh, look at this. We're getting ready to receive the A380. Oh my god. We gosh. got ground crew. We have the air bridges set up for the A380. Yeah. We got the tug already. All the We're pallets. Gonna have the biggest aircraft in commercial aviation park right next to us, giving us the iconic shot that the TWA Hotel is known for around the world. You can't get closer to a super A380 than right here at the TWA Hotel. Listen, the flight from Milan is arriving in just a few minutes, and it's on final approach nice. right now. Eight-hour flight landing in a couple of minutes, two to three minutes. In Please front, tell me it's on the leaderboard and for more tracked. In front of the A380, we have one, two, three, four, five planes. And let me take a look at the tracking board. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Emirates flights. Don't have.
have it on the top 10. Ah, no, come on. We got to track that one. What do you think? Let's take that A380. Flight, what is it? Emirates 205, flying in from Milan. Do we put it in the leaderboard for the most tracked on come flight on. radar? What do you think? We got to do it. We've had, how many planes, Josh? Like <laughs> four planes? Four already? LA Flights has made four planes number one, most tracked in the entire world. Can we have it five? Can we make it five? We got to, we got to. Start Speedbird tracking. Coming in. Yeah, start tracking, start following that A380. Speedbird coming in. This one also coming in a little hot, no? Yeah, you know what? They're all coming in pretty fast. Speedbird. Do we have wind? How are the winds looking? Wow! Listen, right now, don't say it out loud. Uh oh. Winds are favoring the 13s. Wow, really? The 13s right now. So are you telling me the planes are landing in crosswind right now? Crosswind arrivals, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Germans can't catch a break. They're stopped on the taxiway. Yeah, no, they're in the middle. They're in the middle of a big, big traffic jam. I'm being informed by Max39 behind the scenes that the A380 is now in the top 10. There you go. OK, let's push that up. We got to push that up. Let's make it number one. LA Flight's house, we can do it. <laughs> Jacob sending us a five dollar super look chat. At, hold on, look at the Germans. <laughs> they are in the middle of a JetBlue and a couple of Deltas, They're, just like the rest of us. Josh, this is a <laughs> New York traffic jam happening in front of the LA flights. Cameras, the Germans. My goodness. They even have a lead car, and even the lead <laughs> car can't go anywhere. Yeah, there, there it is. Look at that. Good, That's good spotting, Kevin. I didn't notice it. You know, I'm wondering if because the president came in first, because normally all the dignitaries go down the other way, over here to our right. Possibly, yes. And I'm wondering right. if they're making uh, the chancellor take either the long way around or Great she has to go, or, or they're Kevin. going to an alternate. I expected the, them to go to the right. We've and, been seeing all of the VIPs go to the right, like you of said. Us, yeah, to the right of us, which is down uh, runway. Um, 3-1 left. 3-1, sorry. There you and go. I don't Getting understand move on. Where, where they're going. Taking That's the a long great way. observation, Kevin. I didn't think of that. Taking the long way to parking. They've been in the... How long, guys? Uh, A350's been here <laughs> for 25 time. minutes? Yeah. 20 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Waiting like the rest of us. Look at this. The German chancellor in right. the penalty box. Right. Yeah. Finally getting a move on. Do you know who's on board? My goodness. Do you know who I am? <laughs> there they go. My goodness. Thank you so much, Jacob, sending us a super chat. Y'all are better than Sunday night football. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Welcome to LA Flights, my friend. Grumpy Forrester sending us a $5 tip, Josh. Every kid on Christmas morning. Joshua's excitement is unmatched oh, right now. Thank you. Hey, what about that Emirates? We gotta pump that up. I yes. want to see that number one. Emirates flights currently number four most tracked. It was at number zero. Four, okay. Are you ready? Now in the top ten. Now in fourth place. Oh, we Let's gotta make that one. Make it number one most tracked in the entire world. Oh man, that's gonna be parking right next to us at gate seven. We will be seeing the iconic shots of the A380 come right next to us, just a few yards away. It's going to be so Miller. close, we can touch it. Sending us a $10 super chat. Awesome show, guys. You are the best. Ah, thank you. LA Flight, the best. Thank you so much, Paul Miller, for we that wonderful to message. We try to give you guys the best content out there. Come on, guys. Let's pump it up. Let's go to number one, Emirates 205. Start tracking it. We've been four for four in the number one push challenges. Can we make it five for five? Undefeated today, undefeated. We need your help. I love the name, look at that. How's my flying? How's my flying? Call 1-800-JetBlue. I think that's the best sticker I've seen yet. That's a bold claim. I mean, if, if it's a rough <laughs> landing, expect those calls. <laughs> <laughs> Fit air coming in. Flying in from Helsinki. Eight hour, 39 minute flight. That's an A330-200. And the A380 Super, the one that's going to be parking right next to us, arriving in about three minutes. How, how 
far is Emirates from number Three minutes. one? Oh, excuse me. Okay, number one in the leaderboard. Come on. We got to make it number one. About to go top three. Come, Come on. on. Five for five. <laughs> Look at all these planes. They're trying to cross the runway. That's all they're trying to do. Wow. Wow. Josh, final approach right now. Emirates, Let's go for go. it. Oh, yes. There's the behemoth. Josh is zooming in, focusing the camera. There he is. The biggest aircraft in commercial aviation and Max 39 informing me that it is number three most tracked in the entire oh, world. Come on, I want to see number one. Number one, we got to push. Follow it on flight radar, come on. Here he is, we're showing it to all of you. Emirates 205 parking right next to us, gate seven in just a few minutes. The sound you're about to hear is a CRJ parking right next to us. Excellent landing there. Smooth touchdown by the biggest aircraft in commercial aviation. There goes the reverse thrusts. We can hear it all the way from here. Amazing sound, get ready. I mean, just look at all these Emirates, poor Emirates is gonna have to go through wow. all of this. Look Listen, at all wow. of this. That A380 is gonna take 10, 15, 20 minutes. 30 minutes. That is a <laughs> New York traffic jam. It's gonna be 30. Look at this. It's just piled up there. And I'm gonna tell you something, it might be worse to leave. We've had the Speedbird over here wanting to take off for about 20, 25 minutes. Barely number three for departure. Wow. Get ready, guys. Uh, let's see, Darren sending us a $5 Super Chat. I am being informed that it's number two most tracked in the entire world. All right, we're we gonna have, have to go to it. We have until it parks, okay, to go to number one. We still have a lot of time. We Darren, still have a sight. Sending us a $5 Super Chat. Voicemail like, hello, 1-800-JetBlue. This is Acme General Aviation. <laughs> Gray 319, cut me off on the taxiway Zulu. I think one of the best uh, stickers I've seen on JetBlue. By the way, look at that shot. 747 and the, and the oh, 380. Yes. Look wow. at this. In the same shot. Also an A350-1000. Yeah, we can just add more planes if we just zoom out. 767, A330, <laughs> Look at this. It's madness at JFK. It is incredible right now on LA Flights Live, broadcasting this incredible day of planes from the TWA Hotel. One of the best AvGeek locations in the entire world. And I don't know if you noticed, I had to switch to night cam there. We, we are, are officially in night vision. Officially night plane spotting for the second day in a row. Yesterday we were live for 12 hours. Will today be another 12 hour show? <laughs> Stay tuned and find out. GE says finally at mid JFK is number one airport. For See base. days like this? <laughs> it certainly proves it's, it. It's convincing. It's convincing. It is certainly convincing. Listen, on approach, we have Singapore, the world's longest flight. Get ready. The world's longest flight arriving in a few minutes. 18 hours, 30 minutes of flight time, flying in from all the way in Singapore. We have flight 24 and A350-900. Longest flight in the world in just a few minutes. Where does that usually dock, Peter? You know something, Kevin? We'll be parking right next to us, gate five. Okay, great. History shows we'll be parking right next to us, the world's longest flight great. right next to us. A380 on the move. Get ready, that's a big traffic jam, forget about yeah. it. Yeah, no, it's gonna be there for a while. Listen.
I think the highest I saw was number three, uh, Emirates 205. Keep tracking it. We're trying to make it number one, the most tracked in the entire world. Keep tracking that Emirates flight. We have Speedbird now finally leaving this one on the taxiway for about 25 minutes. Wow. Josh, if you look at flight radar, it's full of planes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Wow. Goodness. You almost think it was a parking lot. <laughs> a parking not, not, lot. I'm serious, not, a, not an airport, because they're all just... They're just sitting there. Sitting there, They can't yeah. go anywhere. Wow, you guys, are you ready? I mean... And runway 31 left is active. A whole bunch of takeoffs are happening there. They're sending all the heavies right in front of us. Runway 22. Oh, that's good. Right. <laughs> so e even with sending the, the, the narrow bodies, the smaller jets, 231 left, we still have a massive traffic jet of just heavies here on the 22s. We have like 10 planes heading to Oh, Runway bad. 31 left. It's that bad. <laughs> 10 planes. And on the other side of the airport with us on 22 right. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm just going to, it's, hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, almost 18, almost 20 planes, over wow. 20 planes. Isabella sending us a $5 super chat. What a great show, the biggest traffic jam ever. You guys rock. Thank you, Isabella, as the Japanese start to cross two, two yeah, right. Yeah, finally, they're letting some planes cross, 767-2. However, I think Virgin Atlantic stuck still. Oh, that one's not gonna move anywhere. David sending us a $10 super chat. One more plane, more like 100. One more plane. <laughs> One more plane. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's K. not in another 12, uh, five hours. K. Ellie sending us a $20 super chat. Sending one cent for every wow. Your broadcast has won me over <laughs> from the local police scanner. My goodness, nothing beats your coverage. Thank you so much, Thank Kay. Thank you. LA for that wonderful super chat. Welcome to the LA Flights family. Do me a favor, consider subscribing. It's easy and free. Hit the notification bell. You won't miss one second of uh, the LA Flights UN Week Special. I think we may have another. <laughs> What situation? Look at oh, this. yes, you're right, Kevin. Let's go for it. What are we talking about? Oh, yes, look at this. Another VIP coming in. We have police escort. We have... Is that Secret Service, do you think? That, this, that's Secret Service. There is a VIP on the Emirates flight. Again? Again. It's Again. Again. Another Hold on, VIP. we'll see where they go. Let's see if they go to the Emirates gate. Same route as yesterday. Wow. Same route. U.S. Secret Service will be... Escorting someone out of a VIP out of Emirates 205. Doing it again. Wow. Yeah, it looks like they're stopping here. Yes. Same exact routine that we saw yesterday. Wow. NYPD along with the U.S. Secret Service. I'm guessing that one right there. By the way, look at those cars. We have Range Rovers and BMW 7 Series. Yeah, not very American. Not very American. I wonder if a if a cargo flight brought those European cars specifically designed, specifically made for the VIP on the Emirates flight. That's interesting. That's interesting. Because just normally... Like, yeah, just like last night. Yeah, because normally here in the States we have the Chevy Tahoe. And, you know, the Europeans, they get the Range Rovers. Oh, my goodness. I think that was a Range Rover Evoque, possibly. Wow. Uh, so we have an opportunity to ask for our pizza back from last <laughs> night. Some more VIP. VIP means very important Port pizza, pizza here on Airlines. There goes to Singapore, the longest flight touching down. How, how long one. was this one? Singapore 24, eight hours, four, excuse me. Eight hours. <laughs> I've been talking for 48 hours. Are you ready? Uh, tw uh, more like 24 hours total. <laughs> Singapore 24 flying in from Singapore, right? That's, that's a good one. I hope so. 18 hope so. hours, 40 minutes of flight time, and yeah. they're going to wow. be here in the ground. 40 minutes? 18 hours, 40 minutes? 18 hours, wow. 40 minutes, and they're going to be in the ground for at least 20 minutes. And 
of course, this one will be taxing in front of us, heading to the gate next to Emirates. JetBlue heading to the gate. That's going to be parking right next to us. Singapore exiting oh, the I runway. I What's see up? those emergency vehicles way over on the left by, that you were looking for earlier. Yes, Kevin, I see it. Josh, uh, yeah, let's, let's see. Let's go take a look. We'll go take a look. Josh was going to be... I think uh, zooming in. Must have done. There must have been something with uh, Air Force One. It yeah, has possibly. To be, had to have been. And look at this. All right, so we we have all the arrivals. That's a mess. <laughs> look at this. We still have a massive line, and that's the charter flight over here. Also wanting to leave. Q8 A330 Neo, China Cargo Airline, China Cargo. Triple seven freighter. How many do we have? We have one, two, three, four. I mean, listen, it's endless. Forget about it, endless. And yeah. every single one <laughs> is heavy. Do you want to hear an update? Go ahead. All right, we have one flying to Kuwait. It's an, a, it's an A330. We have one flying to Shanghai, a triple seven. We have one Virgin Atlantic flying to London, it's an A350-1000. We have one Latam flying to Sao Paulo, it's a Dreamliner. We have one Aer Lingus A330neo flying, excuse me, A330-300 flying to Manchester. Listen, I could talk more and, and more. Here comes Emirates. Look who crossed. They got, <laughs> somehow they got preferential treatment. Yeah. Exactly. Who uh, knows, maybe because path. the VIP. I bet it is. I wonder if the pilots are like, oh, is it something we did? All of a sudden, we're getting the expressway <laughs> to gate seven. Yeah. No, because there was a massive traffic jam to cross the runway. But Emirates taking the express route. And the wow. tow tractor's going out already to bring them in. Oh, yeah, you're right, Kevin. OK, let, we'll go take a look. We'll, we'll take a look right now. There is the tug, so it most likely will be tugged. In. Towed it. Say it again. Towed to the Towed, gates. Tucked. Pulled in. Pulled in. There's and the yeah. secret service slash uh, security. Wow, get ready. Sound going up. Listen to this. Oh, that was fun. Chandelier. <laughs> Do it twice. Shine the light. I don't yeah, think it's gonna no, happen. I wasn't shining the light. I'm just kidding. It looked like it. Of us in the ramp area. <laughs> That's so awesome. 
All right, let's go take a look. This is a traffic jam. This is what you call a traffic jam. Look at that. It's that Singapore in the background also heading our way. Three planes, A380, Virgin Atlantic, and Singapore will be parking right next to us. Right next to LA Guys, Flight do we know if uh, Do we know if Gate 3 is occupied? Do we it know if it's like occupied? It doesn't what? look like it. No, it's empty. No, okay, that means most likely Singapore will be heading our way, just to make sure. Should be empty, Josh. Gate okay. 3 open. Great, great. I'm pretty sure Virgin's going to go to 3. Uh, that's what do you think? Virgin Atlantic gate five? I gotta say three. Joshua says Virgin Atlantic goes to three. China Cargo getting out of here. Most likely heading to Anchorage. Oh, ah, the sound! Get ready. A fully loaded flight not flying to Anchorage. It's flying to Shanghai. Wow! That's a long one. 13 hours? Yes. Roughly, give or take. That's a long flight. All right, let's go to the traffic jam we have in front of us. Emirates starting to move. And remember, we have US Secret Service and NYPD escorting someone out of VIP from that flight, a VIP on that flight. I think the first officer is taking a call now. Oh, maybe not. All right, let's zoom out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Glorious A380. All that sound, that's a tug, isn't it? Wow, hear the sound. That's not the A380 making all that sound. That I think that's the tug.
park right next to us as well. And talk about sound, we still have sound going on. An E-190 taxing right in front of us. to get to my friends we have kiwi steve we sending us 10 no zealand super chat there's only one thing missing from today's show it's josh saying don't worry it's just a little rain <laughs> <laughs> similar vibes to the tropical storm oh, i'm man. telling you if there was a show that can that has the opportunity it's this one the it's gonna be this one <laughs> possibility of topping tropical storm hillary it's this one right here we have Ishigo sending us a two pound super chat. How do you track all of these planes? There are several tracking apps online, my friend. Thank you so much. Miss Q sending us a five dollar super chat. Was the fast landing from Cathay 747 related to the uh, the fire trucks, the emergency vehicles? Not that we can tell. Not that we can tell. The emergency vehicles were nowhere cl uh, close to the 22s. Thank you so much, Miss Q. We have something unpredictable. We have a Ghana delegation landing in a few minutes as well. It's an A340-300. I'm pretty sure it's the one that we just saw arrive. Something unpredictable, your message a few minutes ago. We have Greg sending us a $20 Super Chat right outside Raleigh Durham and Flight Simmer. Love your channel, Greg. I hope you're still watching, my friend. Thank you so much. Look at this. We Virgin have Atlantic. <laughs> How many Virgin Atlantics have we seen today? What? There goes the A350-1000. I'm sure heading back to London. A350-1000. Yes, it is flying back to London. Peter, I got more information on that Eswatini. So, Go for it. 
All right, so it it, op, it does operate an MD-87, but it also has the A340-300, which it was sold from China Airlines. Oh, okay. And the, the aircraft still use the registration as call signs from China Airlines. So I'm not sure which registration you have currently now for that A340 coming in. Uh, the one that we saw land already. Singapore is going to be parking right next to us. Thank you so much, Marianne. Sending us a 10 Australian Super Chat. Very exciting show, boys. Well done. A 10 out of 10 equals a 10 Australian Super Chat. Thank you so much, Marianne, for that uh, wonderful Super Chat. In Adelaide, Australia, we have Anna Isidore sending us a $5 tip, you guys. Keep amazing me. Outstanding show. <laughs> Thanks for bringing joy to my life. Oh, my goodness. That's such... A wonderful message. Thank you for being part of the LA Flights family. Look Anna at this. Isidore, friendly vibes on the chat for our wonderful viewer. Anna, friendly vibes. Look at this. Traffic does not stop. I think they're sending all the narrow bodies, all the small ones, to 31 left. Yes, uh, it is. 31 left. So that means we will only have heavies. heavies departing in front of us and landing in front of us. Josh, we have Iceland there arriving on the closest runway, runway 22 right, flying in from Reykjavik, a six-hour flight, 757-300, making this one a flying pencil, the longest variant of the 757 family. We also have a 787, correction, 767-300, flying in from LAX. A five-hour flight landing in just a few seconds on the parallel runway. Peter, did you say we have a Ghana? Someone was coming in from Ghana? Uh, let's say a few minutes ago. It could have been that A340-300 uh, that just arrived. Oh, it's Ghana. A340. The A340 that just arrived, the one that you're looking at right now. Okay. Because Ghana has a Dassault Falcon that they use for their state plane. No A340s? The A340 is for that other one, Eswatani. Okay, Eswatani, there it is. All right, Singapore heading our way. Remember, this will be parking in front of us. Here we go, this one heading, I hope it's heading to gate three. Gate three currently empty. The world's longest flight flying for 18 hours and 40 minutes from Singapore all the way to JFK. Something I always love to see when we see the longest flights in the world, the cockpit. Facial expressions, are you ready? <laughs> of the pilots after 19 four, hours. Four and also, total pilots right now. And also that HUD display, look at that. I love that, it's so futuristic, I love that. They'd be in the mood to wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't think so. It's never been done before. Singapore has never waved at LA flights. I love a yeah, there's a first time for everything. I love a challenge. There's a first Can for everything. Up the well, if we're going to want their attention, we've got to start doing it now. I love that HUD display. Look at that. Almost 19 hours in the air. Get ready. Almost 19 hours in the air. That is a long one. Ah, nothing. But that hot display looks so awesome. Only three today. What? No, no, there's four. Four. I see them. Four. It's nice and roomy inside. That is a comfortable plane, my goodness, look at that. Oh, there's a truck racing the A350. There you go, making a UE. Nineteen hours in the air, my goodness. Look at the massive plane, the biggest aircraft in commercial aviation, parked at gate seven. Virgin Atlantic A351000 parked at gate five, and the A359000 yes. parking at gate three. Oh, 
Murray, sending us a super chat. Thank you so much. Sending us a final super chat. Amazing show, guys. Looks like I missed Air Force One. So sad. Don't oh, worry. worry. We'll have another chance to see it on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. I heard Wednesday. 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 Take okay. off. Wednesday, then. Wednesday take off. Okay, Wednesday take off. Kevin757 sending us a hamburger super sticker. We're going to need that today, my friend. Justin Perkins, a $5 super chat. Thank you, Justin.
Jose. And uh, Costa Rica, wow, that's a JetBlue 1793, that's an A320. Coming in, let me give you an update. We have Austrian, A777. We have Etai, an A330. Who else? American Airlines, A777, flying in from Miami, Florida, and a whole bunch of small planes. JetBlue taxiing, it looks like, to the gates after touching down on runway 22. Look at this. Right? The A340. Still waiting. Waiting. That's a little hot. To two rights. That's a little odd, isn't it? It landed, what, 20 minutes ago? Yes, let me take a look. Hopefully it gives me the flight information. Uh, let's see, how long? 20, 30 minutes? That's a good amount of time. All right, we'll go back to it. It's not going anywhere. Let's go to the next one to leave. It's a Speedbird, British Airways, 777. Speedbird 174, flying to London, T3A, 777, 300ER. So Kevin is absolutely right, of course, VIP business jet uh, operated by Air Canada Jets. Wow. That's so cool how it's just camouflaging right there. Yeah. Well, we got you. <laughs> we almost got an infrared camera over here. My we goodness. Can just see through everything. All the seats on that are like business class seats. Even if it's not as a charter, it's all business class seats. So Kevin, that's your plane, right? No, no, I don't travel that small. <laughs> If I can't lay down on a steel pallet, it ain't, oh. big, enough. It ain't big enough. Oh, my goodness. Looks like the A340 finally crossing runway 24, correction, 22 right, finally hearing us. Absolutely incredible. Look at that, we have a searchlight. Searchlight? Where? Yeah, behind the A340, like looking at the bay. Oh, hold on. Oh, there. Hold on. Jeez. Uh, let me know. I thought I saw a searchlight. I guess not. All right. Finally, that A340 crossing the runway. It's been forever since it landed. Thank you so much, Daniel. I think I also find all the super chats as much as I'm... Uh, if not a boring, I'm not going kind of guy, that A340, correction, A350 is beautifully designed aircraft. Amazing that show is. as always. Thank you so much, Daniel. A yeah, beautiful a aircraft, the VA350, beautiful plane. 737 Delta Airlines leaving. Heading to San Juan, Puerto Rico. This one, Delta's 1859, a 737-900. SK, uh, SKK sending us a two dollar super chat. Air Canada shadow plane. Are you ready? Hiding in the shadows. Thank you so much. We have Fuzz Work. 
Air Canada Jets is bringing the Blue Jays to play the Yankees. So Kevin absolutely right, a sports charter. Kevin 100%. Delta's 1-0-6, flying to Frankfurt. That's an A330-200. Let's listen to the sound. Incredible sound. And there it goes, lifting off. Did we say where it's heading? Yes, Frankfurt. Frankfurt, okay. Wow. Oh, look at that engine glow. I see it. Nice. That's the first glimpse of engine glow. Oh, on yes. An LA flight during the second day of UN week. <laughs> there it is. Clear as day. Very nice. I have a feeling that that A340 is still not out of the out of the. Uh, it's still. It may have crossed, but it hasn't moved. I'm looking at the lead car, and it still hasn't moved. Yeah, You're right. He's stuck in traffic. Stuck in traffic, just like the Germans. <laughs> A350 stuck in New York oh, traffic. There it goes. Finally okay. moving. Finally moving over All here. All right. Let's say goodbye. It's a really good-looking plane, by the way. It is. Really good-looking plane. I think hopefully that one will go down. But 31. I mean, as far as the direction. What this one taking off? No, no. I'm, I'm saying. Oh I yeah, it's heading that way. It's yeah. going like where the Air Force One in that dignitary holding area. Yeah. Sound. What is giving us so much, so much incredible sound? We're gonna go for the uh, regional jets over here. A couple of E-175s. A little bit of a, a face-off face happening <laughs> in front of us. A couple of face-off. E-175s saying, "Get out of my way." Absolutely incredible. A lot of messages on the chat saying this is awesome. This is insane. This is incredible. Love hearing it. Love hearing it. Glad you guys are enjoying it as much as we are right now. A we lot of try messages. To give you the best content out there on YouTube. So many messages praising the TWA Hotel. We can't stress this enough. This location, the TWA Hotel, I think, in my opinion, one of the best, if not one of the best, the best AvGeek locations in the entire world. My goodness, the sound, it's incredible. The sound is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Hold on. I think uh, finally the, was that the APU for the A380? I think so. Is it starting to get a little quieter? I hope so, because I am <laughs> losing my voice. It's been, de it's been deafening for the past 30 minutes <laughs> since it arrived. JetBlue coming in, this one flying in from Boston, Massachusetts, a 48-minute flight, short one, and Embraer E-190. Listen, are you ready? I want everyone to type in TWA Hotel, round of applause for this incredible AvGeek paradise in the middle of JFK, magnificent TWA Hotel, it's incredible 10 out of 10 look at that american airlines in the queue to leave we have delta airlines right there we have a bit of a photographer right here delta airlines you can see the tail american airlines lining up right now 737 is the one lining up and let's go back Let's go to the next arrival coming in. 
The chat is now full of TWA Hotel Rocks emoji. Keep it going. We're going to show it to the hotel guys. Let us know. Let them know how much we love this incredible location. I'm going to be sending them a clip of this incredible chat. TWA Hotel Rocks. Nearly 6,000 people all watching planes from Av Geek Heaven. Josh, that was a JetBlue Flight 448 inbound from Las Vegas that you had earlier. Okay, good to know. It looks like all those planes right now waiting for the 737 to leave. We'll go to a plane right now crossing the runway. A few planes wanting to cross the runway. <laughs> and TW, let's, uh, TW, Jay Lopez sending us the super sticker number one. <laughs> super Absolutely. sticker coming in. Jay Lopez. I, I, Jay Lopez has been quiet, just taking in everything. I've been just listening to you guys, <laughs> letting the pros do the work. This is incredible. Do you know? Do you know when you listen to uh, these you know, these brothers, especially Josh? Do you think we need to pull him out of his shy shell? He doesn't really get excited yeah, about planes, I, does you're he? You're exactly right. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't really yeah, like very, planes. Yeah. I don't like planes. Well, you know, Kevin, I'm, I'm really soft-spoken, and I'm not going to talk too much. <laughs> Send him to a Toastmaster class or something like that. <laughs> you know, you think a year ago when we. We couldn't get more than two words out I of Josh. I remember that. Well, remember? Kevin, you know, incredible. I'm not a really it's big plane watcher. I don't, I don't really like planes too much. No, he just <laughs> races cars. Yeah, only cars, right? Hey, uh, Josh, isn't Kevin the best? <laughs> Kevin's the best. Kevin's been awesome. <laughs> Let's send a lot of love to Kevin co-hosting. Joshua, Kevin you want to go Kevin is the best co-host here. He really is. It, it, literally go. an encyclopedia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's incredible. It's just impressive. Well, as we said, I have... This is just on the... Uh, that. This is, this is on regular flights. Wow. This is on cargo flights. <laughs> yeah, Kevin. <laughs> And then Kevin, this is on the oh, VIPs. Book of many facts. Yeah. Listen, guys, a question to J.A. Lopez. This is your first time here at this location. Listen, the chat is still going crazy. TWA rocks. TWA Hotel absolutely rocks. Keep it going. Tell us, what do you think about this location? Your first time here. It's been incredible. It's more than what I expected. And if you... If you have the opportunity to, to come here, absolutely make the trip. Absolutely worth it, yes or absolutely no? Absolutely worth absolutely it. Absolutely worth it. It's just one of those, one of a, a lifetime <laughs> We're not, and, and the brothers trips. aren't exaggerating. We no. really are this close. Yes, exactly. You know, to the I'm action. I'm telling you, this is, this is as close as you're gonna get the to sights, being the air sights, the smells, it literally yes. is. It really is. Mr. Lopez, big question. Would you come back to the Absolutely. TWA up there? Absolutely. No question. No doubt about it. Love hearing it. No, the hotel's been great. The staff has been nice, friendly. It, it just, just awesome. Yeah, it really is. You know, it really is Avgeek paradise. You know, put Avgeek, put Av, uh, aviation aside. It's a luxurious establishment, yeah. this. Yes. A luxurious establishment. Yeah, the, the pool is wonderful, too. It is. I mean, I haven't gotten in, but it looks... In and let's cross 10,000 likes, and we're going to throw oh. Mr. Lopez into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll go in with the camera. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come and, on, I want to see that. <laughs> and we hope very soon, very soon, to announce that we hopefully will have some kind of a discount program with the hotel. Yes. Very soon. We hope Very that, soon. That would help. Get that. Uh, we're, we're still trying to, you know, get a few right. things uh, right. finalized, but we hope to actually have make an announcement soon that we'll hopefully have an LA flight kind of a discount. With yes. This hotel. We can't wait for that. Yeah. Uh, an LA flights discount for the TWA hotel. If you guys want to stay here year round, working the, the last final kinks mm -hmm. in that partnership. LA Flights discount coming very soon to this incredible. incredible establishment. I'd like to see that in the merch store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little token, bonus, passcode. We can't wait for that. My goodness, incredible uh, future with this magnificent hotel. 
Kevin, Kevin, 17 months of channel membership. My, how the months keep going by. Great job by you guys. And JFK is absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, Kevin, Kevin, for that 17 month milestone. Big membership, my friend. Only three months away from entering the very exclusive 20 month club. Heavies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Every single one is a triple yeah. seven no, or a three thirty or a a three fifty. Just call it infinite heavies. Infinite. Because they're just gonna keep coming up, coming up, taking off, landing. It's infinite here in JFK. That's the insane part. There's no slow moments, no dull moments. We still have to keep an eye on the weather for tomorrow. Yes, Good listen. Point. I know Good. it keeps changing constantly. <laughs> Planes by you ready? Yes, enjoying. No, listen. Oh, look at this, Turkmenistan. We saw this one. LA Flight's house made this one, made that 777 number one, most tracked in the entire world. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, can you move my mic for a second? Yeah, hold on. Go for it. We have Jen in Honolulu sending us a super chat. Thank you so much, Jen. Did Max make your dinner reservations <laughs> yet? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Which food? I, I, I haven't even thought of food. We haven't even <laughs> thought of. All right, that's the show. Thank you so much, Jen. For okay. reminding us. Okay, I'll, I'll go for that. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. He's not joking. <laughs> he isn't. <laughs> he isn't. Look at this. Malani. Am I pronouncing this name right? Malini. Yes, Malini09. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. I already told my hubby that I want to stay at the TWA Hotel. And like I said, a discount code for those of you who want to stay at the TWA Hotel is in the works. Just finding, working out the last few details. You won't regret it. You won't be disappointed. Absolutely not. I've seen wow. couples like soaking in the pool watching the planes. No, it That's is. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Just the architecture, just to walk around the hotel. It's, it's like walking back into time it in is many ways. So it's because uh, remember this actually was a, a working terminal at one time, and uh, it's amazing the job that they've done to convert it from a terminal into an actual working uh, hotel. Yes. But uh, yeah, it's worth coming here. Just just in awe. You'll walk in and your mouth will just drop. It's right. like wow. You know? Yeah, I've been here six times already. Uh, I just, I'm always amazed when I walk in. I'm always like, wow, this is such a special place to be in. Even if, you know, you're not the biggest plane spotter, it's, it's just a good, great place to relax. Even if you're not a plane spotter, it's not a, it's not a requirement, you know, to be a plane enthusiast. Hear this sound, incredible. Popping up the sound. a Brazilian Real Super Chat. Guys, your channel is awesome. All of you are nice guys. I'm an Airbus pilot. Fly for Latam, Brazil. Keep going. I hope the best for you. Thank you for watching LA Flight Live, my friend. LA Flights with Peter and Joshua. We welcome you to the LA Flights family. Thank you so much, Commandante Lemes. 
George sending us a $10 super sticker. A thank you super sticker coming in to the LA Flights channel. Thank you, George. And listen, George, renewing a big membership, 16 months. Great night show, guys. Thank you so much, George, for the big membership, for the wonderful super chat. Errol Sanford becoming a channel member. Let's take a look. A first class member beginning your journey here at the LA Flights channel. Look at all this. I mean, it's, it's, it's non-stop. Ah, it's, it's endless heavies. By the way, a super chat from Isabella sending us a $5 super sticker. We tried to watch other plane spotters, but we just can't do it. You are the most fun to watch. Ah, thank, thank you, you, Isabella. Thank you. Listen, I always say this. We always try to give you guys the best because you deserve the best. Thank you, Isabella, for being part of the LA Flights family. We are just a couple of brothers, a couple of aficionados. And I Kevin. I think it's a <laughs> I think it's a combination. Seriously, it's a combination of both informative and entertaining. Because you can't just watch planes go up and down all day. It'd be boring, but you guys have a way of being able to have this right mixture of both informative as well as being entertaining, you know. And I think that's what makes you unique with all, you know, with all everything else out there that people could watch. Ah, uh, Kevin, thank you so much. Thank you, that's Kevin. Great. Appreciate it. We might have a Spanish A310 arrive in the next few minutes. I'm not seeing it on flight radar, but we do have a quad jet. We have Lufthansa's 404 flying in from Frankfurt. A340-300. You said Spain. Spanish A310, yes. Oh, yes. That's true, yes. Yes, that's the A310-300 for the government ah. of Spain. Can't wait to see that. And look like looks like the 777-200 LRR, the Turkmenistan government plane. Yeah. Up next, that Spanish Wedding. plane uses call sign AME. And it looks like we just crossed nine hours of the live show. We are getting close to 6,000 likes. Come on, everybody, push to 6,400 likes away. Let's cross 6,000 before Lufthansa arrives. It's an A340 arriving in about five minutes. Northland G, are you ready? A big hello, a big warm welcome to the crew watching LA Flights right now. They're blown away. Thank you so much, guys. Nine friends watching LA Flights right now. Welcome to the TWA Hotel. Welcome to New York. Welcome to LA Flights Live with Peter, Josh, special co-host Kevin, and extra special co-host Jay <laughs> Too nice. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, thank you so much for sending us a $5 super chat. Why are all these government planes leaving JFK for Stewart? Lucky me. Stewart's is not far away from me, seeing all these planes are really cool. They can't stay here at JFK, so they drop off their VIPs for the General Assembly, for the United Nations General Assembly, and then they must leave JFK within a two hour limit. Yeah, there's just no room, right? No room. They don't offer valet parking for diplomats here. Unfortunately. Now, JFK yeah. now. It's always with the parking in New York. Always, always an issue. <laughs> always with the traffic, always with the parking. Thank you so much, Aaron Holmes, sending us a $10 super chat today. We appreciate this. Thank you, Aaron. Your first super chat to LA Flights. Congrats. All right, Triple Seven. This one we made number one. LA Flights made this one number one most tracked in the entire world flying the stewards. Early rotation there. Look at this. This could be highlight of the day. Oh, Air Force One is highlight. Highlight of the day. Highlight of but the this, week. This could highlight be, of the month. This can be a little 
Honorable mention. Now, is that a government plane? But are they just using the Turkmenistan airline? No, no, that is a government That's plane. That's it. Okay. That is a government plane. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe there is a Turkmen, Turkmen uh, oh. an airline. <laughs> okay. Named after that country. By the way, the Turkmenistan airline, uh, the Turk Turkmenistan, now you got See? me messing See? up. No, 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 no. Now you got me messing up. <laughs> Turkmenistan uh, 777-200LR, number two most tracked in the entire world. We have Rick sending us a $5 super chat. Good Lord, I just tuned in for just five minutes two hours ago at work, and I'm hooked. This is one of your best episodes ever. Well done, guys. Thank you so much, Rick. Thanks, Rick. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Is it really? What do the viewers think? Is this one of the best? What do you guys think? One of the best shows ever. Uh, one of the best LA Flight shows ever. What do you think? How about this? One of the best shows, period. We got Give more us a yes. Coming. Give us a no. Yeah, we still got more coming. <laughs> Kevin. This is day two. This is day we're not even halfway done with the week. We're not even halfway done. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, hang in there, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, 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 Kevin. <laughs> there goes the Norris. Kevin had a better time in that cargo hold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants back. He wants back in that cargo hold. I have to tell them the story later another day. I had the lovesick llama on one side of me, and I had an Appalachian stallion on the other side of me. <laughs> a what? A what In the llama? cargo plane. In the cargo plane. <laughs> we had an Appalachian stallion. Of course. Of course. We have Grumpy Forest. They're sending us a, ten, a six dollar super chance. Starting the guest host, Kevin Beverage Fund. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kevin, do you need a drink? Water? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Next, you'll have a bathroom fund for me. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Grumpy. A friendly forester. Are you ready? Friendly forester. Thank you so much. Thank you. He'll need it after hanging out with the two of you at JFK. Several heavies, I mean, it's not, uh, it's, it doesn't stop, really. I mean, we have American Airlines flying to Milan, Delta flying to Amsterdam, it's an A330-300. We have Qatar Airways, 777 flying to Doha. We have Qantas, we have a Qantas 4 flying to Auckland. I mean, look at that. Oh, Virgin Atlantic, A350-1000. City Traveler Europe sending us a six euro super chat. You guys are fantastic. My wife and I watching since the stream started. Best show ever. Greetings from Germany. Thank you so much for watching. City Traveler Europe. Janet Simmons gifting one membership to the LA Flights House. That is energizing us. Are you ready, guys, for us to keep going crazy? Uh, let's see, nine hours in. Going for 10. All right, there goes Latam. What happened with the, the Spanish A310? Spanish A310, I don't have it on flight radar, but I'm pretty sure those of you tracking it on, you know, the other tracking ups might have it. We have Quadjet Lufthansa flying in from Frankfurt. We have Air oh. France, a triple seven. Oh, that's it. That's it. The Spanish A310. Oh, that's A310. That's it. We have. Wow. The Spanish in front of LA flights. I love how that looks. It looks so retro. That is the Spanish equivalent of Air Force One. The Spanish have arrived. 
Yeah, I had to miss out on that Latam. I think for good reason, though. You really don't see A310s flying around anymore. Right, you're absolutely right. Laser Frankie sending us a five euro super chat. Thank you once again, my friend. What a great day. But now it's 2.20 a.m. and my bet calls. Thank you so much for watching. UN Week, day two on LA Flash Live. Good night, Frankie. Thank you so much. We have Sandy Hall sending us a $2 super chat. Best show ever. Thank you so much, Sandy. We appreciate that. Margie Clark, 22 months of channel membership. Happy birthday to me. Virgin Flights is Rosalie. That's your favorite plane in the entire world. Rosalie, the A350-1000. Margie, happy birthday. Look at this, A340 coming in. Lufthansa, we have the Germans. Eight hour, 25 minute flight. There goes JetBlue takeoff. We have the French on final approach. Uh, French, uh, Air France. Is that Air France? Next arrival, triple seven. Yes, should be. And Josh is zooming in to Polish, the one lighting up. And we have Air France. Right over here. Here comes the French. A seven hour, 39 minute flight. The aircraft, a 777-200ER, not the LR. We've seen the several LRs today. This one, ER. And you know what? We have Polish also oh, on look the takeoff roll. I think we'll go to Polish. Joshua, look at this. Polish stealing the spotlight. This is Joanna's plane. Are you ready? Yes, oh. you're right. Next time you come, you're going to need a special emoji for it. You're not that far <laughs> off. <laughs> yep. There goes Lot flying back to Warsaw. Thank you so much, Sharon, for sending us a $2 Super Chat. Best show ever. Thank you, Sharon. And Wilson sending us a $10 Super Chat. Here's to LA Flights. It's been very informative, entertaining, and a whole lot of fun. Why else would I watch? What else? Why else? But I watch all day on my only day off. Hashtag love LA flights. Thank you so much, Ed. My goodness, it's been a crazy day today. We have Vinny09 sending us a $3 super chat. No message on this one. And John Brewer. Thank you so much for the tip. Wish I could have been there all day long. A fabulous show. Peter, didn't you say that they were sending all the narrow bodies to the other runway? Uh, the, the small the, ones. Uh, let's say yes. Is that, that still going on? Well, the reason I'm asking is because the next flight is a little CRJ Delta connection. Yeah, I think that stopped, Kevin. They're using oh, only 2-2. Right. Okay. That was yes. only for the shutdown. Everything now. Are you ready? So everything is now ticking off on a 22 right. Wow. A little CRJ flying to Savannah, Georgia. We have a Delta Heavy flying to Paris. There's the A310 from Spain. Yes, Spanish. Thank you so much, Got the Cast, All Access VIP member here at the LA Flights channel, member for a very long time using the LA Flights custom emoji. Thank you so much, Got the Cast. Mega World 14, the polls are closed. LA Flights Live is the undisputed best. Thank you, brothers. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mega World 14. And we have R. Bauer 25 celebrating an eight-month channel membership. 
Let's go between JFK, SFO, LAX. You guys are always amazing and a blast to watch. Thank you so much, R Bauer 25. I apologize for putting that message on the screen so late. Nice, thank you. I love the message. 6,000 likes, only 200 away. I think we can cross 6,000 before the bottom of the hour. Now, is that A310 crossing? No, it looks, looks like, like he's it holding. Is. Oh, hold on. Is no, he? I think it's crossing. Hold on, let's hear the tower. Maybe they're talking to them. Thank you so much, Steve Harwood, becoming a channel member. Thank you so much. We have a an elite member. Very nice. Thank you so much for joining the membership family. Wow, look at this. Big words. Frank says, no doubt, best episode ever. Better than the hurricane wow. at LAX. Wow. That's, wow. that's big words. Those big are very words. big words. It's a bold statement. Flying to Paris, 764. Jet blue right now in front of us. Oh, there goes the engines. The A310 is now crossing. It's crossing? Okay. But now it's crossing. Hey, Josh, are you ready? You want to go for it? Which one? Um, let's just stay with the uh, engine yeah, sound. Yeah, I'm not seeing it cross. There it goes. Now it's starting to cross. So I, I had eyes on it. I was just waiting for it to start to move. Okay, right, Bravo down. the 404 heavy taxi left on Alpha. That's on Alpha. Alpha Mike 4567 heavy. Taxi straight ahead of Alpha. Follow the following vehicle at your 12 o'clock. We're the following time. We have Mike 4457. The 404 heavy taxi left Alpha. Monitor the ground 4959. We have us, oh my goodness, Osiris sending us a two month milestone message. The Turkmenistan 10 going to Stewart's. Also, an Iraqi Airways plane. Nope. Very nice. Thank you so much for that information. Josh, do you want to just keep it? Thank you want to keep it like that? Yeah, that's, yeah, I'm going to keep it there. All right, JetBlue is going to be lighting the candle in just a bit. Get ready. Engine sounds will be taking over in just a bit. You know, being here, Kevin, I didn't realize how these smaller planes can make just as much noise as these larger planes. Yeah, you, you were... I, I mean, that, that's something I, 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 I severely underestimated until I got here. Yeah, they're small, but they make an impression. Yeah, right. Listening to the towers in just a bit. To the tower in just a bit. 119.1. Let's hear the tower conversations. Because why not? 
9863 exit hotel, hold short of Yankee, remain at frequency. Hotel, hold short of Yankee, this three, Delta 9863. You know something, a wonderful viewer, such a wonderful viewer brought us chocolates. Who wants chocolate? Is it just me, the, uh, the one that eats unhealthy? But you're going to spoil your appetite for dinner. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to eat for dinner? Sophia's again? I don't think it, well. No, no. What? No, we're not doing it. <laughs> it's twice in a, three times in a row. Oh, three nights in a row. Yeah. I'm not going to start a talk in Italian if we do two, three nights in a row. <laughs> then get that Doritos bag ready, Kevin. Oh, boy. <laughs> All the major food groups represented. Starch, carbs, Delta 87, sugar. Oh man, you felt that? Water. Water. Look at look what's up above us. Water? We got rain. Well, at least it looks like rain clouds. Uh, possibly. I just felt a big drop on my head. Yeah? Josh, are feeling raindrops. We have so many planes coming in. Oh, I'm feeling it too, Josh. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Glass in front of us. Delicious. Sophia's absolutely delicious. It is. As we 
I gave him a free plug, but let me tell you something. It's absolutely they delicious. They, they, they deserve, deserve it. it. My goodness, the sounds are amazing. who's uh, dined, uh, dined with us in the past. You have to try the money bag pasta with grilled shrimp at Sofia's best in the world. That's according to Bruce Campbell, who was here with us here at the TWA Hotel last year. During That's the a first, endorsement. Yeah, during the first the time money bag. With the, with the pink sauce, the pink wine sauce, I think. Tom, flying in from Lima, Peru, no landing lights. Wow. You forgot wow. your lights. I wish we had Captain Ken or First Officer Mike. Oh, there, there they go. go. There they go. A little late. A there. little late. A little late. Kind of like going down the dark street without your high beams on. No, sure. I mean, my goodness, a little late for the landing lights, no? Do those people really ask you, hey, what are you doing? I can't talk because I have a mouthful of chocolate. <laughs> no, that's a protein bar you're eating. A protein oh, yeah, bar. That's true. You're, we're the healthy channel, yeah. Peter. A protein bar. <laughs> Nutri-grain. <laughs> Carob it's covered. It's you know. definitely not a Kit Kat candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> no, not chocolate. We are the channel of good health. Absolutely. Water as well. Andy Mitchell, sending us a $2 super chat. Thank you so much. Marathon show, go for the midnight hour. Oh, we would. Oh, we would. Oh, no. I'm sorry, uh, Kevin, we would. <laughs> it's just we can't. They don't let us. <laughs> they got to close the pull down. Are you ready? A big shout out to L. Collins. Uh, don't know if the. Uh, <laughs> What happened? Look, look what Max, Max is showing me a massive wow. line of international heavy departures yeah, that we have right now, trying to leave the to uh, runway 22 right. We got a rush on our hands, we really do. Look at this Cathay Pacific to add to the madness. You know, I really feel that that comment that Captain Koontz told us yesterday, you know, about the three hours after, you know, because of Air Force One put up in the air, I almost can see what's happening on the ground. It's going to take almost two, three hours to for the ground traffic to go back to normal. You know, they're stacked. I mean, I'm stacked. I mean, they're, 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 what do you call it? They're pushed to the limit. Right. Yeah, it's a big it's, rush. It's just wall what to wall. It? Yeah. It's just wall to wall planes right now. I think this airport really takes a long time to recover to get back to normal when you have to do a stop like that. And that's the traffic jam, well, uh, push. Yeah, the that push. <laughs> we were talking about for months, remember? Mm -hmm. When we were announcing the TW Hotel, when we were announcing the UN Special, when we were announcing the possibility of seeing Air Force One locking down JFK, we were talking about, you know, this forbidden word traffic jam here at JFK. This is what we are witnessing. This is what wow. we were expecting. A massive traffic jam out of JFK. Now, 
Is it going to be not as bad as today, but are diplomats still coming in the next couple of days? Yes. Right? Yeah. It's just not as bad with the president coming. Correct, in. because okay. it's the TFR. It's it's right. just a complete lockdown for. Uh, Air Force One coming in. There's no taxis. Right. There's no arrivals. There's no departures. Planes are in holding patterns. Wow. Must be good to be president. Huh? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, it has a few luxuries. Yeah, it has a few perks. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I know you can only see Speedbird, and it looks like that's the end of the line, but it no, just isn't. It's, absolutely. It, it extends for so many planes. See, Delta, we have a Delta 767 behind the Speedbird. We have more heavies behind that. Josh, it's endless. Uh, we have Virgin Atlantic flying in from Man uh, flying to Manchester. We have Turkish flying to Istanbul, Ita to Milan. All right, and hear this takeoff. Yes, right. Amazing All of these sound. are going to sound great. These are prep with the 2000s. This one, 767-400 flying to London. Delta One, look at that. Delta oh, One. Delta One. Very cool. I hope their Delta One cabin is good. The Delta One cabin on Delta One. That's a combo. Qantas up next. All right, Qantas, we have the Australians. It's not heading to Sydney. This one will be making us stop at Auckland. 787-9, this is a big journey. Get ready, 8,800 nautical miles. A little bit more, really. It's 8,829 nautical miles to Auckland. Qantas, we saw that one arrive, now we're seeing it leave. British Airways up next, flying to London. Number two for takeoff, who do we have? We have Delta 272 flying to Lisbon. Number three for takeoff is ETA flying to Milan. And number five for takeoff is Turkish 2 flying to Istanbul. Look at this, there goes ETA. 767 right there. Speedbird already moving. Nothing like JFK, really. No, Nothing like JFK. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. For 12 straight hours, continuous heavy action, uh, regional action. Variety of airlines. It look, look, it's not just British Airways, it's not just American Airlines. We have Uzbekistan, we have Royal Jordanian, you know, we have Brussels. So many no, absolutely, incredible airlines. No, nothing like it at all. Nothing like JFK. You know, we never did mention, for, for the viewers, tomorrow, 
we've got quite a few guests lined up. Oh my goodness, are you saying that LA Flights <laughs> will have more special guests? More. Wow. How many more? have we had already? We've had a... Well, I'm also saying I mean, provided we're not rained out tomorrow, but I'm keeping good thoughts. But yes, we, I believe we're going to have quite a number of visitors tomorrow lined up. I'm sorry, guests, guests, guest visitors. We have Arthur Girl sending us a $20 Super Chat Awesome show these first couple of days. So much going on, and it is challenging to stay on top of it all. Love it all today. Thank you so much, Arthur Girl. All access VIP member. You're at the crazy house full of crazy hosts. Sorry, J.L. Lopez, you're part of the crazy club. <laughs> Patrick Lloyd, first class member. Happy to be part of it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Patrick. Good vibes, my friend. There goes the 767 300, and we actually have a heavy coming in on 2 2 left. It's Tap flying in from Lisbon. Hey, hold on a minute. 767 flying to Lisbon. And we have this <laughs> really? one flying in from Lisbon. Seven hour, 16 minute flight for this one. Touching down right in front of the uh, LA flights. Cameras, the aircraft, an A330neo. Very cool. Hey, I'm out of chocolate. What happened? You're eating chocolate? Yeah. What, why are you eating chocolate for? I say they're going to be that. Look at that. Hold on a minute, Josh. Amazing sight you have. I know. Look That's wow. insane. at the variety. Only in JFK. Only at JFK. We have ETA right in front of the cameras. We have Virgin Atlantic. We have Turkish. We have Delta. And listen, behind this, we have Speedbird flying to London. We have Royal Air Maroc flying to Casablanca. We have a Delta flying to Athens non-stop here at JFK, here live from the TWA Hotel. I think it's time to listen to the power. Because Peter needs some chocolate. Oh, special shout out to L. Collins. Are you ready? L. Collins bringing a bag full of water, a bag wow, full of chocolates. Feels really sweet over here. Oh, water drops. I'm feeling them. Are you guys feeling yeah. them? Yeah. Getting ready for tomorrow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that water in the distance? Oh, yes. Hey, it's rain. That's it. No. Rain coming in? Look at that. Look at your yeah. screen. Rain. Oh, no. It's coming this way. That's Rain. a lot of water. That is Whoa. a lot of water coming in. <laughs> That's a lot of water. What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> dinner. 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 Early dinner. We gotta stay. Come on, it's just a little water. <laughs> I heard that. Come on. Bye -bye. We're not gonna give in. <laughs> Last time I heard Josh say it's just a little water, I was building an ark. <laughs> Come on. Oh. We're not gonna give in. It's a lighting up. How can we leave? We're not going to so watch much traffic. Josh, we're not going to what? What's what? We're not going to give up, you said? A absolutely not. <laughs> Are you a quitter, Peter? No. Just a little bit of water. There goes Ita. <laughs> I'm starting to feel the water. <laughs> not really. It's, it's coming in. <laughs> Take a look at this, Max39 coming into the rescue. We got towels, we're being saved. Thank you, Max39. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I was going to do a big one there. There goes Ita, Eddie back to Rome. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can see all the water. We'll, we'll go take a look at a, a light, a lamp or something, just so you can see the water coming in. Is, are we getting, is this the water for tomorrow? Oh, yes. Is it this the same is, storm? Yes. Uh-oh. No, it's going to be a lot of rain tomorrow. Get ready, Josh. 
We have an arrival coming in. We have Lot flying in from Warsaw. Eight hour, 43 minute flight, 787-9. Look at the rain, it really is coming down. It is, yeah. It's coming down, my friends. What do you think of this? The Apple weather app says, at least now for the next 10 minutes, drizzle. Oh, okay. Ah, that's nothing. That's nothing. It really is just a little water. Guys, if you want to... Oh, fine. <laughs> I'm all right. Huh? Jay Lopez really is crazy. My goodness. <laughs> Listen, this Jay guy... Lopez, he's crazier than us. <laughs> this guy has been with us now all day yesterday. Insane. I don't want to be next to him. <laughs> all day today. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, my goodness. You know something? You look so refreshed right now. Like, uh, that how is that possible? <laughs> I mean, I feel so exhausted and feel broken. No, look at well, Kevin. I mean, you're doing all the work. Do, do a comparison with Jay Lopez and Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do this. Right, hold on a minute. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. What a, what a difference. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look. Oh, right, we'll go take a look at a lamp, just so you can see all the water coming in. Look at that. We're I'm not just getting a humble spectator here. You guys We're are not doing kidding. all the work. Wow. Water is coming in. Looks like we have the Republic of Congo will be the next VIP and probably the next hour. It's a blue 737-900 on flight radar. Very cool. Thank you so much, Battleborn Supermoto, sending us a $5 super chat with that bit of news. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, Turkish getting a move on. It is. See that? It's, it's raining. It's raining, guys. I'm not kidding. Turkish has a pretty good track record of having <coughs> engine glow. Not today. We have Richard Fleer sending us a $10 super chat. Hello from Chicago and Midway. Be ready, guys. Korean Queen is on final. Oh, real? Korean? Yes. Is, I is this the Air Force One Korean? No, it's ah. not. Korean 85 flying in from Seoul, a 13 hour, 16 wow. minute flight, 747 8, yeah. only a few seconds away from. What's that doing here? Landing right now. Is that a uh, revenue flight? Yes. Korean 85, a scheduled commercial flight into JFK from Seoul in South Korea. I'll take it. Look at this. This has to be an A380 soon. It's not every day yeah, a week. I'm as it's confused not, as Kevin. It's not seven days a week, though. They fly in a few, oh, okay. a few days a week. Yeah. Okay. And 
Air China, that's another one. Sporadic, get ready. 747-8 by Air China. The, the, really? uh, the owners Air China, they sometimes bring their 747. Look at that, a little face-off there with the two Deltas. Who's going to blink first? I see it, face-off happening in front of the cameras. Who's going to blink first? Who will move first? and model it train sending us a five dollar super chat watched this all day even saw you filming at the twa pool thank you for the long cool. day nice stevenson model trains thank you so much for watching we have miss q hearing josh say it's just a little water gave uh, this show the flash push <laughs> to surpass the hillary episode best stream ever oh, okay so for it to be a, a a best show in history i have to say it's just a little water then <laughs> is that a requirement <laughs> virgin atlantic flying to manchester a351 thousand getting a move on to JFK more than British Airways. Yeah. I mean, we just, we've just seen a flurry of them. We have Lotus G1 sending one membership to LA Flight Live. Thank you so much, Lotus. A proud member of the Banana Club, sadly there's no banana planes here. Traffic jam. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 planes. 20 planes to leave? Yes, 20 planes. One oh, thing man. to leave. That's insane. JetBlue flying in from Jacksonville in Florida. One hour, 49 minute flight. A little E190. Hey, look at this. I feel like we just saw Emirates land and it looks like it's already finished loading. Maybe a few more. Wow, that it's fit in there? fully loaded. How no, you there's, there's a few more pallets left. Are you sure? Oh, actually, quite, yeah, a few. quite a few. <laughs> I'm guessing the front is empty. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's still a lot of work. But the back, it's pretty much done. How are they getting there? Hey, some baggage drama. We haven't done true baggage drama today. Let me know where. Uh, in uh, just a few minutes, it looks like oh, they have a whole yeah. bunch of bags to be loaded okay. up. Oh, it looks like someone's moving. Someone's blinking. Face off. Who's going to blink first? Boeing or Airbus? 737 or A320? Who's going to blink first? <laughs> They're really keeping us in suspense there. We're going to have to go back and take a look. Ah, this is the sound I'm hearing. It's an E-190 taxi. Hey, Josh, are you ready? Yeah. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so we have JetBlue E-190. That one flying in from. Let's take a look. Oh, look like a takeoff. Okay, so that one looks like it's taken off. Fly to Burlington, it's gonna be a big wait, a big queue for takeoff. Let's see, we got a heavy getting out of here. That's the Delta flight to Milan. Delta's 184, a 767 300. You know, much like the Hurricane Hillary show, once the rain started to really pour down, everybody left Clutter's Park. Right now, everyone leaving the, the observation deck just because the little water came it's in. It's just it. a little bit of water. Come on. Oh, what was that? Uh, isn't that the... Uh, Jeez, I thought I pressed the wrong button or something. <laughs> That's the uh, the JetBlue. What, what did the FO Mike call it? The thing that they use when the APU is broken. Oh, the, this one. the something box. The uh, something box. Uh, what do they call it? The, uh, 
That's this right here. Uh, the AP is broken. The APU is broken. Oh, not working on the E190, so they have to use that whatever uh, FO might call it. Hefty. I'm trying to remember what he called it. Something like hefty box, hotty box, something but, like that. Uh, yeah. I'm Al, sure someone would remember. Al, thank you so much for sending us a photo super chat. I'm sorry I'm putting this message so late. It was such a pleasure meeting you guys at the TWA Hotel during this short stay. As a token of my appreciation, I left a tip on PayPal. Thank you so much, Al. It was ah, wonderful to you. meet you. Thank you so much for that. Listen, it was a great experience. Checking the PayPal tip right now. We really enjoy meeting all the viewers, you know. Uh, we're so excited about the Wednesday meet and greet, but just to meet you on a one-on-one -on -one basis, when we come out to these remote places, wonderful. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's wonderful to, to put uh, the face with the voice, you know. You know, another, you know, prime example of that is, you know, the famous Mr. Lopez. Famous. <laughs> Very famous. <laughs> World famous. World famous. Very crazy. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> we found out that Mr. Lopez is a crazy av geek, has more energy than us, <laughs> and has Latin Michael Schumacher vibes. <laughs> And had enough time to come off the racetrack to talk to us here at an airport. <laughs> oh my races. goodness. Virgin Airlines are in front of us. This one flying too. Let's take a look. London. It's going to be a big wait for that. It's going to be a 20, 30 minute traffic jam <laughs> at least. And getting a move on. Rolls Royce engines powering that one. Looks like we have heavy. We have one Delta flying in from London, an A330 Neo, and the aircraft flying for about seven hours, 30 minutes. Josh, yeah, give me a second. second. Yep. All right. Yeah, yeah. Listen, thank you so much. We have Al $1,020 tip coming in. Even, th even though my stay at the TWA Hotel was a short one, I had an amazing time and even got to meet the absolutely awesome LA Flight crew. Thank you guys so much, and I look forward to all of your future shows, no matter where you go. A wonderful message. Love thank you so much. Love to hear it. Love Very to nice. hear it. Thank you, Al. We've got an A320 right over here, Jeff I wonder where it's going. It, was this a departure? I'm thinking it's a departure. Maybe the Delta's right over here in the way. They're still facing off. Two Deltas, yeah. look at that. What's going on here? No one wants to blink. I got I to gotta respect their, uh, <laughs> their fortitude right there. Just look at that. Commitment. <laughs> they have great commitment right there. Wow. Sticking to the face off. No one wants to give up. Who's going to give up? Come on already. <laughs> They've been staring at each other for the past I'm, 15 minutes. I'm thinking minutes. of the, the good and bad, the bad and the ugly song going on right now. And they're just giving the stare. <laughs> she needs a tumbleweed to the <laughs> As usual, we got a flurry of heavies, but is that a surprise? I don't think so. Not a surprise. Forget about it. Absolutely not. Are you ready? A question from Bruce Campbell to the crazy Mr. Lopez. Yes, sir. How does it feel to co-host the wonderful LA Flight Show for 12 hours? My goodness. Well, to be honest, I don't think I've been here 12 hours, but it's been... Uh... It hasn't. 
it's been a good, probably a majority of the day, but to answer the question, it's been great. It's been great. Like, you know, I can't complain. It's been fun. Where's the going? It's been a sincere pleasure and a privilege to be here with the guys. Now, it's been wonderful to have you with us, yeah, uh, it's, Mr. Lopez. It's Incredible. really, really nice. Yeah, and when you're having when you're having fun, it's not work. And listen, that's how we see it. Right. Even, <laughs> even though I'm not gonna go there. Listen, um, I'm tired. I don't look at his face. If you think I'm tired, look at that oh, guy right there. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, is, oh Kevin sleep, is, is Kevin even awake? Yeah. He's running on fumes. Oh my goodness, Kevin. Jet fumes. Kevin. Jet fumes. Kevin is a tired man. Peter is a tired man. Joshua is energized. Are you ready? Oh, I could Lopez go. Is energized. I could go for it's another 12. Let's go for another 12. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, uh, Jay Lopez, the host of the LA Flight Show. Joshua, the amazing cameraman. Kevin, let's go get dinner already. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for everybody. The quality is going to go down. No. If that were to happen. No way. No, it's really nice to have you here, uh, Jay Lopez. No, it's been it's, awesome. It's really, you, you brought a lot to the show, I think, with the co-hosting. You know, anyway, it was no hesitation for me to, to, to join. Um, I mean, a long time ago, I used to be very shy, but uh, I think a lot of things helped me get out of that shell. It really feels like you've been doing this, like you've been co-hosting with us for multiple times now. Yeah. Well, it's because I think I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with you, with you guys, and you've shared a lot about who you are and how you are. And so it was like no no issue. And Kevin as well. Yeah. And so uh, and so it, it was just, yeah, yeah, sure, it's just like talking with friends. Talking with just, friends, exactly. And, and you, you basically forget that you're wearing a mic. Uh, That's exactly it. That's what it is. That's you know. the essence of the LA flight show, right there. You know, we're just talking we're just amongst hanging friends. Out as friends. Right. Yeah. It really you, is. You forget that there's a camera and the million people are watching us. You know, it just it's just us talking. Just, it's yeah. just us plane spotting. You know, exactly. as brothers, as friends. You know, yeah. it, my goodness, it's, That's the essence essence of the LA flight show. Even though Kevin wants to lay down no. ASAP. <laughs> And so who, anybody out <laughs> that there who, who, gets, like a, yeah. who gets picked or asked <laughs> to do it, you know, feel comfortable because, like you said, Peter, you're, you're with friends and you're not gonna you're not gonna ask anything inappropriate. It's, it's just gonna be getting to know, in this case, me better. And I was happy to share, and that's what being friends is about: is sharing. Absolutely, and you know, even though this is the first time that we meet in person. It feels, because I've talked to you yeah, definitely. for the past year, it feels like if I've, if I've known you already, and, and even though this is the first time we see each other in person, yes. and you know, that's the beauty of this. this is, that's the beauty of you know, interacting with the viewers of, you know, of the LA Flights family. Perfect. I mean it when I say family. Absolutely. Mean yes. it 100%. Yes, I, you agree. Know, I totally agree. An interesting thing, I don't want to go into too much detail, but you know, our, our guest today, the controller, air yes. controller. Um, let's just say, you know, she had some reservations. You know, she, she was a little shy. She's not used to, you know, going on camera. And she did have some reservations about first, you know, when Peter approached her. But you'll notice it doesn't take much long just to stand next to him. And then all of a sudden, you, your inhibitions go away. You know, exactly. I think the same thing happened to, to Captain Kunz. Yeah. When he was first on, you know, he was, you know, very professional. You know, just taking it like a like a like a press right, something like a press interview right. But I think towards the end of the show, it really felt like we're talking like like buddies. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Josh. Especially with you know Captain Ken there sharing his experience. Yeah, I really felt that was ni a nice touch. Captain Ken was another one, another one. Yeah. You know, when now he Captain first Ken, <laughs> when he first came out, it was like I think he was absolutely spot on. Captain Ken, when he first showed up, I was expecting him to say a quick hello. And, you know, when I saw him for the first time, like, oh, this is Captain Ken stopping in, you know, stopping by for a quick hello. It turned out to be a six hour stay. <laughs> right. After and a flight. After a flight. You know, Captain Ken was another one of Lufthansa. Exactly. I thought he was just going to say hi to LA flights. He stayed for a two hour interview after an 11 hour flight from Germany. So right. it, yeah. wow. it's just how it goes. I mean, it really is the LA Flights family, and that's what makes us comfortable with each other. Exactly. It really is. Yes. 
th th these guys are addicting, you know, as far as in a good way, in right. a good way. Because do you remember the uh, the famous uh, emergency landing show? Yes. Okay. If you remember, I stopped by just very quickly to look at what was going on. Right. I wasn't dressed for it. I wasn't ready for it. And I said, let me just stop by. Four hours later, <laughs> and and a, and a terrible <laughs> red lobster tan. <laughs> Is, is that's not a good look for you, Kevin? Uh, is it? You, you don't you don't like the the red lobster look? It gets a lot of raised eyebrows when we go in somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but my point is, you know, you're these absolutely guys, you know, right, Kevin. you feel so at home. You feel like you're just yeah, you're just hanging out with the, your buddies. Right. It doesn't you know you forget all about that it's a show or it's a live stream or whatever. Right. That's a you few know, thousand yeah, people absolutely. are listening or maybe watching. It's not a big deal. You forget about the fact that, you know, 150,000 people are going to be tuning in throughout the day. <laughs> it's all right. Look who blinked first. Who blinked first? Look at that. Oh, man. Oh. Delta Stayed for so long. Delta's 22-31 finally gives in. Small day 319 wow. flew in. Wow. Look at that. Hey, you know what? The 737, the Boeing, the there victor you go. today. Listen. I like that. That A319, can we go back to it? Look at this. Get ready. You're going to be amazed. And not in a good way. Get ready. Uh oh. Delta's 2231, the one that just parked, the one that just blinked. One hour, box. five minutes. One hour. In the penalty box. Wow. It touched down. You're kidding me. One touched hour. down. <laughs> one hour, five minutes ago. I got to say, very committed. Very Incredible. committed. Incredible. Wow. Doing the face off, 737, the victor. Very triumphant right now. A little late, but it, I think it's all right. Wow, 737 waiting for such a long time to get a move on. Delta's 2431 flying to Tampa, Florida. Is this one late? Don't tell me you made this one late. Oh, I'm sure it is. All right, hold on a minute. Let's see. That one right there, the 737 that finally got a move on, get ready, was supposed to take off at 7.50 p.m. That was an hour 20 minutes ago, an hour 30 wow. minutes ago. Wow. Wowzers, to say the least. That's what happens when you do the face up. We have Richard sending us a Fidelis Super Chat. Guys, Prime Air. Prime Air. To, uh, let's see. Guys, Prime Air to RFD is taxing. So we have a freighter coming in. Prime Air. I've never heard of it. Oh, Prime Air. Amazon. Amazon. Amazon, yeah. And we have John sending us a $5 tip. I was going to comment when uh, that E9, E190 came back earlier that it was the same one with the broken APU. These two days have been epic. Thanks again, team. Thank you so much, John. Thank you so much for watching LA Flash Live. Thank you so much, everyone, for enjoying day two of UN. Hey, you know what? I think the rain's getting a little harder, isn't it? Yeah, yeah a little right. bit. My hair is starting to get soaked. All right, guys, are you ready? I think we will end today's episode. What do you think? Really? I mean, what do you I, think, John? I think Kevin's disappointed now. <laughs> I wanted to see Emirates take off. Uh, let's see. All right, then. We're going to stay for Emirates. You, I thought you... Okay. Uh, and that's okay. We've seen it once. We've seen it a thousand <laughs> times. <laughs> All right. So I guess we're going to stay until... You guys could go to your room if you want. <laughs> All right. Joshua wants to see the Come Emirates on. 8th ready. It's just an hour away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I ruined anything there. It's you only a what? A, oh, what's a, an only what away? An hour. All right. One hour away, Joshua entering into overtime. I mean, come on. I do have to say, being here at night, especially at night, I do get to see all the screens. This is impressive. This is like, I'm really a, in the command center of LA flights. This yeah, has been the a nerve nice, center. Yeah, right. this has been a nice privilege. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we have Tim Bell becoming a channel member. Thank you so much for joining. And the membership family on board LA Flashline. Oh my goodness. 
You know what you what you don't see, which is very unique, is we have the luxury of being at the hotel where we can plug in to their power. What you don't know is when these guys are going to like Bat Bridge or Cat Hill, right. they have to lug all of these batteries with them oh, for yeah. their power supply. And that's even more stuff that wow. you don't see here. And it looks like we have an ah, A310. An A310. Where did we say that one uh, flew this in from? This one was coming in from Saudi Arabia. Ah. It's the well, uh, it's owned by an, av an aviation company oh, that is registered was, in okay. Saudi Arabia. I thought it was coming from Saudi Arabia. Well, it could, but I'm just saying the only information I have is it's... Okay, it's, yeah, I thought yeah. Peter gave out information that it was coming from Saudi Arabia. I think you said he knew a guy who told him. Ah, okay. I heard my name. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. We weren't talking about you. What happened? We weren't talking about you. Keep, keep knowing on that protein bar. <laughs> <laughs> Kit Kat bar. Boy, it gets crowded in this alleyway. Here we go again, another... Wow. Oh, it's getting crowded again. Look at this. Well, we'll stay with Iberia as it lifts off. And then we'll Iberia. go take a look. Yeah, Iberia flying to Madrid. That's an A330-200. Oh, nice. Hold on. Look at this. We get to see the Frankfurt flights of Singapore. That's a departure. Singapore 25. This one, a few months ago, was operated by an A3. Sadly, oh, are you ready? Right. Yeah. Downgraded to the 777-300ER. Still a pretty cool flight, but it would have been an A380 only a few months ago. But the configuration on that one is different than the than the one on the longest flight. No, but this is a triple seven. Oh, I'm sorry. Apologies. Yeah, triple seven. Triple seven doesn't do the longest flight. This is a question for uh, Peter and Joshua. Go for it. Oh, I love questions. So, is there a type of food like when, when y'all are here in New York? Is there a type of food that either one of you will, will not want to eat? Or are y'all open to anything? I'm open to anything. Peter's picky. Open to well, no, okay. no, Peter's a picky eater. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm yes, not a picky are. eater. No, he doesn't like to admit it, but he is. <laughs> I'll eat anything, though. I love anything. It's like, like, let's go to here, and but the other person will say, no, I don't want to go. Well, I would say, let's go over here, and Peter would say, no, I don't like that. He wants pasta. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I have to admit, that's a weakness of mine. I am a little bit, of, a, a little picky with that. I don't. It's just, I don't know. It's just who I am, I guess. It's all right. Yeah, I feel like I'm not much into spicy food, but everything else, I'm, I'm willing to try. I'm not into spicy food either. I don't know the big deal of, you know. I know people who put, you know, a whole bunch of spice, a whole bunch right. of sauce. Something. I mean, why make it into a challenge? I don't want a challenge when I eat. Right. I don't want a challenge. Right. I'm not big in spicy foods either. So like on your pizzas, what, okay, since y'all have had Sofia's? Yes. Yeah, Sofia's. Like like famous what, Sofia's. What toppings would, do you not want? Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, you know, I don't like a lot of toppings <laughs> on the pizza. <laughs> it I, has I like to the, be uh, uh, one or maximum two toppings. Ah. And uh, I like, I like, I like greens. Okay. You know, greens is good. You know, lots of veggies on the pizza, but if I gotta go protein, it's gonna be pepperoni all the time. Right. Pepperoni, Italian sausage, ham, ham, bacon, no, bacon no, ham. for me. You like ham in the pizza? No, it doesn't mix. Yeah, I do. Bacon. I just like to put like a, you know, the meat. See, Peter, right. Peter yeah. likes yeah. everything. I, I only like a couple the, toppings. The meats, max. though, you know. Yeah. Like the best pizza for me is a margarita, but properly made, you know, like they do in Napoli. That's that's beautiful. You know, Peter's quiet right now because Peter's imagining a delicious <laughs> pizza with you know the toppings that I want. Oh boy! 
<laughs> Does Kevin have any say in, in the toppings? Uh, like <laughs> no. <laughs> Kevin? No. Uh, um, come on, they, Dad. <laughs> well, I mean, sleep. pretty much whatever they order. Well, but usually because when, when, when they order something, they just order something kind of for everybody. So okay. uh, I just, I mean, I think they've just ordered pepperoni two yeah. nights in a row, which Wait. is fine. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I like a pepperoni. Safe. You know, which is fine. You know, of course, the pizza is about the size that we could feed the whole floor. But, you know, no, I'm, I'm usually not not too picky. Now, I tell you what, who's picky is Peter when it comes to water. One time I came He's by the show about a year ago and I brought some water and then Josh said, don't even show that to him. It, it's not bougie enough. It, 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 he only drinks like, you know, the real fufu shishi stuff. It has to come from the Alps of Fiji or, you know, the Alps of, uh, you know, uh, Kevin's just going <laughs> off right now. <laughs> He's had enough. You know, it has to be one of those things that's in a colored bottle with like the twist off okay. with, the gold, with the gold label. Uh, and, Kevin. Uh, yeah. Got a nice name. Uh, enough. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Just laughing too. <laughs> I mean, I had the audacity to bring like Kirkland brand water, and you thought I had just, you know, gone down to the stream in the sewer and, and handed it to LA like, River. Oh, like, what is this? <laughs> Domesticated still water? It needs to have a little foo foo shishi, you know, you know, effervescence, you know. Kevin, take a seat. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm in the penalty box. Oh. <laughs> take a seat. Take a deep breath. Oh. Count oh, to ten. Man. <laughs> Truth hurts. Oh, look at the lining inside that virgin. Yeah. That's a nice move. There, there goes the A3, A310. It was, it was absolutely uh, stolen the spotlight by Kevin's rant about Peter's <laughs> water choice. <laughs> Kirkland. Uh, uh. Fly crew of, uh, what is that? A350, <laughs> 1000, <laughs> flying to London. No, they're not looking. I'll get them a look. I'll wait with you, Kevin. Yeah. We've had a pretty good track record today. There you go. We have. <laughs> Oh, I think they're uh, concentrated, guys. I think they're concentrating in uh, water. Well, what are they watching? What the type of water are they going to drink? Oh, and this is the chance. This is the perfect chance to get it. If it's going to be in the line of sight. What are they looking at? They're looking at what? The super? Look. Look at us. Don't look at that A380. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Come on. No. Yeah, now it's too far. No, oh, what a shame. <laughs> Last question on Sophia. Promise, promise. No, okay, go. So is it, I, I know it appears that you ordered it and they delivered it here, is it? Yeah. yeah. Is it because it's just, I know, well, obviously it's too late, but are they close by? Yeah. Oh, okay. Relatively yeah, close by, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're like a mile away. Oh, wow. Yeah. In, in terms of food delivery, <laughs> Sophia's is pretty much the only option. Here. But. In the area. In the area, here at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Having said that, just because it's the only option, or one of very few options, it is top tier and we love it. Now, if there was a million other options, you know, Sophia's would be, uh, you know, top choice. Maybe not every day, but. Got it. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, is anyone even watching after the, that water talk? Oh, let me talk to you about the drivers that deliver. We always get a driver. Oh, Kevin, get ready. Since what? we're going to be ending around the closing time, it's uh, th this is when they're going to be angry, you know, delivering next to close to 11 p.m. And they close at 11. So th this oh, is the time they're going to be 10. angry. Oh, they, they close at 11? Yeah. Thought, okay. Yeah, but they stopped taking deliveries, uh, delivery orders at 10. 
Oh, 9.30, really. <clears throat> yeah, Josh has this really good luck. I shouldn't say luck, I would just say he's got this track record that every time they order food, it's always with a driver that kind of is perturbed and kind of angry. And I don't know if it's just because like we're like the literally the last order yeah. of the night. No, that Kevin, that's it. What? That's it. That's Kevin, it. That's yeah. It. Kevin, listen, I think I see a whole bunch of viewers saying that it's okay to only to have a high regard when it comes to water brands. <laughs> a lot of viewers are saying, Peter, it's okay. You know, the taste of water is different. And let me tell you something. I kind of consider myself a water expert. I love my water. A even water though, expert. Even today. Listen, if I give you, if I give you a bottle, if I give you a bottle of tap, and let's say the best water out there, you won't know the difference. A million dollars You'll says. You'll say the tap is better. A million dollars says I would be able to pick uh -uh. the good one instead of the bad Sorry. one. All right. Just don't know. Just yeah. don't think so. Do we okay. have any other water experts out there? You know what I'm talking about. Water has a distinct taste. Okay. Water has a distinct taste, and you can definitely taste the metals in the water and, you know, all the uh, chemicals the and all metals. that good stuff. How many people do you know that when you serve them a glass of water, they swirl it, they look it up in the, you know, up in the light, they take a whiff it, of it, take a whiff of it, you know, <laughs> <decant> it, <laughs> you know right? swirl it in their mouth, you know, <laughs> oh, gosh. you know, mm, good vintage, you know, I can smell, I can taste the minerals and the iron and the, and the chloride. This, you know. this Kevin, <laughs> take a seat. Okay. This water was bottled in 2016. It was carried by, you know, a Jesuit monk that went down the Alps of the, you know, the Chilean mountain range. What's happening here? Kevin's just going off. <laughs> there's no limit now. There's no, there's no point. Kevin, hey, Kevin, yes. I wanted to end the show 20 minutes ago. This guy wanted to go until Emirates takes Come off on. for some reason. We Kevin, wait. I'm not the one. It's it's Josh the one that I you're supposed to. I want to show. My goodness. We've done, what, 11 hours now? Look at this. Dad says, you're right, Peter. That's dad. Oh, that's not fair. Dad says, you're right, Peter. Water does have a distinct taste. No, you're kidding. That is opposite. Come on, everybody. We have Cheryl sending us a $5 super chat. Hello, Peter, Josh. Love the JFK shows. You guys are always amazing. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Good vibes, sit back, relax, enjoy the planes. My goodness, enjoy Kevin ranting. <laughs> I, I just want to say uh, good evening to uh, Papa LA Flights. Ah, Senor yes. Selinas, buenas noches. Dad, yeah. Here. Look at that, a mess. Dad, that does, Dad doesn't know that Jay Lopez, you know, the world famous Jay Lopez is with us right now. Dad, Jay Lopez with us right he now. He doesn't know? Yeah, of course he does. Yeah, he just yeah. chatted. I'm sure ah, he does. he does. That okay. Was the chat about Peter is right. That was his chat. I wish I can check the, I, I didn't know that he knew that you were here with us. No, I, I, I messaged with him oh, yesterday. Okay, no, yeah. there it is. Okay. Yeah, I wish know, I can. Jay Lopez. Dad's a big fan of yours. He always telling he's always telling me like how you guys are friends. Yeah, and we always chats, love the chat. How you guys talk it up. Right. He's a lovely man. That's one of the best moments is when your dad is on. Very touching. Oh my goodness, you're oh. gonna make me tear up. Yeah, man. I'm gonna okay. get teary now. Okay. Well, it'll mix with the <laughs> for the, the rain. You're talking about the anniversary reel? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh well, the actual day he was on, and then yeah. obviously, yeah. and then oh. never mind. Right, the highlights. It's alright. The tears will mix with the rain. Yeah, no, the rain. Look at the rain. Look, look, look what we have. I'm not crying. It's raining. Look at this. The rain's coming in. Hold on. I want to go take a look at a lamp. I want to show you. It's really pouring now. Look at that. We're not kidding here. Wow. Look at that. Rain it's is raining. Yeah, we're gonna start. Need, we're gonna have to start taking out the towels. I mean, I have uh, like the electronics pretty much covered, so okay, should be good. It's the cameras that I'm worried about, Josh. Uh, let's take down B cam. Okay. Can yeah. Kevin do that? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm gonna I'll, have to go. I'll go do it. I'll go run and do it. All right. You just uh, host. 
All right, we're going to stay with Virgin Atlantic as we get ready for the brain. Hey, um, now that Joshua doesn't have his headset, right? You know, he's the guy that extended the show, right? I wanted to call it a day. Look at Kevin's face. You guys can't see Kevin's face. I would have ended the show if it wouldn't have been for Josh. My goodness. All right, he's coming back. All right, come on. <laughs> no, I'm, that, this is the face because your dad said you were right. Oh, there you go. No, that's, that's team. The look on my face. That's team Peter. Are you ready? Yeah. Team Stripes, you know. <laughs> my goodness. Guys ganging up on me. Well, except for Mr. L I don't know if you you were ganging up. Oh, Kevin was ganging up on Only me. Only on the Stripes, but I'm a partial gang. <laughs> hey, and what's going on here? Nothing. No, 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 Alicia told me you guys were talking about me. No, Alicia. What's going no. on? <laughs> no, it is getting wet now. It is getting wet. It is. Layla, thank you so much, sending us a uh, five, what is it, five Canadian Super Chat. Thank you so much. A cup of coffee. I'll take that any day, day of the of week. The week. <laughs> Kevin, take a seat. <laughs> Why? Well, there's a regression with that one. <laughs> A little aggression with the, the Peterism there. Uh, oh, there's more to come. We have something lined up. There's oh, more no, to come. but that's a surprise. Yeah, that's a surprise. That's a surprise. Yeah. Enough said. Don't they say imitation is the best form of flattery? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you are exactly right, Kevin. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> come on, Kevin. Take a seat. Take a deep breath. If you thought the life vest and the oxygen mask was funny, <laughs> wait until you see what's lined up later in the show. Let's sweep. I'm screw this because it's so wet. Here, you on a towel? No, I got it, I got it. Okay. I use my brute strength. Huh. Let's see. Josh, are you uh, using this towel? Uh, no, yeah, I'm going to have to use it now. Yeah, okay, because I kind of want to cover that extension plug. Okay. Uh, you don't have an extra towel? Uh, not Max, really, can you get no. another towel? Uh, we have Max Willie. Willie. Towel All right, thank you, Max39. Uh, hold on, there, go there, there he goes. There you go. May there listen. Go. Give it up. Yeah, Max, do uh, the towel runs. Hold on, Willie. I'm gonna dry the lens, okay? Okay, I'll get to the super chance. Willie 9999. Hang in there. Good job. Good job of hanging in there. Thank you so much. Uh, Willie 9999. Uh, Paulina sending us a super chat. Guys, I'm, a, I'm, I'm just like Peter, I'm a water expert. You see? Do you see, uh -uh. Kevin? I hear, I hear. You're an H2O snob. I understand. <laughs> water. I understand. Listen. Water does have specific tastes. Different water brands, they taste different. And you can acquire a taste to certain water brands. You can. Alicia is Team Josh. No, no, no. Alicia, Alicia is, is laughing Team Josh at you. today. Alicia, a very wise <laughs> viewer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Forget about it. Oh, there he is. Kevin. Oh, no, not Kevin. <laughs> not Kevin. <laughs> All right. No, we're getting you. We're getting you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You were in the way of the camera. <laughs> you should have gone out of the way. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Max 39 should have gone out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the way of the camera. <laughs> Here, here's another one if you need it. All right. Where is it? Here. We should be good. Just a little bit of water. Yeah, come on. Battleborn Supermoto, Republic of Congo VIP should be the last plane. Now, nah, Josh says Emirates, so now we're going to stay. Even though, even if Joshua wants to call it a day, we're going to stay for that Emirates A380. Even if Kevin wants to call it a day, we're going to stay for that A380. Of course we are. We're not quitters. We're going to wait for an hour. What's, what's the issue? Hey, you know what? I got a place to order. 
Are we doing Sophia's tonight? <laughs> Sophia's a cute. What are we Kevin, doing? Look at Kevin's face. <laughs> <laughs> Three days. Can we, can't, we, we can't do the camera. I want to show Kevin. I can't, Josh. I, I can't. Oh, this man. thing doesn't want to connect. I mean, we can do this one. What do you think? <laughs> oh. oh man. <laughs> I wish I can connect the uh, uh, my little setup here, but I can't. <laughs> so we're doing Sophia's again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the pizza and the pasta. <laughs> Seven sixty-seven leaving via to right. We got a lot of heavies behind this one, and we also have Virgin Atlantic right now taxing our way. We'll be parking where the A three fifty pushed back from. You know, I think tonight for the dinner, I think I should kind of be respectful of Peter. I'm going to pour water in a wine glass. First, I'm going to decant the water. I'm going to take the water. Of course, and it needs to aerate. It needs to aerate, right? You know, and then I'm going to pour it in a nice wine glass for him, so he can enjoy and absorb all the the effervescence of Kevin, the water. Kevin, take a seat. <laughs> you know, Kevin. Okay, Mr. Okay, listen, Mr. Lopez. Do you agree with me? You have agreed with me for like 90% of the things today, okay? Yes. Do now you this is agree ridiculous. that water, certain types of brands of water have different tastes yes. to them? Bo yes. Bottled water, I'm yes. I'm not the only one. Bottled water, they have different tastes. See, it I really agree. does. It does. You know, okay, okay, next question. I agree with that. Water do have water does no, have no, no, different no, no, tastes. No, 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 Joshua the was... Question, the big question is... Do you care what type of water you drink, or is it just a water bottle and just give it to me because it's water? As long as I recognize that it's not like a brand or name that I said, oh, I didn't like that in the past, I will go ahead I'm and drink it. I'm the same way. Right. I'm the same way. I mean, yeah, I don't no. want to, there is one brand and I don't want to say it. Uh, but what does it rhyme it, with? What does it rhyme with? Honey. What? Oh, yes, I know what he's That's talking the about. the best water. Oh, oh, here we go. Yes. I don't okay. want to say it because, you know, I don't want to get, right. get us in trouble. But yes. yes. We're not I mean, going to get in trouble. I remember. Uh, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that water bottle. Yeah. yeah. That, that, one, that, one, that one does have a, a very strange taste, and I will never get that one again. And you know I, something? I have a case of that one uh -huh. only because of. There's no other brand around here. So the local grocery store, that's the you guys only are thing. crazy. That's the best water. I out am. There. I. I used to be a fan. I used to be a big fan of that brand of water years ago, but I can't stand it anymore. It's right. just out of necessity. You guys are crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. out of necessity. Yeah. All right, Jay Lop is confirming that he is, in fact, insane. <laughs> he cares what type of water. Well, I mean, he like drinks. I said. I mean, I got a caveat that it just if I if it's a brand of water that I've had and it, I didn't agree with it, and I can only I, I can definitely say it's that one brand. I think it's owned by Coke. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I, I will I will never want to drink that. that well, brand another again. news. Are you ready? Another news. I think uh, have, uh -oh. looks like we might have a VIP Mitchell here. Mr. Lopez is in, tr in trouble now for uh, talking oh. down. Uh, Look at this! I it's the love lawyers. working with y'all. It's, it's the I team love of lawyers. <laughs> I love that water brand. Are you ready? <laughs> it's all Mr. Lopez. I'm sorry, I had to leave you. <laughs> Mr. Lopez agreed with me for like 99% of the and things today. I just want to say this for the record: Mr. Lopez here has nothing to do with the Channel LA flights. <laughs> wow. You know, the views expressed by Mr. Lopez are those thrown of off, and not thrown off the those balcony of LA here. Flights. Oh, oh here we go again. Are they putting another VIP back on the, the Milan plane? Oh, Does that's, this get, that's true. It might be going back. I didn't think of that. I've never seen so much, you know, security around the same flight for two nights in a row. Somebody misplaced a Prada bag or something? I mean, what is all this? <laughs>
I see some people in the chat know which brand I'm talking about. But that's, yeah, that's I on. said it by accident. Oh, okay. Mr. Lopez. <laughs> I said it by accident. <laughs> no, no one said it by accident. Viewers just are assuming that's that that's true. the brand of water. Oh, look, this one's for Virgin. The Virgin Atlantic. Oh, wow. Oh, it's for Virgin. Look at that. We have a VIP in the house. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's a Cadillac. Look at that. Nice to Yes, sir. Look what I'm drinking. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. Oh, delicious water. <laughs> delicious. Look at that. VIP in the house. That's the U.S. Secret Service, my friends. Definitely. Oh. Now, we can cover this. Just don't get too close to them, Josh. Uh, no, I want to shine the face. No, we don't want to shine the face from them. No, you know what? They're not. They're actually going... Oh, no. no. Well, first out there, we're going under the terminal. But no, they are going around. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite very good, I think. What is it? <laughs> We're always next to the flights that have got VIPs. Or something. By the way, we have a 747. We have Cafe Pacific heading to the runway for takeoff. Can we see it? No, not yet. Okay. All right, we'll go back to that one. Yeah, look at that VIP. And we have Eva flying in from Taipei. 14 hour, 13 minute flight for this one. Ah, there we go, focused finally. How long is that flight, Peter? That's a long flight from Four Taipei to here. 14 hour, 13 minute flights. That's, That's pretty, pretty long. long. Yeah. That's pretty long. And so we've got a few regional jets right here, back to back. You know what I want to go take a look at? We got the uh, the very fancy lounge oh, over here. Oh, look at this. The so what? It's, uh, the lounge. Look at that. Oh, yeah. The first class lounge. The first class lounge. Yeah, we've been wow. trying to see if we could get um, Emirates to, uh, you know, let us go up there. <coughs> Future projects. <coughs> well, if they won't let us in, we're going to have to look from the outside. So we've got a bit of baggage drama going on over here. All right, let's take. I think that's the airline bags, right? Yeah. I think they're calling the supervisor or something. Oh, really? Yeah, they had. They found an issue or something. Look at that. We have. Uh, uh oh. And this one right here. Uh, look at that. Yeah, perhaps the supervisor. Oh no, that's security. Oh, you security for the. Uh, you for sure the they're VIP. not pulling the luggage off yeah. of the VIP, maybe? Maybe. That side of the plane, it's mostly like the uh, the airline stuff. No, oh. the airline goodies? Okay. No, no, this it's this is the, the bulk bin. That's, there's only one. So this is it. If there's going to be bags here, it's going to be here. Okay. And right now, perhaps they're calling to see, uh, to get some information, perhaps on yeah. the uh, VIP's bags. No, you're right. That's exact. I think that's what's going on. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Singapore heading back to Frankfurt. Does that flight continue on? I mean, like, does it continue on to Singapore yes. eventually, yeah. right? Yep. It, it makes a pit stop or a 
Uh huh. Mostly for what? Refueling? And a way to travel to Germany if you want to fly yeah. on Singapore, yeah? Yeah, the same way uh, Singapore goes from um, LA Tokyo, to Tokyo. Haneda, yeah. then to LA, yeah. Right. All right, Cafe Pacific Cargo 3195, a 747-8. Oh, and look at that Swiss. Is. Yeah, there it is. Ah, and nice. Swiss flying to Zurich. Get ready. We have American flying to Buenos Aires. We have Iceland there flying to Reykjavik. And Virgin Atlantic flying to London. Oh, Norse as well. Norse is taxing. Oh, heading Norse. To the back of the queue, sadly. Where did it go? That's going to be, I think, here? a good 20, 30 minute wait. For there it off. is. There's yeah, there tail. it is. And looks like the. Uh, Max is telling me he wants to go to the Emirates Lounge. Once we're done here. <laughs> you got tickets? You got first class tickets, Max? <laughs> Max, you got first class tickets? He says, yeah. All right, they're on the move. Delta, Swiss, and Cathay Pacific. Like, I want to see narrow bodies now. We, we see too many heavies. Did I just hear Josh correctly? He's, he wants to see the little E-175s. I want to see the little E-175s. Let's go back to LAX and you have a million E-175s. Uh, Delta 266 flying to Paris and A330neo. Uh, correction, A330-300. Getting ahead of myself. How long have we been live? Let's take a look. We crossed 10 hours, I believe. 10.37 right now, 10 no, hours, 10 37 37. minutes. Oh, we could go longer. <coughs> <laughs> Who's that? <coughs> Who can that be? <laughs> Did I hear something? No one's going to say something? All right, let's do 12-hour shows. <laughs> Is that coming through good? Look at this! Going through the clouds! Looks good. That's a... <laughs> ah, that was awesome. Oh, was it like a big rain shower or something or what? Uh, yeah, just a lot of wing fluff there. A lot of wing condensation. Look at this. We got... Oh boy. This is going to look insane. 747. About to do the same exact thing. How is this going to look like? Get ready. Oh, there goes the VIPs. Wow. Yeah, we're going to miss it. We're going to stay with the Queen of the Skies. Condensation on the wings. I think it's just gonna go straight through the clouds. Yeah, Look at that. Alright, 747, getting a move on. Flying to Toronto, a 747-8. A little bit there. I think the light from the 330neo there helping out. 
let's uh, let's take a look at that VIP that came from the Virgin Atlantic. Now get an out of here. And we got Swiss. Swiss departing. Flying to Zurich A330-200. Get ready, the next one to take off is a big one. Big 777-200 flying to Buenos Aires. We have Virgin Atlantic flying to London. It's a big boy. It's number four for takeoff. Oh, this is going to be good. Look at this. There you go, yes! <laughs> That's awesome. That looks good. Very cool. Is it coming out good? Oh, it looks good. Nice. Absolutely worth it. 10 out of 10. I hope Jay Lopez, are you looking in the, the monitor? Yes. It's hard to see on the, on actually see it. All right, we're going to go awesome. for the good next job, takeoff. And it's the 777-200. Get ready. Sound going up for this one. We have this one. Oh, hold on. Yeah, look at that. And that's Wamos with the level insignia in oh, the front of the plane. Interesting. Yeah. So that's Wamos in the rear and level at front. Very cool. You know, in LA, it's amazing that they don't do the same thing with Avianca, right? Because that's what they've been chartering their flights for yeah, Avianca. And, and that one is a proper, you know, just whole insignia of yeah. Wamos. Iceland Air flying to Reykjavik, 757-300. Uh, That's the flying pencil. I feel like we just saw that one land. Was that a quick turnaround, or have we been here so long? It's a little bit of both, Josh. Are you ready? A little bit of both. Landed 7.44 p.m., so that's two hours oh, ago. no. What time is it? 55. Oh, oh man, I gotta, I gotta make it right now. Oh, is it still open? Oh no, this isn't good. I might have to call and tell him to process the order. Maybe a, a little extra tip there for them. Oh my goodness. Just to convince them to Josh. make our order. Tell me, tell me. Uh, do you want to mute your mic? You want to give them a call? Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to place the order online and call them and tell them, if, you know, they're going to have to make the order for us. Sophia, please don't close. It's going to be Doritos <laughs> for LA flights after a 12 hour show. What do we want? What do we want? Same. Same. Kevin. I like to see the menu. <laughs> you should have seen his eyes. Kevin wants Let me to see, see the menu. menu. I don't. <laughs> they rolled back to the back of his head. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sophia's for the third day. <laughs> they rolled. His eyes rolled. Yeah. I can't order under pressure. <laughs> okay. Uh, order me the bolognese. usual. Bol bol yeah, bolognese? Same thing. Well, I guess last night's same, same okay. thing. 
my goodness. <laughs> Kevin's eyes rolled behind us. Can I see the water menu, please? <laughs> I'd like to see what they have for water. Where's Max? Max, what do you want? To eat. Oh my goodness. What do you want to eat? Ah, oh, let's see. Jay Lopez, what are you gonna, you want something? I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I mean. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you 100% sure? I'm 100%. Pasta, What pizza? are you going to do? Because the food options are limited here. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to maybe get some, like a pastry or something like that and call it a night, you know? Really? Are you health, are you, is it a health thing? Because we can get you some really good spaghetti. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's probably too late for me to eat kind of heavy. Okay. All That's right, then. Good. That's why Jay Lopez is a small man. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the hosts of LA Flights, you know, we're rather large men. All right. Spaghetti, Josh, for Peter. Yep, yeah, on it. I'm gonna. I'm sure. I mean, I'm gonna have to give a little extra tip though. Just yeah. Come into oh my goodness, go for it. All right. I was happy to see uh, oatmeal on the menu for breakfast. So that I was like, that's my breakfast right there. Oatmeal. Yeah. Kevin spaghetti, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the choices are pasta, 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 or pasta, right? And pizza. <laughs> and pizza, pizza too. Well, I'm glad we represent all the peas. Okay. Oh my goodness. I was gonna order something like a salad, you know, just watch my health. Come on, Kevin. You're not fooling anyone. See that's what I normally eat for lunch. This is a salad, yeah. You know something? I really gotta get back on that because get back on that. You've been on that? A few years ago, <laughs> I lost listen Josh, you can't say anything about this. A few years ago, Peter lost a hundred pounds. Eh, I don't think so. Uh uh. Two eighty to one eighty. And you can't say anything about that, well, Josh. I'll say something. You're not 180 right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Obviously, Ouch. but I, I, that's why I said I have to get back on that. Know. Jeez. <laughs> I need a nutritionist. Are you ready? My goodness. Come on, guys. Jeez, I have a Louise. nutritionist now. You know what I did? I took a bite out of her. Uh, I bit him. I bit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? 99, 99. Sending us a super chat. Use this. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much. Are you ready? Uh, use this as part of the tip. Thank you, Willie. Oh, thank 99, you. 99. Kevin, I think you have to go to sleep. <laughs> Am I getting loopy? Am <laughs> <laughs> I getting loopy? <laughs> All right, I got to. Let's see. I think my dad forgot that I lost a lot of weight. I think Pop LA flies. Usually Team Peter today. My goodness. I think he forgot. Oh, what did he say? He said Peter says the truth. Peter, say the truth. I lost a lot of weight back <laughs> in 2014. Truth. You know, I lost a lot of weight when I got out of high school. 2014? What is it? 10 years ago? No, it's, well, it is. Isn't 10 it? years ago. 10 years ago? Jeez, man. That's a long time. Time flies. Uh, Anna Marie Fella, $20. I hope I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. To help with, oh my goodness, to help with the dinner tip. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Th Anna yeah, Marie. Today we're going to have to convince the, the, the restaurant to make orders. Uh, let's say thank you so much. We're waiting for Emirates <clears throat> to take off, okay? We're waiting for Emirates to take off. That's going to be the last plane for today. Battleborn Supermoto sending us a $2 super chat. Tip money. Don't forget the Republic of Kondo. Uh, Con Congo. I was thinking about Condor. <laughs> the Congo. Okay, copy that. Do you know what they're coming in on? No. Okay. I don't know when they're coming in uh, uh, as well. If they, if they land after 1045, I mean, we're going to have to go. A380, that's going to be the last plane for today's episode. We can't wait for this one to push. And look, listen, cargo doors have closed. That means this one's going oh, to be I didn't pushing. notice. Wow. Cargo doors have closed the last... Listen, when this one pushes, Jay Lopez, listen, you saw the A380s yesterday, right? Yes. And when they were pushing, we would have loved to have gotten your reaction, you know, the first time seeing that. They push, and they're so close. It feels like... You can almost touch them. It's something I've been saying, you know, the past six times that right. I've been here. And it's true. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. It's not just Peter saying no, stuff. No, no, no. You're right, Peter. Dolores. Oh, my goodness. You guys are buying dinner for the oh, LA Flight thank crew. Thank you, guys. Thank That's you so sweet. much, my friends. After two 12-hour shows, you guys are incredible.
Hold on, guys. The camera isn't moving because I'm trying to order dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Set every professional broadcaster in history. Are you ready? Priorities. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a professional camp, uh, professional broadcaster. Hey, Josh, how much uh, how much time do you have? Uh, uh, right now we're at the mercy of the restaurant. We're gonna have to hope they make our order and deliver it, because right now I think it's already the limit. <coughs> so I'm gonna have to call after I make the order online, and just uh, try to convince them. Here, uh, Peter. Yeah. I've got some info on the con you said Congo, right? Congo. Republic of Congo. Congo. Yeah. So. Ugh. The government Good. previously operated a, a Dassault Falcon 7X. However, it was impounded at Paris oh. Le Bourge Jeez. Airport and has been stored. They, they nowadays resort to hiring private jets. Previously operated aircraft have included a Boeing 707 <clears throat> and a JAR aircraft service livery and a McDonnell Douglas DC-872. So what I'm saying is it could be just be a private jet, similar to like that Saudi Arabian Yes. Flight that was a A310. Flight. So I'm just saying, it sounds to me like they're using just a private jet. It wouldn't actually be their own aircraft. Okay. What's the plane that got impounded? That's actually really it interesting. It was a Dassault Falcon 7X. Oh, my goodness. I have to call. Yeah, I have to right. call. So just me and my mic. Yeah. All right. Oh, my goodness. Josh was going to have to. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to have to convince them. All right, Josh. I'm going to meet your mic. Okay. Hey, Kevin. My goodness. Joshua is going to give them the beans. Are you ready? Or, you know, he's going to, you know, kind of beg. Jeez. Do you need me to call to Johnny? Are we going to get in one of those situations? Oh, my goodness. No, jo Kevin. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're at the mercy of the restaurant right now. Uh, Angela King, thank you so much for sending us a $10 super chat. Don't put yourself down no matter if you don't want to look any other. Oh, thank you so much. Are you ready? Angela, we appreciate that. Is she talking about the water again? No, she's talking about oh. the uh, about the diets. Oh, oh, okay. Angela, thank you so much. You are so kind. Eighth ready. Listen, okay, so the rear baggage door is still open. We're going to be waiting for this one to close up. Oh, boy. <gasps> We're good. We're good. We're good. Yes. <laughs> it was going to be good. Dorito night. Yeah, I was getting scared because <laughs> they 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 cut off they cut off the uh, the delivery orders really really early. All right, Air France 11. As we continue the day of planes flying to Paris, a triple seven three hundred ER. Is there actually a cart below the baggage? I mean, I see the door open, but is there actually a cart in front yeah, of? Yeah, there is a cart. Yeah, they have last minute bags. Wow. Look at this. Okay. So we have last minute bags. They're just waiting for someone to put the uh, bags in. Yeah, just waiting for a worker. You know what I haven't seen since you've been here in two days? Yeah. Like, since you were here in July? By the way, Josh, if you want, look, we have someone inspecting the aircraft if you want to follow yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin, go ahead. I'm sorry. I think we got the first officer. No, you remember it was the Caribbean, the Caribbean 737 with the whole baggage thing. Yes. I haven't seen Caribbean You're air. right. You've been here two days. They normally are here. You know something? I haven't even seen them land. Yeah. Caribbean. Interesting. I haven't even yeah. seen them land. I've noticed that. I was looking forward to seeing how they were going to uh, load the big screen TV boxes again. A few super chats coming in. Thank you so much, guys. Alan, ten dollar tip coming in for Sophia. So if you can, uh, if you can get it. What an <laughs> yeah. amazing broadcast. Successful. We were successful. Joshua. We were successful. Retaining. And to, uh, Sweet talk him, you know, hey, you know, we're just a couple of plane spotters. Can you please, can you please make an order? We're really hungry. And Joshua they, uh, retaining his <laughs> dignity with that phone call. <laughs> they bought it, so. <laughs> Battleborn. Listen, we give them so much publicity. Are you ready? That's true. You should have told, you should have told them, Sophia's, are you ready? We're <laughs> part of. <laughs> <laughs> they would have yelled at me and hung up. <laughs> Battleborn Supermoto, it's a Congo livery on a 737, it's an approach. Okay, did you know about that? No, um, no, I did not. An approach. Ethan, $50 Super J coming in. Kat, Anakin, Condor, Geschmack, and Kevin, your dedication is amazing. Your, uh, the joy you are bringing the LA Flights family is beyond measure. 
I am in charge of dinner tomorrow night. New York City Vibes East Coast Ma uh, <coughs> loves you three gentlemen. The wise guys. Thank you, Ethan. That's what they call us, the wise guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cheryl. Hey, guys, love the JFK shows. Every time I watch these shows, it makes me feel so happy. Love LA Flight Life. Thank you, Cheryl. Good vibes. Amazing vibes. All right, look who's closed up. Yep. Emirates, ready to go. This is it, right? Yay. That's it. <laughs> Kevin. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> get, that banner, get that banner out. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> I just lost it when, uh, when you said, am I, am I sounding loopy? <laughs> 54K, Josh, go to seat Tommy, number 54K. Here, here, we might one? have a chandelier. Yes, I on think we have it. Oh, yes. there it is. Yeah, there Shine it is. The light. Yes. Whoa, that's a really big light. Is that it? Hold on, there's another possible light on the wing. Go to the wing. Wing? Yeah, I think I saw something like in the wing area. No, 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 no that's that. That is a massive that's it. light. No, that's it. Wait, in the back? 54K. 54? I think we might have a shine the light. I think that light is so bright that we don't even know. Try to, if, well, if this is the light, try to Hold aim on. it toward I'm us. I'm get my seating chart out for that point. If the viewer is watching, please keep shining the light because I don't or think. Or blink it. Why not blink it? Blink it. Blink it. Turn it on and off. Towards the middle of the plane. The oh, middle? Oh, yeah. that's not it then. Because I think that light is so bright that it's not. I've never seen a light like that. That looks so abnormal. What do you think? Shine the lights. Middle of the plane though. You said middle of the plane? Middle of the plane. Who is shining the lights? Seat 54K towards the middle. Right here? Wait. No, yeah. I don't think it's right there. there. Oh, is that? Is that it? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, My goodness. Not. No, that's not it. All right. Yeah, I don't think there is a shining light then. 54K, uh, who's looking at the seat? I'm uh, trying to find it. Oh, I, I seem geez. to remember Josh, that. Josh, black screen. Black screen, Josh. Oh, no, Josh. that's, uh, you see, you see the, the red button? Which one? Oh, no, I'll go fix it. Hold on, guys. Uh, try to Which one? The, the, make it tight. Yep. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. I thought I saw no. a phone. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, that's why. It's already on. There we go. There we, we go. Misclicked something. Yeah. Okay. Back to normal. Back to normal. Okay, Shine on. the lights. I'm trying to find the CD map. Hold on. That was Ooh, a little strange. I think they just turned it off. It was like right behind the, right behind the E lower deck. You know something? That's exactly where I saw it before. Right around we the need E, to Josh. That. Right around the E. Right, uh, like a couple of windows behind, behind the E. Possible shine the light happening on the A380. Right behind the E, sir? Yeah, like a couple of windows. There it is, right there. No, oh, th wait. is it a phone? Is right no, there. I don't think. I think it's just someone adjusting themselves. Oh, really? yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. No. no. Down below, no. Josh? Down below. Like right around the E? Okay. No, not really. Guys, I think it's a, I think it's a false alarm. Oh. That is a really bright light in the back, though. Yeah, I have to say that. Yeah, bright. Oh, look at this. We got the wing walkers. Kevin, breathe your sign of re a sigh of relief. We got the wing walkers. Oh. Still looking up that seat. How long has it been? Uh, for what? The show? 11 hours in one minute. Oh, okay, 11 hours. Battleborn Supermoto Congo is landing. Oh. Uh, don't miss it. I see it. There you go. 737, we have the Democratic Republic of Congo making an appearance. That's for the sound bite later, for the trailer. <laughs> I don't think you heard this, Peter, but what Kevin said, am I sounding a little loopy? Yeah, right? <laughs> I think that was the funniest part. <laughs> yeah.
You know, it's something about New York. Every single time we come out here, you know, we either start, you know, thinking about pizza too much or getting a little loopy or start singing well, into the mic. It's, it's the long shows, that's why. Okay, <laughs> I found seat 54, you said? 54K, yes. 54K is on the lower deck. Yes, that's what Jen said, Jen in Honolulu. And it is right at the, be according to this, it would be right where the wing, oh, it's right where the wing starts, starts. Right at, so right around the E, right? That's exactly where Mr. Lopez saw the light. And that's exactly where I saw it before. Right. Oh, listen, lights. Hold oh, on. We got it. Wait, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. It's, I saw it on the uh, upper deck. I think there was just someone adjusting. No, listen, yeah, shine the listen, light. That's if you exactly. see us shine the light, it's just going gonna, gonna to be so bright. Because it's, it's night right yeah. now. All right, listen. I think it's a false alarm. Let's forget about it. Let's pretend that the viewer didn't fool us. <laughs> yeah, because you're a professional broadcaster. We're professional broadcasters. Are you ready? We confirm. We confirm everything. <laughs> what else? KLM. KLM. Blue planes. Hey, three blue planes. Four blue planes. Five blue... Oh, Delta. No, Delta. Well, you know, when they back it up... Right. I was going to say, that'll be another opportunity, Peter. Because they're going exactly. to back, she has to back up. Yeah, no, let's forget about it. Okay. That was, a, that, was, that was the quickest okay in history, Kevin. Qatar, this one flying in from Doha. This is going to stay the night. A 14, uh, more like 13 hour, 40 minute flight. This one. You know, I've been looking at that LL flight all day, and I kept saying, you know, I know they don't fly on Saturdays. And so I said, but today's Sunday. And I, all of a sudden, now I see the weekend is on. Right. You know something? We uh, have been tugged, though? I think it's being tugged. No, I think there's stairs right next to it. I think passengers boarded that aircraft uh, via the stairs. So I think that one's oh, fully loaded. Really? Yeah. Kevin, haven't we be haven't 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 we been staring at that Dreamliner all day all today? All day, all day, and I hadn't seen anything so going on. The light again. The oh, oh my goodness! Here we go. Look at this. There we go. Peter said, "Forget about it." I thought Forget I saw just something. Forget about it. No, you know, so there's nothing there. Right nothing. now, I'm looking yeah, at it. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. No, at night, you, it'll just fill the the window wow. with light. Amazing! Look at this. Oh boy, let's take it in. Today hasn't been a good day with the oh, A380s. Like Yesterday, oh, they're turning it. That's interesting. I thought they were going to back it out. Kevin, oh, it's it's not your it's your first time yeah, here. It's my first time. Yeah. I'm being gentle. It's wow. My first. Look at now, this that. is when my this goodness. is the part when you could just it feels like you could just jump on the the horizontal stabilizer there. Right. It just gets so close, and you really see how tall the A380 is. We're nine stories tall right now. Wow. And. That A380, right? I, I think a little taller than us. That is such an impressive sight. I've seen this so many times. It never gets wow. old. Yeah. From this, from this point of view, wow, it is really a big plane. I mean, I'll say this again. Mr. Lopez, you can't get closer no. than this in the entire world. It's awesome. Only here at the TWA Hotel. I mean, look at this. You're, you're only... 50 yards, maybe even less from the plane here. Oh, let's see, I think. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It feels like if we just extend our arm and no, we'll it touch it. Just does. Wow. Oh, and it's even getting, oh no, there it goes. Starting to pull away from us. Wow, what an incredible sight. Oh, 
Oh, that's great. That's highlight potential. If Air Force One didn't <laughs> arrive, that's yeah, definitely. a nighttime shot of an A380, Josh. Nothing I think like it's it. always highlight material, definitely. highlight potential. El Al also yes, pushing. El Al pushing. And KLM getting a move on, speeding away, heading back to Amsterdam. So you believe they they had remotely loaded that plane? I think so, because wow. I saw stairs right next to that 787. Wow. And hold on a minute. Let me take a look if there's any flight information. Now, the transponder isn't on, so I could be mistaken. You might be, well, no, look at this. I, th I don't think so. It looks like it's being towed. Hold on a minute. Oh, okay. You're right. Yeah, it's it's good. heading to the gates. So it, is it one of those it's one of those red eye flights? Really yeah. red eye flight. Very oh. red eye. That's a very red eye Whereas flight. Whereas in LA, it's a very early morning departure. Uh, it's, it's an early arrival around oh. five in the morning, okay. and it takes off around noon at uh, in Los Angeles. The LL flight. Uh, Ronald Sinag, I can't even pronounce. Hey, listen, it's been two days of twelve-hour shows. Are you ready? Ronald Sinagra, a longtime viewer here at this channel, sending 10 wow. memberships to LA Ronald. Flight Live. Thank you, Ronald. Welcome to New so York. So nice. Welcome to the TWA Hotel. This is our sixth time here. We have Trevor sending us a 14 Canadian Super Chat. I can't believe you guys are still going. This is why you are the best. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you for sharing this whole day with us. And for the amazing community that is the LA Flights House, big love to the brothers and friends from Ottawa. Thank you, Trevor, for watching the crazy brothers, the crazy co-hosts. <laughs> we have Matthew Thompson sending us a three, uh, three dollar super chat. I can't even talk anymore. Hey guys, loving the show for the New York City Pizza Fund. We will have New York Pizza. Listen, it's not like a five dollar Little Caesars. It's pretty expensive out here. Jeez, Louise. That's a big pie. Thank you so much for that, uh, Peaks of Fun. Uh, shine the light, was it a shine the light? Yes or no? No. No, absolutely not. That wasn't Kevin, that wasn't me, that wasn't Mr. Lopez. No, 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 I'm fine. Who was that? Who are you on? It's the gentleman to my right. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> he's the automatic, uh, you know, yeah. fallback. He's the, if someone yawned, it's gonna be Kevin. DHL is my jet. Is the gentleman to the right? <laughs> it's my Jetta Wilson's to the right. <laughs> it's gonna be Kevin. Can't say first officer Mike. He's long gone. <laughs> I'm he, I'm he was he was yeah. smart. He had some, uh, you know, uh, a family thing to get to. You know, he was smart. Yeah, family thing in air quotes. DHL flying in from Frankfurt, a big 777 freighter. And we have Dale gifting five memberships. Thank you so much for the five. Thank you so much, Dale. Dale Johnson with five. You know, it feels, it, it's, we've been live so long, it feels like FL Mike was here yesterday. <laughs> you know something? It, does, it, it feels, like, feels like it. It feels like it was a different day. <laughs> My goodness. Like we, this is like two, two, sh two days worth of shows that we've done in one, one, one day. By the way, look at that size difference. Look at that CRJ, <laughs> and look at the biggest aircraft in commercial aviation that is the A380. Now that is a size difference. I'll take that any day of the week. Gavin. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> wow, look at that size difference. Our day 3 should be starting up. Oh, and uh, E190 over here. Wow. Still in the spotlight. All right, let's sound. listen. Get ready, I'm pumping up the sound.
uh, coffee for Kevin. Yes. Did you do the one more plain banner? Hold on. Look. Energize. Oh, man. Coffee for <laughs> Kevin. Do you feel energized, Kevin? Yeah. I feel really energized. <laughs> That's for my brother, Kevin. Energize, Kevin. Caffeine yeah. in your system. <laughs> All the way. Ready to go. Ready to go. There you go. Another Another 12 knock hours. it out of the park. Another Let's 12 go. hours, right? I've never felt the highlight of the day. <laughs> highlight of the day. I've never felt the, the, the uncontrollable need to laugh during a show. <laughs> Why? Because you thought I was loopy? <laughs> Oh, man. It's going to be, I think, a 30-minute wait for the A380 to take off. Emirates flying to Milan. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One of them is an A330. It looks one of these. Uh, looks like one of the VIP planes that came in. So, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, eleven planes ahead of the A380. Looks like Emirates is letting the smaller planes pass in front. Being a very nice king of the skies. So now make that 12, 13, 14 planes ahead of the A380. Oh, and make that another one. Looks like Delta Airlines also going in front of make that, that Emirates. 15 planes oh ahead of the A380. I gotta say, it's gonna be 30 minutes until we see the Emirates take, take off. Josh, I'm going to say 35 minutes. 35, wow. Uh, credit to uh, Kootenay Girl. She's saying that look of Kevin uh, should be the thumbnail. Oh, no. <laughs> Kootenay Girl, this is the message. Oh, Highlights of today's episode. For Kevin. Wait a minute. There's supposed to... Do you see a plane above us in the sky? Are you seeing planes now? What's no, up? No, on my, on my thing, it's, if the plane is red, doesn't that mean it's flying above us? Um. No. I think you're seeing stuff. Yeah, man. I think uh, Kevin officially going actually crazy. Well, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, you're never right, you're right. No, you're right. You're it right. It was an right. Ethanopian plane. Not listen, Kevin. Actually, you're actually Cargo? right. There is a triple seven flying above JFK, but there's clouds preventing us from zooming in. But, but yes. is, it, is it the Eastern Opian plane? No, uh, the one That's that I'm what seeing. The one that I'm seeing is British Airways. It departed Tampa, Florida, and it's flying to London's Gatwick. So you're not, you know, you're not completely losing it. No, it's flying. It is flying. <laughs> hey, gotta say hello to First Officer Mike. It looks like he's in the chat. Oh, no way. Really? Yeah. Hey. First That's Officer Mike. Mike kept us company a little earlier today. Thank you so much for coming back. First Officer Mike. <clears throat> nice to have you here. And first off, so Mike might be uh, keeping us company on Tuesday, so we can't wait for that. I hope so. I hope to see him again. Lots of heavies up yeah, next. Yeah, lots of wow. heavies. It's Listen, be a long serious amount of heavies. Get ready. So we have one Aer Lingus flying to Dublin. We have one Delta flying to London. We have one Austrian flying to Vienna. One Air Europa flying to Madrid. VIP A340-300, one Ethiopian. I think that's the one you were yeah, talking about. Sorry, it looks like it went from red to gold. 787-9 Seven, so. <coughs> Seven, huh. in the back of the queue. Huh. Delta flying to Edinburgh, Scotland. We have one Delta yeah. flying to Dublin. See what you mean. It's red. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a quick uh, lens wipe. Yep, all right, go for it. Just, uh, this should be the last one for today. All right, just one lens wipe. Yep. All right. There we go. Oh, maybe another one. Just a quick lens wipe. We have, listen, a variety of airplanes, a variety of airlines that's really rarely seen around the world, anywhere in the world. I'll tell you this, uh, our home base, right? We love LAX, but it doesn't get this variety, this amount of planes, amount of variety. It's part of the reason why I'm here. It's an, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
All right, we have one getting a move on already. Aer Lingus flying to Dublin. And Delta 3 flying to London, lining up on 2-5. Correction, 22 right. Yesterday, did yesterday that you were here, but it was just earlier. It's he said the same thing. No, no, I was just telling First Officer Mike that that's what y'all were saying earlier. Oh yes, First Officer, it feels like it. I mean, it, it's, we've it's been here so for long. almost yeah. twelve so hours. Long, yeah. He was here six hours ago, I think. <laughs> Seven hours ago. <laughs> Traffic up. See, that's what happens. You're not a lot of park there on the road. People keep parking. Where they're not supposed to. Like that is Pakistan 787 parking you know, here that's at JFK. Very polite. Uh, Port Authority here. Usually they just say, get out of the way. No, they do. I've heard that so many times. <laughs> like, get out of the way. You're not allowed to park there. Get out of the way. But very have, polite. Yeah, today was actually uh, very Port polite. Authority. Delta 3 flying to London, getting a move on. That one out of here. Like nighttime plane spotting, day two of UN week here on LA Flights Live. Oh, look at that swing condensation. Oh, that looks good. We have Plutonian Empire sending us a $10 super chat. A380 is my favorite plane. I love to fly on one, but sadly, I have disabilities, limited funds, and limited destinations. I wish all the best. Plutonian Empire. My goodness, all the best. Welcome and enjoy the planes. Austrian on the move, the VIP A3. Where did we say this one was from? Uh, this remember? is the African. Uh, yes, uh, is Kingdom it? of. Uh, oh. Uh, what is not, it? Not Congo. It was another one, right? Yeah, it's the Kingdom of E. Uh, what is it? Et, 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 no, just Etta. Esther. No, Etta something. Wasn't it? it was Etta something? Hold on, let me look it up. I put all my stuff away. It's right. I'm sure it's on in the it, uh, yeah, uh, All right, Austrian. S, 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 what? Yeah, you got it. S, what, That's it, I think. Kingdom S, what, Tini? Yeah, S, what, Sorry, there you go. Yeah. Kevin getting it out. Thank okay. you, Kevin. No. Come yeah, on. I haven't been in downtown Eswatini lately, so I almost forget. Okay. I thought Come you were telling me you have a place in the kingdom of Eswatini. You have it's a place. No, you, no. You fly there once a month. A summer home, right? No. For the, for the pizza. <laughs> no, for the water. <laughs> <laughs> Next takeoff, let's take a look. Are you oh, ready? We're going to the uh, rival right now. Arrival, all Nippon. This one, a 777-300ER, flying it from Tokyo's Haneda, a 12-hour, 15-minute flight for this one. Don't they kick you out of here soon? Uh, <laughs> no. We still have no. another 30 minutes. Really? Yeah, well, <clears throat> 20 minutes. Well, you know, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll say, hey, you know, we got, we got to stay for a little longer. Yeah. yeah. Don't you have a delivery coming? Max, Max <laughs> is here to pick it up. Oh. Usually that would have been an issue, but we have Max. Hey, listen, are you ready? Kevin's not that far off. That A380 is not moving anywhere. Yeah, no, you're right. It's a massive traffic jam it's right now. It's not going anywhere, and there are, are several. Are you ready? That's an understatement. Several planes ahead of the A380, and we have to be out by, I think, 1045, 1050. That thing's not taking off in five minutes. I don't think he's going to be able to cut in line with those other planes. Because he's not, he's like cutting across. He's not joining the back of the line. You know what they have to do? They just have to get like a whole bunch of planes out of here really quick. I've yeah, seen that happen really. in the past. 
I've seen it happen in the past. The, the, plane, you know, the planes behind him are forming in the cube, and he's going kind of cutting, bisecting. Yeah. You know. Air Europa 92 flying to Madrid up next. 787-9 looks like it's going to start getting a move on. Uh, let me know when the plane starts leaving. Leaving. Leaving right now. Okay. Yep. Air Europa, a okay. journey of 3,600 nautical miles. Before yep. it goes, I'm just going to give another wipe. All right, Josh. Uh, just get a, bear with those guys. Yeah, we're just making the picture really nice. There we go. That should work. Let's go uh, Let's go to the departure. And it's already on his takeoff roll, flying to Madrid. Next, we have a 757 flying to San Francisco. We have Delta's 884. Atari Ferrari, I think it's time to fill the chat with Atari Ferrari. Go for it. Oh, look who's next. I think we got the A340 up next. You know something? You know, Kevin, I hope you're happy. Mr. Lopez, I hope you guys are happy, both of you. I think the line is actually moving forward. So, uh, well, that's good. A380 should be taking off. Pretty, no, listen, Mr. Lopez has the, like the most confident face right now. <laughs> You know, he could be here another 12 I know, hours. He's insane. This, <laughs> Mr. Hold Lopez hold here, he's insane. L I'm just listen, a, I, I like to like, think I'm a patient person. Listen, are you ready? Look, Mr. Lopez has, like, the most confident face. Like, he's running for, like, <laughs> senator or something. Look at that. After Look 12 hours. Kevin, I'm <laughs> telling <laughs> Oh, I'm oh so my goodness. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Kevin. Kevin. Oh, no, I want to end the show now. My I feel bad for Kevin. <laughs> That's not cool. I don't like what we're doing to him. Kevin's a good sport. Come on. Coffee vibes for Kevin. Absolutely. The best coffee. I have to start a GoFundMe. <laughs> he needs to be rescued. <laughs> he needs to be rescued. <laughs> You know, I bet Kevin thought that, you know, traveling with LA flights was going to be glamorous. Lavish, you know, That's what it said on the brochure. Yes, yes, massage. Traveling around Relaxing. the world. Oh, wow. Right. That's how it looks. That's, that's the Peter's going to need that foo -foo, foo -foo, foo -foo credit card on me. There you yeah, go. There. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Don't forget the guided tour of Manhattan. Of and course. On a VIP helicopter right. ride. See, this is what we mean when we when we say that we don't we don't. It's not a it's not a leisure trip. Yeah, this is hard work. That's work. This is, this is work. We're, we're not going to exit. We're, we're trapped here in the hotel. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> I think. Oh no! I, I was I, trapped on the cargo plane. Now I'm trapped <laughs> in the airport. I think. Oh no! I think trapped this is, by all these wires too. Yeah. I think, uh, Kevin. I think you, you've been. Uh, you're not gonna come to trips with us anymore, are you? I think Kevin's not sold. Oh no. Uh, A3. Okay, so A34300 dropped off its VIP and it's out of here. <coughs> A380 still not crossing 31 rights. More planes just keep piling on. My goodness, arriving on 22 left, we have a big 777-200 ER in the distance. You can see it. By the way, North Atlantic, what is that one doing? Okay, so it's an arrival. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but we're going to stay with the AH-340. Yes, absolutely. From, uh, what, what is it called again? Kingdom of... <coughs> Kevin? Oh, oh. Uh, don't, don't take your book out. Esplawanti? Esplawanti? Remember, the continent of Africa. Okay. Africa. Ready? It's coming from Africa. L. Collins, who brought us uh, a big bag of goodies. Are you ready? A lot of water, 
a lot of yeah, uh, protein bars. Protein bars. Yeah, protein bars, healthy stuff. How did the Kit Kats fare? Wish I could have found peanut butter cups for you guys. They are far superior and have better personality. You're not that far off. Thank you so much, L. Collins. Lovely gesture. Peter enjoyed them. He inhaled about two or three in one gulp. Oh, it looks like the food's here. Hold on. Oh, back. look at that. Eighth right, ready I'm going to have to call. Uh, new my mic for a second. All right. Eighth ready is getting a move on, so that's good news for all of us and good news for the food delivery man, not waiting that long. Ethiopian 513, Next takeoff, we have a flight operated by Endeavour 5176, a CRJ 900, and good news, I'll say it again, A380 finally starting to cross the runway. 3 1 right. So, looks like Emirates is number five for takeoff. to find the delivery driver. All right, shouldn't be that difficult. It'll be the one with the upset. No, I think this is no? a different guy. Oh, this will be a nice guy? Yeah, this guy's, uh, I hope he's nice. His voice didn't sound familiar. Did he I sound delivery guy. I know the delivery guy? I hope so, yeah. Quite on home side, so all delivery guys are, are okay. Absolutely, especially here in New York. Definitely. Let's just take a second to admire the planes from JFK. I mean, it has been non-stop heavies. It's like a freight train full of 777s, A3s, A340s, non-stop. I mean, on the Pwn looks like, what, a 777? That one just arrived a few minutes ago and, you know, just passing through the screen like nothing. I mean, I'm telling you, I, I want to I see E-175s now. I mean, all these heavies, it's too many. It is unbelievable the amount of heavies that leave, that arrive here at JFK. Incredible. And okay, so here's the small one. Are you ready? We have CRJ900 flying to Ithaca. Lights, uh, Delta connection. Uh, looks like it's operated by Endeavor Air 5340. That's the flight number. Flying to Ithaca. We're gonna stay with the heavies, however. And the super. Don't forget and the super, super, absolutely. A Delta 767-300 flying to Edinburgh, Scotland. Lining up to two rights. A380 now, number three for takeoff. And uh, I'm guessing A380 is the last plane, right? Oh, you know, I kind of wanted to stay for all out leaving, though. What is that, in two hours? Yeah, that's only midnight. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> 1 a.m. I kind of want to ask Kevin about the, uh, you know, staying until oh, <laughs> LL. LL, yes or no? No. <laughs> you know, Mitchell Lopez, are you ready? The scary what an that... energized face, a cool demeanor. That. My goodness. Mr. The famous Mr. Lopez finally with us, keeping us company as the co-host. And, of course, Kevin. Brilliant executive producer, are you ready? Kevin, you're the man. You know what, you Kevin deserves the a day, day off tomorrow. I mean, oh. I feel yes. bad for Kevin. No, that's, you're taking him on the guided tour of Manhattan tomorrow. Unfortunately, we only have a bunch of guests tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's true. No then it's work, Kevin. We have it's to be on day. air. We have to be on air tomorrow. It's yes, a work you day. Be, you have to be, and I have to be here to coordinate everything. Oh, my goodness. Yes. All right. I forgot about that. It's a work day. And Tuesday we have first off, it's a mic. Possibly. Possibly. And let's 
Let's see, remember that Air Canada, what was it? Air Canada the Jazz, Jets? the black one? Yeah. Uh, looks like it's going to be departing pretty soon, but yes, Emirates will be the last yeah, plane. Yeah, no matter what. I mean, there's there's no way around it. I mean, at this point, we would just stay until yeah, like sure. 3 in the morning, sure. but the look, thing look, is... Look, taxing too. Lufthansa's taxing. Yeah. So listen, now it's the pool. It's the pool closing on us. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Eighth ready next for takeoff. Get ready the last plane. <clears throat> Getting a move on in just a bit. Yeah, because we could just stay here forever. But we just have to, you know, make a plane the last one and that's it. That's the, the beauty of JFK. It's a, it's a blessing and also a curse. The curse is, you know, you're going to be here for 12 hours straight or even more. The beauty is it's nonstop action. All right, there it is, everybody. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to make it official. The thing is, we don't have a choice. Yeah. We would be here until 5 in the morning. Goodness. One more plane for today's episode. <laughs> you should see Kevin's reaction when I said that. All right, there we go, guys. This, here it is, ends day two of UN Week on LA Flights Live. An Let's incredible take day it in. two, come on. Unforgettable. There she goes. She actually made pretty good time, considering. Exactly. You know, she didn't have to stay in that long line. Yeah. 20 minutes. I think, it, how long was it? Like 20 minutes? I, I think so. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's a great way to end the street. Yeah, look at that. Wow, brilliant. I mean, listen, we have we have a lot of planes lining up. It's just we can't. I mean, we got to call it a day. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, my friends. That is how we end an episode of Plane Spotting. Uh, let's see, if you want, you could do the intro, but I'll just be getting the departures as they, as they go. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, Josh. Josh, the tripod's going to be right behind okay, you, okay? Okay, yeah, I, I'll keep an eye on it, okay? Right behind you, like really close, all right? Yeah, okay. That's fine. So I'll just be getting the departures as they go, and you can do the outro. All right. All right, guys. Mr. Lopez, Kevin, we are finally done. It's, speed it's a little sad it's over for me. Uh, I know there's a, there's tomorrow. Oh, we're going to be here. the day after. Mr. Lopez, the day after. you joining <laughs> us today, that was, a, I mean, I think that was the surprise of the day. I, I wasn't really expecting you to. I thought you were going to come by and say hi, that was it. But, you know, giving us so many hours of your time, you know, standing up, you know, talking, I think that's the biggest surprise today. And it was uh, a big thank you. I mean, it was really, really fun having you on. It was very humbling. I appreciate the offer to, to be here. And uh, like I said earlier, it was just easy, easy to do. And if any, anybody else get a, gets a chance to do it, whether it's later on this week or at LAX or wherever you go, take Absolutely. the chance. Because <laughs> you're just <laughs> hanging out with friends and you're talking about planes. You're just getting out. Yeah, exactly. you're just getting to know everybody better absolutely it's a great it's sentiment here i'm very humbled and i appreciate all the hard work that peter and joshua kevin max 39 have done all the mods um, and everybody in the chat just having a great time it's like peter says it's it's a family it's just one big family it really yeah. is i mean that it's it's this is proof this is living proof of how you know how more connected we really are absolutely. are you ready absolutely. my goodness Josh, we're getting, I think, the bonus one. Yeah, this is one just more plane. As you guys do the outro, we'll be getting them as they go. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned. Kevin, you're on camera. No picking up the nose. Are you ready? Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Day two of UN Week.
here at the LA Flight Channel. Josh, if you want, you can just go to the control tower. We're going to be ending in just a few moments. Air Force One arrived earlier today, the highlight of today's episode. We want to thank all the guests that came by. A big thank you to First Officer Mike, of course. A big thank you to Joanna. Are you yes. ready? Yes. Joanna. Wow. Are Joanna. you ready? We can't wait. I thought you were raising your hand. Like no, no, it's like to the tower. Ah. And Joanna, are you ready? The uh, tower yeah, controller. Look at this. We got it right here. Absolutely. There you go. Right over there. There you she's go. Joanna, in the t I don't know if she's still there. Are you ready? But yeah, but in spirit. She's there, <laughs> right? Uh, kept us company here, gave us a wonderful 30 minute interview and friendly vibes to formerly known as Kennedy Steve. Steph. 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 Come on. I've been talking for 12 hours. Kennedy Steph. Now we know Joanna. Thank yes. you so much for joining us. Friendly vibes. Big, big thank you to her. Absolutely. A thank you to J.L. Lopez. Mr. Lopez, you've heard me say his name a million times. Finally, <laughs> we put a face. I'm saying this again. Latin Michael Schumacher, this one. Latin Michael Schumacher. <laughs> Show that Ferrari shirt, can you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You there know, he is. Ferrari it shirt, my goodness. Uh, listen, Kevin, of course, executive producer of LA Flights, working so hard. Are you ready behind Come the on. scenes? Give it up for Kevin, guys. Two days Kevin. in a row. He's not crazy like us. Two days in a row doing the 12 hour shows, setting all this stuff up behind the scenes. Give it Absolutely. up. Absolutely. He deserves it. Come on, Kevin. Josh, one more big thank you. I'm going to pan the camera over to yes. the amazing oh, cameraman. Yes. There I am. Hello, the guys. One, the only. What a fun day. Thank Cat you so man. much for watching. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I mean, like I said, it's we can keep going. It's just that it's uh, we we got we need rest, right? We're gonna do another 12-hour <laughs> show tomorrow. What? <laughs> I mean, we're gonna do a five-hour show. We're gonna do a five-hour show, Kevin. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But you know, we still got a long trip ahead of us, right? I mean, it's only day two, so get ready, guys. It's gonna be fun. We still have a lot to go in the trip, right? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. I'm going to hand the camera back to you, okay? All right. Oh, my goodness. All right. There it goes. All right, everybody. Home of the one more plane. Home of Scuderia Ferrari Vibes. <laughs> and home of Zombie Vibes. This <laughs> Zombie Vibes <laughs> is how LA Flight does plane spotting. Until next time, that next time will be tomorrow, the home of the one more plane. Mr. Salinas, buenas noches. Dad. Yes, bye Dad. Bye-bye, Dad. Good night, Dad. Family, peace be with you. Peace be the journey. <laughs> Love everybody. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Zoom into that one, Ken. Are you ready? We might have a VIP. No, I think that's a French diplomat plane. A340 German diplomat plane. As Joshua stays with the super incredible shot. Oh, look at all the water spray. Joshua zooming in and activating hyper zoom.
smooth touch landing. Beautiful and smooth. Passengers are happy. A special thank you to Captain Ken. My goodness, Guys, what give it an up. incredible what a, surprise. Give it up. What a pleasure, what a pleasure. <laughs> All right, so this, Bruce Campbell keeping us company the entire day. I love how that looks. We've had debates regarding yeah, this livery. It's a very controversial okay. livery. Very controversial here at the LA Flights Channel. I love the stripes. I absolutely love it. It's unique. It's you don't All see right, that. Which airline is this? Condor, German. Condor. Week plane spotting on LA flights. All right, that's the Dreamliner parking right next to us. Look at that yeah, of special course it livery. Is. Of wow. course, it's a special livery. The pride of Africa. Senegal, there we go. Pakistan. This is, uh, Pakistan. That is the Korean president coming into land. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. That's a Turkish exec jet here for UN Week. Not on flight radar. The Prime Minister of Great Britain landing in front of the LA flight's cameras. Brazilian President on board at VAX A319. Welcome to New York. Joshua's plane. Joshua's goal was yeah. to capture that plane, and he got it. I got it. I'm, no, I'm a very, very happy plane spotter right now. 